I kissed my goddess teacher directly in class. Not only did I move in with her, but I also got her to give me four children. I even got her to give me four children in one birth. This made the classmates are dumbfounded. That cold as an iceberg beautiful teacher became a shy and cute bird in front of me. Even when I glared at her from the podium, she blushed and couldn't teach. All because that night, I drank myself unconscious. I woke up in a hotel. There was a beautiful woman lying next to me. Suddenly, she opened her eyes. The woman screamed wildly. I lifted the covers and was about to get out of bed to say something, but I found a bright red stain on the bed sheet. By now, the woman was too shy to look up. She hurriedly got dressed and fled. <laughs> Chapter 263, I've brought you other gifts. Nothing happened. Monly that girl said too serious. You still say it. If not Monly told me, you still want to hide is not it. Mom, what are you doing ah? Uh? Song Mian Yang choked and said, although she was usually frugal, she didn't want to be frugal on her mom. The old man had suffered all his life. It was the right time to enjoy the blessings. Song Qin patted the back of Song Mianian's hand and sighed, Mom is not old and can't move. Anyway, there is nothing to do at home. You also know that mom can't be idle. Find something to do as exercise. Exercise you can learn to square dance ah. Cheng Xiao said with a smile at this time. Isn't this one of the ways for the elderly to exercise? There were quite a lot of old men in the square as well. Song Mianyang heard this and nodded. That's right. Square dancing is also good for physical and mental health. You two are really something too. Saying that, Song Qin sighed again. Monli that child is good. Yesterday she was the one who has been taking care of me. And today she had to work. So she hired a caregiver for me. Song Mianyan's heart was quite grateful. Or Monli was righteous enough. She thought, I'll give her the medical expenses and the money for the caregiver later. There was no way she was going to let other people pay for it. She didn't have much money of her own. Hiring a caregiver was a lot of money. Several hundred a day. Quickly carry the children over for me to take a look. I haven't seen them for a few days. I miss them a lot. Chang Xiao carried the children out and placed them on the ground one by one. Smiling. Da Bao, Grandma is calling you guys? Quickly go over. Song Mianyan laughed. A few children. Only San Bao bumbled over. The other three feet remained in place. Not taking a step forward. What's wrong? That's Grandma. Don't you remember so quickly? Song Mianyang pinched Four Treasures' little face, learning that everything was a false alarm. The stone in Song Mianyan's heart landed with a bang. Mom! At this moment, Four Treasures stretched out his little hand and asked Song Mianyan for a hug. Song Mianyan squatted down and said with a smile, If you go say hello to Grandma, Mommy will hug you, okay? Four Treasures didn't know if he understood or not, and looked at Cheng Xiao with pitiful little eyes, wanting his dad to hug him. Why are you looking at your dad? Quickly go over. Song Mian Mian covered her mouth and laughed. Song Qin's eyes squinted as she smiled, looking at four treasures with a loving face. This child was really getting cuter and cuter, seeing that daddy wasn't hugging him either. Four treasures skimmed his mouth in aggravation, and just stubbornly stood in place, not moving a muscle, looking at dad, and then looking at mom. Anyway, he didn't go. Among the four children, four treasures was the least willing to get close to Song Qin. If he could let his mom and dad hug him, he wouldn't let Song Qin touch him. Song Nian Yang had no choice but to carry four treasures towards Song Qin's side and put him on the bed. Four treasures opened his eyes wide and looked at Song Qin. After staring at each other for a while, he still wouldn't let Song Qin hold him. Chang Xiao couldn't help but laugh. For treasures cute and adorable appearance, he can't help but want to take a picture of it, save it, and let her see it herself when she grows up a bit. There was such a stalemate for a while. AI. This little temper ah. Uh, I don't know who it follows. Song Qin smiled helplessly. Song Nian Yang carried four treasures down, then changed the topic. Mom, I brought you quite a few gifts. Saying this, she dragged a large suitcase from the side over, opening it. This suitcase was full of gifts brought to everyone. Clothes, small gifts and whatnot. Taking out the clothes that were bought. Mom, see if you like it? Song Mianian smiled. Song Qin got out of bed and tried them on. It kind of fits. Not bad. She liked whatever her daughter bought. It's good that you like it. And this skirt. Saying this, she took out another dark colored skirt. This was specially prepared for mom for square dancing. Oops. What's the point in so much? I can't wear it. Song Qin said on her lips that she was not happy. But on her face, she was smiling. At this time, the ward door was knocked. Come in. The door opened and Monli walked in from outside. Her heels clattering. Honey, you can finally come back. I missed you to death. As soon as she came in, Monli was thrilled to see Song Mianhui and pounced with open hands. She pounced on Song Mianian in a full embrace. My mom is still here. Can you be a little more reserved? Song Mianian gently pushed her away. What do you need to be reserved for? 
I've missed you and the baby. Ha, huh, did you bring me a gift when you came back from your trip? I'm still thinking about that hand puppet you bought. Did you go and ask for me? Manny immediately thought of that hand puppet. She wanted it so much. She had searched for it for a long time and had asked for connections, but she couldn't get it. Asked. No more. Only the one I have. Ha, huh, hey. Too bad. A hand puppet. And a limited edition. Really? That? Have you brought it over yet? I'll take a look. Just one look. Monli was pitiful. Song Nian Yang raised an eyebrow and teased. I brought you another gift. What gift? You guess. Monli's eyes flickered. And only then did she see the open suitcase on the floor. There were quite a few gifts inside. And one of them, an exquisite blue gift box, was particularly conspicuous. Looking at the shape. Is this one? Could it be that monster kid hand puppet? With a burst of excitement in his heart, he took the box out. This one is for you. Song Mianian stifled her laughter and said in a serious manner. Really? It's definitely real. Let me see. Gently opening the box, an exquisite game console appeared within sight. A game console? Manny was more than a little disappointed, but as long as it was a gift from her good sister, she liked it. Well, do you like it? Like it. My good girlfriend gave it to me. Can I not like it? Monly took the game console out and looked at it, and for some reason, it looked familiar. As expected, there was a special symbol somewhere on the machine. Having come into contact with countless big brands, she was still relatively knowledgeable. This game machine, it wasn't cheap. I go, sister, this game console is not cheap ah, uh, this you are willing to buy to send me? Manly raised her eyebrows. What is there to give up or not? You don't want it. Don't give it to me. Song Nianli said she was going to take it over. That won't do. Who said I don't want it? Monli grunted and hurriedly put the game console into her bag. Hey, Mian Mian, what about that hand puppet? She was still thinking about it. This game console, as expensive as it was, she still thought the hand puppet was better. Song Nian Yang rummaged through the pile of gifts and pulled out the hand puppet that Manny had been pining for. This is it. Wow, it's really hey, my kiddo, it's so handsome. Holding it in her hands, basically without looking closely, she knew that this was real, not a fake. Chang Xiao is speechless, to a non-existent secondary characters can also be so obsessed. What the hell are girls thinking in their heads nowadays? You want it? Song Nian looked at Manli and asked with a smile. Chapter 264, you let me cry for a while. Definitely want it then. But, it's not mine. Manli looked at Kiddo reluctantly. The boy god she grew up with ah, if you want to like it, you take it. Song Nian Li waved her hand. Really? Manli stared in shock, suddenly somewhat flattered. To actually give this to her? What kind of heavenly good deed was this? Can I still lie to you? Alright, alright, don't let me see it. You take it. Song Nianli pretended to look pained. Seeing her like this, Monli hesitated again. If you really like it, you can keep it. Don't give it to me. Well, I'm buying this for you. You're not unaware that I don't collect this stuff. It's dead expensive. You can only look at it but not eat it. It's not useful for anything. Song Mianian disliked it to the extreme. Sister. I love you too much. I know you're the best for me. Mua Monli couldn't help but kiss Song Mianian. Ahem. Chang Shao coughed, expressing his displeasure. Song Qin beckoned and smiled. Monli ah, come over and sit. After Monli sat down, Song Qin said, Auntie ah, yesterday was really thanks to you. It's okay auntie, this is what I should do. You don't know. I was scared to death. Thinking about what happened yesterday, Monli felt a pang of fear. If it is not auntie happens to do odd jobs in her company. Other companies? Something happened to no one to care for a long and short. How sad Mian Mian should be. It's okay. I have high blood pressure. Old habits. Not a problem. Auntie. Yesterday I did not hold back and told Mian Mian them. You have something. I think. They cannot be kept in the dark. Mon Lee whispered. It's fine. It's good to be back. It's weirdly cold to be alone. Back. With the children. The house is always popular. Received two such expensive gifts at once. Monli's smiling eyes are narrowed into a slit. Can't wait for the handiwork to hurry up and put it together with her other treasures. Song Nian Yang headed outside and waved at Monli. Monli, come out for a moment. What's wrong? The hallway. Thank you for yesterday. Harm. Thank you for what? What kind of relationship do we have? Iron sisters, isn't that the right thing to do? Shouldn't I just stand by and do nothing? You hired my mom's caregiver for her medical bills, right? I'll transfer the money to you later. Stop. Stop. Monli frowned. I'm not happy when you say that. What kind of relationship do we have? Is it still a good sister if we're counting on this amount of money? But that's yours. She was also afraid that talking about money would hurt her feelings. So it was better to make this aspect clear. What's yours and mine? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. 
Mon Lee said. Well, anyway, thank you. The two smiled at each other and hugged. In the ward, Xiao Chang, go and check me out of the hospital. Song Qin said. She felt that there was no longer any major problem. Mom, it's better to observe for another day. Song Mianian opened the door and came in. She didn't feel comfortable going home like this. Mom is really nothing more, just ordinary high blood pressure. Chang Xiao brought a blood pressure testing device from the site at this time. He gave Song Qin a test. Mom, where else are you uncomfortable? Song Qin's blood pressure had sort of returned to normal, and was indeed not in any serious trouble. By the way, she took her pulse, and other than the fact that her body was still a bit weak, it wasn't a big problem. At this moment, the nurse walked in with something in her hand. Nurse, when can I be discharged? Song Qin asked. Nurse, not yet. Your blood pressure is still unstable. The doctor recommends staying in the hospital for two days for observation. I don't think there's anything wrong anymore. Can I be discharged earlier? No, of course, it's okay to be discharged. If anything goes wrong when you go back, our hospital won't be responsible. With that, she began to hang water on Song Qin. Munli frowned and couldn't help but mutter. What kind of attitude is this? Song Nianli shook her head at her. Staying for two more days wasn't a big deal, and it was also for the sake of mom's physical responsibility. After the treatment, the nurse left. After Song Mianian's persuasion, Song Qin still decided to stay for two more days. You guys pack up and go back first. Put your luggage back first. Don't worry about my side. There's an escort. Song Qin smiled. Song Mianyang nodded. Grandma, here. San Bao also didn't know when he ran to Song Qin with a lollipop and handed it over. Not only did Song Qin freeze, several people in the hospital room froze. Song Qin only felt her nose sour. Our San Bao is such a good boy, and knows how to feel sorry for people. After receiving the lollipop, Song Qin couldn't hold back her tears. How is this child so understanding? After chatting a couple more times, they left the hospital and went home. Song Nian Nian's tears could no longer be held back, overflowing out of her eyes and pouncing on Process Xiao's arms. Hubby, do you know that when I flew back, I was scared to death along the way, so worried so worried that something would happen to mom. I don't know what I would do if something happened to mom. Oh, tears quickly wet Cheng Zhao's chest. Cheng Zhao's heart ached. It was the first time he had seen her cry like this. She is a person with a high tear point. To make her cry into tears, one knows how worried she is. All right, all right, isn't mom all right? Don't cry. Good boy. Cheng Xiao touched her head and kept calming her down. Look at this, crying like a child. I know, I just want to vent my emotions. You, you just let me cry for a while. Song Mianian just relied on Chang Zhao's arms and didn't come out. Okay, okay, you cry for a while. Chang Xiao knew that she was calming down and kept calming her down. It would be fine when it was vented. Ten minutes later, Song Mianian pulled out of Chang Zhao's arms with red and swollen eyes. Her nose was twitching, not to mention how sad she was crying. Seeing Chang Xiao looking at her with a smile, she muttered in a low voice. What are you looking at? Never seen a beautiful woman cry. Haven't really seen it. This is the first time I've seen you cry. Wanting to laugh, he felt heartbroken at the same time. He could totally relate to her feelings. Mom had brought me on me on up from a young age. And this kind of feeling was hard to part with. You're so annoying. Wiping her tears, Song me on me on broke into tears and turned in the direction of the bathroom. Washing her face, not coming out until her eyes looked less swollen. The reason why she didn't like to cry was that when she cried, her eyes would swell up like puffy eyes, it was hard to see. It takes several days for the swelling to go down. When she came out, Chang Xiao was holding the baby and playing in the living room, back in a familiar place again. The babies were having fun one by one. A burst of laughter came from the living room. She followed suit with a smile. Walking over with a pair of swollen eyes, Chang Xiao looked at them and couldn't help but laugh lightly. Wife, these eyes of yours. Chapter 265, Divine Appraisal Technique. What are you looking at? Song Mianian hurriedly covered her eyes and said in a bad mood. I've seen it all. It's useless for you to cover it. The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth hooked. Song Mianian grunted. How does she know that this eye of hers would swell when she cried? It's been like this since she was a child. It's really ugly. Hubby, am I ugly like this? Song Mianian let go of her blocking hand. Wife, no matter what you are the most beautiful and good looking in my eyes. Song Mianian's face drooped and she muttered unhappily. You mean I'm ugly? No. My wife is the best looking. Humph. Wife. Haven't you had enough fun this time? I'll take you out again later when the kids are in school. How can you have a two-person world? Now there are these little light bulbs in. It's inconvenient to go anywhere. Let's talk about the future later. Song Mian Yang said. It's better not to think about it for a short period of time. Oh right. Husband. Later at noon let's go send lunch to mom. I'm afraid that her old man can't get used to eating the hospital stuff. 
Okay, I'll listen to you. Chang Xiao nodded. At noon, Chang Xiao bought some dishes back and got into the kitchen. Not long after, a table of fragrant dishes came out. Smelling the fragrance, Song Mianian only felt that she had found that familiar feeling again. It's still good to be at home. Smelling the air of the land of China is just a hundred times better than foreign countries. And there's also the husband's dishes. It's always inconvenient to be in a foreign country. Even cooking for yourself doesn't have that feeling of being at home. Hubby, what did you cook today? Cheng Xiao smiled mysteriously, making something you haven't eaten before. Cantonese cuisine. This was also something he had taken the time to learn, and wasn't as smooth as ordinary food cooking. I don't know how it tastes, but, it should be good. The dining table. Looking at a large table of dishes, Song Mianyang's eyes glowed. It smelled so good. Don't be in a hurry. I'll go make another soup and it'll be perfect. Good. Song Mianian thought about it and called Monli. Monli, do you want to come over and eat together? Chang Xiao has made a lot of delicious food, she said with a smile. Ha, huh, is that so? Wait for me. I'll go over now. At the mention of food, especially Chang Xiao's cooking, Monli's eyes were glowing. It was good to have a mouthful of food again. Okay, we'll wait for you. Monli's home is not far from here. Today is her day off. Twenty minutes or so. Drove there. As soon as she arrived at the living room, she smelled the fragrance. Song Mianli was sitting on the sofa. When she saw her coming, she quickly got up. You're here. It's not finished yet. You can eat it later. Harm. After so many days. Ah. I've been thinking about it all the time. And I finally got the chance today. Manny lamented. Come on. Don't be so exaggerated. Song Mianli's mouth twitched. Chang Xiao was still busy in the kitchen. Not only was he going to cook soup today, he was going to get some food for the babies as well. Vegetables and fruits. Meat cooked a bit. Meat and vegetables. This is better for the child's development. Ding. Congratulations to the host for accompanying the babies on their first trip abroad. Reward, divine appraisal technique. Ding. Congratulations to the host for taking the babies on an airplane for the first time. Reward, a second cleansing. Note, can appraise famous paintings, antiques, jade, etc. Chang Xiao already had the eye of perspective. If he had another appraisal technique, it would be the icing on the cake. However, just this? Chang Xiao came back to his senses and hooked his lips. A second cleansing. Somewhat interesting. Second cleansing. Is it starting now? The system inquired out loud. Let's do it at night. Okay. After the children's food was ready, Chang Xiao served it out on a plate. In the dining room, Song Mian and Manli had long been sitting upright with chopsticks in their hands. Already impatient. Brother-in-law. Rushing over to eat? You don't mind, do you? Manli hemmed and hawed. Eat as much as you can. Mian Mian and I can't finish it anyway. Then I'll be polite. Manny made a beeline for a white cut chicken in front of himself. With such a nice color. It looked delicious at first glance. Tasting it, she took a bite. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Delicious. This flavor. Even better than the one I ate in the restaurant. Manli exaggeratedly squinted her eyes. And by the way, she gave Song Mian Mian a piece. Mian Mian. Try it. It tastes really good. Song Mian Mian smiled and took a taste as well. Hmm, it's really quite tasty. Hubby said that he had only just learned Cantonese cuisine, and he didn't expect to learn the essence so quickly. Hubby this not only has a talent for acting and playing the piano, his cooking talent is also great. It's so good to have met him. Woo woo, sister, I really envy you for having such a good husband. Taking advantage of Chang Xiao going to the kitchen to pour water, Manli said enviously. What, envious ah, does your family, Li Jin, not know how to cook? Song Mian Yang teased her. Manly grunted. He can do shit. It's good to not let me cook for him. Alas, almost every day is soaked in the drama set. Can't even see him a few times a month. Speaking of this, she sighed. She didn't even know if she chose him right or wrong. Li Jin was still okay and treated her quite well. It was that he was often busy and didn't have time for her at all. Most actors are like that. He's still in his developmental period and it's also for your future. Song Mian Yang also felt that Li Jin was nice. After all, the two had only just gotten together. He is not persuaded to leave. With this comfort, Manli felt more comfortable. It was also true that Li Jin was so busy every day for the sake of a better life for them in the future. How could she complain about him not being there for her? If they got married in the future, a home. It takes two people to run it together ah. Sister, Li Jin doesn't know how to cook. Why don't you let brother-in-law teach him when he's free? This way, we don't have to come to the couple's home often to dine, disturbing the couple's love life. How embarrassing. Yeah, no problem. Let him come over sometime. Song Mianian took a bite of fish and smiled. That's fine. I'll call and talk to him when I go back. Aha. Uh -huh. Cheng Xiao poured a few cups of water and walked in. 
handing it to the two of them. Drink some water. Then he fed the babies food, feeding them one by one, and the four little ones ate with no ordinary flavor, especially the four treasures. This child is simply like two babies compared to when he was first born. The change is huge. I can't even recognize her from previous photos. Now looks completely with her mother. Good looking and delicate, like a porcelain doll generally pleasing and lovely. Long eyelashes flicker, eyes watery. People can't help but fall in love with even one look. For treasures is the best looking child I've ever seen. If I give birth to such a good looking daughter in the future, it would be worth it for me to die. Monli rested her hands on her cheeks and gently looked at four treasures. She now not only envied Song Nian Yang for having a good husband, she also envied her for having these children. Life was complete. Chapter 266, The Second Washing of the Sinew and Marrow. Thinking about the children she and Li Jin would have to have in the future. Alas, even marriage was a long way off. They hadn't even discussed it yet either. She was now 25 or 26 years old and had already reached the age of marriage. It felt like a long, long wait. Li Jin was still unemployed and wouldn't even choose this time to get married. What's dead or not? Do you want to get married? Song Mian Yang suddenly said. Maybe, you can ask Li Jin what he means. You haven't asked him about this, right? No, even if I asked. I guess it's impossible in the last two years. After all, the occupation was here. You didn't even ask you how do you know he doesn't want it. Song Mianyan laughed. You're right. I'll ask when he comes back. After the meal was finished, Monli teased the child for a while and excused herself. Chang Xiao, on the other hand, went to the kitchen to prepare the meal to be sent to the hospital. With everything ready, the family of six went out. This outing, again, is vast. Just arrived at the hospital. Before they walked in, they were surrounded by a group of people, each holding a cell phone to shoot endlessly. Handsome man, are you Chang Xiao? Ah ah ah. Quadruplets. Definitely right. But I got the news that he's coming this way early this morning. And I've been waiting here for hours. Me too. My boy god. Nowadays. Passersby were sharp-eyed. And artists who were wrapped up like an aphrodisiac could be accurately recognized. Not to mention the fiery eyes of the fans. Even if they just showed their wrists. They could recognize them. And this was the terror of fanatical fans. As soon as they found out the news. They squatted here. It was said that Chang Zhao's mother-in-law was hospitalized because of her poor health, and they even asked where the other side's hospital room was, and peeked several times, but they didn't see Chang Xiao in person. This can finally squat to, the person is also too handsome, right? Then the movie and the TV series can be much more handsome, even if wearing a mask just to reveal a pair of eyes, but also can see his features in the end how exquisite. Chang Xiao helplessly took down the mask, yes, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. it's really boy god Xiao Xiao, so handsome. Luckily I held on and waited for him or I would have missed it. Xiao Xiao, can you give me an autograph? Chang Xiao said to the surrounding. Everyone be safe. One by one. The lunchbox was handed to Song Mian Yang. Wife, take it. I'll give the fans an autograph. Good. Looking at Chang Xiao's eyes, Song Mianian blushed. Wow, this look in Xiao Xiao's eyes. So envious of Mrs. Xiao. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Who isn't? Have you guys noticed that Mrs. Xiao is also pretty. It's almost like a man and a woman. The two of them really match. No wonder my brother Xiao likes it. Signatures. Ten minutes later. Cheng Xiao signed one by one. Sorry everyone. We are now going in to deliver food to my mother-in-law. Please, can you give way? The fans were still relatively sensible and automatically made way. Watching a family of six enter the hospital hall. Several fans gathered together. A face of envy. I really envy Mrs. Xiao. Having such a handsome and excellent husband. You can't be envious. How good looking is the person's object? You saw that? I'm not blind. Can't you tell from the eyes and nose? She's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and those four babies, they're all good looking. I like them. Treating his mother-in-law well too. Actually came to deliver the food in person. His cooking must be very good too, right? Chang Xiao and his wife entered the ward with the child without any problems. The nurse was putting on a bottle and saw them coming and said, The family is here? After the doctor's examination. There is nothing wrong with MS. Song Qin anymore. She can be discharged tomorrow. Tomorrow? Song Mianyang froze for a moment. Yes. First thing in the morning tomorrow you guys can go and do the discharge formalities. The nurse laughed after saying that. Song Mianyan smiled and hurriedly put her lunchbox on the table. Mom, we brought you food. Chang Xiao made it with his own hands and brought you some specially. As soon as the lunchbox was opened, the rich fragrance wafted out. And before long, the entire ward was filled with the scent. Song Qin took a bite. Hmm. Still this tastes good. Xiao Chang's cooking seems to have grown again. At this time, Auntie Nurse came in with a broom to sweep the floor. What smells so good? 
Turning her eyes, Song Qin was sitting on the bed eating. She smiled and asked, What are you eating, so fragrant? This, ah, uh, it's the rice my son-in-law brought me. Do you want to taste it? It's delicious. Song Qin laughed, saying this, the caretaker aunt felt a little hungry. She hadn't eaten lunch until now when she was busy, smelling the aroma in the ward. Her appetite widened. However, this was brought by someone's son-in-law, so how could she be embarrassed? So she shook her head. No need. This is what your son-in-law brought for you, so I won't snatch food from a patient like you. After saying that, she glanced at Cheng Xiao, not realizing that this young man's cooking skills are still so good. Well, not bad. If he wasn't already married, he would want to introduce him to a good girl. After a meal, Song Qin felt a lot better in spirit and was energized to chat. Tomorrow I will be discharged from the hospital. Let's leave our contact information. If we are close, let's meet for a square dance. Song Qin smiled and said to the caregiver aunt, Aunties of this age all like square dancing this kind of activity. The caregiver aunt heard, came to be interested, can ah. So, the two left each other's phone numbers for easy contact. The corners of Song Nian Nian's mouth twitched. Mom this is making friends everywhere. After staying at the hospital for a while, Song Mianian said, Hubby, let's leave me here to take care of mom tonight. You take the kids back first. It's okay child. I've got this. Auntie nurse hurriedly said, after charging people's money, there was no reason to let them serve themselves. Song Mianian shook her head and said in a warm voice, Auntie, I just want to accompany my mom. That's fine. Auntie nurse's heart softened. She also envied Song Qin for having such a filial daughter. In the evening, Cheng Xiao took the babies back. At night, several children are a bit uncomfortable without their mother. Debeo is very dependent on Song Mianian, humming until midnight before falling asleep. Cheng Xiao laid down on the bed and opened his cell phone to chat with Song Mianian for a while. Tonight, it is just right for the second cleansing. After ending the chat, Cheng Xiao turned off the lights, and then silently opened the scouring of the sinews in marrow. Not long after, it felt like the body was heating up. The kind of heat that comes from within the body. Without realizing it, he fell asleep, waking up on another day. As he expected, he was again covered in dirt that had been expelled from his pores. It was sour and smelly. It was black and attached to the skin all over his body, even on his face. Had so many toxins piled up in his body in just such a short period of time? This smell, it's really sour and a bit on the nose. Hurrying to get up from the bed, he headed for the washroom. Chapter 267, Hiring a Babysitter. After taking a shower, drying off, Standing in front of the mirror, looking at myself in the mirror, compared to yesterday, it can't be said that it has changed much, but it just changed. The skin became better than before, and the eyesight was even better. There were also changes in every aspect. The whole person was now described in four words. Refreshed, the body was light and airy. Not bad. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, very satisfied with the current state, coming to the living room and sitting down. For treasures kept staring at him, his little eyes never moving away as if saying, how has daddy changed? What's wrong for treasures? Staring at your dad like that. Cheng Xiao touched her little head and laughed. Daddy, cuddle. For treasures stretched out her arms for a hug. Cheng Xiao hugged her with his eyes full of favor. All right, dad goes to get you food. You guys play by yourselves first. After feeding the children food, we should go pick up mom and grandma. In the hospital, Song Mianian had already completed the discharge procedures, packed up the hospital bed and sat in the ward waiting for Cheng Xiao to come over. Song Qin had already left her contact information with the caregiver aunt, and coincidentally, they were just a few kilometers away, so they could always meet up for a square dance. Chang Xiao brought the children. A night without seeing, Song Mianian wanted to die a few babies, hugged over one by one kiss. Debeo is the most dependent on Song Mianian, hugging not to let go. In his mouth, he shouted mommy, and he skimmed his mouth in frustration. Song Mianian was instantly distressed and touched his little head. Okay, okay. Mom will be gone for one night. Look at you. Like a man? I don't know if Debeo understood. He quickly stopped skimming his lips, but his little eyes still carried a small grievance. Song Mianian scraped his little nose, still aggrieved? Mian Mian, are you done packing? Let's go home. Aha. Uh -huh. The family returned to the villa. During dinner, Song Qin suddenly spoke up. Xiao Chang. Mian Mian, today, there's something I want to say to you. What kind of words? Mom, go ahead. Chang Xiao said. Song Qin hesitated and said, I plan to move out. What? Mom, what are you saying? Move out for what? Song Mian Mian stood up from the sofa in a flash. She couldn't believe it. Isn't it fine here? As you all know, I'm from the older generation, and I'm not used to living in this kind of big villa, and I don't have anyone to talk to. Song Qin sighed. Song Mian Yang's brows wrinkled. 
Mom moving out, she was not too agreeable. She was afraid that what happened this time would happen. After all, if she wasn't around the elderly, she might not take good care of her sometimes. Thinking about it all gave her a pang of fear. If anything happened, she would never forgive herself for the rest of her life. Letting mom out of sight again, she couldn't do it. Not without someone to watch over her. Mom, it's okay if you want to move out. Let's stay with you, okay? Song Mianyang said. Song Qin continued to sigh. I'm not a child. Where do I need my children to accompany me every day? Isn't this disturbing your life as a couple? Mom, I can promise you anything. Just not this. Song Mianyang shook her head. A face of seriousness. Cheng Xiao patted Song Mianyan's shoulder at this time. Wife, since this is mom's own decision, let's respect the old man's wishes. Song Mianyan was incredulous. Hubby, do you know what you're saying? If this incident happens again, I really won't be able to forgive myself. Previously, she had just given birth to her baby mama and still went out to work already making her feel guilty. Wife, think about it. Mom is getting older every day. We have to respect the elderly too. Chang Xiao said, whispering in her ear. Let's hire a competent nanny to take care of mom. One or two. And keep us posted on mom's health. When Song Myanian heard this, it seemed a bit reasonable. Seeing mom's appearance, it is unlikely that she will stay in the villa to continue to live. It's not as if the old man's wish was granted. But after that, it's just a matter of hiring a nanny. Seeing that she agreed, the corner of Chang Zhao's mouth rose. Mian Mian, you, before she could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Song Myanian. Mom, Chang Xiao is right. Since you want to go, I respect you. With this sudden change in attitude, Song Qin froze and didn't react for a moment. Just now, she was strongly against it, but this suddenly agreed? What's the situation? Tomorrow I'll have Chang Xiao find you a suitable house in the neighborhood. Before going to bed, Song Qin pulled Chang Xiao to one side, Xiao Chang, why do I feel that Mian Mian is not quite right? Is she angry? No, she probably figured it out. Chang Xiao smiled. So, on another day, Song Mian Mian took the initiative to look for a house. Several nearby neighborhoods were not bad, both in terms of environment and foot traffic. The main thing was that the prices were not bad. It was very suitable for the elderly to live in. Song Qin increasingly felt that something was wrong until she determined to rent it and learned a piece of news. Daughter and son-in-law hired a nanny for her, specialized in serving her food and clothing. She said how this girl so quickly agreed. So this is the backstroke. Directly recruited a nanny. You girl, I'm not old and can't move. I don't need to hire a nanny. You hurry up and return it to the housekeeping company side. It's not too late. Mom, already paid for half a year. The contract was signed. The deposit can't be returned. Song Myanian shrugged. Didn't you say you wanted to rent your own room? Hiring a nanny for you will also keep you company. Although hiring a nanny is expensive. It's worth it for mom. Song Qin sighed. All right then. Xiao Chang, do you know about this too? You, why don't you stop her from fooling around? She looked at Chang Xiao and said helplessly. Mom, you also know Mian Mian's temperament. Once she decides something, Ten Oxen can't pull it back. How could Song Qin not understand her own daughter? And while her heart ached for the money, she felt relieved at the same time. Her daughter knew that she was heartbroken. And that was enough. Let's go. Mom, take you to see the house. Song Myanian smiled and took Song Qin's arm. The family headed to the rented neighborhood. The house Chang Xiao and his wife had already looked at. Song Qin also just looked through the photos and did not personally go to the scene. Originally Chang Xiao is intended to buy. Think about it. This kind of house is estimated to live in the residence will not live. And Song Myanian discussed. Did not buy. To the neighborhood. This is an old neighborhood built 10 years ago. The neighborhood walkway. Back and forth are old people pushing the child or take the child for a walk. Next to the school is a middle school. It was what was commonly known as the school district. It's very busy. The rent is almost around 10,000 a month. Mom, what do you think of this place? Song Mian asked. Song Qin looked around. Then nodded. Well, it's not bad. Where there were children, there was life. Don't you want to square dance? Outside the neighborhood. There's a square nearby. Or else you can go take a look later? It was now evening, when the big moms were out and about. Chapter 268, Jade. Alright, let's go check out the house first. Song Qin smiled and nodded. This place she quite liked. There were flowers, water and trees, and the scenery in the distance was also very good. Although it wasn't as good as the previous Jiang Qing Ming Yuan, it was fine. After all, the price is placed here. Smoothly arrived in front of the unit building. Mom, this is the building. It's okay, right? Pretty good, pretty good. Go inside and take the elevator to the upper floors. Fifth floor. The room Chang Xiao and Song Mianyang had deliberately looked at it. 
all of it was finely decorated. The turnkey kind. The furniture and appliances and everything was complete. 80 square meters or so. One old man plus a nanny is enough to live. Click. The door was opened. Several people walked in. Song Myanian smiled. Mom, how is it? Do you see if you like it? Song Chin looked around. Then, with a smile, nodded. Well, it's not bad. I like it. The house was not big, and she had enough to live in. It's good that you like it. If you don't want to live there anymore, you can call with me and Neon Neon. We'll take you back. Cheng Xiao smiled and said. The children were all curious when they saw the new house. Cheng Xiao took them down from the stroller and put them on the ground to run by themselves. This put down a few little guys more active. Running around in the house. This previous tenant should have children. The living room placed a lot of toys. Quite new. The babies may know that they are not their own. One did not move. Good behavior. Song Myanian covered her mouth and snickered. The little ones are quite worrying. Knowing that they are not theirs, they do not touch. The house was finalized. Song Chin said. It's getting late. You guys, go back first. I'm afraid it'll get dark later. Mom, we've already called. The nanny will come over later. Uh, okay. The couple left with the child. This time of the year was the most crowded. A bunch of old ladies came out to walk with their grandchildren. And as soon as the quadruplets appeared, they attracted a lot of attention. Especially them. I oh, these kids are really good looking. That's not true. These little eyes. Watery. Are these quadruplets? The children's mom is really great. The key is that they are all so good looking. That's right. Suddenly I don't think my grandson smells good anymore. Ha ha ha. Song Yang smiled slightly. Any mother likes to hear her own child being praised. Walking out of the neighborhood. The two of them were about to drive back when a loud noise came from one of the streets next to them. Attracting Cheng Zhao's attention. The eyes looked over there. Only to see that a group of men were gathered in front of a stall. Making a lot of noise. I think the stone has a good color. It should be able to open jade. Bullshit. The brighter the color of the outer skin, the less it will work. Right? What kind of jade is it? What do you know? A friend of mine chose this kind of stone and sold it for tens of thousands of dollars. Making a huge profit. You're just blowing it. I didn't blow it. A few people were arguing and arguing and arguing. All of them felt that they had a point. Jade. One hundred dollars a piece. Ah. Children and men. Walk by don't miss it. The boss was yelling. At this time. Someone pulled out money. Boss, I'll take a piece. Then, those so-called know-it-alls started to bleep. Young man, I think this one will surely open up a good one. I suggest you buy this one. Fart, don't mislead the young man. I think this one will open up. The young man chose and chose, and finally chose something else. Boss, can you cut it open for me? The young man said. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. There are still stalls selling jade here? Interesting. Hubby, what are you looking at? Song Myanian asked as she put the children in the car and fastened the seatbelts one by one. Jade. Chang Xiao smiled. Honey, wait for me in the car. I'll go take a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianyang nodded. Chang Xiao lifted his steps towards the jade stall. The boss was still yelling for people to buy it. One hundred dollars a piece. Most of them were just people watching. Some of them didn't know the business at all and were there to guide them blindly. The reason why they don't buy is that they are not sure if the item is good or not and they don't want to waste the money. If you open out a waste, a hundred dollars will be blind. Therefore, it was more enjoyable to watch others drive. The boss waved his hand and said, don't get in the way if you don't buy, at least let the other customers come over. As he was saying this, Chang Xiao had already squeezed his way through the crowd to the front. An old man had already handed over a hundred dollars, then carefully selected and chose a piece with a darker color. Chang Xiao closed his eyes for a few seconds and opened the eye of perspective. The old man took this piece as indeed jade, only a little broken. The color is not very good. Take out to sell is estimated to be worth more than a hundred dollars. At this time, the sight of the eater said, Master eyes are good ah, I think this is definitely a good jade. I also think it is. That's not necessarily true. Who knows when you can't see it. The boss stroked his beard, thinking that he was particularly knowledgeable and didn't need a bunch of people to say so. He was about to ask the boss to cut the stone. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly and spoke. Master. This stone is not good. You will regret buying it. When these words came out, they immediately attracted the attention of a bunch of people. Once they saw that it was a young man, they immediately scoffed. Young man, people Monkler have eaten more salt than you've eaten. Why are you biting the bullet and saying you can't produce good jade? That's right. What does a young man know? What does a young man know? Do you know as much as us old timers do? The old man was not happy to be denied. He personally chose the jade and was told that it was not good by a young kid. No one would feel good. He was still partial to this piece. Boss, cut this one. Okay. The boss hurriedly took it and cut it. 
Everyone watched with anticipation, especially the boss. If a good thing could be opened, it would be a big profit. Chang Xiao had his arms around his chest, with an expression of watching the show. If this could open a good jade, it would be a big problem with the system. He just swept a glance. In this pile of stones, there are only two pieces of color is not bad. Worth a little money, the rest are all garbage. This worth a little money is only worth $10,000. Don't even think about it. Roadside stalls this is a figure of fun. Who really think can open a good jade to ah? The stalls sold these stones. That are from the second hand market or other places into the amount of wholesale to the remnants. Nothing. Even if there is a good that is luck against the sky. It's just a way to cheat the common people. Anyway, $100 for them does not hurt. Did not open out so. But the vendor made a lot of money. For $100, 10 is a thousand. Wholesale one is only about a dollar. Think about how much money was made in between. The boss used a cutter to slice the jade. And when they saw what was inside, there was no sound at once. Chapter 269, Losing a Lot of Money. Jade is indeed jade, but on the surface is covered with all kinds of textures, densely packed, at a glance. It is broken beyond recognition. It is not valuable at all. Cut. I thought I could really open it. I looked at it for nothing. Me too. Really disappointed ah. Did that kid really know what he was doing? Let him be right. This jade is really not good. Not only is it bad, this is broken. I guess it is not broken next to the place can sell some money. Color garbage. $100 at most. Monkler outlet store not lose money. Just now that kid that is a blind cat touched dead rats. Randomly guessed. Chang Xiao had a smile on his face as he watched from there. The old man's face had swollen into a pig's liver color. Unsightly. I didn't expect to really be hit by this brat. This piece of jade cannot be bought. He thought he was quite knowledgeable. But he didn't expect to make a big scandal. His face was lost. Young man. How did you see that this piece of jade doesn't work? The old man asked curiously. Chang Xiao smiled. It's easy to see. You chose this one. The surface is indeed okay. But there is a big problem in the middle. The old master sighed and left with the already cut jade. Immediately after. Another person came over to buy it. Chang Xiao was no longer interested in looking at it and was ready to leave. At this time, the young man who bought the jade stone voiced out, Buddy, don't go yet. Help me see which one is worth choosing. At this time, a group of onlookers were not happy. This young man, you don't listen to what we say. You have to listen to him. You can't cry if the cut is bad later. Monklers, just now you also said that the bosses will surely be good. The result? Besides, it's only a hundred dollars. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. A few Monkler jackets were said to be red in the face. Indeed. Just now they said good but prescribed bad. After a while, they said, just now he must be a blind cat bumped into a dead rat. Just happened to hit the nail on the head. I'll pay out of my own pocket and believe whoever I want. The young man sneered. Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow. A bit temperamental. Dude, which one do you think is better for me to choose? The young man looked at Chang Xiao and immediately changed to a smiling face. Are you sure you want me to show you? If you don't get a good one, it's fine. It's only a hundred dollars. Just for fun. Chang Xiao took a random one out of the jade pile. This one. The outside looks a bit like a pebble. The outside color is too conspicuous. This kind of no matter who. At first glance will feel that it is fake. The young man felt the same way. However, without saying anything, he frowned slightly. Is this dude sure this is the one? Why do you think he picked it at random? It was a bit of an unreliable rush. Dude. Are you sure? Sure. Okay then. Boss. Cut this up for me. Okay. Everyone lost interest. This definitely can't be opened. No. Absolutely can't be opened. Because it's simply impossible. What do you guys think? Can it be opened? Everyone discussed and speculated. Gross. It can't be opened out at all. I can vouch for it with my neck. I also think it's unlikely. On the outside of this color. And this shape. Open a fart of jade. At most a piece of broken stone. It's useless. Just watch if you don't believe me. Cheng Xiao is not panicked. The young man is also a little suspicious. Thinking about a hundred dollars to buy. But also do not feel distressed. If you can't open it. You can't open it. Originally he was planning to open a jade stone and then make a jade bracelet or jade ring for his girlfriend as a birthday gift. How meaningful is this kind of personal selection? The boss used a cutting machine to cut the jade. When the crowd looked at the color inside. They all froze in place. And it took a while before they could react. It was green without any cracks, and the color was exceptionally good, or at least too much better than before. Jesus, it should be worth a lot of money. The one who had just been beeping incessantly, instantly shut up and froze. What's going on? It really opened a jade. According to reason, this kind of how can not open such a good jade ah. This young man, 
in the end how to see it, he is also too sharp-eyed, right? The boss is heart-thumped, a big loss. This piece of jade, so sold, 10, 000 dollars is still worth it. The color is so good. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's a big loss. The young man instantly thinks highly of Chang Xiao. Awesome. Highly skilled. He can tell if it's a good jade or not with a single glance. That's awesome. I've earned a lot of money. Chang Xiao exited the crowd. Toward the direction of the car. This kind of place. Just look at it. No fun. If you want to go, you have to go to a bigger place to be interesting. Looking at Chang Xiao's back, the crowd talked. This young man is great. He can tell at a glance. He can't be the son of some gambling god, right? Or maybe it's that great god of gambling with such a sharp eye. We all think it's impossible, but he thinks it's possible. We're not as good as a young lad here. Wait, why do I think this young man looks so familiar? I was just looking at the jade. It's true if you say so. I remember. A while ago my son took me to a movie. This young man kind of looks like the star on that movie. You remember this clearly. That's nonsense. I'm over 40, not 80 years old. The owner lost a lot of money and was ready to close the stall without tears, but he didn't want the treasure to be bought again. He thought that the pile was full of defective goods, but it turned out that there were still treasures. How in the world did this young man see it? He was curious. However, the person had already left, or else he would have really wanted to ask for his help to look at it again. Boss, this is leaving? The crowd froze. They didn't expect the stall to leave after only an hour. It's too fast. Yeah, it's almost dark. Gotta go home. Isn't it still dark? I want to buy another piece. Me too. The boss waved his hand. No more selling. No more selling. You guys go back. I have to pack up and go back. If he sold it again, if he opened another good one, he would really lose a lot of money. He won't do a loss-making deal. Packing up and packing up. Before he had time to go, he was cut off and stopped by the city police. Who allowed you to set up a stall here? The city police asked in a stern voice. Everyone took a look at the situation and quickly dispersed going back to their own homes, comrade city manager, I'm just doing a little business here, so I'm leaving, Humph. small business, I think you're just scamming, the city management doesn't care, this kind of jade cutting behavior, although a willingness to fight is not a crime, but it is also a scam, using the front of opening the jade stone to get people to pay for it, jade store does not matter, after all, it is formal, this kind of small vendors, so set up a stall is very affect the public order, moreover, Things are mostly adulterated. This location, don't you know that you can't set up a stall? Still setting up here. Jade, turn it in. Chapter 270, then I won't eat dinner. The two words handed over made the boss face turn white. Turning all of them in. How much money would this be a loss? Although he was wholesaling at a price of $1 a piece. But if these are turned in, not only do they not make any profit, but they are also upside down. Not to mention the jade in here. As far as the cost is concerned, they are losing money. That would be a real big loss. Comrade city police, this is my small business ah, really have no other intentions. You can't confiscate my goods ah, please. City management is basically for the people's service, but also will not be favoritism. Know that this stall owner set up the wrong position, but also condone. In the future there will be. Those vendors do not all get here to set up. Jade cannot be turned in. You have to find, and to ensure that they will not come back here to set up stalls in the future. In the end, he was fined $200. The matter is closed. On the road. Hubby, what were you doing just now? In the car. Song Mian Yang sat in the passenger side and asked curiously. A bunch of people gathered there just to look at the jade? Chang Xiao told what had just happened. So that's it. What's there to see? Roadside stalls are basically crooks. But it can't stop people from wanting to find a treasure. $100. In case you win a good jade you'll make a lot of money. Chang Xiao smiled slightly. Cut. These things are just paying IQ tax. Husband, you won't believe it too, right? It's also too easy to be fooled. She seems to have caught her husband's only one flaw at once, but didn't realize. You guess? The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth hooked. Che, forget it if you don't say. I don't care to know. She felt that Chang Xiao must have believed it. That's why he was embarrassed to say it. Guess, guess a ball ah. Wife, what do you think? Chang Xiao turned his head to look at her and said with a smile. Humph, you definitely believe it. Chang Xiao smiled without saying anything. Soon after arriving home and settling the baby down, Chang Xiao went to cook, taking advantage of the child playing in the living room. Song Nian Nian consciously came over to help and wash the dishes. Wife, has it been a while since you've cooked? Today you'll try. Ha, huh? I can't. Song Mianian's first reaction was to refuse. Didn't it work last time? It'll work this time as well. You don't look at how long it's been since I've been down. It definitely won't work. 
How do you know it won't work if you don't try? Song Menyang embarrassed. If she was fine on her own, just messing around. Today Chang Xiao was right next to her. It was too easy to make a fool of herself. The slightest movement was not standardized. He would definitely laugh at her. Or that kind of merciless ridicule. No no no. She can't just lose face in front of him like this. I'm not doing it anyway. You just do it. I'll teach you if you don't know how. Then I won't eat dinner. Song Mianian grunted. Killer. Chang Xiao was helpless and compromised. Okay, okay, I'll do it if I do it. Song Mianian went out to coax the child. Chang Xiao smiled and fried a few dishes, followed by getting some food for the baby. While eating, Song Mianian suddenly said, Hubby, tomorrow Saturday, I want to invite Mr. Wang and the others over for dinner. And by the way, I'll give them the gifts I brought back. That's fine. You don't need to ask me about this kind of thing in the future. Just make your own decisions. Chang Xiao said. Good. In the evening, Song Mianian contacted Mr. Wang and the others. And showed pictures of traveling and buying gifts. Asked them if they were coming. Teacher Wang was the first to agree to come. So she was again told off by Teacher Li. Can't a girl's family be more reserved? Teacher Song, I'm so envious of you. You can go traveling. Yeah, real name envy. Facts prove how important it is to have a good husband. The next day, the teachers came in the morning. Song Mianian had only prepared gifts for a few of the more familiar teachers. So she just notified Mr. Wang and the girls. As soon as they entered, Teacher Song, it's been a long time. I really missed you. As soon as Teacher Wang arrived, she gave a hug, pouncing on Song Mianian and catching her off guard. I see you are mostly thinking about food, right? Come to think of it, it's been a long time since I've eaten Chang Zhao's cooking. No way. Teacher Wang blushed a little. Teacher Li this robbing shoots ah. A few people sat on the sofa and exchanged pleasantries. Teacher Song, did you take any nice pictures? I want to take a look. Teacher Wang leaned over. Song Mianyang tapped on her cell phone album, and there were quite a few photos she had taken. Half of them were landscapes. Half of them were of the baby in Chang Shao. She was even bold enough to take pictures in the haunted house. And she even took a picture of a white-faced ah piao. Wow. Good looking ah here. Is this the Maldives? I've never even been there. So envious. Yes, the baby and the scenery are so well matched. Good looking. And this photo, the four treasures why look so fat Lou. Fleshy, so cute ah. I like it so much. What should I do? M.S. Wang starry-eyed. Teacher Song, really envy you ah. Married a good husband. Rich and so good to you. But also can go out at any time to travel. That's right. I suddenly believe in fate. Everything is fate. Maldives is so beautiful. When will we go there once too? Teacher Song looked at Teacher Lee and the others. Teacher Lee gave her a blank look. No money. A round trip airfare out of the country and accommodation is quite a lot of money. It would be better to buy more food and clothes for her son. Teacher Meng Yin shrugged. Don't look at me. I don't have any money either. Unless you treat me. Teacher Song instantly embarrassed her face. How can I have money? You're still going if you don't have money. Teacher Lee's trio spoke in unison. The four of them were the only ones here today. Alas. Keep looking at the photos and satisfy my heart to go to the Maldives. Teacher Wang drooped her face and sighed. Song Mianyang flipped through the photos. Flipping and flipping to the white-faced Ah Piao's, which suddenly appeared on the screen. Teacher Wang saw it, froze for a moment, and then, screamed in terror, bouncing straight up from the sofa. Ghost Ah. How? How could there be Ah Piao? Next to Mr. Lee and the others. They still thought what was wrong. A look at the photo were shocked. Seeing their reaction, Song Mianian stifled her laughter and explained to them the reason for the photo. Teacher Song, you're really bold. You actually dared to go to a haunted house. Or such a scary one. No, it was a friend of mine who insisted on dragging me there. And as a result, she was so scared that she couldn't stand it. Or I dragged her out. Song Mianian let out a bitter laugh. Thinking about Jennifer's scared fried look, it made her want to laugh. This guy, so scared and still dragged her out. Teacher Song, I'll give you two words. Awesome. Teacher Wang admired. At this time, she suddenly remembered something and said with a smile. Teacher Song, you said you bought us gifts. Let me see. A little excited. Chang Xiao was so rich. What he bought definitely wouldn't be bad. She was kinda looking forward to it. Song Mianian let out an awe and then remembered. I'll go get it for you. Seeing Song Mianian heading towards the room, Teacher Li glared at Teacher Wang. Coming up here and asking for a gift. Can't you be more reserved? Chapter 271, I have a favor to ask you. Hey, hey, I wouldn't be me if I was reserved. M.S. Wang had it this girl has always been like this expression. Teacher Li was completely helpless against her. The other two had gotten used to it and weren't surprised. Soon, 
Song Mianian took out the box with the gift from the bedroom. TSK. This box, how much must it be? Teacher Song is too good to us too. MS. Wang's eyes lit up. She thought it was just some small gifts, but she didn't expect MS. Song to be so generous. Song Mianian put the box on the ground and slowly opened it. The gifts in the box came into view. MS. Wang. This is for you. Song Mianian handed over two gift boxes of different sizes. These two are both for me? Teacher Wang was flattered. Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianian smiled and nodded. Teacher Wang was a foodie. So she deliberately brought some food unique to the Maldives. Of course, just bringing food would be a bit insufficient. And by the way, she bought another bracelet. Put it in the gift box. I'm going to take a look to go. Mr. Wang took the box and ran away like a child. Before long, she made ecstatic noises and those who didn't know thought that a gold had been opened. Song Yanyang took out two more gift boxes and handed them to Teacher Li. Immediately after that, she took out another one. This one is for your son. He'll love it. Teacher Li was surprised and said, there would be no need to buy it for your child. They can't use anything. I didn't realize that Teacher Song still remembered her family's son. After giving it to Teacher Li, followed by Teacher Meng Yen, Teacher Rong, Teacher Song, I like this gift too much. Teacher Wang couldn't stop smiling. She didn't expect Teacher Song to remember them after a trip out on a trip. It's good if you like it. These she had bought according to their preferences. Like it then she would definitely like it. After the gifts were handed out, Song Mianian put away the boxes and pushed them into the utility room. Teacher Song, isn't the Maldives especially fun? I want to go more and more now. Just looking at the photos, Teacher Wang had an urge to go tomorrow. However, poverty limited her. To go, she would need to prepare at least a few tens of thousands of dollars. Where would she get a few tens of thousands of dollars at a moment's notice? She couldn't possibly ask her parents for it. She can't ask her parents for it. She's already a grown-up, so she can't afford it. Alas, it is better to endure it. First save money, and then go. The airfare for a trip abroad will cost tens of thousands of dollars for a round trip. Now that I think about it, I really envy Song Myanian more and more. The people than the people really angry people. When will she also meet such a good man ah? Suddenly the gift in her hand didn't smell good anymore. It's okay, it's just average. It's not as good as Sonya. HM, is it? Teacher Song, I'm not well read. Don't lie to me. I'll believe it. I can still lie to you. There's a C anyway. What's the difference? Teacher Wang. Sister, that's a big difference. The terroir is different in every way. Lunch time. Teacher Wang is the first to be seated like the previous times. Looking at Chang Xiao bringing over a plate of dishes with a great aroma. She can't help but have her eyes light up. Teacher Li gave her a look without a good mood. At least go to the kitchen and help serve the dishes. You know how to dally with food and drink. Oh, soon, the dishes were served, and only then did a few people sit down, clipped a piece of sweet and sour fish and put it in their mouths. The meat was tender, the flavor was delicious, and the aftertaste was endless. In short, it was delicious. While eating, at this time, Teacher Li, who was eating at the side, suddenly spoke. Chang Xiao, are you free in the next two days? After asking, her face was a bit odd not knowing whether to speak or not. After all, this matter was kinda embarrassing. It wasn't the thing itself that was awkward. It was the person. What's wrong? Chang Xiao moved and raised his head, seeing that she was still a bit hesitant. He shrugged and said, Nothing, just say it straight. Then I'll be straightforward. It's like this. There's something I want to ask you for. Specifically, it's me who wants to ask you for Teacher Zhou. Teacher Zhou? Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. Wasn't Teacher Zhou the teacher who had been upset in his heart because he was with Song Mian Mian? Why was he suddenly thinking of looking for him? And in a please way, please me, what is it? The thing is like this, as you know, Mr. Zhou usually teaches math. At the same time, he's also the school's piano teacher. Recently, he got into a bet with a friend who also teaches piano. The two of them competed to see who teaches a better student. And it even got to the point of letting his own student participate in a piano competition. And then there was a ruckus. Teacher Joe knew that his student was no match for his friend's student, and agreed to do so because of impulse, and the good-faced man simply didn't have the face to retract what he had said before. This is called bravado. Good face. Know that ability but also show off. Chang Xiao is speechless. This can also bet. Do not know how many kilograms he is? He felt that to the extent that Mr. Joe was good at saving face, he would never come over to beg him. M.S. Lee and the others probably can't see past it. It just so happened to occur to him that Chang Xia knew the piano and was previously a student of Qingzhou University, so he was very suitable to go and compete. It was just a matter of going to compete with that person's students and then entering a competition. Mr. Zhou's friend was from another university. 
that university could be said to have produced many piano geniuses, it's awesome, none of the ones that Mr. Joe taught could hold their own, and those that did had already graduated, what do you think, if you don't want to go we won't force you, we just came over to ask, nothing else, teacher Li hurriedly said, Song Nianyi subconsciously looked at Cheng Xiao, this help or not has to be Cheng Xiao himself to make the decision, she respected him, although teacher Zhou this always feel quite embarrassed, but at least a school, Cheng Xiao is a former student who has graduated, direct refusal, inevitably seems a little too insensitive, she thinks so, Cheng Xiao also thinks so, directly rejected, some too unkind, in order not to give his wife a bad reputation, he will make a run for it, Cheng Xiao a Cheng Xiao, why are you so good, hubby, what do you think, it's fine if you don't want to go, don't force it, Song Mianyang said, teacherly several people stopped eating, the air quieted down and they all looked at Cheng Xiao with an expectant face, the matter of Cheng Xiao playing the piano, they had read the report at the beginning and knew that only he could be competent to go to the competition, and it was simply impossible for anyone else to do so, moreover, he can go under his real name, he used to be a student of Qingzhou University, this point is not inconsistent, if people wanted to find faults, they wouldn't be able to, moreover, Cheng Zhao's traffic could also bring a wave of heat to the school, attracting more outstanding students to come, Cheng Xiao took a bite of the stewed eggplant and faintly said, yes, he suddenly agreed, and several people were still a bit unresponsive, and only after a while did they look at each other, Cheng Xiao agreed, teacher Li was instantly ecstatic, chapter 272, the prideful four treasures, then this is considered a promise from you, yes, since the teachers have personally asked, how can I refuse, Cheng Xiao smiled slightly. That's great. I'll go tell Mr. Joe the good news later. Teacher Li smiled. A meal was finished. Teacher Li went to the living room to make a phone call, while Mang Yan and Teacher Ron went to help clean up the dishes and wash them. Teacher Zhou, let me tell you something to be happy about. Mr. Cheng Xiao has agreed to go to the competition. Teacher Zhou, on the other end of the phone, was still a bit confused. What Cheng Xiao agreed, he still didn't understand what was going on. Teacher Li explained the matter somewhat awkwardly. You guys actually went to him. Teacher Zhou's eyes widened. He completely didn't expect these few people to go to Chang Xiao. This matter hadn't even crossed his mind. Because of Song Nian Nian's matter, he and Chang Xiao had already formed a bond, and it was bound to be awkward to meet. I have my own way. There's no need to go looking for others. Teacher Zhou helplessly held his forehead. There is a way? What way? It's not that I'm talking about you. Teacher Zhou, that thing has been over for so long. People don't care, what do you think you care about? Besides, just now Chang Xiao has agreed, you want me to go and say no? How can I explain to people? This man is so petty, the couple did not say anything, he is here arrogant. Chang Xiao can promise is very good, do you still want to give him Joe Xin to kneel down and apologize? The competition is what you promised, the bull is also what you blew, now you have to go even if you bite your teeth. Teacher Li didn't have the good sense to say, it was so hard for her to convince Chang Xiao. But it turned out that this guy was reluctant. Then didn't she say so much for nothing? Really? What a big deal. Making it seem like there is a father killing feud. Chang Xiao didn't steal his girlfriend and didn't offend him. Moreover, they knew each other before they entered the school. This point cannot be compared. Another thing is that Chang Xiao is excellent, rich, and handsome. A blind man would probably choose Chang Xiao. This really isn't undermining Teacher Zhou. It's the truth. Teacher Zhou also hates his own broken mouth. Why bet? just because of a provocation, now what can be done, what should we do now, should we really let Chang Xiao go, at this time, he suddenly remembered something, his face full of doubt, Mr. Li, when did Chang Xiao learn piano, I remember that he hasn't taken piano lessons in the four years he's been in school, he hadn't reacted to what teacher Li had been saying just now, and it was only this time that he felt something was wrong, can't people learn in their free time, really, he can be much better than those students in school, Teacher Li had a very high opinion of Cheng Xiao. If you still mind, I'll go talk to him and you figure it out yourself. With that, Teacher Li hung up the phone. Since he was ungrateful, if he didn't hang up at this time, it would be better to wait. However, he did not expect to receive a message just after hanging WeChat. Okay, let him come. Teacher Zhou compromised. He truly had no other way left. At this time, Teacher Meng Yan and the girls had already come out from the kitchen after being busy. How's it going? Teacher Wang asked curiously. They were still clear about Teacher Zhou's foul temper and would definitely not just accept letting Chang Xiao compete. Teacher Li didn't know if he had succeeded in convincing that old fart. He agreed. Who else would he ask to go? In the end, he will only lose face. And the school will probably lose face with him. They are from the Academy of Arts. There are many excellent piano teachers. 
The students they teach are naturally excellent. You go to compare with the Academy of Arts. Is not looking for death is what? She didn't even have the heart to hit him. Really? Blind promise. If not Chang Xiao, this face is really lost. People will only laugh at you for being self-absorbed. It's fine if you agree, but I'm afraid that you won't. Teacher Meng Yan sighed. Chang Xiao came over at this time and asked, When are you going to compete? The competition hasn't been finalized yet. That meaning of Teacher Zhou is that he wants you to go and compete with the other side to see, to determine who's at a higher level. This would also determine whether it was worth going to the competition or not. If the two of them were equal, then they could go and try out. If Cheng Xiao was completely inferior to the other, then forget it, going would be a disgrace. This idea was realistic. Aha, Cheng Xiao didn't refuse, when? The sooner the better. Tomorrow is fine. After saying yes, to be honest, Teacher Rong was still a bit worried and looked at Song Mianyang. Is this really okay? Just rest assured. Song Mianyan smiled faintly. If her husband wasn't able to do it, there was really no one in the younger generation who could. In the afternoon, the teachers had enough fun and were ready to leave. And M.S. Wang was still a little reluctant to let go of the babies, especially four treasures. Four treasures? Auntie has to go back oh, I'll come back to see you some other day. Four treasures also just glanced at her and then looked away. High and cold ing, teacher Wang only felt heartbroken. Just now she was having so much fun, and then in the blink of an eye, she didn't look at her anymore. What an arrogant four treasures. After leaving, the couple closed the door. Hubby, you're really going. When she thought of teacher Zhou, she remembered that embarrassing incident and couldn't help but think about it. Since I promised, I have to go. It's fine. As long as you don't hit on my wife, everything is fine, said Song Mian Yang. Her face reddened, what are you talking about? People are at least a teacher. How can that be? Cheng Xiao rubbed Song Mian Mian's head and smiled without saying anything. Dad. Four treasures came over at this time and hugged Cheng Xiao's thigh. What's wrong four treasures? Cheng Xiao smoothly picked her up and scraped his little nose. Hush hush. Cheng Xiao was puzzled. Shush, what does it mean? It means peeing. Song Mian Yang awkwardly said, give it to me. Saying this, she carried four treasures to the restroom. This was still new to her and she didn't expect this child to memorize it so quickly. Not bad at all. Looking at the mother and daughter's backs, Cheng Xiao smiles gently, then carries the other three and goes to the piano room. Today, he chose a Beethoven Symphony of Fate. Beethoven's tunes are always so good. When he played it, I don't know why, but he was able to fully appreciate Beethoven's feelings at the time he created this piece. It was amazing. This should be added to him by the system, right? Having this kind of empathetic feeling was the only way to play this piece with more soul. When he was immersed in this atmosphere, Song Mianyang opened the door and saw the scene. At this moment, Chang Xiao seems to be a different person in her eyes. The appearance didn't change. What became was the emotion, a feeling that could not be described. He is really excellent ah, listening to it, she was mesmerized, a bit uncontrollable. The whole person immersed in this song. After the song was played, she still hadn't come back to her senses a bit, and stood frozen in place. Wife. How did I play? The corners of Chang Zhao's mouth rose. Chapter 273, you're teaching me things? That's good. Not bad. Song Mian Yang responded and nodded. Daddy, for treasures is so good. Chang Xiao kissed her little cheek, coming out of the piano room. Song Mian Yan suddenly said, Hubby, I think you can win the championship. Oh, so confident in your husband? Chang Xiao laughed lightly. Song Mian Yan blushed and didn't say anything. The confidence was definitely there. Sure as well as certain that Chang Xiao could win the championship. The day passed quickly and Chang Xiao drove off the next day. Song Mianian then stayed home alone with her child first. Xinzhou University. He hadn't been there since graduation. And looking at the familiar scenery on the road, Chang Xiao unconsciously reminisced about the past. When he first went to college, he knew nothing, had nothing, and was only poor. When he was free, he went to do part-time jobs, never thinking that after graduation he would lead such a life now. His children were the turning point of his destiny. His blessing. Chang Xiao is now a role model for those students at Qingzhou University. Even though he has graduated, he is still a hot mess in school. And there is no one who doesn't know him as a senior. What everyone remembers most are his movies. Enough movies to make him a god. The car was parked in the parking lot outside the school. And he wore a mask as he walked towards the door. Master Li, who was watching the door, didn't recognize him for a moment, glanced casually, and said indifferently, you can only come in with a student ID. Master Li, it's me. Chang Xiao took off his mask. Grandpa Li froze for a moment, then said in shock, it's you kid. Ouch. How did you change so much? I didn't even recognize you. Grandpa, maybe it's because I haven't seen you in a few months. That's why you think I've changed so much. 
That's also true. I heard that you, ah, are now a big star. Kid ah, mixed well. Grandpa Li patted Cheng Zhao's shoulder. Somewhat puzzled. Today you came to be? I'm here to look for Mr. Zhou. There's something to take care of. That's right. Come on in. After pulling a few words with Grand Master Li, Cheng Zhao excused himself and headed towards Teacher Li's their office. Along the way, the rate of return was overwhelming. Even though he was wearing a mask, he couldn't hide his handsomeness. So handsome. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, gosh. When did such a handsome handsome guy come to our school that I didn't know about? That's right. There's no news. No. Why do I think he looks so familiar? If you say so, it's true. A group of students were talking and looking at Chang Zhao's back getting farther and farther away. Buckle up. Cheng Xiao stood still at the office door and knocked on the door. Several teachers saw him and immediately revealed a smile. Come in. Teacher Zhou sits at the very back. His complexion is no longer as cold as before. After all, begging someone, the attitude has to be correct. Before Chang Xiao came, Teacher Li and the others had instructed him not to put on a face. That, Chang Xiao, is M.S. Song home alone with the child? Teacher Wang asked. Chang Xiao nodded. Ah uh, yeah. After casually chatting for a couple of sentences, at this time, Teacher Zhou got up and headed out. Chang Xiao, come over here for a moment. The two walked out of the office door. Apart from M.S. Wang and the others, the other few female teachers hurriedly gathered together to discuss. I have to say, after this Chang Xiao became a star, he's really different. He's gotten much more handsome. That's true. People's backgrounds were already very good. Being a star definitely requires packaging. It's only normal. It's rumored that this time, Mr. Joe is looking for him because he wants him to participate in the piano competition. Ah, uh, Chang Xiao knows piano? Don't be ridiculous. How is that possible? One of the female teachers only felt that it was a bit too far-fetched. There's nothing to be said about good acting, but this playing the piano is a technical job. Anyone can act in a play. A competition like the piano competition isn't something that anyone can participate in. I heard that Mr. Joe made a bet with someone, and when none of his place could go to participate, he recalled Cheng Xiao. Hearing this, everyone was stunned. What's the situation of this? Recalled on purpose? Is it hard to believe that Cheng Xiao really knows all this? That would be too much of a genius, right? Inside the piano room, a few students were sitting there chatting. Eh, have you guys heard? Our teacher Joe was provoked. What provoked? What's the situation? What did I miss? The souls of the students beside him asked three times, and the fire of gossip began to burn. No, it's just that a teacher from the next door art academy, who teaches piano, thinks his students are very good, so he wants to compete with Mr. Joe to see who teaches the better students, and it seems to have gotten to the point where he's going to go to a competition. Isn't this nonsense? Of course it's us. What are they? What are they so rampant about? Immediately, someone said, who are you looking down on? Another student said, Li Hong, you're the highest level among us. It's most suitable for you to go. Li Hong was still a little dejected. He felt that teacher Zhou would definitely choose him to go. Little did he know. At this moment, the door was opened and teacher Zhou walked in with Cheng Xiao. Teacher Zhou, you're here. A few students immediately stood up. Respectful. Aha. Uh -huh. Teacher Zhou nodded his head and carefully said what he wanted to say. Teacher Zhou, I think Li Hong is the most suitable candidate. He grew up learning the piano and still has a great talent for this area. I also think Li Hung is more suitable. Me too. Everyone strongly recommended Meng Li Hung. But to their surprise, Teacher Zhou swept them lightly. None of you can go. I already have a candidate here. Ah, uh, who? Everyone didn't react. Teacher Zhou pointed at Cheng Xiao. Cheng Xiao was also a student of our school before. A few people hadn't paid attention just now. But only now did they notice Cheng Xiao. That star Cheng Xiao, the boy god who was rumored by the girls to be a god, someone whispered. So he's Cheng Xiao. Ha, hey, not so good. Not just a movie, but also that group of girls who are obsessed. Mr. Zhou, if you want to find, you have to find someone who knows what he's doing, right? It's not like you can come to the competition just because you've learned a little bit. Some people were conspiratorial, thinking that this was completely unreasonable. That's right, Li Hong knows much more than him. He's the most suitable candidate. Teacher Joe's eyes narrowed. Are you guys teaching me things? Could he still shove an unknowledgeable white boy in? However, on second thought, it was normal for the students to have this kind of thought. Suddenly bringing someone back to go directly to the competition was unacceptable to anyone. And now that this was the case, it would be difficult to convince the public without proving it with strength. Teacher, we don't mean this. We are also worried for you. Who knows whether his level is good or not? Who knows if he's good enough? If he makes a fool of himself, 
won't you lose face? He knows that Cheng Xiao has never studied piano in his four years of college life, and even if he has studied some, how can his level be better than Meng Lihung's? The other party is from the art college, the level is higher, so the most suitable is still Meng Lihung. Besides, what does Cheng Xiao have, just because he is a star? Meng Lihang's heart was very unhappy at the moment, originally his place, all of a sudden was occupied by someone, it would be strange if his heart could be pained, he said to Chang Xiao, do you dare to compete with me, it's just the right time to prove your strength to everyone as well, chapter 274, dead horse is a living horse doctor, that's right, prove it, everyone was up in arms, to be honest, teacher Zhou also wanted to see what Chang Xiao was capable of, getting the strong recommendation from those female teachers and the guarantee, yes, he didn't even listen to the other side play before he brought the person here, and he didn't know how strong he was, purely out of trust for the few teachers, if it couldn't reach his satisfaction, then it was better to forget about it, might as well beat a dead horse and just let Meng Lihung compete, although Meng Lihung had been studying since he was a child, his strength wasn't enough to compete in a competition like this, and other small competitions were fine, otherwise, why call it a dead horse, whether it works or not depends on the fate of God, who made him promise someone else, after a while, Cheng Xiao spoke out and smiled faintly. Prove it, can ah, come and make a bet. A bet? What do you want to bet? One of them asked. Don't you guys want me to prove it with my strength? If I win, do you guys dare to kowtow to me and apologize? Apologizing was fine. Kowtowing was too much. Teacher Zhou frowned. It's okay. Meng Li Hong agreed. If I lose, I'll kowtow to you in turn and quit. Never touching the piano again. Meng Li Hong grunted. I hope you can keep your word. Everyone thinks that Chang Xiao is just borrowing the name of a star to come in, really thinking that just because he has learned some skinny stuff, he can go to a competition like that? I also don't know what teacher Joe thought. He didn't choose a ready-made powerful one, but chose someone who had already graduated. Those of them who are juniors naturally know Chang Xiao, and have asked around, thinking that he must not have studied piano for a few days. How could he go and compete like this? Then, start. The piano room had a ready-made piano, and the two of them each chose a piece to play for later. Chang Xiao still chose the symphony of fate that he played at home yesterday. Meng Li Hong on the other side, on the other hand, chose a song called Stars in the Sky. Seeing that Chang Xiao chose symphony of fate, a super difficult piece, he revealed a disdainful smile. Do you really think that Beethoven's piece is that easy to master? I'll make you lose face in public later. A little white man who had only learned a few furs, presuming to participate in the competition. Really the funniest joke under the sky. Anyway, he doesn't believe Chang Xiao has the strength to participate in the competition anyway. This side had already started. The students sat down in front of the desks on one side, and teacher Zhou followed suit, squinting his eyes as he looked over. Meng Li Hung started first, only to see that he sat down in front of the piano, placed his hands on the keys, squinted his eyes and brewed for a while, then opened them. He began to play. A melodious and nice tune came out, unhurried and pleasing to the ears. The song Stars in the Sky was just great and it was wonderfully arranged into a piano tune. It was serene and soft, pure and beautiful. Everyone was instantly immersed in this beauty, and Teacher Joe's expression remained the same, without any fluctuations. It showed that this piece did not touch him. Until the song was finished, applause rang out. Li Hong deserves to be Li Hang. This strength, awesome, I see. We should just let Li Hang go so that we can get the championship. We don't want the champion, but the third runner-up is also possible. With this kind of strength, Ten Chang Xiao can't even compare. The crowd discussed it one after another. The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth rose, finally knowing why teacher Zhou didn't choose this guy. It really wasn't that he was crazy. Before there was a system. He might have felt that Meng Lihong was particularly bullish. But now that there was a system reward for a piano master, it felt different. Turning his head, he glanced over and saw teacher Zhou sighing in disgust. After Meng Lihong finished playing, Chang Xiao was next. Almost everyone was not hopeful sitting and waiting for him to lose, so was Meng Li Hung, with a mocking smile on the corner of his mouth, he thought it was impossible for Chang Xiao to win, absolutely impossible, Cheng Xiao carelessly sat down in front of the piano and gently placed his hands on the keys, his technique was also very standard, the people watching looked at each other in disbelief, he can't really know, right, another person laughed disdainfully, he knows shit, he only knows a little bit of skin, it's not just a standard technique, making it seem like who doesn't know how to do it, the playing began. At first everyone was unimpressed, thinking that Chang Xiao was pretending too much, until they heard him play the zither. They all froze, and the damaging words were stuck in their throats, not going up and down. Who said that people just learned a little bit of skin, dragged out and beat them to death? 
previously has been supporting Meng Lihun's all of a sudden cannot speak. Face odd. Do not dare to believe. How is it possible? He actually played so well. They study piano. They can naturally hear the level of the level at once. It is impossible to say in good conscience that Cheng Xiao is not playing well. This was no longer good. It was too good. The crowd was immersed in the sound of the piano. To be able to play Beethoven's compositions well, how strong must that be? What posturing? People just have the strength. Awesome. The entire symphony was played, and the crowd was so deeply immersed in it that they couldn't help themselves. It's really too good. It's awesome. Teacher Joe's eyes were lit up from start to finish, and he dared to say that ten of him wouldn't be able to play at this level. At first he didn't believe it and almost missed such a treasure as Chang Xiao. At this level, he already has a master's demeanor. No wonder a few teachers recommended him so much, so he really does have the strength. This was the best person to go to the competition. He was very satisfied. Meng Lihang is really okay in front of ordinary piano learners, but compared to Chang Xiao, he is more than a star. It's an absolute crushing awe. The entire piano room froze and looked at Chang Xiao sitting in front of the piano. No one made a sound. Until the end of the song. I don't know who led the applause. Everyone's eyes went to that person. Come on brother. Chang Xiao won. We are the ones who have to kneel and kowtow to others. How are you happy? Meng Lihang's face had darkened into a pot. His eyes were full of disbelief. How is it possible? Didn't he say that Chang Xiao had only learned some of the skins? How could he have such a strong level? Which part of the process went wrong? He remembered that Cheng Xiao had never learned the piano when he was in school. What was going on? Kneel down and kowtow? He couldn't do it. In his heart, he regretted it. Why did he agree to this bet with him? What a surprise. This time it's senior Cheng Xiao who won. He's so good. Yeah. At first we thought he was a dish and doubted his strength. Now that we think about it, it's really a shame. If people are dishes, then aren't they even worse than trash? Face slapped face slapped face. I'm blind. Looking at Meng Lihang's iron face, Chang Xiao smiled. This student, it's time to honor the bet you just made, right? Teacher Zhou hasn't said who won yet. What's your hurry? Meng Lihang grunted, but had no bottom. Chapter 275, Losing in the First Round. Everyone only felt that he was dying, a distinction that the crowd could hear at a glance. What was the point of continuing to struggle? Although they also wanted Meng Lihang to win, so that they wouldn't have to kneel and kowtow. The problem was that they didn't win. Everyone's eyes fell on Teacher Zhou. Teacher Zhou reacted and got up, and Meng Lihang's hopeful gaze immediately looked over. For this competition, Chang Xiao goes to participate. Teacher Zhou said. Meng Lihang thought about it and gritted his teeth. Chang Xiao doesn't seem to be in our school right now, right? He was still not willing. Such a good opportunity, just to give it away. It would be strange if his heart could ache. Teacher Zhou said. Since he has a graduation certificate from our school, proving that he used to be from our school, it's fine. Student Meng Li Hung, you still need to study hard. Cheng Zhao's strength was here, so everyone couldn't say anything else. Do you dare to say it's not good with a clear conscience? Right now, Meng Li Hong was the only one who was unwilling. Cheng Xiao smiled. Classmate, don't forget the bet. I can apologize to you, but kneeling is out of the question. Meng Li Hong gritted his teeth. A soldier can be killed but not humiliated. He also casually agreed. Not expecting Cheng Xiao to win, the crowd was a bit reluctant. They were all dragged into this. If they had known that Cheng Xiao would win, they wouldn't have taken sides indiscriminately. Teacher Zhou frowned and spoke. Student Cheng Xiao, just apologize. Don't kneel. Forget it? Let me ask a question. If it was me who lost today, would you guys net me a favor and let me not kneel? Cheng Xiao smiled coldly. This question was asked and the crowd was stunned. Probably not. There were a few students who were also real men. And one of them said, Haven't you ever heard of willing to gamble to lose? As a man. Going back on your word, is it a shame? Since they had all agreed, they had to fulfill it. Saying that, several people directly kneeled down and kowtowed with a thud. Senior, we apologize to you for what just happened. I'm sorry. After a few people finished kowtowing, only Meng Li Hong and the other two remained. Everyone's gazes looked over. And looking at Meng Li Hong, he couldn't wait to find a place to drill into. In the end, he had to kowtow and apologize. After kowtowing, he walked away with a black face. In his life, he had never made such a big scandal. This matter, he remembered. Candidates have been decided. Followed by two more people have to be selected together. Mr. Joe promised to bring three students to compete with others. People also take three. Chang Xiao asked, Mr. Joe, when are you going? He still had to go home to accompany his children. Right away. Teacher Joe said, Meng Lihan was unwilling to be a chaperone and was afraid that he wouldn't follow. So teacher Joe chose two people at random. They set off with them an hour later. 
The destination was the art academy next door. On the way, a student laughed at Chung Xiao. Senior Chung Xiao, be more restrained when you compete later. Don't hit people. Yeah, you're so strong. The other person definitely won't be your opponent. But you have to give them some face. Don't hit them too hard. Ha ha. The two of them were laughing. If this gang of art academies lost to their Qingzhou universities, it would really be a big joke. How much face would Cheng Xiao have to fight for the school? They could already imagine the wonderful faces of the other gang after they lost. The corner of Cheng Xiao's mouth hooked up slightly. After arriving, Mr. Zhou informed that person. Not long after, he walked out from the school. First, he glanced at Cheng Xiao and the three of them, then smiled. Come on in. Entering the school, the few people were taken to a very large piano room. There were several pianos set up inside. Many of them were covered with white cloth like they hadn't been used for a long time. They waited here for a while, and soon the other teacher's three students were brought in. Hello everyone, I'm Xiang Shu. You can call me Mr. Xiang, I'm the piano teacher of this school, and I've been friends with Mr. Zhou for many years. Xiang Shu introduced himself. After everyone greeted, Xiang Shu looked at Mr. Zhou and smiled. I thought you weren't coming. Can I still not come even if I promised? You also underestimate me too much. Teacher Zhou pulled the corner of his mouth. Xiang Xu, at that time, I was just talking off the top of my head. We're in art college. Are you sure you want to compare? It's not too late to regret it. Regret? I, Zhou Ming, don't have the word regret in my dictionary. The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth twitched, finally realizing why teacher Zhou agreed. With this temperament, he simply couldn't stand people's agitation. And he was dead set on losing face. Why didn't he realize that he was so stubborn before? Ordinary university. How can you compete with other art schools to play the piano? Aren't you looking for death? Are you a professional? Today is Monday. This time most of the students are in class. Do not know a piano room is carrying out a fight. After the first two students came on, they both lost. You can't do it. Better admit defeat. Xiang Xu shook his head and looked at teacher Zhou. This had already lost two people in a row. There was no point in competing further. The last one would lose anyway. The schools, majors were all different. It was simply impossible to compare. Zhou Ming's temper was simply too stubborn. You're rejoicing too early now, aren't you? Teacher Zhou sneered. And later on, he would let's see what it meant to be crushed. One had to admit that these students from Xiangshu were all very strong. But here in Changshao, they were nothing. Xiangshu raised an eyebrow. Oh, do you mean that you still have dark horses here? He gazed at Changshao. After freezing for a moment, he suddenly felt a bit familiar, but couldn't recall. Anyway, it was right to have seen it before. Your dark horse. It can't be him. Right? Xiang Xu pointed at Chang Xiao. Teacher Zhou didn't say anything, which was equal to acquiescence. That's fine. I'll see just how much the dark horse you're talking about is capable of. Xiang Xu did not put it in his eyes. Giving one of the students a wink, he could go on. The last student. Teacher Zhou had to admit that this level, it really wasn't comparable to ordinary students. All kinds of aspects were well held and skillful. Before he may have lost. Now not necessarily, Chang Zhao's strength, enough to dump this student hundreds of streets. Xiang Xu was most satisfied with this last student, is a real genius, learn everything fast, got a lot of piano competition champion runner-up. This is his proudest student after teaching piano. After he finished playing, Chang Xiao came on. Xiang Xu didn't put it in his eyes and looked on lightly. Start. When the melodious tune came from the piano, the whole room fell silent. This first time, Chang Xiao showed a solid batch of strength. In the first round, this student lost, lost completely and utterly. Teacher Joe looked on with hope. The student who was originally dejected, when he heard the piano sound, his face instantly collapsed, full of disbelief. Also disbelieving was Xiang Shu. Chapter 276, at last, he has grown a face. The words just now were like a slap on his face. Painful, slapped in the face. He had just said that he would let people admit defeat, and then he turned around and was slapped in the face. How could? How could there be such an outstanding genius student? This level, it was equivalent to the master level. It was no longer comparable to their level. Just how talented was this? When was there such an outstanding young man in the piano world that he didn't know about? It's so awesome. The piece he's playing is very difficult. Yet he was able to play it so smoothly and bring the emotions into it. It's amazing. From Qingzhou University? As far as he remembered, it was just an ordinary one-book institution. Just one major related to entertainment. Such a school could actually produce such a talented character. Those piano geniuses from their art academy in previous years were less than a tenth of the student in front of him. One heavenly and one underground. He no longer cared about hitting his face or not. And after carefully hearing the end, 
He hurriedly asked teacher Joe, no, what's the situation here? When did your school produce such a piano genius? It's too awesome. Didn't you tell me to give up? Teacher Joe could hold a grudge, finally having the chance to break back a game. Where could he let it go? He he he. What are you talking about? I just said that. But you can't give up. Xiang Xu was a thick-skinned person and didn't feel anything. He kept asking questions one after another, curious about Chang Xiao. The student who was competing with Chang Xiao on the side had his fists clenched hard. Chang Xiao obliviously kept playing until the end. I told you, senior strength that's not covered. Where can some people compare? That's right. Just now he was fooling around with us. This turned around and was slapped in the face right. I have to say, senior is really powerful. This face slapping was also too good ah. It made them look down on people. At this time, they were also a little glad that Meng Li Hung didn't come. Or else it was estimated that the pockets of their pants would be gone if they lost. Where can this go to a match? Get off the stage in minutes. Cheng Xiao came this way. Xiang Xu immediately went over and asked, Classmate, did you learn the piano since you were a child? A genius like Cheng Xiao. 80% of the time, he was nurtured by his family to show such an amazing talent. Maybe the parents were also in this area of development. Or maybe there was a benefactor behind them who was guiding them. Otherwise it would never be possible. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly. Exasperated. Just learn for a while. It's just a hobby. A few people's mouth corners twitching. This meow is considered to be in the invisible pretense? Too deadly. Learned for a while? Can you not hit people so hard? People have been studying for several years or even 10 years or more. Teacher Zhou. This student of yours? It's too devastating. Teacher Zhou laughed. He hasn't utilized his full strength here. Xiang Xu already had a premonition that in this competition, it would definitely have to be Chang Xiao taking the title off. Ah. He said how Zhou Ming was so confident in agreeing. So it turned out that he still had a backstroke. Today, ah, I lose. Xiang Xu directly admitted defeat. Chang Xiao didn't want to pull any of this and directly asked. Teachers, when does the competition start? This weekend. Xiang Xu said, the location of the competition will be notified at that time. Are there any requirements? Chang Xiao asked. There are no requirements. You just need to have passed a grade 5 piano certificate. Just enter the number on the certificate when you sign up and you'll be okay. Grade 5 certificate? Chang Xiao frowned. Teacher Zhou slapped his forehead. Why did he forget about this? You didn't take the grade? Xiang Xu stared wide-eyed. Nowadays, students, in order to test whether or not they had reached the grade they had in mind, would take the test, and then they would get a certificate. And those who felt that they had progressed could continue to take the test as well. It was like English. Graded. Not yet. Is it too late to take the test? It's also too late. Xiang Xu said. He didn't expect Chang Xiao to even go for the certification exam. Was it really a brain buried in reading? Two ears do not hear things outside the window? After the decision was made. Mr. Zhou's side. Chang Xiao went. To the book side. On that student to go. This competition is a municipal competition. Not some small competition. To participate in the competition are all powerful. After pulling a few more words. Teacher Zhou took them away. Senior. You haven't gone to the exam yet? One of the two said. Not yet. Cheng Xiao hadn't thought about that. You get a grade only after you take the exam. I'll go with you tomorrow. Senior. The one who spoke was named Gu Bin, A junior. His usual hobby is the piano. And some instruments like guitar. He has now taken Cheng Xiao as his idol. Cheng Xiao nodded. After separating at the school entrance, Cheng Xiao drove towards home. At this moment in the teacher's office. As soon as teacher Zhou entered. Everyone's eyes looked over as if they were all waiting for him here. Mr. Joe, how's it going? Teacher Wang was the first to ask, smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't recommend him wrong. Did we? Chang Xiao, that's a genius. Yeah, he's absolutely fine. Teacher Joe sat in his seat and rubbed his temples before nodding. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. It looks like it's really good. Those who can get Teacher Joe to recognize them are absolutely outstanding. That's true. Today is finally a long face back. Teacher Joe face is also rare smile too. Sitting beside him the male teacher feel is to see a ghost. So long ago, or the first time to see the serious teacher Joe smile. This feeling, too unreal. Mr. Joe felt that the competition was not really necessary. He was originally a bet with Xiang Xu. To participate in the municipal competition that was also said in his haste. However, since the deal was made, even if the competition was meaningless, it had to be on. If Cheng Xiao won the championship. It was not only him who would have a long face, but also Qingzhou University. It was also possible. When Chang Xiao returned home, it was already afternoon. Song Mianian had only had dinner not long ago and was playing with her child in the living room. The little ones were running one by one. There was a commotion at the front door. 
Chang Xiao walked in, and Si Bao was the first one to see it with sharp eyes, giggling, stepping in small steps, and hurriedly running this way. Soon, the other three also found it. Looking at a few little ones snapping to this side, Chang Zhao's heart is going to melt. Babies, you run slowly, don't fall. How's it going? Sitting down on the sofa, Song Mianian asked. It's not bad, I'll go to the exam tomorrow. Song Mianian was a little surprised. You haven't taken the exam yet? She thought he had already taken the exam before. No ah, uh, this is not always with the child? I didn't have that time to take the test, but I still have to take the test for the competition this time. Chang Xiao smiled. Well, that's fine. When is the competition? This weekend. Ha, huh, then will you be in time? It still takes time between the exam and getting the license, right? I don't know. I'll ask tomorrow. If not, I'll use someone else's. Song Mian Yang was dumbfounded. This thing can still use someone else's? It's okay. Big deal. Just don't participate. Chang Xiao rubbed her head and said with a smile. Not participating? You've promised Mr. Zhou. How can you still not participate? Chapter 277, Promise You Anything. Do I have to attend if I promise? Besides, there's nothing I can do without a certificate. Chang Xiao smiled helplessly. Song Mian Yang nodded in embarrassment. As if she thought of something, she hesitantly spoke. I'll go with you to the exam tomorrow. Well, good. It's just as well that the baby will be brought along. Chang Xiao said, completely forgetting all about what he promised Gu Shurbin. Aha. After saying yes, Chang Xiao smoothly carried four treasures over. Four treasures? Mom fed you at noon. Did you eat obediently? For treasures raised his head in confusion and squeezed out two words in a long time. Eat? Song Mianian smiled. She ate more than Debeo and the others. Oh, is that so? Usually, for treasures is the one who pulls the crotch the most every time she eats. Chewing slowly? That's really chewing slowly. A mouthful of rice could be chewed a dozen times. People were eating. She was counting grains of rice. Unless one was starving. Our four treasures are awesome today. Chang Xiao rubbed her little head and said with a smile. Being able to eat is a blessing. He couldn't wait for his child to be able to eat. Growing up chubby as a child. How cute. How blessed. Debeo was playing with the little train. And his mouth made a humming sound. Watching the train move. Revealing a bright smile. The second treasure on the side saw the situation. Also want. See the little train driving over. Directly hand to get. But it doesn't matter whose it is. After reaching it. He also looked at his brother. The big treasure cried out at once. But he didn't dare to go and snatch it back. So he can only turn his pitiful line of sight to Cheng Xiao and his wife. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but laugh. Little guy. Still knows not to bully his sister. Since the last time he joked with him, Debeo has been very conscious of giving in to his younger siblings. And won't go and grab them even if he wants them again. At best. He looked at mom and dad with aggrieved little eyes. Er bao. Play with your brother. Okay? Song Mianian went over and made the train into two halves. One of which was given to Big Bao. The little train was one of those hook type, where each small carriage was connected together by the hook. It could be disassembled into one section at will, one half for each person, which finally brought back the smile on Debeo's face. The couple is not like other parents half, think the big should give way to the small. In fact, counting, the babies are all born on the same day, should enjoy the same treatment, differential treatment, the baby's young mind will also have some impact, no matter how big or small, they are your children, parents have to set an example. Otherwise the children will have to follow your example. As the saying goes, what kind of parents have what kind of children? Buddha Three Treasure is fiddling with a book in his hands, which is still before Manli bought. Song Mianian at first thought it could not be used, did not think that the three treasure this little guy is quite like. Almost every day hold in the hand to play. A serious little look look cute hearts. Although they are quadruplets, their temperaments are different. Wife, I have a hunch. I feel that our Sanbao will definitely be a school bully when he grows up. Cheng Xiao smiled and opened his mouth. Song Mianyan was confused and looked back at him. Why? Guess. Cheng Xiao winked. Nasty. Song Mianyan threw a pink punch over. Thinking about tomorrow, are you really going to take the exam? After all, Cheng Xiao is a public figure now. Going to the exam will definitely be on the hot spot again. How can I go to the competition if I don't take the exam? Cheng Xiao rubbed her head and smiled. Let's go together tomorrow. You can wait for me in the lounge then. I'd better not go tomorrow. Right? Song Mianian suddenly said. Why don't you go? I'm afraid of bringing the baby and causing you trouble. What are you saying? What mess? I can't wait to be happy that you're coming with the baby. Maybe you'll take level 10? You just blow it. Song Mianyan laughed, not taking this to heart. Grade 10. How could that be? That would have to be a piano master. I didn't blow it. I mean it. Che, I don't believe it. 
don't believe me, then if I take the 10th grade, is there a reward? Chang Xiao grinned as if he thought of something. Song Mianian only thought it was impossible and casually asked, yes, if you can take level 10, I'll agree to any conditions. Really? Really? Song Mianyang nodded. She thought that level 10 was simply impossible. How could anyone take a level 10 exam? No genius could take level 10 at such a young age. It was simply a pipe dream. Then let's make a deal oh. Don't you dare not keep your word when the time comes. Song Mianyang's face turned red. Am I that kind of person me? After promising, for some reason, she always felt that something wasn't quite right. After thinking carefully, it wasn't wrong ah. Level 10 was supposed to be an impossibility. It was impossible no matter what. Maybe she was overthinking it. What she didn't know was that she was jumping into the hole that Chang Xiao had already dug. Chang Xiao was also waiting for his dear wife to enter the pit. The corners of his mouth were already showing a triumphant smile. After thinking about it, he opened his cell phone and contacted teacher Joe about the exam. And the latter quickly took care of it. Early the next morning, the family of six set off in great numbers. And for the sake of the babies, Chang Xiao continued to put masks on them so that they wouldn't be photographed by someone with a heart of gold. The location of this examination is not far away from the neighborhood of a music academy. When they arrived at the entrance of the college, they parked the car and went to the school. The security guards guarding the gate stopped them, needing to show their student ID or some other proof. I'm here to take the piano exam, Chang Xiao said. Any proof? Chang Xiao thought about it and clicked on a link on his cell phone's text message, which was sent to him from there after successful registration. And when he clicked in, a black barcode was quickly displayed. The security guard saw this, nodded and opened the door. Song Mianian and the children, as family members, could not logically follow them in. It was a school after all, but it just so happened that this system had recently been abolished, and a special lounge had been set up. When taking the exam, family members could wait in the lounge. The lounge has a special room for mothers and babies, and after settling his wife and children, Chang Xiao opened the door and walked out. There are quite a lot of people who came to take the exam. Most of them were accompanied by family members. What to do ah dear, I'm so nervous. At this time, somewhere in the corner of the lounge on the sofa, a couple was sitting there. The woman had a nervous face. She had already flunked twice. This was the third time. If she flunked again, then she could not take the test again. The man kept appeasing her. It's okay baby, just be normal. It's okay if you fail. It's not like I don't want you anymore. Am I not very untalented? I don't even want to learn this. But my parents just insisted that I learn it. The girl said, a little aggravated. This wasn't what she wanted at all. The boy said, it's okay, I'll stay with you. Looking at the loving couple, Shang Xiao casually glanced over and happened to catch a glimpse of the man turning his head. A flash of disgust and some impatience. Chapter 278, I'm going to squat on the school gate right now. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. Scum again? This guy obviously hates this girl very much. Yet he's with her and keeps pretending to comfort her. What kind of operation is this? However, he was too lazy to speculate on other people's business. So he just had to look at it. Just see if this girl herself can see people. Just afraid of being cheated of money and color. Nowadays, many girls are too easy to be cheated by scum. And one or two sweet words can coax them around. The exam was about to start. When the staff came over. Everyone get ready. I'll take you over to the exam room. When the girl heard this, she hurriedly got up and said to the guy, Honey, I'll go to the exam first. You wait for me here oh. Okay. There were a lot of people going to the exam room. And everyone hurriedly followed the staff and rushed over there. After arriving, they waited at the entrance of the exam room. At this time, I don't know who it was, but he shouted out. His tone of excitement incomparable. Goodness, did I not blink my eyes? Is this Chung Xiao? Shang Xiao had already taken off his mask, and his handsome face was revealed, and he was instantly recognized. It's still true. Why is he here, and came with us to take the exam? This world is too metaphysical, right? Really handsome ah, ah ah ah. My luck is too good too. Please pinch me. I doubt I'm dreaming, actually seeing my idol here, and also taking the exam with my idol. Gosh, what kind of divine luck is this? I want to poke my eyes out, obviously just so close to my idol but I didn't recognize it. If it wasn't for the test coming up and the teacher being there, a few girls would have rushed up and surrounded Chung Xiao. Everyone only dared to secretly take pictures, one after another. Whether it's the front face, the side face, or the back, they all took pictures. It is really 360 degrees without dead angle handsome ah. No need to use beauty face. The raw pictures all look so good. After shooting, the girls quickly sent the photos to the circle of friends, WeChat group, microblogging and so on. A few minutes later, the number of likes was 10,000. Of all this, 
Chang Xiao didn't know yet, after waiting outside for a while, soon, the teacher came out from inside the examination room and said to everyone, everyone can come in, after going in, there was a special place to sit down, and not far from the stage was a piano, whoever's name the teacher called went up, Chang Xiao opened his cell phone and looked at the list, he was in the 15th position, there were a total of 18 candidates today, still have to wait so long, he sat in the last row of the location, and a few girls in the front row sat together, looking back from time to time, admiring Chang Zhao's magnificent beauty, their attention not on the stage from start to finish, have you guys noticed that Xiao Xiaozi is a sight to behold even when he's sitting there, that's not true, if my boyfriend is half as good looking as him, it would be worth it for me to die, hey, really envious of his wife, so lucky, must have saved the galaxy in his previous life, right, envy plus one, Cheng Xiao sat at the back and naturally heard their whispers loud and clear, it turned out that there were so many more who envied his wife, well, it seems that he is still quite attractive, at this time, ding dong, the phone rang and a new hot search appeared on the screen, hashtag Chang Xiao appeared at a music academy to take the piano exam, hashtag, Chang Xiao, has the news spread so fast, he's only been here for less than an hour, and it's trending, it's still number one, this session of netizens is also too exaggerated, right, I just want to take the exam in peace and quiet, randomly flipping through a sliver of comments at the bottom, oh my god, isn't this our school, Xiao Xiaozi is really in, I don't read much, don't lie to me, my family Xiao Xiaozi seems to have become handsome again, immediately, someone retorted, what do you mean he's gotten handsome again, he's obviously always been handsome, okay, that's right, I can finally see his dynamics, it's rare, I said what have you been doing lately, so it turns out you're busy with the exams, God is too talented, his acting is so good, and he's also so diligent on the piano, he deserves to be my idol, wait for me, I'm going to squat on the school gate now, seeing this comment, the corner of Chang Zhao's mouth twitched, the exam was still very fast, and in a short while the eight people were finished, but the girls didn't leave when it was over, only two boys left, everyone was named up one after another, by the time Chang Xiao arrived it was already an hour later, the girls were all looking forward to Chang Zhao's performance, the reason they didn't leave was because they were waiting for their idols to come on, today the idol is there, they basically overplayed, just want to leave a good impression in front of the idol, in case they look at them a little more, Chang Xiao got up, came to the stage, and slowly sat down by the piano chair, according to the tunes provided by the teacher, play, a total of three tunes, the few teachers on the side, like judges, were recording something, didn't even raise their heads, it seemed like there was nothing left to amaze them that could catch their attention, the exam started, Chang Xiao placed his hands on the keys and started playing, this opening, the front was fine, but after a few minutes, several teachers could not help but raise their heads, a trace of disbelief flashing in their eyes, they stopped their hands and listened carefully, the more they listened, the more shocked they felt, this strength, to come and test at level 5, isn't this a waste, it was no exaggeration to say that it was already at the level of a master, otherwise it wouldn't have been possible for them to be so surprised, this student, where did he come from, with this strength, to take level 5, what's the situation, one of the teachers was filled with doubt, I don't know, I've seen his profile, he didn't seem to have taken any exams before, that means this is his first exam level, yes, how is this possible, not only were the teachers stunned, even the other examinees sitting on the side seats were shocked, this was too strong, they were the ones who specialized in piano, and they could basically hear the strength of the other party on the first listen, worthy of being my male god, so good in piano, this is god rewarding you with food, good acting skills, good looking, and such a good piano player, the person that God favors exclusively is different, after it was over, Chang Xiao was about to leave, when the teacher came over and said, this student, come over here for a moment, Chang Xiao followed over, classmate, have you never taken a piano exam, is this the first time, Chang Xiao faintly said, yes, did you learn at a training organization or by yourself at home, I watched online tutorials before and taught myself for a while, Chang Xiao fed a slight smile, the teacher was dumbfounded, learned by watching online tutorials, isn't that self-taught, Chang Xiao is currently stronger than him at this strength, how could he get to this level just by relying on online tutorials, this student, I don't mean any harm, your strength shouldn't come over to take level 5, professional level 10 can easily pass, did you really learn it online, chapter 279 bad, bad things, why is he so unbelieving, Chang Xiao still didn't tell him the truth, teacher, is there any benefit to me if I lie to you, Chang Xiao laughed, he couldn't just tell the truth, could he, could it be that it was a skill rewarded by the system, I guess he wouldn't believe it even if he said it, 
Teacher just thought that Chun Shao definitely didn't tell the truth. That's just it. Maybe he just wanted to keep it a secret. Or maybe his family is the kind of musical family that doesn't want to reveal their names. Thinking about it this way, it was normal. Classmate, I suggest you take the professional 10th grade. The teacher said, although professional level 10 can only be taken by students of the music academy, it's not like exceptions can't be made. Chang Zhao's strength is a lot more bullish than professional level 10. It was already at a master level. While talking, one after another, the candidates had finished their exams and had gone out. Several teachers came over this way, suggesting that Cheng Xiao take the time to take the level 10 exam. It was really a waste to come and take level 5. It's also really coincidental. There happens to be a level 10 exam today. If you have time, you can go in half an hour. I'll reserve a spot for you. At this time, a female teacher said, then today's level 5 could not be counted. Directly level 10 exam. Cheng Xiao nodded. Then please teachers. The few girls who were ready to leave were shocked. A level 10 exam? The teachers actually let Cheng Xiao take the level 10 exam? They also made a temporary exception and gave a spot to go directly to it. How excellent must this be? After this site ended, Cheng Xiao went back to the lounge and many people left after the exam. He went into the mother and baby room. The babies were already asleep and Song Mianyang was still chatting with another baby mom. Hubby, you finished? Song Mianyan asked with a smile, looking in a good mood. There's another one later. One more game? Song Mianyan was a bit confused. The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth rose. Didn't someone make a bet with me that I wouldn't be able to take the level 10 exam? I'm going to take the test later. I'm thinking about what someone said about promising me everything. Even for this, I'm going to fight to the death to get level 10 before I can do it. Originally, he had planned to sign up for the level 10 test after taking level 5, but he didn't realize that there happened to be a level 10 test today, and the teacher happened to give the quota. Everything was just as it should be. Even the heavens had helped someone as good as him. How is he so excellent? Song Mianian. Can it still be like this? Taking a level 5 and then a level 10? This doesn't follow common sense ah. That handsome. Are you Chang Xiao? At this time, the treasure mom who hadn't made a sound asked uncertainly. Chang Xiao turned his head and smiled slightly. Yes. My gosh. It's still true. Bao Ma exclaimed, completely not expecting to run into her idol here. This luck. Tonight she was going to buy a lottery ticket. Ever since she watched Chang Zhao's movie, she had become a fan of him and became a loyal fan. And today she even bumped right into him. The beautiful woman she had just been chatting with turned out to be his wife. It's really a man and a woman. Chang Xiao, can you give me an autograph? The precious mom was a little embarrassed and said, Can. Chang Xiao didn't refuse and signed with a brush. Song Mianian's face was already red beyond recognition. Hiding behind Chang Xiao didn't even dare to raise her head. Shy. At noon, the 10th grade exam ended successfully. Chang Zhao's performance made all the teachers stunned. Actually really passed the 10th grade. If this level is not, what kind of can pass? For the level 10 exam, there were only 5 candidates. The only one who was praised by the teacher was Chang Xiao. The certificate was basically secured. After leaving the school, Chang Xiao smiled and said, Wife, you might have to fulfill your promise. Song Mianian blushed and said, It's not like the results aren't out yet. What's your hurry? I'm not in a hurry. Wife, are you in a hurry? I'm not. Song Mianyang hummed. After returning home, Chang Xiao went to the kitchen to make lunch. The kids were put in the living room to play. Song Mianyan followed in. Suddenly asked, Hubby, what do you think of your exam this time? Pretty good. Chang Xiao grinned. This little woman. Poking at him. Song Mianyan thought of the one she promised. And then a burst of headache. If Chang Xiao really took level 10, did she leave a message to fulfill that one? And promise him everything? Thinking about it made her head spin. Would he really be able to get level 10? And then, as if thinking of something unimaginable, her face flushed for a while. Honey, what's wrong with you? Blushing like a monkey's butt. Chang Xiao had already guessed the little thought in her heart. Did she think he would do something bad? Indeed, he really wanted to do something bad. This little woman. All old married couple. Why still so shy ah? This blush is just like when they first got together. It's nothing. Do your cooking. Song Mianian's red face turned around and ran out of the kitchen heading for the washstand. After rinsing her face until the red color on her face faded, she walked out of the bathroom. At this time, a strong cry suddenly came from the living room. It was San Bao's. Song Mianian's heart tightened as she wiped her face and hurriedly headed to the living room. Usually, San Bao was the one who liked to cry the least. Crying like this must have hurt somewhere. As soon as she arrived in the living room, her heart almost jumped out of her chest, only to see, San Bao is lying on the carpet, crying up and down. Forehead has seeped out a little bit of blood. Next to it, a nail clipper was dropped. Song Mianian's heart sank. 
and she hurriedly picked up San Bao, tears coming out at once. As soon as she saw her mom coming, San Bao cried even more fiercely. Tears were clamoring. The commotion in the living room also startled Cheng Xiao, who came out of the kitchen and saw the scene in front of him, only to feel his head go a little blank. Wife, what's wrong? Cheng Xiao inquired, looking at the nail clippers next to him, and seemed to understand what was going on at once. It was 80% that a few children were being greedy and accidentally threw the nail clippers onto San Bao's head. San Bao was still small. Where could he withstand it? And all of a sudden he bled. But it should only be a superficial wound. He calmed down and rushed to get the medicine box. The other three were scared silly. Sitting on the carpet. Staring blankly. Seemingly knowing that San Bao was injured by mistake. One did not make a sound. The medicine box was brought. Chang Xiao hurriedly sterilized San Bao's forehead with iodine vapor. Stop the bleeding. Band-aid is applied. Since he was born, San Bao hadn't been injured like this. He doesn't even like to cry. And this is the first time he cried so sadly. Looking at his tearful eyes, the couple was heartbroken. San Bao. It won't hurt anymore once it's fixed. It'll be fine in a few days. Song Mianian coaxed. The voice choked with sobs. Shang Xiao rubbed Song Mian Mian's head. Okay, it's okay. It's just an accidental injury. It'll be fine in a few days. Hubby. The nail clippers were confiscated by me before I put them above before. It's all my fault. Song Mianian's face was full of self-blame. If it wasn't for her momentary negligence, it wouldn't have resulted in San Bao being injured. It was all her fault. It's fine. We didn't know that the babies would go and move this alright? Chang Xiao comforted in a warm voice. Chapter 280, Daddy. Mu ah. But, all of this is still because of me ah. Knowing that the child has the possibility of touching this, I still. The more Song Mianian said, the more she blamed herself, the more difficult it was to say. Chang Xiao kept on comforting her, gently patting her back. This time, didn't scare San Bao, but Song Mianian was scared enough. Luckily, it didn't hit her eyes. Otherwise it would have been a problem. A child's eyes can be much more fragile than an adult's eyes. And a carelessness can cause irreversible consequences. It took a while to calm her down. San Bao. Does it still hurt? Cheng Xiao asked as he picked up Sambo and placed her on his lap. After the pain, San Bao quickly put this behind her. If it was four treasures, it would probably have to be aggravated for the whole day. If it was four treasures, then it would probably be aggravated for the whole day. Girls, it's normal to be delicate. After a while, Cheng Xiao put down San Bao, put the nail clippers into the drawer, turned back to the other three little ones and said with a serious face, you can't play with such dangerous things anymore, do you know? The little ones didn't know if they understood, blinking their little eyes, looking this way, seemingly knowing that they had done something wrong, one by one, they did not speak, regardless of whether they understood or not, it was still necessary to knock them around a bit, alright, wife, time to eat, Cheng Xiao got up and went to the kitchen to serve the food, calling out to Song Nian Nian in the process, realizing the problem this time, it would be good to pay attention next time, sharp, hard things were always placed where the child couldn't reach them, Song Mianian planned to check if there were any other hidden dangers in the house later, just in case, after this incident, she was already scared, and still has some heart palpitations, what if it directly hit her eyes, San Bao was still so young, she didn't want her child's life to be ruined like this, in the future, she will have to keep an eye on him, the child does not know anything, at any time can do dangerous things. Song Mianian was absent-minded during the meal. She didn't even pay attention to Chang Zhao's dishes. Wife, what's wrong with you? Chang Xiao stopped moving and asked suspiciously, is there something on your mind? Song Mianian came back to her senses and hurriedly took a bite of her meal. Shaking her head, she said, no, nothing. Don't worry about today's incident. It's just a small accident. We'll be fine if we pay attention in the future. I think the baby herself will pay attention in the future. Chang Xiao said. He felt that the words he just said in the living room. The baby should have listened in. Even if they don't understand. They can always read people's faces. Right? Song Mian Yang sighed. After a meal. She took the babies to rest. The living room was quiet all of a sudden. Chang Xiao was about to ask when the results of the exam would be out when this time teacher Zhou suddenly sent a message over. Telling him that he passed. He would send the certificate over later. It's only Tuesday now and there are still a few days before the weekend. After getting the certificate, we will wait for the competition. This competition has a lot of participants, because it is a promotion competition. From the audition until the final, before and after to spend a lot of time, clicking on the microblogging to see, he is still hanging on the hot search did not come down. According to this situation, it is estimated that it will still hang for a night. Dude, you are occupying the hot search every day. At this moment, Li Jin sent a voice message. From the time he met Cheng Xiao, 
He had already seen him on the hot search no less than five times. One hang is a long time. Just ask, which artist in the entertainment industry could hang for so long? Why are you thinking of going to the piano exam? Li Jin's face was full of doubts. If he didn't see the hot searches, he wouldn't even know about it. If he didn't see the hot search, he wouldn't have known. A good actor doesn't do anything, but he went to play the piano again? Good guy. Versatility is not such a versatile method. Bored. Have some fun. Cheng Xiao replied lightly. Have some fun? Crap. You can still play like this. Come on, brother. This is an exam. Can you be more serious and give the other candidates some face? All right. All right. You're busy. I'll leave you alone. Li Jin didn't say anything else after sending this. Evening. Song Mianyang woke up from her sleep with her child. After this afternoon's sleep, the whole person was in better spirits, and the first thing she did was to check on San Bao's state. The injury on his forehead had already scabbed over. Nothing serious. She also breathed a sigh of relief. When she came out Cheng Xiao meal was already ready. A burst of fragrance came from the dining room. Awake? Come over and eat. Cheng Xiao carried the last bowl of soup towards the dining room. Just in time to see Song Mian Mian who came out of the room and smiled. Dad. Si Bao did did ran out from behind Song Mianian and ran towards Cheng Xiao with open hands. His little face was still red because he had just woken up from a nap. And he looked cute and adorable. Cheng Xiao laughed. Run slowly. Wait for daddy to bring the soup to the table and then I'll hold you. Okay? For treasures stopped her pace. Her little brows slightly wrinkled. Unhappy. Cheng Xiao is also afraid of her. After putting the soup on the table, he rushes over to hug this little lover of his. Daddy. Mu ah. This child hugged Cheng Zhao's face as a fragrant kiss. Smiling, he reveals a few small teeth. For treasures is so good. Cheng Xiao smiled and pinched the little one's little cheeks. After sleeping all afternoon, Song Mian Yang was also strangely embarrassed. She hadn't done anything all day. She had just focused on sleeping, and her husband was approaching the competition. So she still had to be busy every day. After dinner, she took the initiative to get up and collect the dishes. Wife, what are you doing? Cheng Xiao looked at her movements and asked. I'll wash the dishes today. Anyways, she had to do something today. The bowls are fine with me. You go take a shower and go to bed early at night. Song Mianian heard this. Her face reddened. Embarrassed. She didn't know what to do. She had slept all afternoon. She still went to bed early. All the work in the house was done by Chang Xiao. She didn't even know what she should do. Chang Xiao finished feeding the baby and hurriedly got up to collect. You first take the baby to the living room and wait for me. Chang Xiao thought about it and found something for her to do. Wife, why don't you go to the washroom and put water in? And we'll give the baby a bath later? Good. Song Mianian agreed without even thinking about it. Afterwards, she brought the baby towards the living room. After cleaning up, in the bathroom, Song Mianian had already undressed the children and put them into the children's bathtub. And as soon as the little ones touched the water, they giggled and soon started a water fight, playing happily. Song Mianian was undoubtedly covered in waves. She looked at them helplessly. Cheng Xiao opened the door and walked in and saw the scene. As soon as he saw his dad coming, he played even more happily. The whole bathroom was full of water. Good guy. The bath hadn't even started yet. Half a tank of water was oohed and not out. Each one playfully smiling. Hubby, this. Song Mianian wiped the water on her face. Unable to cry. Cheng Xiao brought a dry towel. Wiped her hair. Said, you don't know to avoid a bit. Look at your body wet. You can still wear clothes. Get a cold how to do. Chapter 281 A Woman's Heart. Underwater Needle. It's fine. The weather isn't cold now. Song Mianian muttered. It's still summer. It's not cold. The clothes on your body are wet. Even in summer it's easy to catch a cold. Hurry up and take a hot bath. The villa's bathroom was very large. There was a bathtub for adults and a special tub for small children. The kind where all five babies could go in and bounce around. Alright then. Song Mianian draped a towel over her shoulders and went to her room to find clean clothes. It was still the same little sling from before. With the little cat face. Wife. This one you're actually still wearing? Just about to go take a shower. Cheng Xiao saw the pajamas at a glance and the corners of his mouth rose. The clothes are still fine. What do you wear if not this? This camisole pajamas also cost her several hundred dollars to buy. It's a branded one, and has never been able to throw it away. Even if it is often molested by Chang Xiao. Jokes, but also did not throw away. At most a period of time not to wear. In the future, this will not be worn. Tomorrow I will take you to buy some good ones to wear. There's no need. This one is quite good. It's still quite new. Oh, honey, do you mean you specifically wanted to wear it for me? As soon as these words came out, Song Mianyan's face instantly turned red. What are you babbling about? I didn't. Who? Who wanted to wear it for him to see? Bang. Rushing hurriedly into the bathroom cubicle, 
She closed the door with a bang. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but let out a light laugh. This little woman just can't stand being teased. Song Mianian put on the water and quietly lay in the bathtub, thinking in her mind about the first time she met Cheng Xiao, to living together and raising a child together, the various things that happened in life. Thinking about it, her cheeks were getting redder and redder, especially when thinking about the kitten's sling, it was even more red, and inexplicably felt hot, cheeks rolling. She decided that she would not wear this tomorrow, and would keep it in the bottom of the box from now on, lest he find another opportunity to laugh at her. This bath soaked for half an hour. The person hadn't come out yet, and the baby was all washed up. Chang Xiao frowned, opened the door, and found that this little woman actually lay in the bathtub and fell asleep. Coming from the sound of steady breathing, Chang Xiao was helpless. This bath can also fall asleep. Really bull. Slowly carry her out of the bathtub. The body is still as light as ever. White skin is instantly exposed. Si Chang Xiao throat tight, but no longer care about this. Bath towel or wrap. Carry people to the bedroom bed. Dry. Change clothes. Anyway, before already looked clean, now see also feel nothing. However, wife this body ah, is really good. A little better than some unmarried girls. He was at least a big man with blood and vigor. How could he not have a little impulse? Just how could he at this time? After a while, Song Mianyang slowly turned awake, rubbed her head, and sat up. Looking around, she was lying on the bed with a quilt covering her body. Wasn't she taking a bath? How come she was here? The point was, the clothes were all changed. Awake? Shang Xiao opened the door and came in, a cup of water being carried in his hand. Wasn't I in the bath? Right. Did you carry me here while I was asleep? Uh, why? Then my clothes. I changed them too. Uh, the air stood still for a moment. Song Mianian's face instantly blushed at this reply. She had just fallen asleep and it was Cheng Xiao who changed her with his own hands? Wouldn't that be? Shy. The corner of Cheng Xiao's mouth hooked up. Wife, since we got married, where have you been that I haven't seen? What's there to be shy about? We're an old married couple. Just get used to it. Besides, if I don't carry you out, you'll catch a cold tomorrow. It wasn't that Song Mianian minded. She just felt embarrassed. Thinking about Chang Xiao changing her clothes made it even more awkward. Especially still wearing this little cat face pajamas. Why did she fall asleep in the shower? It was really embarrassing. Thinking about it, the sleepiness was gone all of a sudden. The children had already fallen asleep. Chang Xiao laid down into the comforter and saw that Song Mianian had been covering her face and not saying anything. It was 80% that she was still embarrassed and shy. A hand held her over. Still shy? I'm not. Song Mianian immediately raised her head and retorted with a stiff upper lip. Then she tilted her face to the side and hummed. No longer bothering with him. Cheng Xiao smiled helplessly. He really couldn't do anything about her either. Okay, okay, today, this is just to offset my reward for getting a 10th grade in piano. Okay? Cheng Xiao said tentatively. Upon hearing this, Song Mianian then looked over again. Really? Well, that reward won't count. Alright, I forgive you. Cheng Xiao. So fast? A woman's heart. A needle at the bottom of the sea. This is really true. The speed of this change of face is simply faster than turning a book. Thinking of losing a chance to mention rewards like this, Chang Xiao had a hard time. I don't know. I'll find another opportunity next time. Song Mianian snickered. This was the first time she had gotten her way with Chang Xiao. This is the first time she has gotten away with it from Chang Xiao. Every time, Chang Xiao digs a hole for himself to jump into. This is what he called lifting a stone and hitting his own foot. She really didn't think that this matter could still be reversed or in this situation. Thinking about it, the corners of her mouth couldn't help but rise, and she was in a good mood. Chang Xiao turned out to also have times when he was defeated. Wife, you really forgive me? Seeing her so happy, Chang Xiao also can't help but smile. What's wrong? You still don't want me to forgive you? How can that be? I can't wait to be happy that you forgive me. Humph. It's late. Let's sleep. There were no words for the night. The next day, Chang Xiao got up early as usual to prepare breakfast and clean up. After breakfast was ready, the family of six sat at the dining table and Chang Xiao spoke. Wife, there's something I want to discuss with you. What is it? Speak directly. Let's hire a nanny? Chang Xiao said. Song Mianian looked at him. Ah, uh, why? Help us clean and bring up the baby together. A few children a day was not busy enough, so it was really necessary to hire a nanny. Otherwise, when something comes up, it's simply too busy. Every time he went out, he left Song Mianian alone to take care of the four and his heart ached with exhaustion. Since he had the financial means, why would he let his wife suffer this? He hadn't thought of this before. Hiring a nanny should be better. Okay, it's fine if you make the call. Song Mianyang said, she had no opinion on this matter. Shang Xiao nodded, 
opened his cell phone and directly contacted a housekeeping company, ready to hire a gold medal nanny. The salary was around 30,000. Such as surely have gone through multiple trainings and are more experienced. It can also take care of the child properly. Wife, what do you think of this? Shang Xiao asked. Song Mianian first looked at the salary. It doesn't matter if you don't look at it. It's a shock. $30,000. Was it so expensive to hire a nanny? She thought it would be around seven or 8,000 at most. 30,000. She didn't even dare to think about it. Chapter 282, you just can't apologize to me. Hubby, $30,000. Did you read it wrong? Song Mianian said helplessly. Didn't look at it wrong. If I can take better care of the kids with you, not to mention 30,000, 300,000 is worth it. Chang Zhao's words, Song Mianian was silent for a moment. In her heart, it would be a lie to say that she wasn't touched and joyful. In the end, Chang Xiao did all this for her and her child. This is enough. All right then, you make the decision. Song Mianian agreed. Chang Xiao did what he said he would do. Called, and directly determined. The nanny will report tomorrow. Chang Xiao smiled. This will make it easier for us in the future. Song Mianian leaned on the sofa and suddenly asked, Hubby, I was thinking, if we live for a long time and one day you don't love me anymore, what should I do? The question was a bit inexplicable and sudden. Chang Xiao froze for a moment. Why are you suddenly thinking of asking this? How can I not love you? This position in my heart has always been yours. Song Mianyang sighed. It's inevitable that a girl prettier than me will appear in the future. That's not as good looking as my wife. But what if you don't love me and fall in love with someone else? Chang Xiao said. There will never be that day. But who knows about the future? What if? There won't be a what if. Chang Xiao was certain, with a serious face. After thinking about it, he asked, And how will you know that I will not love you in the future? After all, with so many examples in front of us, a lot of men see one and love one, especially after they get married. The family flower doesn't smell as good as the wild flower. You still know this. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. It seems like his wife didn't read a lot of this paragraph. Song Mian Yang was depressed. You answer me first. Wife, examples are examples. It doesn't mean your husband is such a person. What's wrong? Don't even believe me anymore? I don't. I'm just asking. Chang Xiao couldn't help but laugh. Well, what's the point of thinking blindly about these things every day? Let's just live a good little life now. With the company of several children, he only felt especially happy. He was an orphan and had no home since he was a child. So how could he not cherish this little home of his? The one who didn't cherish it was the work of a SB. Humph. I don't care. Anyway, you just can't apologize to me. Otherwise, I definitely won't spare you. Okay, I swear, I only love you alone in this life. Song Myanian was fierce, humph. I'm not joking with you. If you dare to apologize to me, I won't spare you. Okay, I'll remember. The words were so, how could she not be worried? It was said that a woman's heart was a needle under the sea. Instead she felt that a man's heart could not be fathomed. She didn't know what it would be like in the future. As the saying goes, the more you get, the more you lose. What if there was nothing left in the future? How would she live? Fear of that day came. Nothing could be seen now. Everything still had to be verified by time. The next day, the nanny came to report early in the morning. The couple had already packed up the nanny's room, and with such a large villa, there was no shortage of rooms. Mr. Mrs. Good. The nanny was a woman around 40 years old, wearing a nanny uniform. She greeted the two respectfully. Shang Xiao nodded. Song Mianyang took her to the cleaned up nanny's room. After everything was done, the nanny reported to them about what they would be doing in the future. The housework was all inclusive, including cooking and washing clothes and bringing up the children and so on. Shang Xiao said, my wife is a picky eater. I'll do the cooking from now on, so I'll have to rely on you when I'm not around. Yes sir. The nanny finished and went about her business. Time flew by, and in the blink of an eye, it was the day before the competition. At night, before going to sleep, Song Minyan lay in Chang Zhao's arms and laughed. Hubby, I think you'll definitely win the championship. Just trust your husband that much? Believe ah, I think you are very strong and talented. Song Mianian this was the truth. Besides, this was her husband. If she didn't say that he would win, would she say someone else? She didn't want to grow someone else's ambition and destroy her own. What if I don't win the championship? Cheng Xiao smiled and said. Song Mianian frowned, if I don't get it, then I don't get it. Big deal. I'll participate next time. Cheng Xiao continued. Then do you want me to win the championship? Song Mianian thought for a moment. Well, do your best. Just think of it as a game. Don't care so much about winning or losing. It doesn't matter. Since my wife wants me to win the championship, I can only be respectful. Song Mian Mian couldn't help but laugh. Put. Nasty. You just blow at you. 
Still champion, it would be good to have a third place. Chang Shao, didn't you just say I could win the championship? Song Mianian. A word of encouragement can't you hear it? On another day, Chang Shao went to his destination early in the morning. He had arranged to meet up with Mr. Zhou at the destination. The venue was a large sales center. One hour later, I arrived at the door and saw Mr. Zhou at once, and beside him was a person who, on closer inspection, was actually M.S. Wang. What is she doing here, to see what's going on? At the entrance, there was a big poster advertising the 15th Nebula Cup, the 15th Nebula Cup Algua Piano Competition. Qingzhou Branch, Preliminary Round. Eh, it's Chung Xiao. He's here. At this moment, M.S. Wang suddenly shouted. Teacher Zhou followed her line of sight and looked over. The three of them met up. Let's go in first. Teacher Zhou said. Aha. The three of them smoothly found their way to the audience seats and sat down. Their sights looking towards the stage. The time for the match was about to arrive. Why are there so many people today? Teacher Wang frowned. It was crowded. Teacher Zhou said. On a big weekend. It would be strange if there weren't more people. Many were parents accompanying their own children to compete. Of course, the kids were definitely not little kids. Most of them were college students attending the conservatory. How could you miss such a big competition? Teacher Zhou and Teacher Wang didn't take these conservatory students to heart. They thought that Cheng Xiao was definitely going to win. At least that's what Mr. Zhou thought. At Cheng Zhao's level, he was hundreds of streets away from them. Probably more than that. There was no worry at all that something more powerful would appear. If a young man who was even better than Chang Xiao really appeared, then it would really be fate. Mom, can I not participate? I don't want to participate in this competition. At this time, an aggrieved female voice sounded. Chang Xiao listened and only felt that it was somewhat familiar. Turned his head and glanced casually, raising an eyebrow. This girl, is actually the one she saw in the lounge a few days ago. The one who pouted with her boyfriend about not wanting to go to the exam. In her case, she should have just passed level 5. Right? How come she ran over to participate? I can't if I don't participate. What did I spend so much money to train you for? It's still not for you to be great in the future. The woman sitting beside her was full of ferocity. Chapter 283 Two Geniuses A look is the kind of control children like to be stronger type of mother. Mouth said is for the sake of the children. Never ask the children want to. Forcing their own unfulfilled added to them. Mom, I really don't have this talent. With my strength, I won't be able to win an award even if I participate. The girl still had a bitter face. She had only taken professional level 5. Coming to participate in this kind of big competition. The prize basically had no chance with her. I don't care. I cultivate you. Just to let you give me glory. And have a big success in the future. How come I gave birth to such a useless thing as you? Yen Yen. Mom is also doing this for your own good. When you have future success. You will be able to find a husband with good conditions. The girl sniffled and said. Mom. I already have a boyfriend. Mom froze at first, and when she reacted, she once again revealed a fierce look. Boyfriend? When did you get a boyfriend? How come I don't know? How is his family's condition? Still, okay, okay? Now, immediately, immediately, break up with him. In the future you're going to marry someone from the right family. Not a poor boy. Mom, he treats me well, and I like him, why should I break up with him? I don't want to. The girl was all stubborn when it came to this, refusing to break up. Chang Xiao listened from the side, shook his head inside, really stupid, that's a scum, how can you not see it clearly yet, this is a word that Mr. Wang and the others naturally heard clearly, teacher Wang was full of indignation, really, how can there be such a mother, the child does not like it but also forced, besides, what's wrong with a poor boy, does a poor boy not deserve to fall in love, teacher Zhou on the side looked at her, why are you so excited about other people's business, it's not that I'm agitated, it's really that what she said is too hard to hear. Completely treating her daughter as her own tool. Not treating her as a human being at all. There are too many parents like this. What's there to be angry about? Teacher Joe had an indifferent face and wasn't interested in any of this. While this side was talking, the match had already started. The conflict between mother and daughter. However, continued. Mom, how can you say that? The girl stood up and refuted her mother for the first time. Her brows furrowed in displeasure. You're all grown up and stiff-winged now. You dare to refute me, don't you? The woman gritted her teeth and said, What kind of bewitching soup did that man put on you? To make you speak up for him and contradict me like this? Mom, I've already said that I make my own decisions about my own person. The woman suddenly sighed. I'm your mom, how could I harm you? That man is definitely unsettled. He will never treat you well in the future. He's just doing it for our family's money. Chang Xiao raises his eyebrows. This is true. Little girls nowadays are really good at cheating ah. Uh. 
I'm not participating in this competition. The girl gets up, carries her school bag and runs outside. Hey, you come back. The woman didn't expect this and gritted her teeth. This stinky girl, her temper is dead stubborn. With that, she chased them out. The match had started and it would soon be their turn. This stinky girl couldn't wait for the game to pass before she lost her temper. Watching the mother and daughter walk away, Mr. Wang said, having such a mom is really something, not responsible at all. It's already enough. The concepts were more traditional before. Well, watch the match and stay out of other people's business. Because it was a preliminary match, there were quite a few people from the Qingzhou division who came to participate. The threshold of the competition wasn't high. A level 5 certificate was enough to enroll. Of course, when it came time to enter the next round, a large number of people would definitely be brushed off. There were only so many people who could get in. Many were just coming over to try their luck. Whether or not they could enter the next round depended on luck. A lot of them are only level 5, and they have a good chance of making it to the next round if they are a little stronger. The likes of Chang Xiao were nothing more than a process now. Mr. Zhou, Mr. Xiang is here. At this time, Teacher Wang spoke out. Teacher Xiang also saw them and hurriedly brought his students over here to sit down. You guys came quite early. Teacher Zhou didn't reply. On the list, there were a total of 50 people participating in today's preliminary round. One by one, they went up. It was like the audition scene of a music program. The students brought by Chang Xiao and Xiang Shu came out in the 30th. 31st, pick a tune of their own and must control the end within two minutes for the next contestant to come on. Only after satisfying the judges could they advance to the next round. After observing the first 20 or so, none of them caught the interest of teacher Zhou and Xiang Shu. These were the most ordinary students. There were basically none that were stunning. Until the 29th one came on, right off the bat. It was great. Exceeding the expectations of the judges and even everyone else, it was a young man around 18 years old, with a clean-cut look, who was obliviously lightly pressing the keys of the piano. Genius. Xiang Xu's eyes widened in shock as he looked at the stage in disbelief. This was also a genius in general. Having seen two geniuses in a row for a few days, the shock in his heart could be imagined. Was the heavens messing with him? Stimulating his heart every day. Teacher Zhou's eyes all showed a rare surprise. Teacher Wang was puzzled. What's wrong? Is this kid very powerful? She didn't think it was much from what she heard. Very powerful. More than a few times better than the average person of the same age. Simply hanging them. Which school is this student from? If he is cultivated, he will definitely have a great future in the future. The main thing is, looking at the age is not very big. There is cultivation value. Xiang Xu said with an excited face, as if this student was his. Mr. Wang wondered, can he compare to Cheng Xiao? That would be a dark horse. Not yet. Still almost as good as Cheng Xiao. Teacher Zhou said, Cheng Xiao showed the kind of spirit and vigor. And when he played, he was very skillful in controlling the piano. So skillful that he was able to create a new and excellent tune as soon as he touched the piano, giving the tune a soul. In short, it was hard for anyone to compete with him. He already had the strength of a master. And although this kid on stage was excellent, he was still developing and couldn't compete with Cheng Xiao at all. But Xiang Shu, this student, wouldn't necessarily be able to match this kid. Xiang Shu's student, named Huang Tiani, at this moment, his face had long since darkened. Could it be that he could only take a third place? Without realizing it, his eyes looked towards Xiang Shu. Teacher, what's wrong? No, nothing. Huang Tiani shook his head. Who knows? Xiang Shu had long guessed what he was thinking, patted his shoulder and said, It's okay if you lose, just take it as an increase in experience. You've met a formidable opponent, just learn more in the future. After a while, Huang Tiani nodded. Got it teacher. Well, just keep a normal mind, don't care too much about winning or losing, or it will easily backfire. Chapter 284, the champion is definitely you. Okay, thank you teacher. Huang Tiani gave him a deep look. Teacher was right. Don't care too much about winning or losing. The greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. Treat it with a normal mind. After no, 29 ended. The scene resounded with thunderous applause. Chang Xiao was looking at his cell phone when he suddenly felt a line of sight resting on him. With probing, and a hint of provocation. Who was it? Looking up, he frowned. It was actually the kid who had just played on the stage. That look seemed to say, we'll see. Provocation? Chang Zhao's intuition was, just this? No. 30 on stage. Huang Tiani. It's over and it's Chang Xiao. Only to see. Huang Tiani took a deep breath, corrected the number plate on his chest, and went to the stage. At this moment, it would be a lie to say that he wasn't nervous. There were quite a few people at the scene, and with so many people watching, it was hard not to be a little nervous. 
Huang Tianyi's playing is not as good as the youth just now, but compared to his peers, it's also very good. He is only about 20 years old. There is still room for development. Very promising. Teacher Zhou was ashamed to see that none of the ones he had taught could hold a candle to him. If it wasn't for Chang Xiao saving the day, this match, I'm afraid it wouldn't have anything to do with their Qingzhou University. Alas, thinking about it is really embarrassing. Looking at Huang Tianyi who had returned to his seat, Xiang Xu patted his shoulder. It's okay, you're already very good. Advancing to the next round is no problem. Huang Tianyi nodded his head. Number 31, Chang Xiao. When this voice came out, many people at the scene froze, then looked at each other. Did I hear it right? Chang Xiao, isn't that that star? Yeah, could it be the same name? Chang Xiao is my super boy god. If it's really him, I'll probably go crazy. The girls were all so excited that they had even taken out their cell phones, ready to take pictures later. Not missing every moment. Chang Xiao is a man who can be so handsome under the road life picture. 360 degrees without dead angle handsome. Che, isn't it just an actor? As for being so excited? At this time, a male sitting on the side of the room said with a displeased face, Who are you you? None of your business. That's right. If you have this time to mind your own business, why don't you take a piss and take a look at what you look like? After Chang Xiao came on the field, everyone was also finally able to see clearly. Holy shit. It's really him. My boy god. Oh my god. So close. Ah 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 so handsome. I've fallen. How come he's here for this competition? Doesn't it smell good to shoot a movie? Have you forgotten? A few days ago Xiao Xiaozi also went to take the piano exam. Coming to the competition means that this is also him wanting to develop his hobby. My Xiao is really great. Other artists, who are not filming are busy playing and traveling. While Chang Xiao, on the other hand, is developing his hobbies. What to do? Liking him more and more. It's useless to like him. He's already married. I don't care if he's married or not. I just simply like him. After starting, Chang Xiao gently placed his hands on the keys. The audience was staring intently at the stage. And the scene was quiet. Probably because of Chang Zhao's identity. Most people knew him. And the movie that was a big hit a while ago had made many of the audience recognize him. It was curious to see how he would perform. Many people felt that it definitely wouldn't be bad. Of course, there were those who agreed and those who didn't. Thinking that he was an actor. Running to participate in a piano competition. Wasn't he messing up? After all. This was a professional competition, not a small competition. When the time was up, Chang Xiao began to play. He chose a more lyrical piece. The rhythm was fast and slow, very well controlled. The audience was mesmerized and looked at Chang Xiao on the stage. After it was over, the crowd was still caught up in the mood of the tune, unable to extricate themselves. It took a while for them to come back to their senses. Afterwards, the applause was thunderous. Good to hear, good to hear. It's still Chang Xiao who plays so well. Teacher Wang was so excited that he burst into tears. Xiang Xu let out a bitter smile. Looks like he didn't use his true strength at all that day. The few judges on stage were still in a state of surprise. How could they not be surprised by two powerful characters in a row? There hadn't been this kind of situation in previous year's matches. Where did these two immortals come from? That's not true. With this strength, they can even go straight to international competitions, right? At this time, a referee said, not necessarily, that kid, is still a bit difficult. The other one, has hope. A few people kept recording the matches of the various players. Detailed data. After two genius-like characters appeared, the ones behind, the few judges couldn't muster much interest. None of them gave people the feeling of having a bright spot in front of their eyes. Numbly recording the data and organizing it. Until the end of the preliminary round, Chang Zhao's few people left the field and headed outside the sales center. Not bad, Chang Xiao. I think the overall champion is definitely yours, Mr. Wang said smilingly, can't be too happy too early, the other regions might have dark horses, we don't have that kid just now in the Qingzhou region, teacher Zhou said indifferently, it was also fortunate that Chang Xiao was strong, otherwise he would have planted himself, to have that strength at such a young age, it's not going to be a problem when he grows up, teacher Wang let out an O, oh, that makes sense, teachers, there's something else at my house, so I'll leave first. Chang Xiao finished his sentence and hurriedly excused himself. Teacher Wang was puzzled. Eh, why are you leaving so soon? Probably have to go home to take care of the child. Teacher Zhou said. It was only after these words came out that Teacher Wang reacted to what she had said, cautiously looking over and raising an eyebrow. Now that the child was mentioned, Teacher Zhou actually didn't react at all. Xiang Xu, on the other hand, had a clouded look on his face. Child? What child? Student Chang Xiao has a child? Married at such a young age? Teacher Wang looked over. Don't you know? People got married a long time ago, and the child is over a year old. 
so early? Xiang Xu stared wide-eyed. He was still an old single, and his students were all married with children. Too godless. When will the country send him a girlfriend? Let him not have to envy others every day. It's too devastating. Mr. Zhou, how is your situation? When I think about it, we were both single when we first graduated. A few years have passed. I still haven't changed. How about you? Xiang Xu wanted to find a comfort. Teacher Zhou was too lazy to pay attention to him. At a glance, this expression of yours is the same as mine. I told you, I'm so cheerful and lively but I haven't found a girlfriend. You're a boring person who has a much harder time than me. Xiang Xu instantly found a trace of comfort. His heart was much more balanced. Chang Xiao drove back home. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Song Mianian was holding four treasures and coaxing. And when he saw him, he hurried over to greet him. When four treasures saw that it was his father, he immediately revealed a smile and giggled nonstop. Stretching out his two little hands, he asked for a hug. Chang Xiao hurriedly hugged over and kissed a few times. Four treasures, did you miss your dad? Daddy misses you oh. Chapter 285, Engaged Baby Marriage Again. For treasures blinks his little eyes and rubs Chang Zhao's face intimately. His mouth was shouting daddy daddy. Song Mianian who looked at it was sour. Like she had chopped 50 pounds of lemons. The air was full of sour flavor. For treasures has never been so sticky to her. Mentioning mom does not react much. Once mentioning dad. Good guy. That excited. It was as if four treasures and Chang Xiao had met for the first time. Grandma had taken care of her for so long. But in the end, it was not as good as meeting her dad for the first time. Probably this is the blood relationship. Once you meet, you will instinctively get close. Babies, look what daddy bought for you. Chang Xiao put down the four babies and took out a few small toys from his arms. As soon as the baby got this, he joyfully went to the side to play. Sitting down on the sofa, Song Mianian asked, Hubby, how was it? How about what? Your competition ah, how's it going? Chang Xiao grinned, you still don't trust your husband? Song Mianyang grunted, you're just fooling around. Deceive? That's because your husband has the capital to fool around. You're too happy too soon. In this competition, Song Mianian felt that it was already excellent to get a third place. How many excellent people had to participate in this competition? It wasn't that easy. All right, no need to dwell on this. I'll go make lunch. Chang Xiao went to the kitchen, tied on his apron, and he turned into the appearance of a good family man. What's for dinner today? Song Mianian came in and asked, probing to take a look into the dishwashing sink. You'll know later. Do you want me to help wash the dishes? Chang Xiao smiled. Are you sure? Forget it then. I'll go check on the baby. Go. Song Mianyang grunted and headed out. Chang Xiao smiled and continued to wash the dishes and cook. After finishing it and serving it on the table, he was ready to go to the living room to call Song Mianyan for dinner and realized that the person was not in the living room. Go to the children's room to take a look. Good guy. One seriously sitting on the carpet. And Song Mianyan was holding a Grimm's fairy tale book telling stories to the babies. The little ones didn't know if they could understand it or not, and listened attentively with a serious face. The story being told now was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Song Mianian was telling it very seriously. A head of green silk hanging on both sides of his shoulders. Beautiful beyond compare. The side of her face looked delicate and pretty from his direction, whether she was lecturing or telling stories. When she worked, she was always so beautiful, so beautiful that he couldn't bear to bother. It wasn't until the story was finished that Song Mianian realized that Cheng Xiao was standing not far away and was startled. Hubby, what are you doing? Chang Xiao, dinner is ready. Came to call you. Oh, suddenly stopping, the babies raised their eyes and looked at their mom in confusion. How come it stopped speaking? Babies, mom will tell you the story of Cinderella again this afternoon. Okay? Song Mianyang went up and touched their heads. Chang Xiao couldn't help but hook the corner of his mouth. In order to take care of the babies, this was any method one could think of. Now they've all started listening to fairy tales. The children have made a lot of progress. If this situation goes on, it is estimated that kindergarten is not even necessary and they can be directly promoted to elementary school. HM, where's Aunt Lin? Song Mianian looked around. Chang Xiao said, probably still busy. I'll go take a look. Aunt Lin was still upstairs cleaning the glass. Chang Xiao went over and she smiled. Sir, you and your wife eat first. I'll finish cleaning this. She's a nanny who eats at the table with the main family every day. It's weirdly embarrassing after a long time. Well, that's fine then. Be quicker. Okay. Chang Xiao went back to the dining room. Has it come yet? Song Mianyang asked. Still busy. Ah, uh, let her eat before she gets busy. How can she not eat? It's okay. We'll eat first if we're hungry. After lunch, Song Mianyan was ready to take the children's dirty socks and wash them. But Aunt Lin came over and said, Ma'am, I'll do this kind of thing. She was paid such a high salary. 
how could she let the main family do everything themselves? That's fine. Having a nanny around was indeed quite convenient. However, convenient as it was, Song Mianyang always felt quite awkward. The nanny did all the work, so she took a look at the kids and was completely idle. She can't even go to work. The main child can't leave her in Changshao. If she continues to teach at Qingzhou University, who will take care of him during the day? Changshao would always be too busy to take care of them. And if she let the nanny take care of them, she was afraid that they wouldn't be able to take care of their four children. In addition, she has a shadow on some news about the nanny abusing children, so she is even more afraid. It's not that she suspects Aunt Lin. After all, strangers always have to be a little wary. The child is now her life. Cannot make the slightest mistake. Thinking of this, she opened her cell phone, tapped a chat box, and sent a video chat. It had been a few days since she had contacted her mom, and she didn't know how she was doing. That side was connected in a short while, and Song Qin's face appeared on the screen, seemingly sitting on the sofa watching TV. Next to her, there were several women sitting. What's wrong Mian Mian? Song Qin asked as she took a bite of her apple. Song Mian Mian said, Mom, are you still used to living alone here? It's quite good. Oh, that's good. I was just asking. Right, there's nothing much going on. You can bring the babies over to play ah, liven things up, just to bring you to meet a few good sisters I know. Song Qin smiled and said, after living here for a few days, she was thoroughly enjoying it, and had made several girlfriends at once. This is your bestie. Ha! Huh? Song Mianian vaguely heard a woman's voice coming from the other end of the video. Yeah, my bestie. You said you have four grandchildren. Really? Really? Let's see. Song Qin smiled and said, Mian Mian, turn the camera around. Your aunts want to see the little ones. Song Mianian helplessly turned around. I gosh. It's really four. So cute. These four. How did they give birth? It's amazing. The baby is looking at me. It's clearly looking at me. For treasures curiously looked at the person on the screen, climbed up from the carpet and snatched the phone in one go while Song Mianian wasn't paying attention. The little face instantly zoomed in the screen, blinking his eyes with a curious face. Cute as hell. This really adored the few ants on the other end of the screen. This baby is so pretty. I really want to have a doll marriage with my grandson in situ. Ah Chin ah. What do you think? My grandson isn't bad either oh. Song Chin laughed. This matter ah. Still have to child's parents to make the decision. I cannot oh. It's fine. When your daughter brings the child here, call out to me. I'll definitely bring my grandchildren right away. And I definitely won't let you down. The other end of the screen could be described as laughter. Song Mianyang smiled helplessly, thinking, for treasures this is really popular ah. Everywhere you go there are people who want to book a baby marriage. Thinking about it is worrying. If he grows up again in the future, what's going to happen? Beautiful girl dolls are easy to be missed, are not letting people worry about. Chapter 286 Advancing to the Rematch What's going on? Chang Xiao suddenly sat over. All of a sudden, he appeared in the camera, and a few ants in front of the camera said, Ha, huh, this is your son-in-law? This young man is quite handsome. No wonder the baby is so good looking. Yes, yes. Ah, Qin, where did you find this son-in-law of yours? Does he have any single friends? Just in time to introduce one to my daughter. Song Qin smiled. I'm not sure. The children are free to love each other. I can't ask about this. Shang Xiao was a bit puzzled when he heard the voices from the other side. Song Mianian explained with a bitter smile. A few of my mom's friends are also there. Shang Xiao raised his eyebrows. So he found a companion? Sure enough, older people can play together if they have a bit of a common topic. And it's quite good to meet up every day to square dance together and buy groceries together. Song Qin finished eating the apple. Looked at Chang Xiao and said, Xiao Chang Ah, take some time to bring the babies over to play. Lively. As soon as the words fell, a few ants chimed in. That's right. Bring them over and let's take a look at them. The kids are all looking so pretty. What do you know? How can a boy be described as watery? It should be a girl who is watery and a boy who is cute. Oops. I didn't just say that. It means they look good. Why don't you bring the baby over tomorrow? I want to see it face to face. Just in time for me to bring my oldest grandson over to play as well. Song Qin smiled and said, Yes, why don't you bring it over tomorrow, just so you can stay on my side for the night. Song Mianian looked at Cheng Xiao, then said, Mom, I may not have time these days. Song Qin froze, What's wrong? After thinking about it, Song Mianian told her about Cheng Zhao's participation in the competition. A piano competition? That's fine. When will it probably end? After not seeing the baby for a few days, Song Qin missed it so much that if the children weren't too dependent on their moms and dads, she would have hugged one over and brought it with her. It was good to have a child to keep them company. I'm not sure. We'll let you know when the time comes. Song Mianyang said. Soon. 
The video hung up. Ah Chin, isn't the child bringing in over? A nearby aunt with a gold bracelet asked. The kids are too busy. The babies will have to be brought over some days later. Song Chin sighed. All right then, you can let us know when they come then, so I can also bring that grandson of mine over. A female treasure that good looking couldn't be missed. Marrying a beautiful granddaughter-in-law improves the genes of the offspring. She must fight for her grandson's chance in advance beforehand. She can't be cut off by someone else halfway. At this moment, in her heart, she already considered four treasures as her granddaughter-in-law. Can't wait to meet it. Before going to bed at night, Chang Xiao received a list of the results of the competition. He had successfully advanced to the rematch. There were a total of 10 who advanced in the Qingzhou division. Brushing down 40 people. Yesterday, the girl left temporarily. So that's 39 people. The finalists will be selected in the final round. It's the equivalent of a big wave of sand. Huang Tiani made it to the finals, along with the 18-year-old kid from before. The list was accompanied by a one-inch photo. Hubby, you advanced to the rematch. Song Mianyang turned her head and saw the list and said with some excitement. Chang Xiao rubbed her head. What's wrong with that? A rematch is just a rematch. Just enter as you please. Ch. How can you say that and let those who were brushed down live? Song Mianyang grunted. This guy was also too much of a blow to people. He really doesn't let people live. He had brushed down 40 people, and he called this casual? Who cares how they live? I just want to hurry up and finish the match, then stay home with you and the baby. Cheng Xiao smiled and said. Song Mianian turned off her cell phone, thinking about what happened during the day. She hesitated and said. Hubby, there's something I want to discuss with you. It's okay if you don't agree. It's okay if I don't go. What is it? Cheng Xiao raised his eyebrows. That, you also know that I've only taught for less than a year in total since I graduated. So, so, you want to go back to Qingzhou University to continue teaching again? Cheng Xiao smiled. Song Mianyang blushed, and after a while, gently nodded her head. She felt that life with a job was more fulfilling. It's just that for the babies, it might lack some companionship. Of course, it's fine if you don't agree. It's also quite good to stay at home with the babies. She was just asking. For the piece of teaching and educating, she still quite liked it. She hated the company's kind of fighting. It's better to have the peace and quiet of school. Chang Xiao kissed her forehead, looked at her slightly reddened little face, and smiled. Wife, if you really want to go, go, the baby has me. But again, you're the one taking care of the baby. What's wrong? Can't bear to part with me? I'm not. Song Myanian, I'm just mentioning it now. Maybe I won't want to go tomorrow. Chang Xiao, then think about it. Do you want to go? If you continue to go to Qingzhou University, or another school, I will also support you. Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianyang nodded. You don't need to worry about taking care of the baby, isn't there still Aunt Lin here? Just rest assured. Hey, let's talk about it tomorrow. I'm sleepy. I'll go to sleep first. Ah, uh, good night. On another day, Chang Xiao went to the location of the rematch early in the morning according to the address on the email. The rematch needed to eliminate seven people. The other three went into the finals. Reality is so cruel. When they arrived at the place, Teacher Zhou and the others also arrived early and brought a few students who were in the piano room before. Gu Shirbin was there. Even Meng Li Hong came, except for the latter. The others came to cheer on Chang Xiao. As soon as he saw Chang Xiao, Gu Shirbin hurriedly waved. He ran over to Chang Xiao and explained to him why he didn't come when he said he would go to the exam together. At that time, he had a temporary problem at home and didn't have time to explain to Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao smiled lightly. It's fine. I don't mind. That's good. Today's rematch. I'm sure you can make it to the final. Gu Shirbin still had a lot of confidence in Chang Xiao. Thanks. After a few people took their seats, Meng Lihang sat on the side without saying anything because of Chang Xiao. His face expressionless. In his heart, he was still unwilling. If it wasn't for Chang Xiao, the contestants sitting here now would be him. Today's rematch. Originally he didn't want to come. Hard to be pulled. Just right. He will see how Chang Xiao lost to others. None of the ones who could enter the rematch were simple. If Cheng Xiao didn't enter the final this time, then it would really be a joke. He was waiting for that moment. Xiang Xu soon arrived as well, arranging the students aside while he squeezed a spot next to Teacher Zhou, smiling and obviously in a good mood. Hello again huh? Teacher Zhou knew what he was happy about and glanced at him. What's there to be happy about entering the rematch? Entering the finals is the top priority. Chapter 287, the final is stable. Ouch, don't make the atmosphere so heavy. What's wrong with entering the rematch? That's still 50 into 10. Even if we don't make it to the finals, that's not a loss. Xiang Xu's mindset was very good. Anyway, with Chang Xiao around, he was not expecting his students to win any championships. It was just a matter of gaining experience. When he became even better in the future before coming to other competitions, 
he would surely be able to hit the ground running. This student of his wasn't bad in terms of talent. There was a lot of room for improvement. You're quite open-minded. Teacher Joe was speechless. What can I do if I don't look on the bright side? Anyway, the champion is definitely your family's Cheng Xiao. It can't be on my side. Xiang Xu shrugged his shoulders and said. When these words came out, Meng Li Hong on the side was not happy. His face instantly pulled down. How can you be sure that Cheng Xiao must be the champion? With so many experts in the finals at that time, it was impossible for the champion's turn to come to him even if it was anyone's turn. Anyway, he didn't believe it. After thinking about it, he looked at Xiang Xu, teacher, how did you see that Cheng Xiao can take the title? Xiang Xu didn't think much about it. He only smiled. With his strength, the championship, it's 100% his. But, it's not even the finals yet. Where can we see that he can win the championship? Meng Lihang asked, holding back his irritation. Xiang Xu seemed to smell a hint of an unusual flavor. Jealousy? Does this student not get along with Cheng Xiao? Then why follow over to watch the match? If you want to see Cheng Xiao unhappy, just come and sign up for the competition as well, and then ruthlessly crush Cheng Xiao. Ah, I guess he's not strong enough, but he's not willing to lose to Cheng Xiao. Why is this kid so jealous? Alas, the match starts in half an hour. Brother Xiao, it's about to start. Aren't you nervous? Gu Shurban asked. If it were him, the rematch, he would have been nervous already. This was the most crucial moment, deciding whether or not one could enter the finals. Cheng Xiao glanced at him. Why should I be nervous? The corner of Gu Shurbin's mouth twitched. Okay, you're the big brother. You're capricious. Half an hour later, the competition started. The first one was the 18-year-old youth who came out. This time he chose a difficult tune. The judges were still as amazed as they were yesterday, recording and starting to whisper to each other again. I wasn't wrong about this kid. What a good seedling. To play such a difficult tune so well. Not bad. Indeed very talented. However, comparing it to Chang Xiao yesterday, it's still a bit worse. At this age, to be able to have this achievement, it's simply a ghost talent. Two more years and it's still not enough. This competition is interesting. Two dark horses. According to the results from other cities, no player has surpassed these two yet. So it seems that they are the ultimate rivals. The champion this time might even come from our Qingzhou. That's not true. Let's wait and see. After a few judges finished their discussion, the youth playing had already ended. Chang Xiao was up next. Instantly, the audience's eyes whooshed over. Staring intently in Chang Zhao's direction, Chang Xiao was the one they were most looking forward to. The entire arena was cheering. The staff signaled everyone to be quiet. Most of the audience here had followed from over there yesterday. Looking at the audience's reaction, Meng Lihang's fists clenched hard. The fire of jealousy was burning. Chang Xiao chose a song that was not very difficult. And at first, several judges shook their heads, thinking that this would definitely not work for the final. However, they didn't expect that Chang Xiao added some of his own stuff into it halfway through, instantly making an incredibly ordinary tune sound good. The feeling is different, and the difference with the original version is huge. It sounded even more intentional. The style is special. In short, it was awesome. The judges each had glowing eyes, and their hearts were a few points more excited than seeing the youth in front of them play. Piano tunes can be changed like this. It's awesome. On their hands, they swish and record all aspects of Chang Zhao's performance. At the very least, it's a safe bet to make it to the finals. They had silently reserved a place for Chang Xiao. If such strength couldn't make it into the finals, who else could make it into the finals? It was estimated that everyone would not be able to enter. After Chang Xiao finished, he said hello and left. Why is he in a hurry every time? Xiang Xu said, there's no need to be in such a hurry to go back and bring the child, right? Letting his object take care of it for a while isn't enough. Not even a chance to discuss the discussion. Harm. Child. Mr. Xiang. What child? Gu Shurbin froze and asked in confusion. What happened? If you ask your teacher Zhou don't you know? I only just found out. Chang Xiao got married. The child can even play soy sauce. Mentioning this matter, Xiang Xu felt depressed. Why was he single for so long? What? So soon? Gu Shurbin's eyes widened in shock. After being in school for so long, he had long admired Chang Xiao's great name. But he didn't know that he had actually gotten married and had children. According to the time he graduated, he was only 23 now right? And the child is about to hit the sauce? So early. So soon he became a winner in life. Once graduated from the theater to make a pot full of money, have a child, family, then ordinary graduates can be too much bull. Really envious. Chang Xiao went home and received news that night. The final was set for five days later. Wife, let's make a trip to mom's place tomorrow and bring the babies over. Chang Xiao said, what's going on? Aren't you competing? Yeah, the final is in five days. There's no rush. 
All right then, I'll talk to mom later. The next day, the couple packed up and prepared to leave. Song Mian Yang said, Hubby, we're staying for one night. See what else you haven't brought with you. Diapers, a change of clothes, and the baby's rice flour supplements and so on. Chang Xiao checked. No, ready to go. As soon as Song Qin heard they were coming, she went out early in the morning to buy groceries and food. When they were ready, the family of six was already downstairs, and she hurried out to pick them up. After not seeing the children for a few days, she missed them so much that she met them and kissed them one by one. The four treasures face obviously appeared dislike and reluctance. Song Qin was amused, you little guy. What's wrong with grandma giving you a kiss? Grandma bought a lot of delicious food. Are you going to eat it or not? Only to see. For treasures grunted and glanced his head to the side. It made Song Qin's heart melt. This little temper. As usual. Ah Qin, is this your daughter-in-law? And the four grandchildren? Just then. A voice rang out from the side, only to see, a woman pushing a children's cart coming this way. She was the grandmother who was going to give four treasures and her grandchildren a child marriage yesterday. Song Qin smiled. Yes, but it's so pretty, even better than in the video. She took one look at four treasures and did it, did it, it over. This is the baby from yesterday's video. Right, so pretty. The woman sighed, then her eyes went to Song Myanian and asked with a smile. Daughter Ah, what do you think of this grandson of mine? Chapter 288, Admirable Eloquence. This question asked Song Mian Mian froze, knowing what this aunt thought. She smiled, quite good ah, the heavens are full. At first glance it's a good boy. The woman immediately revealed a smile, really good at talking ah, since you think it's also good, why don't we set up a baby marriage between our two families? My son and daughter-in-law, have a house and a car, have deposits, two companies under their names, conditions in terms of it's all okay. Doll's marriage? Cheng Xiao raised his eyebrows, only to see Song Myanian reply, Ah, this, I can't make this decision for her. We have to see if the child is willing to do it herself in the future. It's fine. The feelings will just be cultivated slowly. Let them get to know each other first. Grow up together. If they can be together, they will be together. If not, they won't be forced. Auntie said, her grandson's condition wasn't bad. However, she just had her eye on this little girl. At a glance, she was attracted to it. Just a beauty embryo ah, definitely can change their family's offspring genes. I have to ask my husband about this. I can't make the decision myself. Song Myanian pushed the matter to Cheng Xiao. Cheng Xiao smiled. His wife refused to be embarrassed. So the bad guy could only be him. Auntie, I'm sorry. Our children don't set doll marriage. This is unfair to them. My family's four treasures are so beautiful. There will definitely be more people chasing after her in the future. And there are as many as there are in good condition. This child. Look at what you said. I mean, if the two children, when they grow up, are still willing to be together, then together, now set a doll's kinship. In the future it's still not up to them. Chang Xiao laughed, Auntie, doll marriage is not casually booked, especially when the child is still small and unintelligent. This is very unfair to them. Besides, our family conditions are not much worse than others. The future son-in-law will not pay attention to each other how rich, as long as my daughter is good on the line. This long-winded. Listening to Song Myanian froze, no Chang Xiao mouth powerful, did not expect so powerful, directly dislike people speechless, the ant was also said to be frozen, it took a while to come around, young man, how do you know they won't see eye to eye in the future, what happens in the future will be discussed later, if my daughter is destined to be with your grandson in the future and likes each other, I naturally won't stop them much, Chang Xiao added one last sentence, of course, it also depends on how the other person's character is, auntie pondered for a while, well, what you said is reasonable. The children's matter will be discussed later. Alas, this analysis was quite right. She was speechless. Song Qin also admired her son-in-law's tongue. Really can say ah. At first she was worried about how to rebuff. This problem was solved at once. This is also good. So as not to come back later to say. Doll marriage this kind of thing. Really have to look at the future of the child himself. And then again. This kind of custom is the previous feudal period. Now all 1202 years. It's 1202 years ago. Who would have a child marriage now? Auntie said back. The family went to the neighborhood. Upstairs. In the elevator. Song Myanian looked at Cheng Xiao with a face of admiration. Hubby, you are really great. This eloquence. In the future, don't feel embarrassed when anyone says that the baby's marriage is set. It's not good to reject it. Just reject it directly. Is our family's condition bad? In the future, our child. Find a good to her with a progressive mind on the line. Chang Xiao said. Song Mian Yang nodded, well, good. From the time four treasures was born until now, 
There have been several people talking about the matter of Dahl's marriage. This face value of four treasures is really worrying. I only hope that it will change a bit when it grows up. Being too pretty is not a good thing. Come to the living room. Having a nanny at home is different. The living room is spotlessly clean. Everywhere is clean. Song Chin smiled. And soon, took a large box out of the bedroom and placed it on the living room carpet. Opening it, it was filled with a box full of toys. These were all the ones she had prepared for the children. As soon as Debeo and the others saw the toys in the box, they babbled and came this way. Only Four Treasures was reluctant to come over, his eyes full of love for the toys. He just didn't come over and looked there. Chang Xiao is very helpless towards Si Bao. This little guy, in front of his own family, why is he so backbone? It's not like he doesn't know grandma. Four Treasures, want to go get it yourself ah? Look at your brothers and sisters. Four Treasures understands, grunts, just don't go over. Stubbornly stand in place. Not long after, stretched out his hands to Cheng Xiao, wanting a hug. Cheng Xiao helplessly picked her up and pinched her little nose. You little one, what's the use of such a backbone? If you like it, go and play. Grandma is liking you. Why don't you know that? Song Qin couldn't help but laugh. This little temper of four treasures really hasn't changed at all. Ever since she was little, she didn't want to let her, her grandmother, hug her, and only wanted her mom, adding a lot of pressure to Mian Mian. Being too clingy wasn't a good thing either. What about kindergarten in the future? I'll be crying my eyes out. Thinking about it makes me worried. It seems that she still needs to be trained. Song Qin took the initiative to hand over a toy. For treasures didn't even extend her hand. Her little face was buried in Chang Zhao's arms. Just as Chang Xiao was about to hand four treasures to his mother-in-law for a hug, suddenly, the knock on the door sounded. Song Mianian, I'll go open the door. Opening the door, there were a few Amazons standing outside the door. Ha, huh, did we go to the wrong place? It's this place that's right. The Amazons were puzzled when they saw that it was a strange girl opening the door. That's right, it's here. We were here yesterday. Song Qin heard the sound and hurried over. I told you, that's right. One of the older women said. Ah Qin, this is your daughter, right? A few of the older moms walked into the living room. When they saw the toys and four babies all over the floor, they were instantly stunned by the sight before them. These are your four grandchildren. Song Qin smiled. Yes, it just so happens that I'm not busy today and came over to play. The Amas loved the little kids. And once they came in, they hurriedly took off their shoes and headed over to the blanket to tease the kids. Song Qin smiled and said, You guys can stay for dinner today. My son-in-law's handiwork is not bad. Your son-in-law also cooks? The one in our family. Just knows to let my daughter do it. Alas. Who doesn't? There are too few men who can cook. This son-in-law is really good looking. And his daughter isn't bad either. No wonder the children are all born so good looking. The Amazon sighed. Chang Xiao and his wife looked at each other and Chang Xiao laughed. Looks like mom knows a lot of people here. Song Mianian laughed. A square dance basically familiarizes me. Da Bao and the others were having fun playing with the toys. Only Si Bao was the only one squatting on the side drawing circles. Just not going over. What's wrong with this baby? Why doesn't he come to play with his brothers and sisters? Big mother said in confusion. Song Qin couldn't help but laugh. This child has this temperament. As long as her mom and dad, she doesn't even want me as her grandmother. No, seeing that you guys are here, she is even more afraid to come over. Chapter 289, it's not a soft rice man, right? Ah yes, this child seems to have quite a temper. The Amazons couldn't help but laugh, feeling more and more adorable with four treasures. How could this little girl child be born so good looking, completely inheriting her mother's good genes and beauty, so that people couldn't help but fall in love with her just by looking at her? However, just this little temper. A little difficult to deal with, as long as mom and dad. In the future, I'm afraid it's not good to bring ah. School is still to come. For treasures, quickly go and play with your brothers and sisters. Look, this is your favorite little car. Chang Xiao continued to take things to tempt. Fourth treasure especially like small cars, especially remote control cars. Looking at her dad and then at her grandmother's side. Stubborn as hell. She wasn't going to go over there. Even her favorite toy car can't be tempted to go over. Cheng Xiao is also at his wit's end. This child, why is she so stubborn? The temperament in the end follows who? The couple looked at each other, both somewhat helpless. Song Qin laughed on the side, just forget about it if you don't come over. At noon, Cheng Xiao got up. Mom, I'll go cook. I'll help you. Song Mian Yang also stood up, leaving her here, facing these ants. She was embarrassed. How embarrassing in case some awkward little questions were asked. She didn't really like facing unfamiliar people. Chang Xiao naturally saw this and didn't say anything. Watching the couple enter the kitchen, the ants began to discuss. This son-in-law of yours is really good. 
He can cook and take care of people. Yes, yes, yes. The key is really good looking. Achin, if this were your son, if he didn't have a date, I would definitely bring my daughter to the door. That's right. Me too. Say, what kind of work does your in-laws do? One of the older moms asked Song Chin. Song Chin thought for a moment and said with some sadness, "My son-in-law's parents have." Ah, in that case, I'm really sorry. We didn't know. It's fine. So the Amazon started to sympathize with Chang Shao again. What a nice young man! So young, his parents. Alas, things are unpredictable. Song Chin did not tell Chang Shao's orphan status in front of a group of outsiders. It was not appropriate. No parents. Are you bringing up those four kids or no? Basically, my son-in-law is bringing them up. My daughter has to work. Whom? Daughter works. Son-in-law at home with the kids. The Amazons were a bit confused. Shouldn't men go out to work and women bring up the children? How come it's the other way around? This son-in-law of hers. He's not a soft rice man, is he? Yes. So your son-in-law doesn't have an income of his own, except for bringing up children. Yes, he does business, and there are two mom and pop stores under his name. Song Chin smiled and said, "The moment these words came out, several of the Amazons were stunned, and the ones who were originally prepared to say a few words completely swallowed their words into their stomachs. It was almost a slap in the face. Having their own store, ah, that's not bad. They thought they were relying on a woman to make money to support their family. I don't think Xiao Chang is too old to open his own store. He's really young and promising. Yes, unlike the son of one of my relatives, after graduation, he is at home to eat old people, waiting for death." Look at others, people of the same age, all have their own families. There is no way to compare. Ah, some young people are so stupid that they go to college. Akin, your daughter is really lucky. A few of the moms chatted happily. Song Myanian smiled. Wherever, as if remembering something, an older woman asked, "What does your daughter do?" Before Song Chin could answer, another woman said, "She must have a good job. My daughter is now the director of a company." As soon as this one took the lead. The Yamas all started to introduce their daughters. My daughter is the store manager of a chain restaurant. My daughter is still studying abroad. My daughter-in-law. When everyone was pretty much introduced, several people's eyes looked at Song Chin in unison. Ah, Chin, you haven't said it yet. What does your daughter do? Song Chin smiled. It's definitely not comparable to your daughter's. What? University teacher. The instant these words came out, there was an instant dead silence. University teacher? Such a young girl. This became a college teacher. Not simple. Yes, being a teacher is actually quite good. The work is stable. There won't be too many jumps unless one resigns. Otherwise, 100% won't be dismissed. This is quite good. The most crucial thing is that there's a pension or something like that when you get older in the future. It's like an iron rice bowl. Outside, there is a sound of envy. In the kitchen, Song Myanian was still washing vegetables. Chang Shao smiled and said, "Wife, you go see the baby go." For treasures doesn't want anyone. This will not know what she's doing on her own. Song Myanian nodded. Okay. Coming into the living room, the little one was sitting on the very edge of the carpet, looking down at the floor and not speaking. The small appearance was heartbreaking. Song Myanian hurriedly went over and picked her up, put her in her arms and pinched her nose. For treasures, what are you doing, mom? For treasures saw that it was her mother and hurriedly hugged her neck tightly with her hands, not letting go. Her small mouth was aggrieved. Song Myanian laughed bitterly. This child said not to go, really not to go. Sitting here in a daze, do not play with that toy. Is also stubborn enough. There was no other way but to carry him to the kitchen. Hubby, what do you think about this? Too stubborn. Song Myanian sighed. It had been so stubborn since birth. It's fine. It'll probably get better when it grows up. Chang Shao came over and pinched Si Bao's little face. The little guy grunted and grunted with an aggrieved face, clearly wanting to play with toys but not daring to go over. Now that a bunch of strangers are around, he is even more afraid. An hour and a half later, the meal was ready. Song Mian Mian hurriedly carried four treasures out. Chang Shao took off his apron and said, "Wife, call mom and the girls to eat today. Purposely made a few more dishes. After all, there are guests. Less is not enough to eat." Carrying a plate of dishes out, he shouts towards the living room. Dinner is ready. A few people were seated. Wow, not bad, not bad. Colorful and fragrant. Yeah. Achin was really right. This craftsmanship is really something. A few people had already started rubbing their hands secretly. One of them tasted a bite of the braised fish. His eyes lit up. M M M, delicious. Where did you buy this fish? So fresh and tender. Saying this, she hurriedly took two more bites, not forgetting to let the person beside her have a taste as well. Don't just eat this. Try this fish. It's not bad. 
It's even more decent than what I ate in the restaurant. The other one, hearing her say so, also tasted it. Well, it's not bad. I'll have to ask Chung for a recipe and make it at home. Che, with that handiwork of yours, how can you make this flavor? The man was notorious for being a bad cook, and what he burned that was the darkest of dark dishes. She couldn't imagine what the pickled fish she made looked like. It must be as black as sesame paste, basically no need to guess. Chapter 290, Consider Him Dead. You can't underestimate me. My cooking skills have improved recently. She immediately retorted. The dining table was filled with laughter. Auntie, if you want a recipe, I'll write one for you later. Chang Xiao smiled. Great, Xiao Chang. You must not give it to her. The ones that are made are dark cuisine, not for normal people to eat. You will not take you as dumb if you talk less. Really, is there such damage? A mountain of bamboo shoots are going to be taken away from her. After a meal was finished, the Amazons teased the children and excused themselves to leave. The house finally cleared up. For treasures took advantage of her siblings taking a nap and rushed off to play with her long for little toy car. It had been on her mind all morning. Song Qin chose not to make a sound. Song Mianian helplessly smiled. For treasures this little man, actually still picks the time. He has grown in skill. In this way, she held a pile of toys alone and played for a whole lunch break. And in the evening, she was so sleepy that her eyes fought up and down. Then she fell asleep in the pile of toys. At this time, Debeo also woke up. Cheng Xiao had no choice but to pick up four treasures and took a look at her. Her face was red with marks. Carry her into the bedroom, put her on the bed and cover her with a small quilt. The day passed just like this. Looking at the baby's quiet sleeping face, Song Mianian let out a bitter smile. This future worrying days are still ahead. For treasures is probably the most unsettling. Wife, are you thinking about the baby's future again? It's okay. Our daughter is very smart. She will know how to protect herself. The big deal is to send her to learn self-defense skills in the future. Chang Xiao patted Song Mianian's shoulder. Girls always make parents uneasy. Even if she looks ordinary, the main thing is that she is too good looking. Who knows if she will be missed when she grows up. This problem Chang Xiao is not thought of. When the child is older, sent to learn self-defense skills. What the two of them don't know is that years later, they don't have to worry about it at all. For treasures is the one who is least bullied. Before going to bed at night, the four treasures because of the evening sleep. At the moment the thief spirit, in the carpet barefoot running around, playful, the husband and wife are sleepy, are about to be tossed to death by this little guy. Chang Xiao is okay, have the skills to steal sleep, mainly Song Mian Mian, have not rested for a day, this will be sleepy as hell. For treasures is still there happily playing, this little mischievous mischief maker. For treasures, come over to bedtime Chang Xiao got up to hug her, she thought her dad was playing hide and seek with him, and ran even more cheerfully, laughing as she ran her two little legs clattering, running quite fast. Except for this little one, the older siblings are all asleep. Chang Xiao quickly stepped over, picked her up. Positive look, four treasures. You do not sleep again dad to beat the little but oh, the child is still small. How to understand what? Only thought that the father again with their own play. Song Nian Nian on the side could not see past it, smiled and said, you're like this you will only get more and more mental. Tonight we both do not want to sleep. Chang Xiao could only let her play by herself. However, he didn't realize that the more he let her go, the more unrestrained the little one became. Seeing that almost an hour has passed, it is still so high. Couple. This spirit of four treasures was simply too good to be true. Whatever. Wife. If you're sleepy, hurry up and go to bed. You can't stay up all night. Staying up all night is easy to get wrinkles. You know? I'll watch him. Chang Xiao said. Song Mian Yang frowned. Can you do it alone? Four treasures was likely to stay up all night. Or you can't really hold out before you yell at me to get up. Song Mianian's heart ached for him. Cheng Xiao pinched her nose and laughed lightly. What's wrong? Heartbroken for your husband? Humph. Song Mianian didn't say anything. Equivalent to acquiescence. All right. Go to sleep. Let's go back tomorrow. Uh, good. As expected. The sleepiness of four treasures lasted until more than three in the morning. If it wasn't for the skill of stealing sleep. This time I'm afraid that I wouldn't be able to support myself anymore. The little guy is really capable of boiling people. In the morning, Song Mianian cleaned up the first time to get up. Check the children's situation. The four treasures sleep on all fours. The older siblings are squeezed to one side. As for San Bao, he directly put his leg on Big Bao's leg. For babies, sleeping in a crisscross pattern. Chang Xiao is also still asleep. Must be exhausted. Song Mianian's heart ached so much that she didn't have the heart to wake him up. Even the nanny didn't bother to call out to him when she made breakfast. Where's Xiao Chang? At the dinner table, Song Qin asked. Song Mianian said. He stayed up late last night with the baby and is too tired today. Let him rest more. No matter how good a man's body is, 
It's not made of iron. It's been said for him to call out to her if he was tired last night. This guy, he did everything on his own. Every time this happens, how can it not make people worry? Song Qin pondered for a while and said, Xiao Chang is a good man. Daughter Ah, you have to remember his goodness. Well, I will. Song Mian Mian was touched in her heart. She never thought that a man could be so good to such an extent. Taking care of so much in every aspect, she felt that she owed him so much, the kind that could never be repaid. Daughter, you are luckier than me. You met a good man. Song Qin sighed again and looked ahead. It seemed to be caught up in long ago memories. More than 20 years ago, she and Song Mian Mian's father, from the time they met to get married, also, has been loving, but did not expect. One day he suddenly disappeared. Just a word did not leave. Left noiselessly, no matter how she could not find, as if the earth evaporated. Such days unknowingly passed more than 20 years. Thinking about the heartache of all these years, she had a hard time and often recalled the old days. Mom, what happened in the past that was in the past? It's all in the past. We can't live in the past ah. At least you've started to enjoy your blessings. Alas, that's right. Let's not mention it. Bringing it up is just adding to the worries. The person had left and probably wouldn't come back in this lifetime. She, there was no need to wait any longer. Yes, all these years, she still had a small expectation for that person to come back in her heart. But these expectations have been consumed in the midst of repeated disappointments. Do not wait. Can't wait any longer. That person. Let's just pretend he's dead. Squeak. The door was opened and Chang Xiao walked out in his pajamas. Sleepy eyes. Xiao Chang. You're awake? While breakfast is still hot. Go brush your teeth and wash your hands. Eat some first to pad your stomach. Song Qin said. This took care of the whole night. I'm sure she must be tired now. Saying that, she gave Song Mianyang a wink. Hurry up and go see if there's anything you need help with. This girl. Wooden. Hubby. Has four treasures woken up yet? Song Mian Mian helplessly went over to ask. Cheng Xiao smiled and glanced behind him. The little guy is still sleeping. He played too late last night. He probably won't be able to climb up until noon. Chapter 291. It really is fate. He really knew this little guy too well. Debeo and the others were up early in the morning, eating and playing with toys. The three babies sat together in harmony, just out of which came forth treasure. The one with the odd temper. I'll go take a look. Song Mianian lightly walked into the bedroom. When she went in, she only saw that four treasures was lying on the bed, sleeping soundly, with no intention of waking up, and snoring through his nose. The sleep was so fragrant. Chang Xiao also followed in and smiled. Don't yell at her first, or else she'll get angry with you. He knows his daughter too well. Whoever interrupts her while she is sleeping, she will cry to you. Ch. Say as if you're the only one who understands. I know. Song Mianian glared at him and hummed. After breakfast, the nanny came over to clean up the dishes. Song Qin said, a new playground has recently opened in this neighborhood. Do you want to take the baby to see it? Today happens to be the weekend. It's crowded. It's good for the kids to go out and meet more people. Song Mian Yang had no opinion. Her eyes looked at Chang Xiao, seemingly asking for his opinion. Chang Xiao shrugged, as long as you agree then go. Everything depends on what his wife wants. Okay, go then. Song Mian Yang nodded. This neighborhood is really a good place. The neighborhood really has everything. Large shopping malls, zoos, amusement parks, all of them, including the underwater world and so on. This area has the most children. Children are the market. Today's weekend, the foot traffic has increased. Many parents have brought their children out to play and laugh. Once the babies are out of the neighborhood, they are happy to look left and right. The four treasures are also just woke up and was called up. Squinting his eyes seem to be still sleepy. Yawning from time to time. Looks sleepy. The spirit can't be lifted at all. Song Mianyang let out a light laugh. This child, you'll be refreshed when you go to the playground later. Chang Xiao laughed. Song Qin pushed Debeo, who didn't reject his grandmother and was still babbling with Song Qin. The former laughed incessantly. Although the amusement park is in the neighborhood, but also separated by a distance. Have to drive to. The family got into the car and set off for their destination. For treasures at this time to be considered awake. Open a pair of big watery eyes. Eyes turn. Found that grandma is sitting next to himself. Small frown immediately wrinkled. Not happy. Not happy. Eyes were searching everywhere for mom and dad. Dad was driving. Mom. Song Mianian was sitting in the passenger side. And didn't know that four treasures had woken up. Seeing mom and dad ignoring themselves. And next to grandma. Four treasures mouth turned away. Aggrieved. It seemed like he was trying his best to hold back the crying. What's wrong with four treasures? Song Qin touched her little head. Four treasures head tilted and she didn't say anything. Her temper was still quite big. 
Song Mianian noticed the difference and turned back to meet four treasures aggrieved eyes. It could make hearts melt. Song Mianian's heart ached. Fourth treasure. What's wrong? Only to see. For treasures stretched out his little hand and looked at Song Qin again. The meaning was self-evident. He wanted a hug. Not grandma. Song Mianian was helpless. For treasures. You have to be obedient. We're still riding in the car. Mommy can't hug you. Okay? When this came out. I don't know if the little guy understood. And didn't want to be hugged. His head was tilted, ignoring no one. Soon, the car arrived at the destination. After getting off the car, Cheng Xiao went to buy a few tickets, smoothly enter the playground. Cheng Xiao gave the children a mask as usual, for fear of being photographed by someone with a heart. Hey, are you Song Mian Mian? Just as the family was about to enter the gates of the amusement park, a female voice rang out from behind them. Song Mianian turned around in confusion. A woman with dark-looking skin stood behind her, holding a child in her hands. Beside her stood another female. You don't remember me? I used to go to junior high school. Junior high school. I'm Li Yingchun Ah. Li Yingchun? Song Mian Yang was a little bit impressed. Junior high school did have Li Yingchun as a character. The person looks okay. The person looks okay. But the skin is a bit dark. How did she become like this? And the clothes on her body were a mess. Oh, I remember. You sat in my front row at that time. Song Mian Yang said. She and Li Yingchun were just acquaintances. Not very familiar and she didn't expect to recognize her at a glance. Are you curious about how I recognized you? You're so good looking, how could you not recognize? At that time you were the school flower in school. Ah, a lot of girls envy you. I also envy, Li Yingchun said. If she didn't have dark skin, she would also be a beauty embryo. Hey, family genetics, what can be done? Song Mianian gave a dry laugh, not knowing what to say. After all, she hadn't seen her in years. What could there be to talk about? And if it wasn't for Li Yingchun taking the initiative to recognize her, she wouldn't even necessarily recognize her. You got married? Li Yingchun looked at the babies and then at Cheng Xiao. As a result, all of a sudden, she was stunned in place. Cheng Xiao? You're Cheng Xiao? Even with a mask on, she recognized him. Cheng Xiao had been on fire in recent months. There aren't many girls who don't recognize him. Cheng Xiao was speechless. This could be recognized. Song Mianian smiled helplessly. Yes, I'm married. Don't tell me that Cheng Xiao is your husband. Li Yinchuan's eyes widened with disbelief. Gosh, her classmate's husband was actually Cheng Xiao. Could this world be any more fantastical? Before, she was thinking that it would be nice to be able to look at Cheng Xiao. Good lord, this is directly face to face ah, and she can still talk. It's my husband, said Song Mianian awkwardly. Then these four babies, are also mine. Li Yingchun had long heard that Cheng Xiao had a child, or four, that is, his wife was mysterious. After all, his wife is her classmate. This thing is a mess. Your kids are really good looking. But, if the parents are so good looking, the kids can be any worse. Li Yingchun looked at the black kid in her arms and instantly felt unscented. Look at other people's children. White and delicate. With porcelain dolls in general. Especially the most side of the little girl. Really really is a small fairy down to earth. Beautiful don't want. Li Yingchun a little do not know how to digest this news. Is really too much information. Say, Mian Mian. You are awesome. Quadruplets ah. How did you give birth? Li Yingchun was too curious. This was four, not two. The birth could be considered extremely dangerous. Moreover, the probability of being able to carry quadruplets was not high. And to be able to give birth, one didn't know how much one would have to suffer. Don't be she has such a handsome husband. Let her suffer this crime she is also willing. Looking at the four children are Chang Xiao in the lead. She is more envious. Unlike her family that dog man, to the playground at all will not accompany them mother and child together, let alone with the baby. Look at other people's husbands, handsome even if, but also so sweet, before also do not believe in fate. This moment, she believed, it's really fate. Chapter 292 Maybe fate has arrived. Thinking that, she looked at Song Qin behind Song Mianian again, nodded her head, and said hello. Hello auntie. Song Qin smiled faintly. Hello. Seeing you guys come together as a family. I'm so envious. Unlike me, only I brought my son and came with my best friend. Li Yingchun said with an envious face. This is my best friend, Ling Yen Yen. Hello. Both sides greeted each other and Song Mian asked. Your husband didn't come with you? Don't mention him. Mentioning him makes me angry. People come as couples with their children. He just works and works every day. He doesn't even care about his son. Li Yingchun huffed. Luckily, she had a best friend to accompany her in everything. And she could also help bring up the child. Ah, like this. Song Mian Yang was puzzled. Was work really that important? There wasn't even time to accompany the child. 
Li Yingchun was not a spiteful person as far as she remembered, and those who could make her spiteful like this were afraid that they were really doing too much. Okay, okay, let's not mention him. We haven't seen each other for almost 10 years. Today we are so lucky to run into each other. Why don't we join together? Song Mianian looked at Cheng Xiao, saw that he had no opinion, nodded, it's okay. After entering the playground, Li Yingchun had been too embarrassed to look at Cheng Xiao. It was too embarrassing. She really didn't think that he was the object of her old classmate. The world is so fantastical and coincidental. Mian Mian, in a few days it will be our annual class reunion. You haven't gotten together with everyone for almost 10 years. Right, let's get together then. Saying this, she looked at Cheng Xiao, you can bring your husband along. Song Mianyang looked embarrassed. That, I might not have time in a few days. My husband is participating in a competition recently. Li Yingchun laughed, it's fine. It's good that you're here. Just bring the babies, those junior high school classmates in the group before. Still discussing breaking contact with you. It's just time to meet up. That's fine. Go home and I'll plan my time. If I'm free, I'll go. She has indeed broken contact with her former junior high school classmates. Because when she went to junior high school, she switched schools. Li Yingchun and the others were her classmates in her first and second year. Then when she changed schools in her junior year, she rarely contacted them. It was a coincidence to run into them here. That's fine. I'll say hello to them then. Li Yingchun smiled. Where do you live? In the future, I will have time to find you to nag. Your four babies. My son will have a companion in the future. AI. In the past in the countryside ah, casually can find acquaintances nagging. Since married to my husband ah, every day to guard the home. Around do not know anyone. Li Yingchun said inside. Seeing classmates that she hadn't seen for so long, it was inevitable that she was a little excited. Song Mianyang looked in a certain direction, and from this direction, she could still see the neighborhood where mom lived. You live there. Ha, huh? that's too coincidental. I also live in that neighborhood. Li Yingchun was all excited, constantly looking for a topic, coming to a resting place to sit down. Not far away was the roller coaster. Mian Mian, why don't we go ride the roller coaster together? It just so happens that I still have some things I want to talk to you about. Li Yingchun smiled and said, your husband shouldn't mind, right? Of course not. Song Mian Yang smiled. Li Yingchun gave the child to her best friend to look after for a while, and then intimately took Song Mianian's arm and headed in the direction of the roller coaster queue. As for why she didn't bring her best friend along, it was because her best friend was afraid of heights and couldn't play on the roller coaster. Mian Mian, you're really happy. How did you and your husband meet ah? I'm curious. Li Yingchun was too embarrassed to ask this in front of Cheng Xiao, so she had to do it in this way because she was really curious. Song Mian Mian smiled awkwardly. Just so know each other ah, maybe fate arrived. I'm so envious of you. Your husband is not only handsome, but also so sweet. Just thinking about that pig's hoof in my house makes me angry. Li Yingchun clenched her teeth in anger. Maybe he's just busy with work. After all, he has to earn money to support his family. Song Mian Yang had to say this. It was impossible to badmouth someone's husband in front of them. That would be too petty. In case it deepened the conflict between the other couple again, wouldn't he become a sinner? Alas. It's really fate. I'm still so envious of you. Song Mianian smiled. There is nothing to envy. After all, everyone has everyone's way of living well. The day is still their own good. Perhaps when your husband comes back, you can talk to him. Communication. Li Yingchun thought about it. You have a point. Forget it. Wait for him to come back. Looking at the long line in front, Li Yingchun said, Alas, former classmates ah, a lot of junior high school graduates do not read. Some of them were because their families were poor and couldn't afford to pay. Some were unwilling to study because of certain reasons, rebellion or something. However, most of them were doing quite well. Song Mianian was the best one she'd ever seen. Married to a popular entertainer. Chang Xiao. Really envious. Counting the years. You should have graduated from college by now. Right? Song Mianian. Well, already working. You have a job too? Didn't stay home with the babies? Before the babies were brought up by my husband and I worked. Then I quit my job and stayed home with him to bring up the kids, and when he had to shoot a movie and was busy, my mom came over to help me. So that's how it is. It's also quite good. Your husband as an entertainer has time to accompany you. My husband doesn't know what he's doing every day. Sometimes he doesn't come home at night. Alas. Say, don't your in-laws help you bring up your child? Talking about this issue, Song Mianyang let out a bitter smile. My husband, he doesn't have parents. Ha, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't know said Li Yingchun with an apologetic face. It's fine. Say, I haven't asked yet. What do you do for a living? Li Yingchun was curious. University teacher. 
Li Yingchun almost thought she heard wrong. What, university teacher? Song Mianyang nodded shyly. Yes. Wow, you're a university teacher. That's amazing. Li Yingchun was shocked. In her eyes, a university teacher? How high the education must be. An intellectual. She just read a high school and then did not continue to study. Now think about it is really regrettable. But what is the use of regret? Are married. Adult self-testing also do not have the time, but also with the doll. The future is ruined in their own hands. Then your education is not very high? Li Yingchun was full of envy. It makes sense that people marry well. They are excellent in their own right. Master's degree. Geez, among us classmates, at most we graduated from university, and we haven't produced a master's degree yet. You're really good. Song Mianyang was embarrassed by what she said, only to change the topic. It's almost our turn in line. Chapter 293, The More You Look, The More You Envy. While lining up, Song Mianyang suddenly thought, Ying Chun, aren't you afraid of heights? Why are you still here to play this? You remember wrong, right? I'm not afraid of heights ah. The one who was afraid of heights is Ani who was sitting next to me at that time. Not me. Li Yingchun laughed. Then I remembered wrong. It took an hour for the line to reach them. Phew. It's finally our turn. Our feet hurt from standing. Li Yingchun muttered. Looking at her son not far behind her. He was looking at himself with open eyes. As if remembering something. She smiled and asked. How old is your family's child? He should be over a year old. Right? Almost a year and a half. That's fast. You should have been together for two or three years, right? Song Myanian smiled. Almost. Thinking to herself, goddamn two or three years, one year is more or less the same. However, it's not good to say this kind of powerful news, in case it gets out. It's not that she doesn't trust her junior high school classmates, it's that she doesn't dare to trust anyone unconditionally. What if it affects Chung Xiao? She must consider everything for him. Finally they were in line. The staff got them a seatbelt and brought the protective stuff. I haven't been on a roller coaster since my son was born. It's so exciting. After the car started, Li Yingchun didn't forget to continue. Song Mianyang didn't even know what to reply with. She only felt embarrassed. Watching the roller coaster swish around, Song Qin's heart tightened and she said to Cheng Xiao, Mian Mian is also bold enough. This thing is so fast. Isn't it scary? It's fine. These facilities are safe. Mom. Cheng Xiao smiled. At this time, Cheng Xiao took out some small snacks for children from his bag. Wang Zai small steamed buns, children's yogurt, and the like, for the babies to eat and relieve their cravings. Once the children saw these, their eyes lit up. For treasures is a little greedy cat, looking with bated breath, eyes full of want. She loves to eat want want little steamed buns, packaged in a small bag. It was quite convenient. Chang Xiao tore open a bag and handed it to four treasures. The little one took it and passed it into his mouth one by one, eating happily. Children one person divided a bag. Finally, and gave Li Yingchuan's baby a bag. Small steamed buns melt in the mouth. Babies eat no problem. Yogurt he did not give. The child is only a few months. Is still small. Intestinal and gastrointestinal development is imperfect. Drinking yogurt is easy to upset stomach. Over there, after the roller coaster ride, the two came out arm in arm. Chang Xiao packed his bag and loaded his things. As soon as she came out, Li Yingchun laughed and said, Mian Mian, there is a carousel over there. Do you want to take the baby up to sit on it? Your husband can come along too. I wouldn't be able to. You go first. I'll take a break. Having just gotten off the roller coaster, Song Mian Mian was still a bit flustered and waved her hand. All right then, I'll take my baby over first. Uh, okay. After Li Ying Chun left, Chang Xiao hadn't said anything yet. Song Mianian was the first to open her mouth to explain. My junior high school classmate. I just heard. The class reunion in a few days. Do you want to go? I'm still thinking about it. Go, it's been 10 years since you've seen those classmates, right? You can go and see them. So, are you going? You make the decision. If you let me go, I'll go. If not, I won't. Chang Xiao rubbed her head and laughed. Oh right, don't you have a competition? How can I go? Go when you have time. But if you don't, you can give the baby to mom to take care of it first and go by yourself. Okay then. It's weird not having someone with you. The morning passed, and at noon. A few people came to the restaurant to dine. After ordering something, Li Yingchun said, Can I join you guys? Yes. There happened to be an empty seat. Looking at Song Mianian eating the entire time, with the child being brought and fed by Chang Xiao, she was sour as if she had cha dozens of tons of lemons. Why can people meet such a good husband? Really the more you look, the more envious you are. Don't look. Your eyes are falling into other people's rice bowls. The girlfriend beside her, Ling Yin Yen, shoved her arm and said helplessly, Li Yingchun was a bit embarrassed and said, 
Am I not envious? Eat eat eat. A meal was finished. The group of people went to play another round of other programs, then prepared to leave the amusement park and go home. Liang Chun still planned to play for a while. You guys are leaving so soon? Well, something came up temporarily. That's fine. At this time, Liang Chun took out her cell phone. Don't forget about the party in a few days. Let's add our contact information first. I'll notify you then. Song Nianyang took out her cell phone and scanned it. Friend added successfully. Then she left with Cheng Xiao. Liang Chun looked at their backs with an envious face as they left. That's so nice. Today, she was also bursting with luck, bumping into the big star Cheng Xiao. Although she didn't get to talk, but it was okay. It was also enough for her to fool around in her classmate group. Who let her meet Mian Mian first? Opened her cell phone WeChat, entered the group, and pulled Song Nian Nian into the middle school classmate group. Soon the administrator came over to aid her. Ying Chun Ah, who is this one you pulled in? Li Ying Chun smiled and said, Do you guys remember Song Nian Nian, the one who sat behind me at the time? It quickly blew a group of people out of the water. Song Mian Mian, wasn't that the school beauty of our school back then? It's been a while since I've gotten in touch with her, hasn't it? Ten years. She was really pretty back then. So many boys liked her. Li Ying Chun, don't tell me that this account is her. Li Ying Chun sent a smiling emoji and said, this one is oh. I bumped into Mian Mian at the playground today. She's really getting prettier and prettier. A proper goddess. Don't ask her why she can still recognize it after 10 years. Mainly because of the vermilion mole in the corner of her eye. When they went to school together they remembered it well. And felt that this beautiful woman also looked like it. So they tried to go over and ask. But they didn't think it was really Song Mian Mian. This world is really small ah. Oh my god. It's really her. This fate is marvelous. Yes. A chance encounter. Is there a photo? I want to see what the goddess looks like now. Everyone was curious. Li Yingchun said, There's no photo. She promised to come over for the class reunion. We'll know when we see her in person. Even if the photo was there, she couldn't release it without people's consent. Uncouth behavior. The goddess is coming to the class reunion? Awesome right. Looking forward to looking forward. Soon, someone came out to 8 Song Mayanian. Goddess, come out and say something. Everyone is waiting. At this moment, Song Mianian was still on the road and didn't reply without seeing her cell phone. Li Yingchun smiled. She's probably still busy. There had been no reply. Some people didn't mind. Some people were offended. Especially the female ones who had been jealous of Song Mianian. Che, what a pose. What a pretense. I guess she's peeking at the screen right now. She's just purposely hanging on to everyone not replying. Chapter 294, she's just a dirtbag. Seeing this, Li Yingchun was offended and directly disliked. Gu Chun Hua. What are you talking about? I think you're just jealous of Mian Mian, right? She's busy right now, and she has to come and take the time to reply to you? How many faces do you have? Everyone is busy at times. No one has said anything. Who are you? Li Ying Chun. So soon you've been bought by someone else? Speaking for her so much, Gu Chun Hua continued to sneer. Li Ying Chun, I bribed your ancestors for 18 generations. Keep your mouth clean or I don't mind tearing your mouth apart in front of me. Gu Chun Hua didn't say any more. She was still a bit wary of Li Ying Chun. This woman was a lunatic, and when she said she would do it, she would really do it. Thinking of that husband of hers, she still shut up and stopped talking. Fear of this woman to move real. The group, once again a quiet, Song Mianian arrived home, first arranged for the children to sleep in the children's room, and then opened the cell phone to see. Instantly, several hundred group messages appeared in the chat box. At a glance, it was a middle school classmate group, tapping on it, Quite a few people ate her. What do you guys say? Why isn't Goddess Song coming out? I don't know. Maybe she's still busy. After Li Yingchun said that, no one was shady enough to pick a fight anymore. Those who did would basically be disliked. Song Mianian smiled helplessly. She had only been in for a while and it was already so lively? Hello everyone. She greeted everyone when she entered. It didn't take long to blow everyone out of the water. Are you really Song Mian Song Goddess? A male student asked. Song Mianian smiled faintly. It's me. Goddess can't afford to be, just an ordinary person. That's right. Back then who didn't know? You were the recognized school flower of our school. There was no school in a hundred miles around that was as pretty as you. How many girls were jealous of you? That's right. Back then I was still in the ranks of chasing you. Now that I think about it, I was really a toad wanting to eat swan meat. Ha ha ha. Who isn't? I haven't contacted you for so many years. What big endeavors have you been doing all these years? Any marriages? Someone asked. Song Mianian smiled. Well, already married. Gosh, who is so lucky to have married our goddess Song? Your husband must be very good looking too. Otherwise how could he be worthy of our goddess Song? That's right. 
Gu Chunhua suddenly jumped out at this time, that's not necessarily ah, after all, have not seen, maybe it is a big uncle Lo? Li Chun really want to put Cheng Zhao's photo out to hit her face, but now there is no hurry, too early to hit her face too cheap, wait until the reunion Chang Xiao and then appear, then hit the face only ruthless, when we met by chance, I also saw Mian Mian her husband, much better looking than someone's husband, Li Chun sneered, Ying Chen you saw Mian Mian's husband, what does he look like? Handsome or not? Someone asked. Li Yingchun, that's a must. More handsome than any guy I've seen. Gu Chunhua disdained, you just blow it. Song Mianian looked at the discussion between them and let out a bitter smile, preparing to turn off her phone. At this time, Li Yingchun suddenly sent a private message. Mian Mian, they're just like that. Don't you mind? Oh yeah, the reunion is next Saturday. See if the timing works? If not, then change the time. This year you must come. Song Mianian counted the time. Now is Sunday. Shang Zhao's game on Thursday. The timing was staggered and there was just the right amount of time. We'll see then. Uh, okay. Ending the chat. She turned off her cell phone. Shang Zhao came over. What's wrong? It's about the class reunion. The time? I think you should be able to accompany me. Shang Zhao raised his eyebrows. When? The party is next Saturday. Your match is next Thursday. Right? Song Mian Yang counted the time. She should be able to go. Shang Zhao narrowed his eyes and smiled. You want me to go so badly, ha? Huh? You can also choose not to go. It's fine to stay home with the baby. I'll go. Who says I won't go? Wherever my wife goes, I'll go. Humph. Song Mian Yang's head was turned away. Shang Xiao said, when the time comes, let's have mom come over and watch the baby. It's not possible to bring all of them over. One is fine, but four would be hard to bring. In case those classmates took pictures and posted them online, then all the effort they did to protect the baby before would be for nothing. Song Mianian thought, also yes, the baby will be at home. Anyway, it's just a party, and she'll be back soon. Making up her mind, she sent a private message to Liang Chun and decided to go. Liang Chun was pleasantly surprised. Really? That's great. At first she was afraid that because of Gu Chunhua, Song Mianian wouldn't come. But seeing this reply from her, she was relieved. It's been years since they've seen each other, and they haven't even gotten in touch. How could she not go? At that time, study together. Cannot remember other people normal? Only cannot forget Song Mianian and this big beauty. Who doesn't know who doesn't remember ah? It seems that this party, lively, that Gu Chunhua in the group. You don't need to care. She's just a dirtbag. Just jealous of you. Don't bother with her. Li Yingchun remembered Gu Chunhua and hurriedly told Song Mianyang. Unexpectedly, the latter did not mind at all. How other people say is none of her business. Mouth long and the people there. How they want to say is not the freedom of others. You don't mind on the line. I'm afraid that because of her, you won't come. Song Mianian smiled. No. Just after saying this, before she had time to turn off her cell phone, she smelled a strange odor. Hubby, what's this smell? Frowning, she asked. Cheng Zhao's helpless voice came from the direction of the restroom. De Bao pulled on his body. I'll change it for him. Pulled on his body? What's going on? Song Mianian rushed over and took a look. Good lord. The kid had pulled on a pocket of pants. The restroom was so close that she smelled it right away. Debeo is a bit deluded. He probably can't help it. The child is still young. It's normal to not be able to hold it in. I'll go get clean clothes. Song Mianian hurriedly went to the checkroom. Chang Xiao changed Debeo's dirty clothes and washed his but before putting it into the bathtub that was already prepared with water. Our Debeo pooped. It stinks. It stinks to daddy eat Chang Xiao covered his nose with a fake look of disgust. It makes Debeo giggle. Puffing the water vigorously. Splashing Chang Xiao all over his face. Aunt Lin came in at this time and put the dirty clothes in a basin and took them to the wash. Song Mianian happened to walk in and saw this scene. Aunt Lin, this is better for me to wash. You put it there. Ma'am, this is originally my job. Aunt Lin smiled helplessly. What kind of person receives a salary and still lets the host family work? All right then. Song Mianian put the clean clothes aside and hurried over to help. Wife, you go watch her bow and the others. I'll do it here. That's fine. Call out to me if you need anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Chapter 295, The Champion is Mine. Now bathing Debeo is quite okay. Not crying, not fussing, playing, making the whole bathroom full of water. Ten minutes later, the water is a little cold. Chang Xiao is ready to pick up Debeo. This child is not happy. Grunted. The meaning is self-evident, is to want to flutter in the water. Chang Xiao was helpless. If you don't come out, you'll have to give your butt a shot if you catch a cold. Killer. Several children are most afraid of butt shots. The last time several children had consecutive colds, they had but shots for several days. At the mention of the injection, 
The big baby's little face really changed. Mouth. To wow cry out. It can be seen how afraid of needles. Cheng Xiao smiled and took the bath towel, wrapped him up, and then took the clean clothes that Song Mianian had put away, and went to the bedroom. After changing into clean clothes, the little guy did, did, did it over to Song Mian Mian's side, with an aggrieved look on his face, and jumped into his mom's arms. What's wrong Debeo? Song Mianian was a bit puzzled. How could a bath still bring out aggression? Cheng Xiao laughed and said, This child, keeps flopping around in the water, refusing to come out. I told him that if he catches a cold to take him to get a spanking injection. Song Mianian snorted a laugh and pinched Debeo's little face. It was really cute. She hadn't realized that that injection had left such a shadow on Debeo that he was scared at the mention of injections. Speaking of shots, there was another vaccine to be given in a couple days. After the age of one, you don't get them every month, but basically once every two or three months, and there are some self-funded ones that you need to get. Preventive shots are fine, what kids fear the most is the butt shot. This thing is not to mention children, adults are also afraid as usual. Okay, okay, who said I need a shot? Daddy lied to you. Song Mianyang picked up Debeo and nudged his forehead. This little coward. Hubby, I forgot about the injection if you didn't mention it. Baby has another vaccination the day after tomorrow. Don't forget it then. Song Mianyan put Debeo to play with his siblings and said to Cheng Xiao. Cheng Xiao smiled. It's okay, I've memorized all of this. The child's immunization. How important. How can I forget? It was only this little woman who was confused. Without her, she would have missed the child's vaccinations. As the saying goes, once you're pregnant, you're stupid for three years. That's true. My wife is at least a highly educated person. But after giving birth to a child, she started to forget everything. In the future, it seems that he still has to do these things. Time flies, and before you know it, it's the day of the final. This time the address was changed to another place. Inside a hotel in Xinzhou, a huge stage was temporarily erected. This time, the number of seats in the audience had increased, and the number of spectators would be a lot more than before. The scene imagined itself. Sheng Xiao ate breakfast and asked with a smile, Wife, are you going? Just in time to accompany me. Why would I go? It's not like you don't know that mister. Zhou is there. How embarrassing it would be for me to go. And with a few kids, it's a pain in the ass. With so many people, it would also be easy to cause chaos. That's fine. Anyway, there's Aunt Lin at home. Just let Aunt Lin cook you whatever you want to eat. $30,000 to hire. Cooking is the most basic. Baking and everything else is no big deal. All have gone through very strict training. Okay bah, you go, don't be late. Aha, Chang Xiao drove out the door. Hilton Hotel entrance. The place had long been piled up with cars and there were no more empty spaces. Chang Xiao had to make a detour and drive the car to the parking lot. Just as he parked the car, he ran into a familiar face. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. Isn't this the 18-year-old kid who was pretty awesome last time? Just when he wanted to walk over. He directly came over and blocked his way. Something wrong? The brat had a cocky face. The championship is mine. Don't even think about it. Chang Xiao laughed. How can you be so provocative these days? Oh, why do you say that? Kid, because I have to get the championship. I have to prove that I'm the best one. Chang Xiao's mouth rose, little brother. On the stage, rely on your strength to speak. Wanting the championship, you fight for it on your own. Not. We'll see. The other party snorted coldly and headed for the elevator. Chang Xiao was just about to lift his step when a message was sent in. It was from Teacher Zhou. They have arrived. This time Chang Xiao needed to go directly to the backstage to wait for the entrance. The list of those entering the finals had already come out and it was just him and that little brat who passed. So it was clear how demanding this was. Huang Tiani was directly brushed off. At the moment, he was following Xiang Shu and sitting in the audience to watch the fun. No longer caring about not advancing. The teacher was right. There are losses and wins in life. If it doesn't work this time, the big deal is to come back next time. What else can I do? It would be counterproductive to remain unwilling. So it was better to accept it openly and work hard to improve oneself. Teacher, there are quite a few experts here this time. Can Chang Xiao really win the championship? Huang Tianyi asked curiously. Xiang Xu smiled and waved his hand. Just watch. At the moment, I've watched the other city's competitions. And there really isn't a single one that is Chang Xiao out of the ordinary. The champion, there's a big chance that it will fall on him. Hopefully. Huang Tiani said, although he didn't advance, he definitely hoped that the champion would fall on their Qingzhou player. It was better than falling on someone else, those who had made it to the finals. Altogether were only 15 people. It was evident how difficult this match was. Today, Meng Lihang came along without any warning. With so many experts, he just wanted to see how Cheng Xiao lost. It's going to be an ugly loss for sure. 
Internationally renowned mentor judges were specially invited today. The level was quite a bit higher than that of the preliminary and rematch, showing that the higher-ups were paying attention to this piece. In the backstage lounge, a group of people were chatting with each other. Only Chang Xiao, sitting alone in one place, looking at his cell phone, not saying anything. The contestants next to Chung Xiao are still very familiar with him. He is an actor. He was just curious about an actor participating in such a competition. Good acting does not smell good? It's all about money. Why do you want to participate in this? Participate even if, but also rushed all the way to the final. Became one of their opponents. Thinking about it, a girl came over and sat beside Chung Xiao. Chang Xiao, can I call you that? Chang Xiao was still chatting with Song Nian Nian, watching the child video, and didn't notice this girl coming over. Chang Xiao, after continuously shouting several times without getting a response, the girl didn't get angry and was ready to walk away. At this time, a boy couldn't look past it and came in a conspiratorial manner. This isn't a filming set. Someone playing a big shot is afraid that they didn't choose the wrong place. Result. Still no response. A few people cursed in their hearts, thinking that Chang Xiao was deliberately not replying and playing the big shot. I really didn't expect that Chang Xiao is actually like this in private. I thought how nice it was. It's just that gang of girls who are nymphomaniacs, a boy with glasses said with a face full of disdain. Chapter 296, Pong Rich Woman. This is equivalent to stepping on the feet of a few girls among the 20 people. They are basically Chang Zhao's fans, being talked about their idol like this to their face. Can they tolerate it? Qian Zhihao, what are you saying? Can you speak? What if the person is dealing with something and didn't hear it? That's right. Some people just like to say bad things about people. After all, ah, the mouth stinks of habit. How can it change so quickly? Lu Jiain, who are you saying has a foul mouth? Qian Zhihao said in annoyance. Whose mouth stinks I'll say who? Certain people, ah, have it in their hearts. Is it necessary for the sake of an opera singer? Qian Zhihao laughed coldly. A playboy? Yo, you are afraid that you still do not know. The Qing dynasty has died. A mouth of theater. You are really can be full of shit ah. People again, will also make money on their own. Then you would just no rely on the evening of the rich woman's people much stronger. The moment these words came out, the surroundings were quiet. A pin drop could be heard. A rich woman? They seem to know some unimaginably big news. This melon eating? Quite interesting ah. Qian Jihao's face instantly exploded red, Lu Jiain, what are you talking about? If you say that again, believe it or not, I'll tear your mouth apart. Seeing that it was about to get heated, someone immediately came out to persuade. Alright, alright, you guys just stop arguing. The match is about to start. Get ready. Chang Xiao, the person in question, was too mesmerized by the conversation, and he didn't know anything about the quarrel beside him. Feeling that the time was almost up, he looked up after turning off his cell phone only to realize that the atmosphere was not quite right. However, he didn't bother with that. Soon, the match started. The first to go on stage was Qian Jihao. This time the finalists each person on stage had 10 minutes to play. The tune was also chosen by himself. After Qian Jihao left the backstage, Lu Jiain grunted. What's with the tugging? I'm most displeased with this kind of person. Everyone is quite curious about what kind of gossip there is. Lu Jiain seems to know quite a lot. The rich woman is a powerful topic. How exciting. Jiain, do you know any gossip? At this time, a girl sat next to Lu Jiain and curiously said, Qian Jihao had always been the kind of existence that was more powerful in her eyes. So there was an insider's view of this ah? Gossip? Oh, I still don't care to know his bit of gossip? Really think others are stupid ah? To not have that person's money, he has a fart money to learn the piano. Level? That's all piled up with money. Without money, he's nothing. Lu Jiain laughed. When this news came out, everyone in the room was shocked a bit skeptical about the authenticity of this matter. However, empty holes don't come from the wind. Who knows if Qian Jihao is really doing this behind his back, or maybe there's a dirtier one as well. Is it really true? Someone asked. Lu Jiain was also angry, and gave that person a blank look. Believe it or not, the crowd didn't care on the surface. But in reality, this matter had already taken root in their hearts. Only the girl who asked Lu Jiain was still full of gossip and kept asking. Lu Jiain wasn't stupid enough to tell her everything. Who knows if this person has another purpose? Chang Xiao naturally listened to the crowd's conversation in the ear. He is not interested in other people's gossip. Each industry has each industry's dark secrets. Existence is reasonable. Qian Jihao soon came back, and did not know that Lu Jiayin has been part of his black material to shake out. Always feel that people look at his eyes from the initial envy become strange. Pong rich woman ah, this young man, have a rich future ah, Lu Jiayin. I'll fucking remember you. Qian Jihao pointed at Lu Jiayin and gritted his teeth. Lu Jiayin laughed coldly, remembering is remembering. 
Am I still afraid of you? If you're capable of doing that, you can come over and beat me up. You, you wait for me. Jian Jihao's face turned blue with anger. In the audience, seeing that ten players had already appeared, but not yet Chung Xiao, Gu Xiubin was puzzled, strange, why hasn't Senior come on? Outstanding player, that must be the finale. A classmate next to him shrugged his shoulders and said, an expert is an expert. Awesome, Senior Chang Xiao will definitely win the championship. As soon as these words came out, Meng Li Hong smiled, don't be happy so early. Who wins this is still up in the air isn't it? No matter who wins, he doesn't want Chang Xiao to win. Meng Li Hong, are you from our Qingzhou University or not? Don't you want Senior to win? Gu Xiubin frowned. He he, I don't mean that. It wasn't even finalized yet. If your words were heard by someone with an axe to grind, they'd think there's an inside job. Gu Xiubin thought about it and said nothing more. He always felt that this Meng Li Hong had become strange since he lost to Cheng Xiao. Such a person was really too sinister. Since he didn't want senior Chang Xiao to win, why did he even come? It wasn't until after the 12th ended that Chang Xiao came on. He was number 13. When he came out, the entire crowd froze for a few seconds, followed by a loud cheer. The scene was so hot. It was like a concert. Basically, many of them were Chang Xiao's fans. Fans of the road, fans of the movie, and so on. Chang Xiao, Chang Xiao, Chang Xiao will be the champion. Chang Xiao slowly sat down at the piano and chose a difficult piece. He began to play. The moment it was played, the scene was surprisingly quiet. The few girls backstage were sitting in front of the big screen, and because it was recorded in its entirety, they were able to see it clearly from backstage. This is too handsome, worthy of being the face of the entertainment industry. That's right, much more handsome than in the movie, but still, not as good looking as him in person. Same feeling, I don't know when his new drama will be aired. I'm looking forward to it. It's such a waste to come to a piano competition with this face value. How can you call it a waste? It's called the pursuit of art. It's better than those artists who go to nightclubs for nothing, right? As the saying goes, there's no harm in having more skills, and it's always beneficial to improve yourself. Several people discussed and kept on making flowery comments. A few men sitting at the back were speechless. I don't understand. What's so good looking about it? It's just that her face is a little bit better looking. It's nothing special. Chang Zhao's current piece was 8 minutes long, and in those 8 minutes, the ups and downs of the piece were completely displayed, stunning everyone, what's even more amazing is the judges, each one of them stood up from their seats, their eyes were filled with astonishment, how is this possible, how could this be possible, how could an ordinary contestant have this level, it couldn't be, this had even surpassed them and could rival the international players, but this player is only in his early 20s, right, to have such strength at such a young age is too terrifying, there must be a mentor behind him, and that mentor must not be simple, either that or there is a family behind him. Chapter 297, it's just a hobby. In short, it was absolutely impossible to be self-taught or taught by a school teacher. None of the teachers had the strength, so it was impossible. What is this student's name? I want to meet him when it's over later. At this time, an older male judge said, okay, the judge next to him nodded. This was the first time she had seen this reaction from a Qin judge. However, this contestant was indeed good enough. After it was over, Chang Xiao went backstage and thunderous applause instantly erupted behind him. Chang Xiao's wonderful performance led to the two later on, causing the audience to completely lose interest. They were too good. They were no match for Chang Xiao. In fact, the candidate for the championship has already come out. That 18-year-old kid's face was dark at the moment. He didn't expect Chang Xiao to be so explosive, directly suppressing everyone. A few girls seemed to have stars in their eyes. Too good for this. Even if the acting was great, the piano was also so good. Chang Xiao is really too perfect, at least in their eyes. He is handsome and talented. Which girl could not like it? Chang Xiao finished and was ready to meet up with Mr. Zhou and his team to say hello and leave. And just as he was about to go out from the backstage, he ran into a woman right in front of him. You are Chang Xiao, right? The other party asked with a direct smile. Chang Xiao, it's me. May I ask what's up? It's like this. Our Qin judge wants to meet you. The woman said the matter carefully. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows. This is being sought out? See me? I'm a rookie contestant. Where do I deserve for Judge Qin to personally send someone to invite me? Can you appreciate a face? Just a few minutes. The woman smiled faintly. Senior has taken the initiative to invite. How could a latecomer not go? The two headed somewhere towards the backstage. Watching their backs, the people backstage began to discuss. Oh my god. Judge Qin invited Ah. It's too awesome. In their piano world, Judge Qin's status was not low, old and powerful. The future of the people he recognized was unlimited. Chang Xiao is a double blossom in the entertainment and piano circles this time. 
Too awesome. Worthy of being my male god. Just so excellent. Why do I feel that a competition like this doesn't deserve him at all? It should only go to an international competition. The boy god definitely has his own choices. So let's not worry about it. He's now not only my male god anymore. He's also my idol. My goal. The super idol of their industry. If only one day they could become as good as Chang Xiao. It's really well played. In a certain cubicle. Chang Xiao sat down on the sofa and the person next to him handed over a cup of tea. Judge Qin was sitting on the opposite side. Young man. No need to be formal. Just communicate with me like a friend. Judge Qin smiled and said. Chang Xiao, does Senior Qin have something to say to Junior? Just a casual chat. I watched your performance just now. You're really excellent. Too much better than your contemporaries. You're also the first one to amaze me. I'm curious. A contestant as good as you should go to a better competition. Judge Qin said. Judge Qin your comment really flatters the latecomer. I can't afford such a comment from you. Chang Xiao said. Judge Qin nodded with satisfaction. This young man is still modest. Good character. What I'm looking for you today is that I have some questions I want to ask you. Senior you ask. Chang Xiao smiled. Finally getting to the point. Young man ah. Uh, did you start learning piano since you were a child? Judge Qin asked. Chang Xiao, no. Then from when? It's just a hobby. I taught myself for a while a few months ago. Self-taught? Judge Qin's eyes widened. Self-taught? How is that possible? No amount of self-study could have gotten to this point. The first reaction. He did not believe Chang Zhao's words at all. Because, it was not logical at all. Young man, it's fine if you refuse to say it. But finding an excuse like this, I'm afraid it's not very good. Right? Judge Qin wasn't angry. He was just too curious. Was there a particularly powerful one behind Chang Xiao? Senior Qin, you can't help it if you don't believe me. What I said is the truth. Even if you pry my mouth open, I still have this sentence. Chang Xiao shrugged his shoulders. Judge Qin looked skeptical. How is this possible? Looking at Chang Zhao's expression, it didn't seem like he was telling lies. Today, I guess he couldn't pry his mouth open no matter what. The defenses were too strong. He guessed that it might be a family style, or worshipping a benefactor, not letting it be revealed. Most likely. However, to be so young and have such a strong strength, it wasn't simple. Senior, I'll go back first if there's nothing else. Chang Xiao was ready to say goodbye. I'll have my secretary see you off. Judge Qin said. Chang Xiao waved his hand. No need. After leaving the hotel, he saw Mr. Zhou and the others at the entrance. Gu Shurbin had a face of adoration. Senior, you're also too good. Bull, this championship ah, you're sure to take it. Xian Xu also didn't expect Cheng Zhao's explosive power to be so strong. And it seemed that he didn't show his true strength at all before. Today's match was the only thing that showed people his true ability. He patted Chang Zhao's shoulder. Little Chang. Ah, not bad. With that, he looked at Teacher Zhou who was on the side. Old Zhou, I really underestimated you. Teacher Zhou was able to fool around for a while. You underestimated me a lot. Next time I will still win you. Really? Then let's compete again next time? First of all, don't call Chang Xiao. Looking at the two making a scene, Cheng Xiao smiled faintly and spoke. Teachers, I have urgent matters at home, so I'll go back first. That's fine. Go go go. After saying that, Chang Xiao went to the underground parking lot. At this moment, looking at Cheng Xiao's back, Meng Lihang's fists were tightly clenched. What Cheng Xiao didn't know was that somewhere in the country, inside an apartment building, the replay of the final match was playing on the TV in the living room. Hubby, you've already watched it for the second time. What's there to see? Just let me see. I haven't gotten a good look yet. You don't even care when Zane asks you to play. All you know is piano 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 all day long. The one who spoke was Lu Qingqing, Song Mianyang's friend when she was studying abroad. She had also met Mr. and Mrs. Chang Xiao once in the Maldives. At the moment, she was holding her son in her hands, pointing at her husband, her face turning blue with anger. She was about to walk over and turn off the TV when she suddenly saw a familiar person on the TV. HM, isn't this Chang Xiao? What is he? Honey, don't block me from watching the game. Honey, can't you see who this person is? Lu Qingqing was speechless. Papa Zane, I can see it ah, your friend's husband. Seeing it out and you still have this reaction? I didn't realize that he actually went to the competition. Awesome. However, this kind of competition, the husband usually wouldn't pay attention to it right, thinking that it's all for kids to participate. Why did he suddenly think of paying attention today? It's because of him that I went to watch. He also didn't expect Cheng Zhao's explosive power to be so strong. If there was no Cheng Xiao this time, he really wouldn't have watched it, much less replayed it. Chapter 298, Dinner Date. Since you know it's him you didn't tell me. It's just as well that I'm going to see it too ah. Uh, 
isn't it good that we're going to see it live? Lu Qingqing was speechless. Staying at home and watching live TV was meaningless. In case you run into Mian Mian over there, have a meal together or something? Last time you were in a hurry. You didn't even have a proper meal together. What's the point of going to the scene? It's not the same to watch it at home. Zane's dad skimmed his lips. Lu Qingqing glared. The same my ass. What if I run into Mian Mian? What do you know you? Forget it. I don't want to argue with you. Zane, come over here to dad. He waved his hand towards Zane. Zane went over with a cheeky grin. Lu Qingqing grunted and directly carried her son over. Son, don't bother with your dad. He's just a psycho. Wife, what are you saying? You just said that I don't bring my son again. And now that I do, you won't let my son come over. Isn't this making things difficult for me? Zane's dad frowned slightly. What? You have an opinion? Lu Qingqing raised an eyebrow. After a while, Papa Zane whispered. No. Lu Qingqing grunted, thought for a moment, and took out her cell phone to send a message to Song Mianyang. After returning to China, she hadn't contacted her yet. This time it was just right to ask out for a meal or something together. When Chang Xiao arrived home, it was already noon, and as soon as he walked into the living room, a strong scent wafted out. Song Mianyan is holding the child. As soon as she sees that he is back, she reveals a smile and says to Erbao in her arms, Erbao, daddy is back oh. Erbao turned his face. As soon as he saw his dad, he immediately smiled and was happy, daddy. Saying that, he stretched out his hands for a hug. Erbao, daddy is tired. Let him rest for a while before hugging you, okay? Song Mianyan laughed. The children were really too dependent on Chang Xiao. However, this also shows the sincerity of Chang Xiao as a father. I don't know if the child understood, but he hurriedly withdrew his little hand. This made Chang Xiao laugh and pinched Erbao's little face. Our Erbao is really good. He knows to sympathize with dad. Mr. Mrs. It's time to eat. Aunt Lin came out from the kitchen and shouted. Coming. The couple took the child and headed to the dining room when Song Mianyang's cell phone ding-donged. After sitting on the chair, she picked it up and looked at it. Lu Qingqing. Lu Qingqing, Mian Mian, how have you been lately? Not bad. How about you? Since the last time from the separation, until now there has been no contact. I'm also doing okay. Just now my husband watched TV. I saw your husband participate in the competition. Lu Qingqing laughed, awesome ah, where where, he's just three-legged kung fu, it's not that exaggerated, three-legged cat kung fu, Lu Qingqing took a look at this and only felt that Song Mianian was really too modest, this is also called three kicks kung fu, how do you let those who practice hard every day live, speaking, it's too much of a blow, it's not easy to get her husband to keep staring and admiring, why is her husband so talented, even if he can act, he still plays the piano so well, when do you have time ah, about a meal, my treat Lu Qingqing laughed, Song Mianyang said, okay, but, maybe I don't have time for the next two days, I'll find you when I have time, okay, then it's a deal, aha, uh -huh. seeing Song Mianyan not moving her chopsticks and playing with her cell phone there, Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow, wife, what are you doing, hurry up and eat, it's getting cold, got it, Song Mian Mian turned off her cell phone, halfway through her meal, she opened her mouth, hubby, do you remember the Lu Qingqing we met in the Maldives? Just my friend from my study abroad time. Remember ah, what's wrong? She asked us to have a meal together in a few days. Chang Xiao smiled. Wife, you make the decision. I have no problem with it. Then go after the class reunion then. Aha. Uh -huh. What the two of them didn't know was that Chang Xiao's participation in the Nebula Cup piano competition had already been topped as the number one hot search. It received all sorts of attention from the industry. He was also smoothly labeled as handsome and talented. Perfect. To have such an achievement in his early 20s was a blessing from God. Within a few months, he had already been on the number one hot search no less than five or six times. Other celebrities have been on multiple hot searches because of hype and black material. But he is not the same. Completely rely on the strength of ah, there is the immortal face value. Whether he is married or not. Wife fans, girlfriend fans, sister fans, sister fans a bunch, and even auntie fans, grandmother fans. People don't mind at all. If they're married, they're married, it doesn't stop them from liking it, anyway, even if they're single, they can't get it, it's just fine, underneath the microblogging a slip of comments, our Xiao Xiaozi is really not generally talented, whereas some vase can be compared, that's right, everything I still think handsome is fine, since I know that Xiao Xiaozi is such a talented long and handsome artist, instantly have no feelings for those people, Xiao Xiaozi, I love you, Xiao Xiaozi hasn't tweeted for a long time, did he forget that he has a social account? Sit and wait for Xiao Xiaozi to tweet. So much love. The more I look at it, the more I love it. The way he plays the piano is so charming. And at this moment, 
The person in question was still feeding her child, not knowing anything about her being on the hot search. It was still Ethan who notified them, to say, this agent, apart from not being around, was still quite competent, no matter what scripts and advertisements he received, he would send them to him one by one, if it's okay, he'll take it, and if it's not okay, he'll reject it, now Ethan will also reject some advertisements and scripts according to Chung Zhao's idea, usually, there are also many who come to invite Chung Zhao to sign a contract, without exception, all of them do not refuse, this was also met with annoyance by some capitalists who thought he was too crazy, and even moved to mess with him, but were slow to do so, they think that Chung Xiao can get to this point, must be behind the support of a high person, so they do not dare to do it easily, have been watching, stalemate, in the afternoon, the couple was at home brushing microblogging, Chang Xiao suddenly had a good idea, smiled and said to Song Myanian, wife, I have an idea, do you want to know, Song Myanian turned her head with a puzzled face and smiled, what idea, let's start a company, hmm, start a company, why, it wasn't quite good to have two small stores now, think about it, if we open a company, if we make a profit, we'll make a lot more money than if we open a store, Song Myanian frowned, but what if it loses money, don't think of the bad side of everything, look at the long term, even if you lose it's still a kind of experience, let's start small and invest a little bit of money in it first, slowly, saying this, Song Myanian also felt quite reasonable, she had a lot of trust in Chang Xiao, chapter 299 reward, divine pill, nodded, that's fine, you just get it, there's no need to ask me about this kind of thing. I don't understand it anyway. Chang Xiao rubbed her head and laughed. At least you're the future boss lady of the company. You definitely need to be asked for your opinion. Hate. What boss lady? The company hasn't even opened yet. Song Mianyang hammered over with a pink fist. Let's set up a studio first. And then sign some artists or something. Okay. This matter Chang Xiao had thought about before. But because he was too busy. He had never implemented it. This time. He had the time to try it out. Think of it as earning money for raising a baby. Hubby, your fans are trolling you for not posting. Song Mianyang flipped through a Weibo comment and laughed. Most of them also asked Chang Xiao to go live once. Why don't you post one for me? Wife, Chang Xiao handed his cell phone over. The corner of his mouth hooked. Song Mianyang froze for a moment. Then blushed. I don't want it. I don't know what to say. If I say the wrong thing, it won't affect you well. It's fine. My wife has a high emotional intelligence. Why are you so confident? That must be ah. So annoying. Song Myanian grunted. But in reality, she couldn't help but smile in her heart already. The corners of her eyes were filled with pleasure. After thinking about it, she took Chang Zhao's phone over, opened Weibo, edited a post, put up Chang Zhao's selfie, and captioned it. Thank you for having you guys. Hashtag love. As soon as the post was sent out, almost immediately, it was retweeted and commented on by thousands of people. Song Myanyang even wondered if these people didn't eat or drink. Staring at Weibo all day and night? The speed was also too fast. The male god tweeted. It's too cool. Thank you? Why do I have a feeling of being flattered? You're not the only one. Everyone is like this. Xiao Xiaozi is so nice. What kind of mentality was the person who misunderstood him cheating before? It's clearly that woman who doesn't know any better who cheated on him. I'm such a good person. My Xiao Xiao. Which dog's eye is she blind? And there is such a thing? I just recently powder him. Curious? Which green tea bitch so ungrateful? This matter ah, it's a long story. The afternoon passed without realizing it. Before going to bed at night, Chang Xiao said, Wife, tomorrow let's go buy some clothes for the baby. It's fall. The little one has grown. The previous clothes can't be worn. Good. Go tomorrow. Late at night. Chang Xiao was just about to close his eyes. Ding. Congratulations to the host for accompanying the babies for a full year. Reward, 10 divine pills. Note, eating them can prolong life. Strengthen the body. Prevent and cure various diseases. The rewards have been placed in a certain drawer. The host can check it out by himself. Immortal pills? Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow. There are such magical things. Curing all kinds of diseases. Prolonging life. Isn't this what those of high status can only dream of? First of all, prolonging life is enough to make their hearts flutter. If word gets out, it's bound to cause a storm of bloodshed. After all, how in the world could such a magical thing exist? It's also just the system that can take out anything. The next day, the family ate breakfast and was ready to pack up and leave to buy clothes for the children. Chang Xiao took out a magic pill from the drawer. Chocolate colored. And up close it looked like a scaled down version of Miley's. Wife, eat this. Chang Xiao handed it over. Song Mianyang was puzzled. What is this? Although puzzled, she nevertheless took it. This, it's good for your body. Good. Without any doubt. Song Mianyan directly ate it. Hmm. The taste was, 
Well, strange, on the outside, it looked like chocolate, and when you ate it in your mouth, it had a faint sweet flavor, with a little bit of floral fragrance, it was quite delicious, hubby, this is quite tasty, is there any more? Song Mian Mian asked, Chang Xiao, you can't eat more of this, one will do, a few minutes later, I don't know why, Song Mian Mian always felt warm in her stomach, usually she had a slight stomach problem, once she ate cold her stomach would be uncomfortable, this time she felt warm in her stomach, especially comfortable, hubby, what the hell is this, she wondered, good stuff, just tell me what good stuff, secret, Song Mian, alright, pack up, we can go out, Chang Xiao bounced her brain, Song Mianian grunted, and after packing up, the two of them set off with the baby, on the way, Song Mianian said, hubby, let's send the babies to moms in the morning, the baby couldn't be brought there, Chang Xiao nodded, okay, he drove to a nearby mall, found a children's clothing store, and pushed the baby inside, welcome to Emily's children's clothing store, both of you, may I help you, the female store clerk greeted her with a smile, hello, may I ask if there are any clothes for children this age, Song Mian Yang asked politely, the shop girl glanced at the four children, big customers ah, yes there are, we specialize in children's clothing, we have all ages, please two of you follow me, the shop girl made a please gesture and led them towards a certain shelf, here are the clothes for one or two year old babies, they are all the latest models for fall you can let your baby try them on, the shop girl smiled, her eyes on the babies again, the babies were really cute, how can they be so cute, each and every one of them were born so good looking, although they were wearing masks, but from the shining big eyes, one could tell how high the baby's face value was, a family of high face value ah, quadruplets, really powerful, mainly to give birth to four, the mother's body is still so well maintained, it seems to be a rich family ah, and the, can you help us take down those two sets of male and female baby models to have a look, Song Myanian asked, the shop girl was still blinking her eyes and teasing the baby, and once she heard Song Myanian's words, she hurriedly said, yes, 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 taking the two sets of clothes down, she handed them to Song Myanian, with a glance, she noticed Chang Xiao beside Song Myanian, I don't know why, but I always felt a little familiar, but he couldn't recall where he had seen it before, anyway, I'm sure I've seen it before, not wanting to, she pointed to the fitting room not far away, beauty, over there is the fitting room, you can take the baby to change, okay thanks, Song Myanian pushed big baby and second baby to change, Cheng Xiao was also while waiting outside with San Bao and Si Bao, the female clerk kept looking at Cheng Xiao, the more she looked at him, the more familiar she felt, especially her eyebrows, why did she look so much like her idol, it was really special, suddenly, as if she remembered something, her eyes widened violently, quadruplets, this person is wearing a mask, and his eyebrows and eyes look especially like Cheng Xiao, could it really be her hero, Cheng Xiao, it was said that Cheng Xiao liked to walk around pretending to be a vegetarian, oh, my god, if that's true, what the hell kind of luck is she in, however, after all, she was a guest, she did not dare to rashly go up and ask, in case she was wrong, the world is full of similar people, there are a lot of people in the world who look alike, and a lot of people who have quadruplets, chapter 300, four treasures is angry, it would be embarrassing if she got it wrong, embarrassment is not a big deal, but if the customer is upset, the boss will probably have to deduct her paycheck, I don't know, I'd rather not ask, Song Myanian quickly changed the two children's clothes and brought them out, Erbo was wearing one of those little fall dresses, cute and cuddly, while Debeo was wearing a little suit, cute and cuddly, it's really so cute, both of you, your babies simply look better in them than the little models on our posters, the shop girl was instantly starry eyed, it was simply too cute, she liked it so much, could she steal one to keep, at this time, Chang Xiao spoke, this one, this one, and those sets, come with four sets of each, seeing him buying like this, Song Myanian hurriedly said, why did you buy so much, the child has enough to wear, there are still a lot at home, those are too small for the child to wear comfortably, it's fine, we don't lack money, Chang Xiao laughed, Chang Xiao laughed, Song Myanian, okay, the female sales clerk was excited in her heart, as if she saw the high commission for this month, this child's father is really nice, their clothes are not cheap, buying so many of them would cost 10 or 20 thousand dollars, it's too extravagant, moreover, he favors his wife enough, so envious, directly from the warehouse to take out a bunch of goods, packaging, a few big bags, after payment, looking at the two people should not be able to carry, the female sales clerk smiled and said, two people, do you need our staff to help carry it to the car, Song Myanian, thank you then, you're welcome, this is what we should do, saying that, 
The female sales clerk went to call out for someone. Soon, a strong man came and directly picked up several big bags, following the couple to the parking lot outside. When they reached the parking lot, Song Mian Yang said, All right, thanks. On the other side, in Emily's children's clothing store, as soon as Chung Xiao and his wife left with their children, a few sales clerks over here started discussing, a family of six, it's really overwhelming. Yeah, even though they're all wearing masks, they're definitely all high fashion. The babies are really cute. Lily, I really envy the first to receive them. This month's commission will definitely be quite a lot. When the time comes, you can treat us to dinner ah, you can't fall off the wagon. Lily, who was also the sales clerk just now, smiled and said, I must, I'm just lucky. Sisters you can also in the future. As if remembering something, she asked, Say, do you guys feel that that handsome guy looks especially familiar? It's true when you say it like that, it's too familiar. Quadruplets, don't you guys associated with anything? Lily said mysteriously. Associated with what? Several people looked at her in confusion. Aren't they just quadruplets? It was a bit rare, but it wasn't like there weren't any such examples. Is there anything special about it? You few really. You forgot that Chung Xiao. Didn't his wife give birth to quadruplets? Lily didn't have the good sense to prompt. When you say it like that, holy crap, it's really true. I just think why does he look so familiar? It can't really be Chang Xiao, right? It's really possible. Otherwise what's a family of six doing wearing a mask? It's not like robbing a bank. Lily sighed and said, I didn't dare to ask. I was afraid of getting it wrong. Offending the customers would be troublesome. Also, but I think the probability is Chung Xiao. How can there be so many quadruplets? And it happens that the child's father is like Chung Xiao. There is no such thing as coincidence under the sky. Deto, gosh, missed an autograph photo and a group photo ah, 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 ah. But in case it's not, isn't it embarrassing? A few people were talking and discussing. Over there, Chang Xiao had already arrived home and took out the clothes one by one, ready to go and wash them. The children saw and knew that they had new clothes to wear. They were all very happy. As soon as they put them down, they hurriedly went over to the new clothes, picking and pulling, for treasures picked out a jacket with a sports car painted on it, looking left and right, then looking back to Song Myanian, Mom, this one, for treasure, this is brother's clothes, this dress is yours, Song Myanian laughed, seeing this little look in Si Bao's eyes, he wanted to wear his brother's clothes, what she thought was really good, the little guy directly threw the little skirt to the side and wanted this little car jacket, humming and whining, a look of not give me to where I will cry to you look, Song Myanian helplessly looked at Chung Xiao, hubby, Look at your daughter, how come she likes boy doll clothes so much? In the future, she'll definitely be a girl. Chang Xiao laughed, maybe she thinks boys are more handsome? You've got to be kidding, a girl's family, how can you wear these clothes? It's better to wear a skirt and be cuter. Song Mian Yang hummed, you just spoil her. Aunt Lin came over at this time and said, Ma'am, do you need me to take these to the wash? Yes, thanks, take them all to the wash. Song Mianian smiled, Aunt Lin took these clothes and headed for the laundry room. The clothes were taken away all of a sudden. A few babies hadn't reacted yet, for treasures thought that it was because his mom didn't allow him to wear them. His little mouth immediately skimmed up. Aggrieved. That aggrieved little eyes. Chang Xiao see the heartache. However, this really can not spoil her. Little girl should have a little girl look. I can't figure out why four treasures likes this. Hobby's an ordinary little girl completely different. I didn't expect the little guy to be quite vindictive. And he didn't pay any attention to Song Myanian until the evening. She didn't want her mom to hug her and didn't talk to her. The temper is quite big. As soon as Song Mianyan went over to hug her and coax her, she was unwilling to do so and even grunted, causing the former to cry and laugh. Wife, this humming sound is definitely learned from you. How come you learned it from me? Song Mianyan was strongly unconvinced. Chang Xiao laughed. Then have you ever heard me hum? When this came out, Song Mianyan instantly blushed. It seems like no. It was impossible to imagine what a man's arrogant humming was like. Just thinking about it made goosebumps fall all over the place. Can't say the words. Can you? Chang Xiao smirked. What should we do now that four treasures won't let us hold him? Song Mian Yang changed the topic. Sigh. This child still knows how to be angry. Chang Xiao, it's not a big problem. Just coax it. But the problem is, she doesn't want me to hold her. Song Mian Yang cried and laughed. I'll do it. Chang Xiao came to the side of the children's bed, picked up four treasures who was still angry with her mom, and said in a funny way, four treasures, you're still angry with mom? Mom also knows that she's wrong. So forgive her, okay? For treasures didn't know if she understood. Her head tilted and didn't speak. All right, mommy isn't not giving you brother's clothes. I'll give them to you in the future, okay? Chang Xiao touched her little head. 
Song Mianian hurriedly walked over and took over four treasures, revealing a smile. Four treasures, mommy will give you a car jacket to wear in the future, okay? Upon hearing this, four treasures then slowly turned her head, her little eyes staring at her mom for a while before burying her head into her arms. Chapter 301, The Man Is Hers. At this moment, Son Mianian only felt that a piece of her heart was going to melt along with four treasures. How could he be so cute, and so easy to coax? She thought it would take some time to coax, but she didn't realize that as soon as she was allowed to wear her brother's clothes, she was immediately fine. Nowadays, children are all so smart, they can't be coaxed anymore with a little bit of good food. In the past, a lollipop would have solved the problem. See, for treasures is still very good at coaxing. You just need to go along with her a little bit. Chang Xiao grinned. Song Mianian glared at him and grunted. No one will treat you as dumb if you say less. If you go along with it again, this little girl will still have it. Let's just go along with her once today, not in the future. For treasures, now we. It's time to go to bed oh. Tomorrow we'll give you to wear brother's little car clothes okay? Song Mianian smiled gently. She was a different person from the way she looked at Chang Zhao's displeasure. Seeing that her mother promised to let her wear her brother's clothes tomorrow, for treasures almost instantly revealed a smile. Her little head nodded and buried her face in Song Mianyang's arms. The latter carefully put her on the bed and covered her with the quilt to sleep. Mom will come over early tomorrow morning, and after breakfast she and Chang Xiao should leave for the reunion. When she was about to fall asleep, she received a message from Li Chun. Mian Mian, don't forget tomorrow. Let me remind you. It's the middle of the night and you're still not sleeping. Song Mian Mian was speechless. Hubby, tomorrow you keep a low profile and don't dress up too nicely. Song Mianian purposely reminded. Chang Xiao this person is too dazzling. The man is handsome. And then after careful dressing, how many people will not be staring at? The man was hers. She didn't like people staring all the time. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows and asked knowingly. Oh, why? Just pretend you. You clearly know. Song Mian Yang grunted. What do I know? Chang Xiao continued to pretend he didn't know. Smiling. Song Mianian directly hammered over with a pink fist. You knowingly ask. I'm too lazy to care about you. Saying this, the quilt was thrown over her head. Sleep. Chang Xiao lightly laughed, reached out his hand to rub her exposed hair strands, did not expect this little woman, but also quite temperamental. A slap directly slapped his hand away. Still not sleeping. Don't disturb me if you don't sleep. Song Mianian grunted without a good mood, then continued to sleep her own. Chang Xiao smiled helplessly. There were no words for the night. The next morning, Song Mianian sat quietly on the table to eat breakfast and didn't say anything. Chang Xiao thought she was sulking because of last night's events, and when he finished eating and headed to the living room, he pinched her face and said, Wife, are you still angry? No, Song Mianian said indifferently, took out her cell phone and made a call to Song Qin. The call was answered. Mom, where are you? I'm almost at the door. Are you guys leaving? Wait for me for a few more minutes. Good. A few minutes later, Song Qin arrived at the entrance of the villa. Originally, Aunt Lin could have taken the kids, but Song Mianian couldn't rest assured at all, so she let her mom come over to keep an eye on them. When the reunion was over, they rushed back. At the moment, the children are still sleeping, do not know that mom and dad have entrusted them to grandmother. Song Mianian glanced at Cheng Xiao and hurried to the changing room to change out of her pajamas, put on a long floral dress, blew her hair casually, and drew a light makeup. Look pure and elegant. Cheng Xiao is also casual wear a set of casual clothes. Sit on the car. Song Mianian more and more think the more wrong. Just let Cheng Xiao show his face? He is so good looking, and is a top stream artist, wherever is in the spotlight. Even if it is not an artist, passing women will stay and look at more than two eyes. Doesn't Cheng Xiao know how to change faces and makeup? Do you want to try this? Take a precaution and talk to Li Chun about it in advance, so that you won't be unable to talk about it when the time comes. She should understand. Wife, you've been looking at me for almost 10 minutes. Are you planning to forgive me? Cheng Zhao's lips rose. Song Mianian blushed. I, I just haven't been angry okay. Driving words are still so much. Then you're looking at me like this. Do you want to say something to your husband me? Cheng Xiao grinned. Did you bring your makeup? Song Mian asked. This question was asked a bit suddenly and Chang Xiao was a bit unresponsive. Cosmetics? Honey, aren't you wearing makeup here? How? It's not me using it. It's you. With hindsight, Chang Xiao probably understood what she meant. This little woman probably didn't want him to get too much attention once he was there. Right? This little thought. Well, only this wife of his could have it. However, he liked it. I didn't bring any. But we can go to a cosmetic store to buy some. The car quickly pulled into a parking space near a cosmetic store. Honey, wait for me in the car. I'll be right there. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Chan Xiao took the mask and stepped into the cosmetic store with big strides, a few minutes later, continued to come out with the mask. After taking off the mask in the car, Chang Xiao looked like a completely different person. His features were painted differently, but he was still very handsome. Song Mianyang was directly dumbfounded. This speed is also too fast, right? It only took a few minutes. Chang Xiao's makeup skills are a bit impressive. Where the hell did he learn it? Even if it's fast, it's still painted so divinely. It's like a different person. Wife, how is it? Is your husband still so handsome? Chang Xiao turned back and smiled. Song Mianyan hurriedly retracted her eyes and didn't look at him again. Handsome? Definitely not as good as Chang Zhao's original face. Even if it was painted now, it was still average in her eyes. According to the navigation sent by Li Chun, the two of them drove towards their destination. The party is a hotel, about 40 miles away, a bit remote, driving about an hour or two or so, an hour later, guessing that the children might have woken up. Song Mianian thought about it, but opened her cell phone and sent a voice message to Song Qin, inquiring about it. It took several minutes for the other end to reply. Other than four treasures being a bit rowdy, the other three are okay. A photo was sent over. Song Mianian expected this to be the case and wasn't surprised at all. Only four treasure doesn't want people. Even his own grandmother rejected the kind. The other three are okay. In addition to the initial discomfort we'll look for mom and dad. Take a toy to coax. A moment will be good. For treasures is the most headache for the couple. The temper and big. But also do not want people. What can we do in the future? Almost every day to worry a little. In case the future is a woman. Simply not willing to fall in love with boys. Not bad? As for why I said that. It was obvious from the fact that Sibao clamored for his brother's little car jacket. This child. Not at all like second treasure. Has a little girl's look. It's a worry. Chapter 302 A fairy who fell to earth? For treasures is looking for you guys everywhere in the house. Around the room. Around the living room. And not playing with her brothers and sisters. Song Qin cried and laughed. Looking at the little guy lifting his little legs. Da 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 She was heartbroken and at the same time felt that this child was too stubborn. Grandma is not happy to bring. At least when he was born he served for such a long time. And then he turned around and didn't want it. Although she didn't want her for a month or two. She had at least taken care of her. This little guy is really hard to serve. Song Mianian watched in the video. Feeling heartbroken and amused. This child. Really does not let people worry. When she clicked on the chat box with Li Ying Chun. Li Ying Chun asked, Nian Nian, did you bring the child? Song Mianian, no. How troublesome to bring. Li Ying Chun, so cute. How to call it trouble. Forget it. Did not bring it is okay. My baby I brought. It seems to be unable to let them play together. Next time there is time to meet together. Song Nian Nian, I have something I want to talk to you about. To say hello to you in advance. What is it? Go ahead. Song Mianian thought about it. And then said what she was worried about. After Li Ying Chun heard it. She thought it made sense. She thought that even if it was painted again, as long as the person's five senses looked handsome, it would still be handsome. It definitely wouldn't be bad enough to stun some people's dog eyes. Let them think that Neon Neon's husband is a middle-aged obeisance. Okay, that's fine. When can you guys probably arrive? More than an hour or so. Okay, I'm still on the road now too. There's no rush. Aha, uh -huh. one and a half hours later, finally arrived at the destination. This place is really remote, completely out of the city. Chang Xiao parked the car in the parking space in front of the hotel, then held Song Mianian's hand and went inside. At this moment, inside a certain large private room, a dozen or twenty people were sitting around the table, and one of the women asked, It's this time of the day, why hasn't he come yet? It can't be that it's not coming, right? It's only 10.30, it's not time yet, what's the rush? Are you that impatient to eat? In that case, you'd better hurry out and find a street stall to eat. Li Yingchun didn't have the good sense to say, You. That's right, this group of people had arrived half an hour ago and waited for Chang Xiao and his wife for half an hour. Now many people had gotten upset and started to wonder if they were coming or not. After Li Yingchun disliked them so much, and with Gu Chuanua's example here, everyone shut up. In their hearts, they felt that Song Mianian was definitely not coming. No, not not coming, but not daring to come at all. Li Yingchun once again sent a message to Song Nian Nian, Nian Nian, have you arrived yet? Already at the door. Seeing this message, Li Yingchun immediately smiled and showed the chat log to the crowd. See, who said my Mian Mian wouldn't come? You people are just impatient. Isn't it normal for people to come late when their homes are far away? Gu Chunhua was speechless. Chang Xiao held Song Nian Nian's hand and looked for the private room according to the private room number. And finally found it after a few minutes. Chang Xiao spoke up at this time. Wife, I'll go to the restroom first. You go in first. 
Song Mianian didn't think much and nodded. When Shang Xiao left, she knocked on the door of the private room. Liang Chun heard the knock and dejectedly looked at the crowd, especially Gu Chunhua. Let me say it, she's here. Gu Chunhua didn't think so. She thought Song Mianian was definitely not as exaggerated as Liang Chun said. Being good looking as a child doesn't mean you're good looking when you're grown up as an adult. The door was slowly opened. Everyone poked their heads in the direction of the door. And when they saw the person standing in the doorway, they froze on the spot. What kind of face was that? It was impossible to describe it in words. A fairy who fell to the mortal world? Song Mianian didn't put on much special makeup today. Just a light makeup, which is commonly known as pseudo-vegetarian face. But even so, it was beautiful. This kind of unearthly and unrivaled face made the people in the private room not react for a long while. Because this face was just too good looking. So good that people couldn't take their eyes off it. If this is Song Mianian, it is simply better than when she was a child by more than half a star. This is not a girl who has changed. This is more than a change, simply like a new person. It may also be the reason why I haven't seen it for many years. But I feel that Song Mianian seems to be different from before. But her eyebrows and eyes seem to be the same. Li Ying Chun grinned. Hurriedly took Song Mianian's arm and said to the crowd, This is our most beautiful school flower. Song Mianian, how is it? I didn't lie to you guys, right? It's still as good looking as ever. The crowd quickly responded. It's true. Good looking people. Good looking when they're young. Even better when they grow up. Yes, just now. Not knowing who it is. Has been suspecting that Goddess Song's beauty will change. This change I yes. The more it changes, the better it looks. Female Big 18 changes. This sentence I believe really will change. Her husband is really lucky. If I could marry such a good-looking wife, I'd be willing to go to hell and back. Cut. How can you marry such a good-looking woman? You're overthinking it. Liang Chun looked at Song Mian Mian alone. Black question mark face. Mian Mian. Where's your husband? He'll be here soon. Good. You come over. This side is reserved for you couple. Liang Chun smiled and pulled Song Mian Mian to her seat. Everyone quickly returned to their seats, basically staring at Song Mianian, both men and women. Such a beauty, how eye pleasing to look at. There were a few women with jealousy in their eyes, they had thought similarly to Gu Chunhua before, thinking that it wasn't as exaggerated as Li Ying Chun had said. Now where is it an exaggeration? It's simply exaggerated to the extreme. Okay? What do you think? Is she really that good looking? The two women exchanged words. The other said, It feels like plastic surgery. I think 80% is plastic surgery. And then the female big 18 change is not so exaggerated. She even if not whole certainly also fine-tuned. Did not move in the face I do not believe it. I don't believe it either. How can anyone look so perfect? Look at the eyes of those men. They all look like they've never eaten pork before. This woman is really good at seducing people. They are all married in the countryside. They are the veritable countryside long-winded women in everyone's mouths. And they love to gossip about people on a regular basis. Those who came today. Besides Chang Xiao and his wife. There were 20 people in total. 8 women and 12 men. The men basically had their eyes on Song Mianian, completely unable to take their eyes off her. She was really too beautiful. Ying Chun, didn't you say that Mian Mian is already married? Where's her husband? At this time, a female asked out loud. Yeah, her husband couldn't have escaped from the battlefield at a critical time, right? I think it's just that he's on the verge of fleeing and doesn't dare to come to see us at all. He must be ugly and doesn't dare to come. Ugly? Li Ying Chun are going to gasp and laugh. Later let you know what is called a slap in the face slap in the face. Chapter 303, what a refreshing way to put it. If Chang Xiao is still ugly, then there are really no good looking people in this world. They are all absolutely ugly. A group of people, later will know what it means to hit the face. Li Ying Chun looked at her son who was already lying asleep in the children's car not far away inside. People's husbands are here. She, the child's father is either working overtime or traveling every day, and never has a few days at home to accompany their wives and children. She not only had to take care of the little one, but also the old one. If not invited the nanny to help together to take care of the elderly, a person shall not die of exhaustion. Not long after, the door to the private room opened. Song Mianian thought it was Chang Xiao coming over, but she didn't realize it wasn't. It was the waiter passing out food. I'm treating today, so everyone just eat openly. A male student got up and said to the crowd, everyone knew that this guy had made a lot of money in the past two years by opening a company, and it was also him who took the initiative to ask to treat everyone to dinner. Everyone called the boss with every mouthful. I'm curious, Muyang how much money have you made in these two years? Yeah, it's definitely quite a lot. I heard that your company has expanded again. I'm really envious. Mu Yang waved his hand, pretending to be modest, not much. Not much, just made a few million. Not much, my good brother has tens of millions a year. Where can I compare? A few million that's also very good ah, 
then most of us are too strong. Yes, I only get tens of thousands of dollars a year in dead wages. Can't compare. Gu Chunhua said at this time, a few tens of thousands of dollars can also be. Whereas I, every day at home with no income, as a housewife, hey, I'm not the same, said Gu Chunhua, suddenly looked at Song Nian Nian, smiled and asked, Nian Nian, I heard that you also gave birth to a baby, are you now also at home to take care of the child ah? If you've had a baby, then you have to take care of it at home. What's the difference between you and them? She's just a good looking girl. A vase. I don't know what's so great. Bai Li Ying Chun shameless blowing so exaggerated. Think how powerful it is, but still have to be at home to men with children. Is not nobler than them to wear. Li Ying Chun really can't stand to watch. Song Mianian has not said anything. She sneered and said, people have their own work. At any time on the post, unlike someone, what skills are not, just a mouth will say. Li Ying Chun. Who the hell are you pointing and cursing at? Gu Chunhua got anxious. Whoever is in a hurry says who. The two were able to barter two sentences every time they spoke, and everyone had gotten used to it. Still, they couldn't help but get a little annoyed. Aya, you guys be quiet. We're all classmates. What's the point of arguing? To say that the person Li Ying Chun looked at the most unpleasant is Gu Chunhua the shameless, dead double standard dog. Their own at home with children feel very bully. People at home full time with children she is Yin and Yang. Shi Li Ying Chun is also at home with children. How? She has a problem with Gu Chunhua? Song Nianxian furrowed her brows slightly, only to feel that such an environment of chatter was really, really noisy. She had the thought of running away immediately. After the dishes were served, someone asked, Strange, why hasn't Goddess Song's husband come yet? It's not really running away, is it? Song Nianyang also felt strange. What was this guy doing? He hasn't come over after so long. Just as she was thinking, the door was not. Chang Xiao walked in with another face. Song Mianian didn't even come out at first. This face is still very familiar. Before in order to confuse Mr. Wang and the others. All made up like this. Of course, it was equally handsome. As soon as he came in, he attracted everyone's attention. This handsome guy, who are you looking for? A girl next to Gu Chunhua asked. Looking at Chang Xiao with infatuated eyes. This man was also too handsome. Growing up, she had never seen such a handsome one. Other than the artist Chang Xiao who was now in the midst of his fame, there really wasn't one, and still looking so close, so charming, Che, still talking about us men, aren't you women the same, you like to stare at handsome ones, a male had a disdainful face, what do you know, you men looking at beautiful women is called seeing color, we call this appreciation, can it be the same, crowd, appreciate, what a refreshing way to put it, so a woman looking at a handsome man is called admiration, while a man looking at a beautiful woman is called lust, Li Yingchun didn't even recognize this look, but she saw it at a glance, Chang Xiao, oh my god, he has transformed into another person, he doesn't look like him at all, except for the aura around him, however, she didn't poke at it in time, it would eventually hit her in the face anyway, and as expected, handsome guy, you ran to the wrong private room, are you unable to find it, do you want us to contact the staff for you, Gu Chunhua laughed, I came to look for my wife, Chang Zhao's eyes couldn't help but look at Song Mianyang. Gu Chunhua and the girls didn't pay attention and only heard the words looking for their wives. This handsome guy was already married? It's too bad, isn't it? Looking just in his early twenties, a young fresh meat, he got married at such a good age. Besides Gu Chunhua, the other two singles only felt pity and a little pain. Such a good cabbage. In the end, by whom was it arched? However, he didn't expect that the handsome man walked straight in Song Nianyan's direction and sat down beside her. Not long afterward, he held Song Mianian's hand and stood up to introduce himself. Hello everyone, I'm Mian Mian's husband. My name is Yi Fei. Making up a name at random. It's impossible to directly call Chung Xiao. It's hard to avoid arousing suspicion. You have to do a full set of theater. The crowd was shocked. Even by the karma. What's the situation? This handsome guy is Song Mian Mian's husband? This this this. Li Ying Chun looked at Gu Chunhua with a gloating face. Just now. She was saying that people with ugly faces don't dare to come, but now they're here. You call this ugly? If this is still ugly, there are no good-looking people in the world. It was as if I heard the sound of a slap in the face. Who just clamored the loudest? Li Yingchun sneered. Gu Chuanu was few people looked at each other and didn't say anything. They really didn't expect that this handsome guy Yi Fei was Song Nianyang's husband. All right, you guys just stop arguing. Let's eat. The food is getting cold. We are all getting together today. We haven't seen each other already. It's not like we are here to argue. Mu Yang came out to round up the situation. His expression was not the usual fake. Picking up the wine glass to toast everyone, today's meal is also considered to be a celebration of Goddess Song's first time attending our class reunion. 
hasn't it all been 10 years since we've seen each other? The moment he said this, he had pulled everyone's thoughts back to the past. Ever since Song Mianian left in the second year of junior high school, she hadn't gotten in touch with everyone. It was still recently that Liang Chun happened to run into Goddess Song, or else he probably wouldn't have been able to see her in this lifetime. Goddess Song, where did you go to study after you left after your second year? Someone asked curiously. That's right, not contacting us for 10 years. That's really not enough. I'm curious, did you go to college? Some people were even more curious about this, because many of them used to drop out of middle school and high school due to poor family conditions. For example, Gu Chunhua was in middle school and Li Chun was in high school. Song Yanyan's family was also very poor at that time. You're not talking nonsense. Goddess Song is so smart. How could she not go to college? Chapter 304, Jealousy Between Women. That's right. Goddess Song looks like she's doing quite well. How could she not have gone to college? Isn't that bullshit? It's not like we're like that. At that time, after finishing her second year of junior high school, the goddess should have gone to the big city to study. Gu Chunhua snorted at this time. I remember. At that time, everyone's condition should not be very good. Big city. Consumption is very high. Especially those school tuition fees. I heard that eating cafeteria for a semester are big thousands of tens of thousands. Her implication was that Song Mianian's family was so poor. How could she afford to go to a big city school? It was simply impossible. Definitely is a part-time job to go. Or learn a craft or something. At most on a technical school. Absolutely impossible to keep reading down. After all, the conditions are there. College? Is it possible? Just because you look pretty. This is like a college student? Li Chun did not bother to explain to her. This is a long hair. Short inside brainless woman A. She can't stand up to the world. Everything only look at the surface. Just a strong jealousy. Or she really cannot think of any words to describe her. Jealousy between women. Women know best. She is jealous of Nian Nian Beautiful. Surely will not recognize Nian Nian have any education. Cannot wait for people like her. Junior high school graduates. In fact, it doesn't matter what the education level is. The key is to be a good mixer. Song Nian Nian is now mixed very well. Is her envy cannot come? Although she also married to the city. But the man is often not accompanied by the side. Either early in the morning and late at night. Or business trips are annoyed with the death of boredom. Since the child was born. He also took care of one or two times. One more reply counted on his conscience. In the past. The school cafeteria in the big city. A semester is only one or two thousand okay. Which is so exaggerated. At this time. Someone refuted Gu Chunhua. Whether it's one or two thousand or not. Those of us who are poor, how can we have that spare money? We all went out to work early. Gu Chunhua laughed. Liang Chun coldly laughed. You can't afford does not mean others can't afford money. Even if you borrow, you can always borrow some money. You don't understand. Don't be blind. A few nonsense. Gu Chunhua was instantly dumbfounded by Liang Chun. However, she still felt that Song Mianian's family couldn't afford the money at that time. Not even in the county, let alone the city. It was simply impossible. Even if they could afford it. They had saved for many years, and not only did they have to go to high school, but also to college, which was an expense. Anyway, she is 100% do not believe. Cheng Xiao sat aside and drank a small tea, not paying attention to everything around him, only Song Mian Yang in his eyes. At class reunions, there are always a few people who can't see the good in others. This is already a normal phenomenon, and he has experienced it, so he doesn't have any feelings about people's cynicism. Looking at Song Mianian's face as if nothing had happened. As if it wasn't her who was talking about her. Liang Chun was a bit helpless. She didn't feel anything? This Gu Chunhua was really too much. It seemed like she had to mention Mian Mian to strike her down before she could do so. Do you know what job our Mian Mian has? Liang Chun laughed. Everyone looked over curiously. Curious as to what song Mian Mian's job was. It should be a white collar job in some big company. Very likely. Maybe just a full time mom. Gu Chunhua froze for a moment. Then said with some disdain. A full time housewife like me. I guess. Full-time housewife? Oh, people are university teachers. A regular Qingzhou university teacher. Only on vacation because she had a baby. As soon as Li Yingchun came out and said that, she felt especially good in her heart. She just couldn't stand Gu Chunhua's dejected face. It was so revolting and disgusting. What? When the crowd heard this, they were all filled with shock and disbelief. A university teacher? This weight can be heavy. University teacher. That has to be a graduate degree or above. Right. At least a master's degree. Highly educated intellectuals. Could Song Mian Yang have gotten a master's degree? This is. Too scary. Back then. None of their classmates had a master's degree. At most they had a bachelor's degree. This is too awesome. The one who was most dumbfounded was Gu Chunhua. 
How was this possible? Although she had a low education, she also knew how awesome a master's degree was. Below a doctorate was a master's degree. This was absolutely impossible. It must be Li Yingchun talking nonsense, or Song Mianyang fooling her. She didn't believe it. Ha! Huh? Can I say that you're working with Song Mianmian to make up a degree to fool everyone? Gu Chunhua laughed coldly. She didn't have a high education, but she wasn't stupid. Li Yingchun only felt that this person was hopeless. Is it hard to bring a graduation certificate specially to show you? Who do you think you are? What do people want to prove to you? It's really ridiculous. How can you prove that you are telling the truth if you don't prove it? What if you're just here to fool everyone? Half the people agreed with Gu Chunhua. Half of them disagreed. Li Yingchun rolled her eyes. I've finally seen what it means to be brain dead today. When you run into this kind of person, it doesn't even make sense. Just a rural reckless woman with long hair and short insight. Who the hell are you saying is brainwashed? Gu Chunhua was not happy. What? Did I name names? Seeing that there was going to be another quarrel, Mu Yang continued to round off the conversation. Speechless to death. A good class reunion turned into this. Bickering every year. What's the point? Might as well not organize it next time. Chang Xiao and his wife only felt bored to death. Had known not to come. Song Mianian also regretted a bit and quietly held Cheng Zhao's hand and said softly, Hubby, I should have known not to let you come. I'm here with you today. It's not like I'm someone else. Whatever they say. The two argued for a while and soon stopped again. Mian Mian, why don't you move your chopsticks? This jellyfish tastes pretty good. Li Yingchun smiled and gave Song Mian Mian chopsticks. Other than Shang Zhao's cooking, Song Mianian didn't have much feeling for the hotel's meals. It didn't matter if she ate them or not. With Chang Xiao around, the few women who were talking about Song Mianian were also a bit more restrained. It's so hard to meet a boy with such a high face value. It's such a shame that he's marrying his wife. If it's someone else, they think they may still have a chance. But if this object is Song Mianian, basically no chance at all. Alas, the handsome boy who was on his lips just flew away. Mian Mian, are you really a college teacher? A boy asked curiously. Song Mianian took a bite of jellyfish, then put down her chopsticks. What's wrong? Nothing. We're just curious. A university teacher? That's too awesome. That's right. A lot of us have only graduated from junior high and high school. We've never been to college. Seeing a college teacher, we feel it's rare. Song Mianian smiled. But it's just teaching and educating people. There's no difference with ordinary teachers. How is there no difference? There is a big difference. If I let people know that I have a friend who was a high school teacher, it's just like that. But if it's a college teacher, it's a light on my face. Don't you think so? The boy said excitedly. Chapter 305, today he'll pretend to the end. Li Yingchun also chimed in at this time. That's not true. University teacher. That registration is immediately different. Big beautiful Song will have to take care of you in the future. Everyone gave Song Mian Yang a thumbs up. There was actually a university teacher amongst their classmates. Good luck. Gu Chunhua looked at everyone praising Song Mianian and became upset. It's not confirmed yet. Is she saying yes? Don't you all doubt the truth of something? Aren't you afraid of someone pretending to be someone else? Gu Chunhua, do you believe that if you nag a little more, I'll pull out your tongue for you? Li Yingchun was furious and warned viciously. Mian Mian is the one I've invited with great difficulty. If you piss people off, you don't have to come back to the class reunion in the future. This woman was really good at picking fights. Noisy. Saying everything about her was so annoying. Li Yingchun's expression was vicious, to the point that it really shocked Gu Chunhua. Only heard her grunt, and then lowered her head to eat. Did not speak. A class reunion was very unpleasant. Mu Yang is a more will come to things. Waved his hand and said, okay, okay, everyone quiet quiet. Are small things, peace of mind and peace of mind, as the saying goes, and gas makes money. After he said this, the atmosphere was a little better. Only to see. He said to Song Mianyang, Goddess Song, I'll say sorry to you on behalf of Chun Hua. She is that kind of character. No bad intentions. Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow. This guy was paying out some money for treats. So he took this place as his home ground under his own management. When these words came out, he instantly set himself up as a nice and talkative peacemaker persona. Mian Mian, if you keep working, who's going to bring up the child? A girl asked with her eyes wide open and full of questions. My wife's health was already bad. So I had no choice but to hire a nanny to take care of her at home. Chang Xiao suddenly spoke out, smiling slightly. Nanny? Crap. Rich people ah. Awesome. A nanny has to be several thousand a month. Some are more than that. If the caregiver takes care of the child, it's said that it has to be finished 10,000. Too much money. It's really worthy of being rich. Yes. I'm curious. Yi Fei. How much does the nanny your family hired cost? Chang Xiao has not yet answered. The side of the Mu Yang said, the family cannot take care of over. Please a nanny to share is very normal. 
My family invited. My wife she is still pregnant. I hired a nanny to take care of her living. Eight or nine thousand or so. Eight or nine thousand? Crap. Or brother Yang bully ah. Eight or nine thousand our monthly wages are not so much. These days the nanny are so profitable ah. Yes, but the nanny is also tired. Serving people every day. Doing housework. Hey, if you meet a bad employer. Every day the share of anger. Harm. Eight or nine thousand is considered cheap. My wife did not allow me to hire too expensive. Think a waste of money. Women ah. Also this small mind to save money. Mu Young drank a mouthful of Jiang Xiaobai. Smiled and said. That can also be. Unlike us. Not to mention the nanny. Hourly workers can not afford. Among us ah. Only Mu Yang you mix well. Every year's pure profit is several hundred million. Envious to death. When can I also make so much money ah? Mu Yang laughed. As long as you work hard. You can definitely make money soon. Everyone sighed inside. Envious of Mu Yang. Mu Yang was very flattered by everyone's admiration. What he wanted was this kind of atmosphere. Liang Chun broke this atmosphere. She didn't want to listen to Mu Yang's bragging. And asked Cheng Xiao, Yi Fei. How much does your family's nanny cost a month? Cheng Xiao laughed, not much, just 30, 000, our lowest grade, in front of pretending to be a bully, right, today he will pretend to the end, WC, 30,000, that's not much, lowest grade, what price is that, 30,000 is still the lowest, that's crazy, it's a rich man's world, this is a blatant smashing, Mu Yang's face was not good on the spot, 30,000, but also less, is not a blow to the people is what, this fight back and forth, Causing Song Mian Mian on the side to be a little embarrassed. Looks like Mian Mian husband is also a rich man ah. 30,000 nanny eyes do not blink. Surely the family is rich. I really envy her. Married a man with so much money. But also so handsome and considerate. Life is really good ah. People can not only good life. The university teacher is said to have a monthly salary of tens of thousands of it. The two are great. Liang Chun just couldn't see others bullying Song Mian Mian. After all. The person is her shout. She will have to cover. Won't let them this bunch of broken mouths talk nonsense. Gu Chunhua suddenly felt that she is the most miserable one. Before I thought Song Mianian with her. Are with the child housewife. Reaching out to her husband for money. I did not realize that people have a very good job and a lot of savings. I didn't realize that she had a good job and a lot of savings. And her husband is also good to her. And there is a nanny at home. She. Nothing. Only a child waiting to be fed. And a husband who loves to play cards. Look at the people with cell phones are tens of thousands of starting. She will use the cheap thousand dollar machine. This side of a pretend pretend fly. Song Mianian in order to resolve the embarrassment. Will not stop eating. If she didn't eat. It would be a waste if the food got cold. Now everyone has turned a corner and stopped envying Mu Yang and started envying Chung Shao. Thirty thousand dollars a month for a nanny. So their monthly income has to be over one hundred thousand dollars. Why can some people have such a good life? Back then it was obvious that everyone was the same. Why is it that people have such good jobs now? And they have master's degrees. And they are university teachers? Hey. This time. She didn't speak anymore and sat there eating without a word. Listening to her classmates chattering and discussing endlessly. Goddess. You're really too low key. But why don't you contact everyone anymore? Every year. You're the only one missing. And the others who didn't come were all here because they had things to do. You're completely disconnected from us. Yeah. It's been 10 years. Song Mianian found an excuse, none of them had cell phones back then, how could they get in touch? She said this is the truth, no smartphone, at that time the keypad she did not have, after all, the price is very expensive, that condition, where to afford to buy, then she went to Qingzhou to study, there was no way to contact, plus she was originally a poor speaker, in a flash, 10 years have passed, if it wasn't for Liang Chun, she wouldn't even know that she still had these middle school classmates, don't mention it goddess, no cell phone that's not an excuse. You always have the penguin number right. Go to the internet cafe and log in. You can contact. That's right. Song Mianian was a little weak by what they said. What she wanted to say was that those fancy ones she was too lazy to get the whole thing. Thinking it was a waste of time. At that time, her mind was on studying well and honoring her mom. A meal. In addition to Liang Chun. 19 students were struck dead. People so itself is excellent meet such a husband. It is not surprising. Chapter 306, The Charm of Nowhere to Rest. Liang Chun and a few other girls all had a stricken expression on their faces. Still a bit unresponsive. Liang Chun covered her mouth and snickered. Let you guys talk too much. Now you've been stimulated. Someone continued to ask that. Yi Fei, what kind of job do you have? Yes, is it a company? It's nothing. It's just opening a chain of children's clothing stores and making some money. Chang Xiao waved his hand and said. 
Chain. In the opinion of this group of people, the chain must be particularly profitable. The annual profit is quite a lot. One by one that is called a jealousy hate ah. Mu Yang heard in his ears. Children's clothing store? Chain? Only a few stores. He thought he was opening some big company. Then asked, then you that children's clothing stores earn how much a year ah? But what Cheng Xiao said next made him dumbfounded. Cheng Xiao thought for a moment. Not much. According to one store sales of 300, 000 a day, two should be about 600, 000, a day's pure income of 600, 000, WC, what kind of godly store is this, one shop is 300, 000 a day, two 600, 000, that means 6 million in 10 days, one, 8 million in a month, that's not much, what do you mean by that, everyone's eyes widened in shock, what's so profitable to sell, Mu Yan was stunned. This is much more profitable than this company of his. One year, more than $10 million profit, a few hundred streets away from him, just relying on two chain stores? How could he be so unbelieving? It can't be bragging and telling lies. Just because he doesn't believe it doesn't mean the others don't. They just think it's bullish. Mu Yang's popularity was immediately suppressed. When the baby woke up, Li Ying Chun hurriedly went to coax her child. Ying Chun, you haven't eaten yet. Someone asked. Li Ying Chun said, you guys eat. I'll eat again later. The little child woke up and didn't understand anything. Looking around in confusion, a meal was eaten. The attention of the crowd was on Chang Xiao and his wife. The man is better than who is well married. The woman is better than who is well married. This society is a society of comparison. Until the party ended, Mu Yang waved his hand and asked, I booked a KTV room. Do you want to go sing together? Brother, it's daytime. Going to sing during the day? Mu Yang laughed. Of course. It can also be tuned to the night time. I don't care. It depends on what everyone wants. Song Mian Yang couldn't wait to go back, holding Chang Zhao's arm tightly. I won't go. I still have old people and children to take care of at home. I was supposed to make time today. Me too. You guys go. I'm not going. Another person greeted and left. Bye. I'll leave first. In the end, only Mu Yang, Li Ying Chun and Song Mian Yang were left in the same place. Mu Yang was already looking at Chang Xiao and the others uncomfortably but had to put on a generous face. Are you guys going? Thought they would follow. After all, everyone had left and they hadn't. Sorry, not going. They were still waiting for Li Ying Chun to change the child's diaper. Soon, Li Ying Chun was done. Mian Mian, let's go. In an instant, everyone was gone, leaving only Mu Yang and another male. Shit, each and every one of them has no face. Mu Yang spat and gritted his teeth. He kindly invited them, and they all have this face. It really pissed him off. Chang Xiao held Song Mian Mian's hand and left. Li Ying Chun followed behind, looking at the two of them holding hands tightly without letting go. That envy ah. Why can't her dog man do this? Look at others. Love and affection. Even class reunions are together. In pairs. And then look at her family. Only she poorly run with the child. Just think about it. It's heartbreaking. Arriving at the parking lot, Song Mianian turned her face. Ying Chun, are you driving back by yourself? Well, that dog man in my house is still busy so he won't come to pick me up, then be careful on the road, well, you guys go back, don't worry about me, okay, be careful on your way, Cheng Xiao and Song Mianian sat on the car, only to see, Cheng Xiao took out a small mirror and wet wipes, pretending to pound on his face for a while, a handsome face came out, the original look was restored, even though it was often looked at, Song Mianian also looked stunned, and once the wet wipes were wiped, the face was restored, wasn't this makeup removal speed a bit too fast? It was simply God speed. Hubby, what kind of wipes do you have here? So magical. She asked curiously. It's nothing. It's for this colored makeup. Actually I didn't draw much. I just drew the next five senses and wiped them down as soon as I removed the makeup. The made up Song Mian Yang really believed it. Okay. Driving. On the road Song Mianian felt bored and had a chat with Chang Xiao. Hubby, what do you think Ying Chuan's husband does? Why doesn't he know to keep them company when his wife is like this? Come and help. As soon as this was said. Song Mian Yang was puzzled. Maybe there's something really wrong. Chang Xiao said. Song Mian Yang frowned. Really? Why do I feel that something is not quite right? What kind of person works overtime every day on business trips? Wife. What are you thinking? Chang Xiao asked with a smile. Women are gossipy species. This little woman must have thought of something. Nothing. Just curious about what her husband is doing. That's also someone else's business. Let's just stay out of it and live our own little lives. Song Mian Yang blushed and nodded. Aha. As if thinking of something, she said, that is, I shouldn't have brought you along today. She didn't expect it to be like this. 
Chang Xiao shouldn't have participated in such an occasion, she would have been able to handle it alone. Luckily, he was able to put on makeup to hide his appearance, or else this matter today would have to go to Weibo. When people's photos are taken, they can't just hang on the microblogging hot search? Chang Xiao is now the topic of conversation. There is no way. It's okay, my wife came here. Shouldn't I accompany her? It doesn't matter what the occasion is. What's important is to accompany you. Chang Xiao smiled, his eyes full of doting. Song Mianyang froze, blushing. This guy is, when did he become so good at talking? Thinking about it, humph, only this time we'll talk. After going home, it is still not the same angry at her. How is it? Isn't it very touching? Chang Xiao asked back, eyes blinking. Ah, this charm that goes nowhere. Song Mianzi was speechless and rolled her eyes. Not touched. What is there to be touched about? Soon, the car drove to the entrance of the villa and stopped. Song Qin had long held the children waiting at the door. The baby seemed to know that mom and dad were coming back. One by one, honestly stood beside their grandmother. Looking forward to it, small eyes looked at the distance. When they saw the familiar car appear, they all grinned happily. For just a moment, Song Mianian missed the babies. As soon as they got out of the car, they ran towards them. Baby, did you miss mom and dad? Song Mianian hugged and kissed them one by one. The three babies were very happy, but only four treasures. With his little mouth turned away, his face aggravated, and his eyes full of tears. Chapter 307, Weibo fans surpass 100 million. As if complaining, why are you guys just coming? Do you know how long this baby has been aggravated? Dad is bad. Mom is bad. Humph. Song Mianian couple was heartbroken. With an apologetic face, they picked up the four treasures. I'm sorry ah, four treasures, mom just went to a classmate reunion, next time mom won't go, okay? The apology should still be apologized. Who let them go to some classmate reunion when several babies were asleep? Four treasures was already dependent on them, it was normal to have this reaction. In the future, we really need to leave someone to guard this place, mom is not useful here at all, Debeo and the others can accept it, but four treasures can't accept it. It's really hard to serve. Fourth treasure's character, who did she follow in the end? Her father doesn't seem like such a character, and neither does she. Is there a hidden gene, or a genetic mutation? It's strange. Song Mianian apologized left and right before four treasures finally forgave her, hugging her neck tightly and not letting go. Her dependence was too strong. Song Mianian sighed, her face full of sorrow. You guys, you are not seeing. This child, four treasures, her older siblings are playing. She is the only one, searching and searching all over the house, looking from room to room. Song Qin was helpless and heartbroken, telling her not to look and getting angry. The couple is also listening more and more heartache. In the future there is something as much as possible to bring the four treasures. This little girl character is here. There is no way out. Cheng Xiao scraped Sibao's little nose and laughed, Sibao, you are not as good as your brother and sister. They don't cry or make trouble. For treasures didn't know if he heard or not and actually glanced towards his older siblings in the living room, then continued to bury his little face in Song Mianian's chest, hugging his neck tightly. Song Mianian smiled helplessly and sat down on the sofa. This child couldn't have thought that they deliberately didn't bring her along, right? After thinking about it, she asked, For treasures, do you remember that aunt from last time? The one we went traveling with. For treasures didn't understand and gave her a confused look, thinking about what Lu Qingqing said earlier about inviting her to dinner. She took the initiative to send a message over. Ching Ching, do you have time tomorrow? This question, that side simply replied in seconds ah. Yes yes yes, I'm a housewife. Anytime I have time ah, dinner date? Lu Ching Ching excitedly said. Well then, this time I'll treat. Lu Ching Ching refused. How can I let you treat me? I ate a lot in the hotel last time. This time how come I have to treat? Otherwise you are looking down on me. Song Mian Yang. Okay, this time you treat. Then it's a deal. Next time I'll treat, Song Mianian emphasized. Okay, 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 next time you treat. Lu Qingqing agreed in one bite. Tomorrow right? What time ah? Time you decide. Oh yeah, remember to bring the babies. Otherwise I'll be unhappy. She really misses a few babies too much. So adorable. Not seeing them for so many days. She doesn't know if they remember her. She was already looking forward to it now. Their Zayn loved the four babies. Okay, tomorrow the baby bring. In which restaurant ah? At that time you send the location to me just. Okay, I'll set it now. Lu Qingqing said, why don't we book it for noon? Song Min Yang nodded. Well, you decide. Just as she was about to turn off her phone, a microblog message popped up, clicked on it, and it went directly to the hot search. What made her speechless was that Chang Xiao was actually still on the hot search. Now it's another hot search. 
This time the fire is actually Chang Zha's clothing. As an artist, he still has a lot of road photos. Basically all fans, passers by shooting, 360 degrees without a dead angle of the kind, simply do not even have to fix the map, look better than some stars have fixed the map, and, Chang Zha's clothing is really good, is simply walking clothes rack, the fashion industry is very respected to him, every piece of clothing collocation, seemingly arbitrary, even some messy, but is good looking, this is probably the people look good, wear a rag on the body also look good, recently how are all Chang Xiao Chang Xiao, at first I looked just like that, for MO now more and more look more and more I, am I crazy, this is a comment from a male netizen, Xiao Xiao Sun is worthy of being our Xiao Xiao Sun ah, I feel that there is no he can't, what other skills is he hiding, really too curious, Xiao Xiaozi is awesome, I didn't fan the wrong idol this time, mom, I've made a name for myself, the fans were more excited than one another, seeing their idol on the hot search time and time again because of his merits, could they not be happy, many fans of other celebrities had taken off the main family because of Chang Xiao and started kowtowing to Chang Xiao instead, the microblogging fans had already exceeded 100 million and were even climbing, his popularity can be seen, there aren't many Weibo followers who have exceeded 100 million, except for a few veteran stars, even some of the top tier ones only have a few tens of millions, Chang Xiao was the only male artist who had as many male fans as female fans, hubby, come look, you're on the hot search again, Song Mian Yang pulled Chang Xiao over, Chang Xiao took a look, clothes hot search, the fashion world had commented on it, didn't he just casually match it, sure enough, aura was really important, if he was a poor guy, when he was nothing, it was useless to have a handsome face, he would still be mocked by countless people, what everyone didn't know was that at this moment, in a certain forest villa in China, there was a man in black sitting on the sofa, and the tablet in his hand was brushing the microblogging, clicking on a photo, looking at the person on it, he couldn't help but point his finger at his face, this person, go check it out, yes, the next day, today promised to make a dinner date with Lu Qingqing, Song Mian Yang got up at 7 or 8 to eat breakfast and pack up, when the time comes, she will definitely have to stay over there for a few hours, and the child's diapers and some food will have to be brought along, one year old, at home can always be solved in the children's toilet, go out in order not to create trouble for others, can only commission a little with diapers, more than 9 o'clock, the children are awake, Cheng Xiao couple one by one to dress them, the baby seemed to know to go out to play, happy straight smile, just after dressing, he was ready to go see what else was not packed, when a phone call suddenly came in, director Lin, went to the living room and answered it, what's wrong, usually nothing is wrong director Lin wouldn't call, director Lin smiled, it's nothing, it's just that the TV series will be aired in a week. I came to inform you that tomorrow is the Shadow Hunt Conference. Remember to come. Chang Zhao's face was pale. Well, just send me the address. I'll send it to you later. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh right. Chang Ah. The advertisement for our Shadow Hunt released on the crew's official microblog. Can you help publicize it? This was a request. Actually, the actor got paid for the movie. It was his freedom to post or not post an advertisement. So that's why director Lin came over to request it. Chapter 308, I also want a sister, now Chang Zhao's hotness, as well as Weibo's fan base, an advertisement to go out, shadow hunting is definitely a fire before airing, although now it's already a fire before airing, but an advertisement will be even more fiery, Chang Xiao is the guarantee of the flow, the guarantee of the acting, the guarantee of the ratings, Chang Xiao didn't refuse, yes, director Lin revealed a smile, that's fine, you get busy first, aha, the phone hung up, hubby, who's calling? Come over and change the baby's diaper. Song Myanian's voice came through. Coming. After changing the children's diapers one by one, Chang Xiao said, It's Director Lin. The TV series is going to air and asked me to go to the launch tomorrow. Ah, uh, you're going out again tomorrow? Song Myanian's face drooped. Chang Xiao's lips rose. It's not like I'm not coming back. Why don't you come with me? Wait in the background? This little woman is getting more and more inseparable from him. Ah, uh, I don't want to. Wait in the background? Like what words? Song Myanian glared at him. There's no such thing as going to a TV show launch and dragging your family along. It's really not like that. This would probably be disliked to death. After packing up, it was already past 10 o'clock, and the two of them drove out with the child. On the way, Song Myanian sighed. It's airing so soon. I thought it would be next year. Chang Xiao also thought it would be next year at first, but he didn't expect that it would be ready to air in just over a month. Song Myanian opened the location given by Lu Qingqing and sent it to Chang Xiao. It was almost half an hour away. Soon arrived at the destination. An elegant and cozy Chinese restaurant. The waiter came over and smiled slightly. Both of you. May I ask if you have a reservation? 
Song Mianian, no. Our friend has opened a private room here. Waiting for us. The waiter politely said. May I ask which private room? I'll take you there. Mian Mian. Just then, a familiar voice came. Lu Qingqing ran down from upstairs, wearing flat sandals on her feet that clattered on the ground. Song Mian Mian who was watching was really speechless. Seeing her friend come over, the waitress nodded and stepped back. I've been waiting for you guys for a long time. Why are you just coming? Come on, come on, come on. I even ordered a lot of food that the kids can eat. In the private room, Zane's dad was holding Zane and playing on the carpet. Zane's childish voice asked, Daddy, are the sisters and they really coming? He loved one of his sisters so much. He even gave his sister a toy last time. Zane's dad laughed. Of course they're coming. Your mom is already down there. They'll be here later. As he was talking, the door was opened from outside. Chang Xiao and his wife walked in pushing the two children one by one. As soon as they put the kids down, they went to play with Zane. Zane can like the four treasures. His own what toys to the four treasures, even if it is his own favorite small toy car. Lu Qingqing covered her mouth and snickered. Mian Mian, why do I feel that our Zane especially likes your four treasures? This is obvious to anyone with a clear eye. He doesn't give it to Erbao, but favors four treasures, and Erbao won't give it to him even if he asks for it. Song Mianian also saw it and smiled. Maybe these two kids just fit each other. Chang Zhao's heart unconsciously rose up a sense of crisis. Look at the current situation. The fourth treasure in the future big have to look at it. Otherwise it will be abducted by someone to run away. He still wants his daughter to stay with him and his wife for a few more years. Cannot be married off early. People arrived. Lu Qingqing notified. The waiter began to serve food. The private room was quite large. The decoration style was that cozy retro style. There was a kind of Republic of China feeling. Not far from the table there was also a carpet. The children were playing and messing around on it. Mian Mian, you didn't contact us even after you went back to the country. If it wasn't for my husband seeing the video of Chang Xiao participating in the competition, I wouldn't even know that you guys went back to the country. Lu Qingqing didn't have the good sense to say. Song Mianian was also strangely embarrassed. There was a situation at that time. We left in a hurry. So, Lu Qingqing frowned. What situation was in such a hurry? My mom she fell ill. So I rushed back. Ah, is it serious? How is it now? Song Mianian smiled. It's fine now. It's just high blood pressure. It won't be much of a problem if it's controlled in the future. That's good. Your husband is also too talented. Actually went to the piano competition. Admire. Thinking about how she had unintentionally despised Chang Zhao's skills before. She was embarrassed. Hubby said that Chang Zhao's ability had long surpassed his. It was a pity to even participate in this kind of competition. A waste. He should have gone to the better international competitions. Zane's father was so impressed with Chang Xiao that he kept asking questions. The two women next to him couldn't understand what they were saying. Lu Qingqing looked at the children, suddenly pursed her lips and smiled. In the future, we should still meet more often. Our Zane quite likes your four treasures. Look at them, how well they play. Song Mian Yang was embarrassed. She also found out that the four treasures seemed to really quite like Zane, always chasing after people's asses, running and falling. Zane would help her up, taking care of everything. She hadn't seen four treasures enjoy playing with a child so much. Lu Qingqing was overjoyed in her heart. It would be great if the two families could be in-laws when they grow up. It would simply be like kisses on kisses ah. Mian Mian, why don't our two families set up a baby marriage in advance? What do you think? Song Mian Mian's greatest worry still came. It wasn't that she was uneasy about Lu Qingqing. After all, she was a good friend and had known her for many years. So there was nothing to be uneasy about. She was afraid that because of this doll marriage, the child would not be happy in the future. In case they complained about them in the future, what can they do? Destiny is their own. Parents correctly guide on the line. Meddling shall not. Arbitrary meddling is unfair to the child. The child is still small. Wait for some older. See their own decision. That's fine. Lu Qingqing didn't think much about it. The children were indeed still young. No. Go back tonight and ask your son what the situation is. Good boy. Giving away his most beloved toys. Hurry up and eat. It's getting cold. Lu Qingqing stopped thinking about this and smiled. These are all the children's meals I ordered. The kids can all eat. There were five servings in total. Similar to a set meal. Several kinds of food in one serving. All of them were cooked a bit more rotten. To put it bluntly, it was similar to supplemental food. Not too hard for the child to eat. Halfway through the meal. At this time, Zane suddenly walked over. Pulling Lu Qingqing's hand. Pathetically pleading. Mom, my sister is so cute. I also want a sister. Lu Qingqing was embarrassed. It wasn't that she hadn't thought about having a second child, but when she thought about it, one was enough to carry, not to mention two. She mustn't have a headache every day. 
That's why she especially admired Song Myanian, giving birth to four babies, just the two of them to bring, really too powerful. I don't know how they got through the months. If it were her, she would have gone crazy right after giving birth. Chapter 309, No Comparison, No Harm. Seeing that Mommy didn't say anything, Zane kept shaking her arm. Mommy, I want a sister. Sister, baby, why do you want a sister? Lu Qingqing smiled gently. Because sister is cute. Zane said, Mommy, can we bring this sister to live with me? I like her. Little children spoke childishly. This is auntie's baby. We are not allowed to bring her back as a sister. Understand? Lu Qingqing reasoned with her son. The little guy didn't know anything. Anyway, he just wanted a sister. I want a sister. I want a sister. Mommy is bad. Zayan kept shaking his mom's arm. Without a sister, I won't eat. He made a scene. Anyway, he just wants a sister. Lu Qingqing black face. This child. Still no threaten her right? Bold and fat ah. Today it seems like he really needs to be treated. He's being irrational. A time where to get him a sister to go. It is impossible to snatch the four treasures over. For treasures was still playing with her toys. Not realizing that brother Zane was being unreasonable with auntie because of her. Are you eating? Lu Qingqing looked at her son sternly. Not eating. Zane grunted and tilted his head. Just don't eat. Zane's father raised his head at this time and looked at Zane. Zane, you can't disobey. Oh, when we go back dad and mom will give you a sister. Okay? Really? Zane looked over. Really? If you eat well, you'll have a sister. Once Zane heard that, he hurriedly ate seriously. Lu Qingqing smiled helplessly. Where is the sister oh? The line of sight turned and saw her own husband that look. M. The table ordered a lot of delicious food. Song Mian Mian ate some brace. A look up. Chang Xiao is still feeding the children. One by one. She suddenly felt that the rice in her bowl was tasteless. Every time it was Chang Xiao who was feeding, she didn't move a bit. Just knew she was eating. Lu Qingqing, on the other hand, was envious. Look at others. All men feed their children. Women don't even need to move a bit. Her family has to feed her every day. The man never feeds the child. HM. Go back to her to talk about it. People four children. The husband did not let their wives feed one of her family on a child. This dog man tube do not care. There is no comparison. There is no harm ah. Really envious. A good man like Chung Xiao can't be found. After feeding the baby, Lu Qingqing glanced at Chung Xiao over there, sighed, and said to Song Mian Yang, your husband is really good. I envy you. Handsome and talented, and so considerate of his wife. All such men in the world are probably dead, right? Too envious. Has the child always been with him? Lu Qingqing asked. Song Mianyang nodded with some embarrassment. Before I had to go to work, I had no choice but to let him bring it alone. He's much better than me at bringing up a baby, and he's also very attentive. Thinking about this, she felt indebted to this man. You mean, for waifus, every day he's the one who looks after them? Aha, my goodness, how tiring that must be. For, I can't imagine how busy it must have been. At that time, I commuted to work, and he also had to take care of my life. Lu Qingqing. What else could she say? Sour ah. Lemon fruit on a lemon tree. You and me under a lemon tree. Why is there such a good man in the world? It's all because of him that the child has grown so well. Song Mian Yang said. Soon, Chang Zhao's side also finished feeding before he was able to eat. Lu Qingqing searched for a topic. Chang Xiao, is that new drama of yours about to air? I've been seeing you on the hot search for the past two days. And no, I just saw it again. Well, there are still a few days left. I'll definitely be there to catch up with the drama at that time. Watch the premiere. Lu Qingqing was a drama chaser. The previous one. King of entrepreneurship. She chased it because it had Chung Xiao. There was also the movie Super Guardian that she went to the movie theater to see. At that time, she didn't even know that Chung Xiao was her good sister's husband. And she even idolized him. Which was weirdly embarrassing now that she thought about it. But his dramas. She would still keep chasing after them. Thanks. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly. The babies had enough to eat and drink, and continued to go play. Lu Qingqing smiled and said, It's nothing to do later anyway. Do you want to go to our house and sit down? Don't worry, it's not far away. Song Mianyang nodded. That would be fine. After eating and setting off to Lu Qingqing's house, Song Mianyan realized how far she was saying not far away. One hour. How can this be called not far? It was only half an hour's journey back to her own home. However, since she promised, she had to go. Turning left and right. Finally arrived at the entrance of the neighborhood where Lu Qingqing lives. The car drove into the underground parking lot. Lu Qingqing saw Song Mianqin, hemmed in hod, obviously a little weak. Song Mianzi was speechless, this is called not far? Simply farther than her home. He he he, it's fine. Come anyway, go up and sit down. 
Click. The door opened. The living room is still a bit messy. Lu Qingqing blushed and hurriedly went over to clean up the clothes on the sofa and smiled. He he he. The house is a bit messy. I just went out and forgot to clean up. You guys sit down. I'll go pour the tea. As soon as they arrived home, Zayan Ku was like a fish meeting water, pulling four treasures hand and taking her to share her toys. The other three followed behind. Zayn's toys, kept separately in a small room. He usually played with his toys in the toy room. His toys were either cars or transformers or whatever boys liked. Debeo and Sanbao were both boys and liked these the most. For treasure a little girl child, do not like dolls, do not like skirts. Hobbies and brother exactly the same. Now still wearing brother's west small car jacket. If not stay hair, all to think she is a boy. The second treasure lack of interest, snapped and ran to find his father. Not with them to play those boring transformers. Shang Xiao knew what was going on at a glance. Squatting in front of her, he pinched her little face. What's wrong Erbao? Is it because you don't like brother Zane's toys? Erbao nodded. I don't like it. The tender little milky voice. The hearts of the people listening to it were adorable. Lu Qingqing saw the side of the situation. As if she thought of something, people went to the grocery room. Not a moment later, took out a brand new unopened doll to. The box is still very new. This is two days ago my little niece came over. I gave to buy. Did not think that this child does not like. Put there on hold. This came in handy haha. Lu Qingqing smiled as she unsealed it. Erbo little fixedly looked at this doll. The line of sight could not move away a bit. After unsealing, Lu Qingqing squatted down and pointed to half of her face. If you kiss auntie, auntie will give this to you. Okay? Erbo froze for a moment and hesitated. His little face all tangled. Chapter 310, tearing it down. However, she is not as stubborn as four treasures. After some heart struggle, she still kissed Lu Qingqing on the face. A gentle kiss. This bite, kissed Lu Qingqing's heart has blossomed. Happy as hell. Erbao is really good. Come, this is for you. Lu Qingqing handed her the doll. Chang Xiao just remembered that he forgot something. Opened his cell phone and contacted Ethan. Asked him to advertise Shadow Hunt on his work microblog. After Ethan received it, he immediately logged into his Weibo account. Retweeted the advertisement on the official microblog of Shadow Hunt. Chang Xiao also hurriedly logged into Weibo to advertise. Almost forgot about it. As soon as he hit this advertisement, it was like a huge stone falling in the middle of a quiet pool of water, splashing a huge splash. It instantly blew some of the diving fans out. It was his words that had the most impact. And so, Shadow Hunt became even hotter. There was still a week to go before it aired, and the fans were all eagerly waiting for the premiere. Then they went to all sorts of swiping ratings. The cell phone in their hands had been gripped tightly. The momentum was ready to go. My baby Xiao Xiaozi has finally come to advertise. Mwahu. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not advertised, it's going to be assumed that this drama has nothing to do with him. Xiao Xiaozi is awesome. Chang Xiao already had a particularly affectionate name on the fan side, Xiao Xiaozi. This name made Song Minyang jealous. She flipped through the microblog comments, looking at the fans' mouthfuls of Xiao Xiaozi, husband, and felt that her heart wasn't in the right place. The jar of vinegar overturned at once. The whole house was filled with sour smell. Chang Xiao sensed something was wrong and probed over. Song Myanian hurriedly retracted her hand and turned off her cell phone. How can you let Chung Xiao see? Otherwise she will be laughed at for eating all kinds of vinegar. In fact, think about it, he's so many fans. Surely call him anything. What husband, darling, boyfriend, are very normal, as a wife, but she is not comfortable in the heart. Maybe she is just more petty. After turning off her cell phone, she asked, What are you doing? Honey, what's wrong with you? The expression is weird. Song Myanian tried to act like nothing was wrong and said, Nothing. Really nothing? Chang Xiao suddenly came closer. Song Myanian was startled and glared at him, taking two steps back. Aya can you two not show love at this time okay? After Lu Qingqing finished teasing Erbo, when she looked up, she saw these two people leaning so close and couldn't help but flirt. Song Myanian was embarrassed. She glared at Chang Xiao again. This guy. Really? There are people here. Can't you pay attention? Erbo sat there alone to play with dolls. This little one is also a small can dismantle. Not a moment's effort. The doll inside and outside to dismantle the frame. Adults see when she has been in the doll half of the body. Lu Qingqing smiled helplessly. This child. Song Myanian rushed over. Took the doll's half body over and educated Erbao. You child. This is auntie's family's toy. How can you dismantle it? She was now telling that it was wrong to do so. Erbao had never been educated by her mom. Froze for a moment. Her little mouth started to skim. And she looked at her dad aggrieved. I didn't realize that daddy wasn't helping her either. You dismantled the toy and still cried. This matter is you did wrong. If you did wrong, you have to apologize to auntie no? 
Song Mianian continued to educate. Lu Qingqing was a little intolerant. This toy was given to the second baby. Now it is a toy that belongs to the second baby. It's nothing to tear down your own. Mian Mian, you're making too big of a deal out of this. She's still just a kid ah. Song Mian Mian sighed and said. A child is all the more reason to educate them well from a young age. Lu Qingqing felt that she could be a bit more strict with the male child. She was usually more strict with their families an. But, seeing the cute little girl child, she couldn't bear it anymore. How adorable. How could she let her down? If it were her, she would just tear it down. As long as the child liked it. It's fine. It's just a toy. It's not worth much. Don't scare the child. Er Bao seemed to know that Auntie Qingqing was helping herself. Her little legs clattered as she ran towards Lu Qingqing. Her little eyes pitiful. Lu Qingqing was instantly heartbroken. Holding Er Bao in her arms. Looking at Song Mianyang, you say you are? What reasoning with a child? How old is she? What does she know? Er Bao, it's okay. There is Auntie. Song Mianyan sighed, you just spoil her. Aren't little girls born to be spoiled? If I had a precious daughter like this, I could wake up laughing in my dreams. Lu Qingqing was too eager to have a daughter. How cute. A little cotton padded jacket. I'm so envious of Mian Mian's $2,000 at once. It's so nice to have a child and a daughter. These jeans are also good. Quadruplets. Very rare. Almost rare. After staying here for almost an hour or so, Mr. and Mrs. Chang Xiao were ready to say goodbye and leave. Won't you sit for a while? It's just right to have dinner here later. My husband's cooking is not bad. Lu Qingqing wanted to retain them, mainly unable to let go of a few babies. Seeing Zane having so much fun, after the babies left, he would probably be all alone again. It was heartbreaking to watch. His father wasn't willing to play with him often, for fear that the child would develop a withdrawn personality. So, he wanted to stay a little longer. Let's forget about having dinner. Let's make a date for another day. Song Mianian smiled. All right then. As Song Mianian sighed prepared, Zane looked on reluctantly, his eyes filled with tears, glancing at his mom. Mom, can you not have your sister go? Lu Qingqing also wanted to leave a few children behind, but the problem was that it was someone else's little baby, not hers. Alas, looking at the children so reluctant to leave, Lu Qingqing secretly made a decision and called out to the two Song Mianian who were about to go out. Mian Mian, there's something I want to ask you. Song Mian Mian curiously raised her eyebrows. What is it? Can I leave my Zayan at your house for a few days? He likes to play with a few of your babies, said Lu Qingqing, a little embarrassed, blatantly sending her own son over. What did that mean? She swore that it really wasn't about having thoughts about four treasures. It was just to satisfy the children. That's all. Song Mian Yang didn't refuse, it's fine. No problem at all. Is that so? Then Zayan is counting on you for the next few days. I'll go over and pick him up at that time. Lu Qingqing seemed especially happy to be able to have a few days of fun. Zane, do you want to go play with your sister? Stay at Auntie Song's place for a few days. Lu Qingqing pinched her son's little face. Upon hearing this, Zane didn't even think about it and nodded his head. Yeah, I love playing with my sister. Seeing her son agreeing to this, Lu Qingqing's heart was quite unfavorable. This kid, is his sister that important? His own mom and dad don't even want it. Chapter 311, Is It Hereditary Again? Turned around and went back to the room. Packed some clothes and snacks for Zane. Loaded a suitcase full of toys and toys in another small box. Just like going on a trip. Zane and four treasure hand in hand. Especially excited. The corner of the eye with a smile. He loved his sister. Lu Qingqing, as a mother. That heartache ah. Have a partner forget mother ah. Their own mother do not want. After finally packing up. Just like that. Changshao couple took five children out. After the people left. Lu Qingqing only felt that the house was a lot cleaner. After thinking about it. She looked at Zane's father beside her and hesitated for a moment. Han Liang, do you think it's time to have another child? I'm really envious of Mian Mian. Two sons and two daughters. Not just any envy. Do you want one? Han Liang raised his eyebrows and asked. Daughters? Who wouldn't want them? Why wouldn't he want a little cotton jacket? But he was afraid that his wife would be too tired. Sometimes he had to work business trips and overtime and whatnot. And simply didn't have the time to be with her and the child. Thinking about it is still quite guilty. However. Since she wanted it, he respected her choice. I want it. But what if I give birth to another boy? Lu Qingqing agonized. Tangled. Han Liang had obviously considered this as well. But how would he know if he didn't take a gamble? What if it's a cute daughter? Whether it's a boy or a girl. It's still our child. Han Liang said. Lu Qingqing was that touched in her heart. Husband, you're so nice. This side is mushy. On the other side, Chang Xiao and the others are still in the car. Adding one more child. There is no more child safety seat. Song Mianyang had to personally hold him. Sit in the passenger side. 
Fasten the seat belt. The child is small, but also good to get. Knowing that he can play with his sister later, Zane didn't make any noise for a while, and even chatted with Song Myanian. Auntie, I want a sister too, but mom won't give me one. With these words, Song Myanian didn't even know how to answer. Nowadays, were children over two years old so good at talking? Zayn, in the future you can come to auntie's house more often to play with your sister. Oh, so you'll have a sister. After thinking about it, Song Myanian came up with this reason. Zane, auntie, can you let me bring my sister home? Song Myanian. This question was too difficult. How could she reply? My sister is still young. She needs auntie to be around to bring her around. When she grows up a bit, she'll go to your house to play. Okay? Only then did Zane give in. Okay, auntie you have to keep your word. Good, auntie keeps her word. Song Myanyang said helplessly. After having a conversation with this little kid, she only felt that this child would be absolutely smart in the future. He was only two years old, and he was already so good at talking. Looking at her family's children, they were more than a year old, but they could only talk about mom, dad, and eating, and the rest of the simple things, and they couldn't talk yet, and their speech was intermittent. Other people's children can speak a lot of words at one year old. Is it hereditary again? But who is it from? I have a headache. After arriving home, looking at this magnificent villa, Han Zayan's little eyes lit up, and as soon as the door was opened, he held his sister's little hand and went inside. To Bayo they have more toys. At the moment in the spacious living room, loaded with two big boxes, put aside, the children ran to the carpet, taking the toys out one by one, and Aunt Lin cried and laughed as she helped them carry them around. Zane looked at everything new. Here he could actually play with the toys in the living room. At home mom wouldn't let him ooh and ah the living room. At home, mom wouldn't let him ooh and ah the living room. Whenever he played in the living room, mom got upset and made a small room for him. Auntie here, you can play in the living room to your heart's content. In their own home, for babies, no longer tied hands. Anyway, there are no strangers. Looking at the several children chasing after each other, Chang Xiao and his wife looked at each other and revealed a smile. It's still good to have more children. There is anger. Even Aunt Lin showed a look of envy. She only has a son. Until now 30 years old has not married a wife. Not the family cannot afford to buy a house cannot afford to pay the bride price. But, this kid simply do not have the idea of looking for an object. The family introduced dozens of. Also did not see a he looked at. This is not settled. Let people worry very much. After playing for a while, Cheng Xiao prepared some afternoon tea for the babies to eat. Sweet corn porridge and a small steamed cake, a small piece, especially delicious. As soon as the aroma wafted out, Zane stopped what he was doing and looked over. Eyes lit up. Children, come over and eat your afternoon tea. Chang Xiao greeted. Zane came over without forgetting to hold four treasures, and the other three did it did towards their dad, running fast, afraid that if they are late, there will be nothing to eat. The other three ran towards their father, running very fast. Song Myanian laughed at the side, you guys slow down. Today brother Zayin came over. You have to give way to brother. Understand? Cheng Xiao placed things on a small table. Set up five small chairs and let a few babies sit on them. Looking at the rows of babies, Cheng Xiao's husband and wife and Aunt Lin's hearts melted as they watched. Mistress, the several babies are really cute. Aunt Lin couldn't help but say. At her age, she still hasn't gotten any grandchildren, but she can't do anything about it. That kid of theirs doesn't get the hang of it. What could she do? She could only spend time like this hoping that he would get the hang of it, marry a daughter-in-law, and give birth to a son and a daughter, regardless of gender, they are all her precious grandchildren, she hadn't wanted to hold grandchildren so strongly before, but since she had become a nanny in this house, her desire to hold grandchildren had become even stronger, Song Myanian smiled, Aunt Lin, at your age, you should have grandchildren too, right, not yet, alas, that son of mine, he hasn't even given me a daughter-in-law at the age of 30, Alas, Aunt Lin was panicking just thinking about it. Song Myanian comforted her. Maybe it's fate that hasn't arrived yet. Aunt Lin, don't be anxious. There are a lot of people who haven't gotten married at the age of 30. It's very normal in this society. I know. I'm just worried. When will I be able to hold a little grandchild? Unconsciously, she put her eyes on the babies. Her eyes soft. If I had a few little grandchildren, it would be worth it for me to die. Aunt Lin, what are you talking about? You're not that old. What's the point of dying? Song Myanian hurriedly said. Marriage is a matter of time. Don't worry about it. It's useless to worry about it. It's not good for your health. Alas, I hope my son will be enlightened. Zayan loves the things Chung Xiao made. In a short while he finished the bowl of corn porridge, and a few small steamed cakes in front of him were also swept away. 
Song Menyan was dumbfounded. Does this child have such a large appetite? She thought he would only drink half a bowl of porridge at most. Usually babies are full after drinking a half bowl. And then eat a small steamed cake is almost the same. He's really a good eater. Isn't he? Little eaters. Look at that pitiful little eyes. Seems to want to eat. Chapter 312, The World of Two. I've eaten so much. How can I continue to eat it? What if it goes bad? The child's intestines and stomach are so small. They can't take it. Chang Xiao grinned. Maybe it's because what I made is too delicious. Zayn loves it. Song Mianian glared at him. Then, then looked at Zayn with a smile. Zayn, you've already eaten quite a lot. You can't eat anymore. Or you'll get a bellyache Oh, The child's intestines and stomach is very fragile. Where can eat so much? Let him eat non-stop bad. Children do not understand. Adults do not understand? Chang Xiao to a few children fed. Aunt Lin immediately came over to clean up the dishes. For treasures got up and actually took the initiative to hold Zane's hand and went to the carpet in the living room. Song Mian Yang looked stunned. This child would actually take the initiative to hold someone's hand. She didn't want anyone. Her own grandmother had rejected her. How could this? As expected, children attract children. Dabao and Sanbao who are older brothers don't have this treatment. Song Mianian's eyes signaled Chang Xiao, hubby, these two children. It's not that she's against four treasures and Zayin being together. It's just that she feels it's rare, and the child is still small. So what does he know? Chang Xiao laughed, children are just children. Don't care first. If they still have such a good relationship when they grow up, they can consider being in-laws with your friend. But then, it will have to be later. Just to test this kid Zayn. He still wanted four treasures to stay with him and Mian Mian for a few more years. It couldn't be married off that early. All right then. It's better to wait until the child grows up. They have the right to choose. And if the relationship is still this good and they like each other when they're adults, it's possible to make this beautiful thing happen. It was impossible to lock up a daughter for the rest of her life and not let her get married. There was no such thing. How happy Zayn was when he came over. How rowdy he was at night. For treasures and the others had all gone to bed. This child, Zayn, missed her mom and dad at night and made a lot of noise and wouldn't go to sleep. I want mommy. Song Mian Yang had two big heads, not knowing at all that this would be the case. After thinking about it, she was ready to make a call to Lu Qingqing to ask how this child should be put to sleep. Cheng Xiao spoke up at this time. Wife, don't be in a hurry. I'll do it. You have a solution? Song Mian Yang asked. I'll give it a try. Whom? Only to see that Cheng Xiao came to sit by Zane's bedside and smiled. Zane misses mom? Zane's eyes were already filled with tears. After all, he was used to sleeping with his mom every night. Listen to uncle tell you a bedtime story. Okay? Chang Xiao smiled. Zane froze for a moment. Then nodded. Chang Xiao thought about the fairy tales he had read earlier in his head and told them to Zayn word by word. As expected, Zane listened for about 10 minutes or so before falling into sleep. Gently tucking him in, Chang Xiao and his wife tiptoed out of the room. They had put Zayn to sleep in the other children's room because they were worried that Si Bao and the others would get up and wake him up in the middle of the night. It wasn't easy taking care of five children. It took most of the night before the couple was able to sleep peacefully. The next day, early in the morning Lu Qingqing sent a message over, asking how Zayan was getting along with the babies, and if he made any noise at night. Song Mian Yang said truthfully, this child is just more dependent on me. The first time he left me, it's inevitable that he didn't adapt, and he accepted it so quickly. I really didn't expect it. Lu Qingqing sighed. Song Mian Yang laughed, children like children. Normal. Saying this, she took a picture of Zane and the babies playing together, sending it over. After a while, Lu Qingqing replied. Unexpectedly, the point of her attention wasn't her own son, but Song Mian Yang's mansion. Crap, Mian Mian, your house is so big. You live in a villa, right? This decoration, it's so awesome. Is it a villa? Lu Qingqing's soul asked two questions. Excited, the rich man's world ah, this decoration looks like a big villa. Song Mian Pian stroke, did not expect a photo exposed. Who knew that this woman will pay attention to her house? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to be able to do it. However, since she asked, she had to answer. Yes. Holy shit. It's really a villa. Sister, you're too powerful. This was really rich. Awesome is awesome. But it's not her that's awesome. It's Chung Xiao. Without Chung Xiao, she and her children would have to starve to death in that old neighborhood house. She didn't dare to imagine her life in the future. Therefore, she was grateful to have met Chung Xiao. When I go to pick up Zayin next time, I have to stay at your house for two nights, just to see what the legendary super villa looks like, Lu Qingqing said excitedly. Song Mian Yang was helpless with her. When will you come over? In a few days. Anyways, you have to let me and my husband have a over a two-person world. Lu Qingqing sent over a bad smile emoticon. That's fine. 
It's fine for Zayan to be here. He would also learn to call out to his father like four treasures. The conference of Shadow Hunt was at 11.30 at noon. Cheng Xiao accompanied the child to play for a while, saw that it was almost time, packed up and went out. Before leaving, he explained, Wife, there is Auntie Lin in the house. You just look after a few children. Wait for me to come back. Good. Song Mianyang nodded. Cheng Xiao gave a hymn and drove away from the place. The launch party was in a four-star hotel, and it would take about an hour to get there. There was still an hour and a half to go before it started. On the road, Director Lin was already rushing. Little Cheng Ah, how are you doing? On the road, that's fine. Drive carefully. Director Lin replied, then didn't say anything else. Cheng Xiao accelerated his speed, and in less than an hour, he arrived at the Veolia Hotel on the locator. Looking from afar, a red carpet had been laid at the entrance of the hotel, and several cars were parked there, either a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, and there was also an ordinary BMW Grand Prix. From the top down the people, none of them are dressed brightly. Women are heavily made up, dressed in flowers, men in a suit, full of foundation oil light. These are all stars who came to the launch. A bunch of reporters at the door were desperately shooting, can't wait to dislike the camera in the face, if not for the agent beside the artist to stop. This will probably have to make a conflict. Some reporters are really excessive, actually toward the actress under the skirt to shoot. The flamboyantly dressed female artist he recognized is the shadow hunting female number two, suing. This is a newcomer. This is still her first play. People, a little love to compare the kind, to put it in the vulgar language. That's vanity. And that man is the male number two in the play. Before the two of them went in, Chang Zhao's car drove over. An ordinary Volkswagen car entered the country and the crowd looked over. Who is this? To actually drive such an ordinary Volkswagen over. It should be some small supporting character, right? The crowd thought. It even started to talk about it. Chapter 313 Work hard. Boy. Whose car is this? Parked here. This car looks just two or three hundred thousand dollars. Here casually a car. Can be crushed. Right. Even if it is an artist. It is estimated to be a small supporting role that cannot be on the stage. A few reporters murmured. And I don't know what mystery to pretend. Everyone's eyes went that way. Curious. I also don't know when Chang Xiao will come over. I must film him today. I came here today just for my idol. So handsome. A female reporter was starry-eyed. Probably on the way. Today's weekend. The road is more congested. Say, why hasn't the one in this car come down yet? Chang Xiao was sitting in the driver's seat and was talking to Li Jin. Talking about today's situation and the hot searches in the past few days. Brother, you're great. How many times have you been on the hot search so far? I haven't even once. Li Jin felt like such a failure. A few years of crawling around and nothing. Poor and bald. Work hard. Young man. Li Jin. Is that how you encourage? Cheng Xiao is slow to come down. These people are even more curious. Is the person in this car afraid to come down for fear of losing face as they see them journalists are there? Well, that's definitely the case. The one sitting in this car is probably some small and insignificant supporting actor. But did not expect. When they saw the person down, a time froze on the spot. This person, seen from afar, even if he turned into ashes, they would recognize him. Chang Xiao. Crap. The person who drove this car was Chang Xiao. This is too low profile, isn't it? They thought it was a small person. Before those who are ready to watch the stars even showed a gloating expression. A see down is Chang Xiao. One by one stupid on the spot. This is what they did not expect. What is the situation of this? Not a small supporting role? How to become a big protagonist? Chang Xiao. There is almost no one present who doesn't recognize him. A popular star. Rated by fans as one of the most talented artists. He's also very low-key and never speculates. Totally rely on their own strength on the hot search. The strength and value of the artist. I have to say. This face value is really very outstanding. Handsome people God is angry. Is married too early. All the admirers have no chance. However. Most fans didn't mind. What are you guys still thinking about? Hurry up and take pictures. The female paparazzi hurriedly reminded the paparazzi beside her. So, the paparazzi kept pressing the shutter. The flash flashed desperately, taking photo after photo. If not for the security guards stopping them, these reporters would have hated to dislike the camera and shoot on Chang Zhao's face. Chang Xiao has not yet walked in. Soon came another car. Maserati. Worth more than 10 million dollars to start with. Who is this? So rich. But everyone didn't care to look. First shoot Chang Xiao. Today their goal is Chang Xiao. Who cares about other people? The female and male actors who got off earlier all slipped in. The big brother is there. There is nothing for them. And then stayed behind. Lest they be said to be rubbing it in. They knew exactly how horrible Chang Zhao's fanbase was. They know exactly how horrible Chang Zhao's fanbase is. 
They had heard before that Chang Zhao's fans were very good at talking and wouldn't attack people for no reason like those brainwashed fans, but they were still scared. They didn't want to experience how scary cyber violence was. Ruan Xiaoye, the lead actress of Shadow Hunt, came down from the Maserati and looked at the red carpet where the reporters disliked Chung Xiao one by one and couldn't help but sympathize a little. It wasn't good for people to be too famous, such as being disliked and photographed. She quietly walked over there and glanced at Chung Xiao. You just got here too? Chang Xiao gave a hum. Receiving Chang Zhao's response, Ruan Xiaoye actually felt a bit flattered. In the past, Chang Xiao would not reply to her if he could not. Even if he asked some questions he chose not to speak, often ignoring people. It is said that last time the Maldives the charity party, movie queen Ningli, Chang Xiao are to people ignore. The only he'd passed is that Yen Muan. Maybe it's because the two of them have worked together. But the problem is, she has cooperated with Chang Xiao in a TV series. People are not still to her this attitude. As if in addition to his wife, there is no one else in his eyes. Highly cold. Under the flashing lights, Chang Xiao walked into the hotel, then took the elevator and entered the backstage under the guidance of the staff. Director Lin was waiting there. Seeing Chang Xiao come over, he hurriedly got up and smiled faintly. Little Chang. Ah, you're finally here. Some of the stars backstage are looking at this side enviously. Only the popular big stars can get this kind of treatment. So envious. They were some newcomers who were just getting a little bit of a head start. And an existence like Chang Xiao was a model for them. As he too had developed from nothing in the past two years. And could be said to be very inspirational. It is said that many companies want to sign him. Was he refused one by one? Completely rely on their own strength development. In the case of no brokerage company to help receive the play received soft. Career can be said to be flourishing. But it is a model of inspiration. Ruan Xiaoya is now only a second tier star. Then Chang Xiao flow big. See Lin director and Chang Xiao so familiar with the appearance. And why not envy? But envy can do? Strength does not allow ah. Do you have good acting skills? Do you have others with talent? The press conference is actually just to hype up the heat and expose the actors in advance. To put it bluntly, it is to tell everyone that the drama is about to be aired. To prepare for the airing of the drama and increase popularity in advance. That's probably what it means. And then there were the reporters and certain netizens who would ask some questions. Such as some of the artists' personal matters and whatnot. Chang Xiao was having a busy day today. In Ruan Xiaoye's opinion, it's true that he's the only superstar with a high level of popularity. If you don't ask him, do you want to ask a small supporting actor? How can that be? I'm overthinking it. I guess even if the drama is broadcast, all the heat will be gathered on Chang Xiao, and it has nothing to do with them. I can't say it has nothing to do with them. It has nothing to do with them at all. Over there, Chang Xiao and director Lin had almost finished talking, and soon, the conference was about to start. The actresses organized their appearance. Letting their assistants see where else is wrong and what not, and whether they need to fix their makeup or not. What made them strange was that Chung Xiao, such a big star, actually didn't even have an assistant. Obviously, he had made so much money, so he was a real fan. They always feel that Chung Xiao this person, mysterious, there is no scandal, but often on the hot search. It's too confusing. Just then, why are you so fidgety? Look at how you stepped on my shoes. Can you afford to pay for it? A sharp female voice rang out. The crowd looked over, only to see, a flamboyantly dressed actress saying fiercely to a small assistant beside her. Chapter 314, what a bad luck. I'm sorry sister Ing, I didn't do it on purpose. The little assistant lowered her head, just now she went to pour tea for her family's rightful owner, but she accidentally stepped on her shoes. Suing looked at the little assistant angrily, if it wasn't for so many people in the background, she would have directly hit her to teach her a lesson. Really don't grow eyes, this little thing can't be done well. What use can it be? Shoes are stepped on dirty. This is her carefully prepared. $20,000 to buy it. Just by this bitch hoof stepped into this. The more she thought about it, the more angry she felt. But she couldn't just explode in front of so many people. Especially since Chang Xiao and Lin were still there. Not on purpose? How are you going to let me go on stage now? Su Ying was about to die of anger. The little assistant was about to cry. Sister Ying, I really didn't do it on purpose. I'll wipe it for you. Saying that, he took out a tissue and wanted to wipe Su Ying's shoes, suing where to let ah, viciously said, in case of rubbing bad you can afford to pay for it, get lost, director Lin looked over, man, he was blind once again, this Su Ying, she dared to be so fierce in front of people, in private, she might be crazy like what, really bad luck, I won't use this kind of actor in the future, what Su Ying doesn't know is that director Lin has already silently blacklisted her in his heart and will never use her again, such an actor's character wasn't good either, the launch party started and the actors went out one after another under the leadership of the staff. 
Chang Xiao and Ruan Xiaoye were the finale before going out, letting the supporting cast go out first. Thunderous applause was already resounding outside. It was quite lively. On the stage, the artists stood in a row, and Su Ying, who was particularly fierce at the beginning, now looked at the camera with a smile on her face, fearing that the paparazzi wouldn't be able to photograph herself, and posed in all kinds of poses. As much attention as you can get, you can get a little bit more attention. Now is the time to get attention. Just to rub Chang Xiao this wave of heat, can certainly give her a wave of powder. Soon, Chang Xiao and the female lead Ruan Xiaoye also came up. The applause was even louder. The bottom was already full of people, all looking forward to the backstage entrance, waiting for Chang Xiao. When they saw him come out, they hurriedly got up and took a shot first. This popularity, this heat, Ruan Xiaoye was envious. She felt like she was a runner. Chang Xiao on stage, the reporter's cameras, aimed at him, click 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 is a shot, no matter if it looks good or not, just shoot it. The staff arranged for Chang Xiao and Ruan Xiaoye to stand in the C position, and Su Ying and the male second who were originally standing in the center were squeezed to the side. All of a sudden, there was no sense of existence, there was a discussion on the stage. Who is this woman? Really shameless, just now actually occupying Xiao Xiaozi's C seat, in order to be famous really by any means necessary. That's right, so shameless, thinking that scratching her head will make people pay attention to her, overthinking it. I really can't figure out how someone like this was cast as the second female. Look at the other person Wan Xiaoye, always keeping her distance from Chang Xiao. How polite. All this Su Ying did not know. She was still desperately trying to gain attention on stage. However, no one paid any attention to her. Everyone was filming the male and female leads, especially Chang Xiao. The big screen behind her was the promotional image for the TV series. After a flurry of self-introductions, someone asked Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao, I want to ask. After this drama, do you have any other new dramas in the works or pending? They were curious. Such a big shot is one who receives scripts by the handful. There should be quite a few dramas to be filmed. Or there are already filmed ones. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, holding the microphone in his hand, and replied, I'm not considering shooting a new drama yet. I'm a rather spontaneous person. If there's a suitable drama I'll take it. Ah, in that case, when will we see your new drama come out then? Cheng Xiao, isn't this one? This comment amused the crowd below with laughter. No problem. Chang Xiao was a very good talker. One sentence after another made the audience under the stage laugh. Didn't the atmosphere come alive? Director Lin revealed a satisfied expression. Worthy of being the artist he'd spotted the first time around. The sense of variety was not bad. When the media asked about his private life and how he got along with his wife, Chang Xiao smiled. It's not bad. It's just that there are some little stupidities that can't take care of themselves. She gave birth to children for me. And in this life, she's the one I'm most grateful to. These were his sincere words, deeply emotional words. The crowd listened in their ears and envied from the bottom of their hearts. Such a talented and handsome looking man, and so considerate and affectionate. Such a man was basically extinct, right? Ruan Xiaoye suddenly became a little envious of the woman she had never met. What kind of woman made Chang Xiao so loving? She stood beside Chang Xiao, and it was quite unpleasant. If it wasn't for the fact that he had a wife, she would have an urge to chase after him right now. This man was really too perfect. So perfect that one couldn't find a single fault. She was a bit distracted throughout the entire conference. And director Lin's eyes reminded her several times. Many people on the scene were basically here for Chang Xiao. With question after question coming out of the blue. The supporting actors on the side were completely left out. Those reporters and netizens were too lazy to care about them. They weren't popular anyway. So what was the value of asking? Suing had already been scolded by some of Chang Zhao's female fans offstage. Just because she stood in the C position, Suing was still unaware of it. Now she was extremely depressed. Could she be happy about being squeezed to the side? Who let people be big brothers? She didn't dare to say anything. When she becomes popular in the future, she will be able to blatantly stand in the C seat. Chang Xiao was not far from the side. She secretly looked over and only saw the former's perfect side face. He was really so handsome. It would be great when she could be as red as Chung Xiao. In the future, she wouldn't have to look at anyone's face. Thinking about that disgusting fat pig, she really wanted to kick it away. Thinking about it, she suddenly had an idea. That is, to get close to Chung Xiao. Who wouldn't like someone so handsome and red? What if she could climb up Chang Zhao's big tree? Wouldn't it be a matter of minutes? With her own looks, a little seduction. Chang Xiao will absolutely love it. She knows he has a wife, but so what if he does? It doesn't affect his ability to keep a mistress outside. How can a yellow face at home compare to a little wild flower outside? Don't a lot of bigwigs in the entertainment industry think this way nowadays? She's seen it too many times. It's not rare. 
In her heart, she silently made up her mind to go to the parking lot to find Cheng Xiao to communicate properly when it was over. She thought that her body, posture, are all okay, if flattered on the, which a disgusting fat pig kicked away. The launch party went on for almost an hour before it ended, and the artists returned backstage. Su Ying's assistant hurriedly brought her tea. Chang Xiao was present. She didn't dare to act too aggressively and hurriedly said in a particularly gentle tone. Thank you. The little assistant was somewhat flattered. At this time, a topic on microblogging quietly caught fire. Chapter 315 Hubby, you're on the hot search again. Hashtag suing is shameless. The lunch party occupies Xiao Xiao ZCC hashtag. Below that, there were photos of suing scratching her head. One is greasier than the other. One is more offensive than the other. This is not even debut to paste ah. The netizens called out shamelessly. Cheng Zhao's fans are all a bit disgusted by this woman. And they can't stand it any longer. Good guy. Occupying their main C seat. Still have to. So, suing was scolded all of a sudden. She was directly scolded on the hot search. Not a good thing at first glance. Who is this? Who knows her? Stealing our boss's C seat. Shameless. The parties involved in all this were not aware of it in the slightest. The press conference was over. Chang Xiao packed up and prepared to go back. Just walking out of the backstage. A corner. I didn't expect to be stopped by someone. Suing. Chang Xiao raises his eyebrows. May I ask what Miss Su has to do? Suing was startled. Not expecting Chang Xiao to actually remember her name. Does it mean people are quite fond of her as well? That, Brother Xiao, it's nothing much. Just can I leave a contact? I would like to discuss with you about acting. Suing squeezed out a smile. The meaning was obvious. How could Chang Xiao not see it? What about discussing acting? You can spend money to hire a teacher and just practice more. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly. Sorry, excuse me. Suing froze for a moment. Seemed to not expect him to say this. Talking to Cheng Xiao, she also purposely made the neckline a little open. He actually didn't have any reaction. It is not said that men cannot resist the temptation of this kind of. Cheng Xiao from the hotel out, ready to drive away. The car at the door is more luxurious than one, and his Volkswagen seems to be out of place. Thus, his car became a whole new topic. Watching the car go away, the female reporter who was still in front of the hotel had an adoring look on her face. The male god can be really low-key. No wonder everyone says, the richer the more low-key. Unlike some people, luxury cars are basically rented. Chang Xia drove home and on the way dialed a call with Song Mianian to inform in advance. Song Mianian was playing with the children. A phone call came in. Was thinking Hua. Ah, a look as Chang Xiao hurriedly crossed over to connect. Chang Xiao smiled. Wife, how's it going? These five children ah, cannot be good to bring. Not bad ah. There are four treasures in. Zane will not bring trouble. He a few in that play it. Do not need me to look at. You conference is over? Ah, uh, now on the road. After arriving home, opened the door. Song Mianian was holding four treasures there to cut her nails. Seeing her dad coming, she was so happy. As soon as she finished cutting her nails, she jumped into her dad's arms. Intimate. Song Mianian helplessly said. Hubby, you're on the hot search again. The first and second hot searches were all about him. The third was that Su Ying. At first she didn't understand the situation. Then she realized that it was her taking up Cheng Zhao's C seat that got her scolded. Song Mianian didn't know what the meaning of this C position was, and only felt puzzled. This is also to be scolded on the hot search? The entertainment industry is really scary. The fans are even more horrible. Cheng Xiao himself had already gotten used to it. As if the hot search had nothing to do with him. Zane loved Cheng Xiao. To be precise, he loved the small desserts he made, and as soon as he saw him, he pampered himself and wanted to eat the cupcakes. Chang Xiao smiled. Okay, I'll go make some for you guys. Without realizing it, they spent five or six days together like this. Song Mianyang produced a trance. These few days, she felt like Zane was like her own child. If she was picked up it was still a bit uncomfortable. Several babies also loved him. Today is the day Lu Qingqing couple came to pick up their son. The two people came. Song Mianmian still in bed sleeping. A few babies have long been up. In the living room you catch up with me. Very lively. Lu Qingqing has long been thinking about coming to see the big villa. Just to see the outside. Are enough to let people shocked. Take a look at this ocean view house. This big villa. This sea. This floor to ceiling large glass. Simply more cool than a vacation. Hubby, I'm envious. Lu Qingqing said to Han Liang beside her. This villa is so pretty. It must not be cheap. Han Liang looked around. This house isn't cheap. It must start at least at eight figures. So expensive? Han Liang rolled his eyes. This sea view house. Can it not be expensive? Chang Xiao had already asked Aunt Lin to open the door. And the couple entered the living room. Where they saw Zane playing happily. 
It looks like this kid is having a good time these days. Playing with Si Bao and the others was quite good. Zane. She shouted. The brat was so engrossed in his play that he didn't know that mom and dad had come over. It took a while before he noticed. The movement paused and looked over. Lu Qingqing thought he was going to cry, but she didn't expect that this kid not only didn't cry, but also ran over especially happily. Mom, mom, having not seen their son for a few days, the couple wanted to do the same, without a child by their side. It still wouldn't work. Have you missed mom in the past few days? Lu Qingqing pinched Zane's little nose and laughed. Zane thought for a moment, then replied, like, no, snap. Lu Qingqing felt her heart break. After so many days, her son actually didn't want her. Mom, I like my sister. Sister naturally said four treasures. Song Myanian only got up at this time. Wearing pajamas, she saw the couple, which there are still men in it. She took a look at the clothes on her body. Greetings did not have time to fight, and hurriedly went to the checkroom to change clothes to go. She changed her clothes and washed up. Chang Xiao saw her, smiled and asked, Are you hungry? Also left you some breakfast. I heated up. Good. Chang Xiao went to heat up the breakfast before she headed to the living room. Why did you guys come over so quickly? Lu Qingqing raised her eyebrows. Fast? It's been a week big sister. You had to come and see your son. It looks like her old friends. The couple. Took care of Zayan so well that the child is now reluctant to go back with them. Song Myanian, you're taking Zayn away? Lu Qingqing, well, all these days, I've given you guys a lot of trouble. It's okay. Zayn is a very careful child. Thinking about it, it's still a bit sad to part with it. Mom, I don't want to go with you. I want to play with my sister here. But to his surprise, Zane quit when he heard that he was going to be picked up and taken away. Look at this kid. You can still stay at auntie's house for the rest of your life, right? Go back with mommy in the afternoon. You can't cause any more trouble for auntie. Originally, Mian Mian was tired enough watching four children. How could she mean to add more trouble to others? Song Mian Mian smiled gently. It's fine. In fact, it's quite good to have Zay in here. He even helped me take care of these little mischievous kids. To say the least, I still have to thank him. Anyway, thank you for these few days. Next time you'll carry your family's four treasures over to stay for a few days. Lu Qingqing teased. Song Myanian smiled. I'm fine with it. I just don't know about this little guy. Chapter 316, another hit work. For treasures as a child they know too well. Must be 10. 000, 000, 000 times more reluctant. Especially at night. This child is most dependent on people. If mom and dad aren't around, she can cry and turn off her breath. Even if there is Zane around to play with her, it won't work. The child is very stubborn. She doesn't even want her own grandmother, let alone anyone else. If she went to stay at Lu Qingqing's house for a few days, she would still cry her eyes out. Lu Qingqing was only jokingly flirting. She sighed, knowing Four Treasure's little personality. It would definitely be 10,000 times more reluctant. Wife, things are hot. You eat some. Okay, hubby. Song Mian Yang agreed and said to Lu Qingqing, Qingqing, have you guys eaten? Do you want to eat some more? No, no, no. We'll just have lunch later. That's fine. I'll go eat first. Good. Watching Song Mian Yang go to the dining room, Lu Qingqing wore slippers and headed over to the children's side. Looking at her naughty and mischievous son, who had obviously gained some weight after not seeing him for the past few days. This is how good the food is. It had to be said that Cheng Xiao and the others were worthy of being baby mommies and daddies who took care of four babies. They were really good at taking care of children. At this time, Nanny Aunt Lin went to pick up the baby's toys that were thrown in the corner. Lu Qingqing was envious. It's worthy of being rich, even hiring a nanny. It's so nice. This living room, spacious and well decorated. So envious. Han Liang didn't feel anything. What's the use of envy? This is also someone else's villa. He can't envy it. He sat directly at the sofa and played with the kids. When Zane saw his dad, Han Liang thought that his son would pounce on him like before. But he didn't expect that his son just glanced at him and continued to play with his sister. Han Liang. This brat. Forgetting his father when he has a sister. However, he was happy watching his child play happily. Zane, you'll be going back with mommy in the afternoon oh. Lu Qingqing walked over and stroked his head. Zane looked at her. I'm not going back. You're not going back? You're not welcome on auntie's side anymore. Lu Qingqing scared him. Song Mian. What are you talking nonsense about? I didn't say that. This child was really bluffed. And after a while, he cried out with a wow. I want my sister. I don't want to go back with mommy. Mommy is bad. Lu Qingqing was helpless and didn't even know what to say. This child had spent a few days here with a few babies. And didn't even want to go back home. Alas. Mom will take you to eat your favorite sugar plums. Okay? Lu Qingqing had no choice but to make a killer move. Really? In the end, she was still a child and believed it all at once. When it was time for lunch, little Zane cocked his head and said to Lu Qingqing. 
Mommy, are you really taking me to buy sugar gourds? Cheating is a puppy doggo. Zane's favorite thing was the sugar gourd, but it was bad for his teeth. So Lu Qingqing rarely let him eat it, and would just buy one once in a while. After eating it he was instructed to brush his teeth carefully. Children eat too much sweet is not good. Easy to grow cavities. A small age to fill the teeth really too much. She did not want the child to suffer that crime. Try to control him to eat. The child is still small and does not understand. This will test the patience of adults. Good boy. Mommy will take you there this afternoon. Okay? You eat quickly. Good. Mommy, can I come back to share with my sister after I bought the sugar gourd? Little Zane had an innocent face. He felt that good things were meant to be shared. Lu Qingqing seriously educated him. Zane, your sister is still young. You can't eat sugar gourds you know? Why? Because my sister is small. If she eats too much, her teeth will hurt and ache. Zane said, oh, no more then. He made the several adults laugh. After a meal, Lu Qingqing's family left. Zane finally got the sugar plums as he wanted. And when he wanted to go back to the beach house to find four treasures, he couldn't go back. Lu Qingqing directly carried him and stuffed him inside the car to go home. The little guy was home before he could even react. And so, a new round of wanting his sister began. Lu Qingqing looked at her husband with a red face, then said to her son, Soon I'll give you a sister, okay? Upon hearing this, the little guy stopped crying. Was what mom said true? Don't be lying to the child. On the other side, during nap time, Song Mianyang put a few kids to bed and then sat on the sofa with Chang Xiao. Shadowhunters was going to start airing tonight, and her teacher's group had been a buzz for a long time. Everyone was eagerly awaiting Chang Zhao's new drama. Of course, the ones looking forward to it are all female teachers, and male teachers are generally not very interested. They just think it's too much. Isn't it just a TV drama? Why are you so excited? Teacher Zhou is now completely changing his opinion of Chang Xiao. He was the first to support Chang Zhao's TV series, and he even went to the top of the list or something for him. Not only did he hit the top of the list, but he also disliked the black fans. Chang Xiao is really outstanding and he admires him. But it's just admiration, isn't it? Who wouldn't admire someone with talent? The opinions he had about Chang Xiao in the past because of Song Nianmian have all disappeared since the start of Chang Zhao's competition. I don't think that's going to happen again. Mr. Wang, wow. I can watch my brother-in-law's drama again. This brother-in-law naturally shouted out, making her forget that Chang Xiao was her student before. Teacher Zhou, yeah, haven't seen any new work from him since the last movie ended. Teacher Meng Yan, it's expected to be another smash hit. Teacher Lin, that's for sure. I really didn't expect Chang Xiao from our class to become a big star, all the way to international fame. It's said that Super Guardian was also a special hit when it was released abroad. The box office soared all the way. This was the only movie in the history of Chinese cinema that was also on fire abroad. So it could be said to be pretty awesome. Everyone knew very well that without Cheng Zhao's participation and the excellent special effects team, it would have been very difficult for the movie to go abroad. In the future, the position of movie star was a nail in the coffin. His journey was really smooth. Totally relied on his own strength to go up. In the three or four years of college, they who were teachers, how could they not see that Cheng Xiao was so good? He's also particularly low-key. It is said that as soon as there is time to go to work, delivery, takeaway and so on, is a particularly motivated child. His fire was also something they didn't expect. Looking at the teachers in the group chatting more than one hot, Song Mianian watching quite energetic, Chang Xiao sitting next to her, from time to time to feed her over a piece of apple to eat. As she watched, Mr. Wang ate her. Teacher Song, at least come out and say something. Meng Yan, Teacher Song is definitely snooping on the screen. Song Mianian, how did you guys know I was peeping at the screen? That's right, I was snooping on the screen. Ahem, she could only go out and say a few words. Song Mianian deliberately asked, what's wrong? Mr. Wang, look at the chat log above. Song Mianian inwardly, well, I've actually already read it. Your husband's new drama is going to air tonight. Aren't you even going to come out and advertise? Or come out and say something? Chapter 317, do you think he's a good match for me? Song Mianian shot a toothy grin. Say what? M.S. Wang and the girls were all a bit speechless. Wouldn't they be excited to have such a big star husband at home to watch every day? This was a big star. A lot of ordinary people felt that seeing a star was especially awesome. Besides, this was her husband's new drama. And he had no reaction at all. It's also awesome. A few teachers were already embarrassed to go to their home to dabble in food and drink. How embarrassing to disturb the sweet life of the young couple. What do you mean? It's just advertising. What else could it be? Song Mian Yang said. My husband said this doesn't need me to advertise. Mr. Wang's crowd. Okay, you guys have a lot of traffic and are capricious. Other celebrities would choose to go for advertisements when the drama was about to start. 
Shang Xiao hadn't advertised for himself except for retweeting an advertisement from the official microblog of Shadowhunt a few days ago. Sure enough, big traffic guys are just capricious. On the other side, in a certain apartment building, Suing flipped through the netizens comments on Weibo. This launch has been fucking over for many days. These internet spammers are still scolding her. Last time, because he stood in that position that he shouldn't have stood in. He was scolded alive by Chang Zhao's fans on the hot searches. It's been days now and they're still after her. Because of this matter, she even came out to apologize, still not letting her go. Although she didn't go on the hot search again, but there are still many people who pull her here every day to scold her nonstop. One then a scolding hard to hear. She felt like her mental defenses were about to be crumbled by the curses, and couldn't imagine that she didn't know what kind of venomous curses she would be subjected to when the drama aired at night. In the drama, her role as the second female, she played the role of a heartthrob white lotus flower. So it was expected that the internet spammers were going to take advantage of this topic to scold her. Thinking about it was upsetting. The cell phone fell directly onto the coffee table with a bang. The little assistant beside her was scared enough to tremble at the side, fearing that suing would give her another blow. She is the main temperament is very bad, to her either hit that is scolded, no matter what, as long as the angry she became a veritable punching bag, but for the sake of her brother, she can only endure. There is also the fact that Suing gives a lot more salary than other families. It was said that they had all fought off several assistants before. What are you still standing there for? Pour me some water. I'm thirsty. Suing frowned at the cowering assistant beside her. The more she looked, the more upset she felt. Yes, Sister Ing. The assistant fled and hurried towards the place where the water was poured. Cold sweat broke out on his head. She was especially afraid that Suing would be angry with her again. She had wounds on her forehead and hands. For the sake of her brother, she could endure anything. Pouring a cup of warm water, she stiffly handed it over. Sister Ing, drink, drink water. Little Yi, you're scared of me? Suing gazed over. And just this gaze scared Xiao Yi to the core. Scared to death, she hurriedly shook her head. No, no. Sister Ing, the water was handed over and Suing took a sip, then quickly spat it out. The cup was slammed directly at Xiao Ye. Are you fucking trying to scald me to death? The cup was glass, and fell straight onto Xiao Ye's chest, hurting her with a muffled grunt, her forehead tendons bursting out. Stiffly, she didn't dare to make a sound for fear that Suing would hit harder. Pour me a cup again, Suing ordered her as if she was ordering her subordinates. That's right, she was trying to deliberately make things difficult for her. It was annoying to watch. She felt sure that Xiao Yi wouldn't leave. She knew that she had a younger brother who was still sick and couldn't afford treatment. As long as Xiao Yi was there, she would have an outlet. As long as the money was sufficient. This little bitch of hoof she could beat if she wanted to. It was a human grin that was voluntary anyway. Xiao Yi continued to pour the second cup of water with trepidation. Suing continued to look at the microblogging. Hunting shadows is still hanging on the hot search. Looking at Cheng Zhao's handsome handsome face, she clenched her fists tightly and vowed to get this man. He doesn't care even if he has a wife. She felt that with a little more tactics and with her own good looks, she would definitely drive that woman off the stage. As she touched Chang Zhao's face on the photo with her fingertips, her assistant brought another glass of water. What do you think of him? Suing asked out of the blue. And Xiao Ye's heart skipped a beat again. Suing showed her a picture of Chang Xiao. He is very handsome. Well, then do you think he's a good match for me? Xiao Ye didn't hesitate for a second. It just said, matching. Sister Ying you are so beautiful. Naturally you are a good match for Chung Xiao. She didn't dare to tell the truth. In fact, where is the match? He is a big star. A superstar. A box office big shot. His status can be imagined. Suing was only a small supporting role. Relying on the gold master to get the second female role. Suing is a person who can't do anything else. But is too capable of pretending. In front of the gold master that are delicate. Obedient. I didn't expect to accidentally expose my nature in the background the other day. She felt that Suing was not worthy of Chang Xiao at all. Besides, he already had a wife long ago. Was she going to be someone's mistress again? Really? Am I really worthy of Chang Xiao? Hearing her say this, Suing seemed especially happy. She must take Chang Xiao. It was a must have. Really? You are very beautiful looking. Of course you are worthy. Suing really believed her and didn't make things difficult for Xiao Yi later. Drip. At this time her cell phone suddenly came to call. Xiao Yi sneaked a glance. It was Su Ying's gold master. Hello, Mr. Zeng. Ha, huh, okay, I'll go over right away. Su Ying accompanied the smile, looking especially fake. The phone hung up she gave Xiao Yi a bored look and said, I'm going out, hurry up and clean up. If I come back and it's still like this, you know the consequences. Xiao Ye instinctively scrunched her neck. Su Ying hit on Chang Zhao's idea, and the latter over here was completely unaware of it. 
By the end of the night, he was still at home with his wife waiting for his new drama to air. Song Mianyong can look forward to it. In fact, has been looking forward to the airing of it, and it's finally going to air. Looking at that handsome handsome face on the preview, Song Mianyan now look at it like this will still have a feeling of heartbeat. Just like when I first met Cheng Xiao. That kind of feeling, can't say. At 8 o'clock, the two of them turned on the TV on time and tuned in to Shadow Hunt. The members directly released five episodes at once. They can watch enough. The first episode quickly featured Cheng Xiao, and Song Mianyang was instantly mesmerized. Cheng Xiao smiled and asked, How is it? Your husband's face isn't bad, right? Song Mianyan couldn't help but roll her eyes. Hmph, it's not bad. Looking at it every day, it's hard not to get tired of it. Are you sure? Cheng Zhao's hand slid to the bottom of her cackling nest, then, started tickling. Song Mianyang stood up from the sofa in a flash, and her pink fist directly hammered over. Nasty, why are you tickling me? Wife, you said you're already tired of looking at me. Really? His hand was once again placed on her waist, his threatening intent was full. It was as if as long as she said a word that was true, she would tickle him again. Chapter 318, Want to Take Advantage of Straight Say. Song Mianyan is also afraid of him. This good said scratch that is really scratch, not fake, not bluffing, it is not a fake, nor is it a bluff. Soon, she lost the battle and said pitifully, not tired of looking, you've always looked good. This pitiful look, looking at Cheng Xiao could not bear to tickle her anymore. The two of them sat peacefully on the sofa and watched TV. The babies were playing especially energetically on the carpet, and with Zane gone, a few of the little ones didn't seem to be affected, and didn't even realize what was going on still playing as usual. It was just a few days, and kids don't usually remember much. If they were gone, they were gone. The couple was watching the drama in peace and quiet. Microblogging, Douyin, the major platforms have completely blown up. The sky is covered with all about Cheng Zhao's new drama, Shadow Hunt. It had just aired for 10 minutes and it had directly exploded. Director Lin was about to die of joy. Sure enough, he hadn't misjudged anyone. Cheng Xiao really did surprise him in every way. He was glad that he had left him behind to shoot the movie. In order to get Shadow Hunters to this point, he was thrilled when he saw the number of plays in the background going up in a straight line. It had only been online for 10 minutes, and the broadcast volume had broken through 1 billion. It's still rising. The microblogging site was also sky high. Cheng Zhao's fans had risen by a few million in one go. It's scary as hell. The backstage staff were also shocked. They'd never seen such a record before. It's so awesome. Under Cheng Zhao's forwarded advertisements, the comments had already exceeded several million. The number of retweets was also in the millions. The number of likes is in the tens of millions. Open the comments. A sliver of them are all praising Chang Xiao. Xiao Xiaozi is worthy of being my favorite idol. So awesome. Acting is as good as ever. I can clearly feel the improvement. Xiao Xiaozi is awesome. There were also comments from male fans. If Xiao Xiao can reply to me, I'll die with no regrets. This acting, these eyes, so good. Love love love. All kinds of comments. The popularity flow is all focused on Chang Xiao. The main female character Wan Xiaoye and the male and female characters are all ignored. The fans didn't go up by a few. Only their old fans said a word of support underneath. And then rushed to support Chang Xiao again. At this moment, the male second heart is quite uncomfortable. In addition to acting, he does not know where he is poor. Looks not bad ah. Why is everyone going to pay attention to Chang Xiao? His side is simply cool through the bottom. The bottom of the comments are only a few thousand. The amount of fans also increased by about 10,000. Miserable. Popularity is really arbitrary. He felt that Chang Xiao was relying on that face to be popular. The entertainment industry has a lot of strength, but there is not such a burst of fire. As soon as it was online for 10 minutes, it directly exploded, occupying all the major hot searches. This is really too rare. Those few top flows hadn't set such a record. Envious and jealous at the same time, he was as sour as if he had cha a few pounds of lemons. He had already checked. In fact Chang Xiao was a newcomer, only joining the circle last year. He had at least acted for a few years, but he was inferior to a newcomer. A newcomer who doesn't even have an agency. The more he thought about it, the more he felt unbalanced and upset. Not only was it hard for the male second, but the female first, Ruan Xiaoye, was also depressed. She thought that she would gain a lot of fans and rubbed off on Chang Xiao, but it was as if the netizens were treating her like a transparent person in their eyes, with no presence at all. On the contrary, she didn't look like the female lead, like she was doing a supporting role. But what could one do when depressed? Who let people be the big brother? The internet was high on the sky, and the couple in the beach house was still watching the drama. Hubby, is this woman bad? Is she a villain? Song Mianyang asked Chung Xiao, pointing at Su Ying on the TV. 
Chang Xiao, honey, watching a drama is watching a drama without spoilers. However, he still grinned and said, you guess, Song Mianian couldn't wait to hammer her fist over. This dog man, letting her guess every day, she didn't want to guess with him. Forget it, watch the drama. Humming, she stopped asking, daddy, boo boo. At this time, for treasures came over with his legs clenched, his little brows furrowed into a ball. At first glance, it was an emergency. This adorable look of clamping his little legs adored the couple. Super cute storm ah. Chang Xiao quickly picked her up, gently placed her on the child toilet and shushed her. After the little one finished shushing, the tightly wrinkled little frown only loosened. Back to the living room. Continue to play. Soon, after watching two episodes, it was time for bed. Wife, don't watch it. It's 10 o'clock. Time for beauty sleep. Chang Xiao was helpless. Song Mianian ate a strawberry and was still not over it. I'll watch for a while longer. You go to bed first. Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow. How am I going to sleep alone? I can't sleep without you. Song Mianian. Could it be any more shameless? What do you mean you can't sleep without her? You want to take advantage of her. Just say so. Either stay here and watch TV and go to bed later, or go to bed yourself. Song Mianian was very nonchalant. After half a day of fussing, Chang Xiao still didn't leave. Honestly sat down and watched TV. For himself to act. The plot is known. Not much interest. Brushing the microblogging to accompany his wife to watch TV. 12 o'clock at night. The children are all huffing and puffing. Song Mianian is still watching with her eyes open. Chang Xiao couldn't hold on any longer and fell asleep directly against the sofa. Song Mianian glanced at him and hurriedly took out a layer of thin blanket from from the room and covered him gently for fear of waking him up. Looking over sideways, her eyes stayed on this handsome human and God's face. Heartbeat accelerated again. Try not to look. The body tilted a little. Waist-length hair. Accidentally fell on Chang Zhao's face. Itchy. Making Chang Xiao opened his eyes in a flash. Got up. Song Mian Yang inclined her head. Froze for a second. Then her face instantly burst red. You. You pretended to be asleep. Wife. You can't accuse me of this. I'm a light sleeper. This hair of yours fell on my face. I woke up. Looking at the thin blanket on his body. He heatedly smiled. Looks like my wife still cares about me quite a bit. I just went to sleep. So she brought me a blanket. Song Mianian blushed and hurriedly inclined her head. I didn't. Seeing her diehard little look. Chang Xiao couldn't help but laugh out loud. This little woman is so cute. Song Mianian finished watching it was already after 1.30. This TV series is quite good at wetting people's appetite. She was still a bit uninspired. And kept asking Chang Xiao about the later episodes. Chang Xiao just wouldn't tell her. But. If you want me to tell you. You can. But you have to promise me a request. Song Mianyang's eyelids fluttered always feeling that this guy was not going to make any reasonable demands. She really knew him too well. He would definitely take advantage of her while he had the chance. However, after thinking about it, she still asked, what request? As long as it's not excessive, it's fine. For the sake of the plot behind, spell it out. Really, as long as it's not excessive, it's all fine? Chang Xiao hemmed and hawed. Finished. Song Mian Yang had a bad premonition. As expected. Chapter 319, Foiled, Trapped. What do you want? Not what I don't want. Not what's too much. I can choose not to need your dramatization. Song Mian Yang reddened her face and instantly guessed what was going on in this man's head. Gosh, was she throwing herself into a trap? Knowing full well that this guy had that kind of thoughts, she still went up to him and jumped into the hole he dug. Hey, in order to follow up the plot, it was also a fight. Chang Xiao also did not expect that one day his wife would also transform into a drama chaser and chase after him for a follow-up episode. According to reason, is not allowed to spoilers, after all, he is a good actor to abide by the contract, but where to resist his family this abrasive little demon, however, there were definitely some small requests to be made, for example, I want, said Cheng Xiao as he looked at her face, then glanced up and down, Song Mianyang's face went a shade of red and a shade of white as she watched, only to see that, not long after, Cheng Xiao pointed to the left half of his face and said to her, if you kiss here, I'll tell you, Song Mianyan hated to whack him, hesitating, a few minutes passed, no kiss huh, then the plot is gone, I'm going to bed, you go to sleep early, saying this, Chang Xiao is about to get up, before he even gets up, my, Song Mianian came over with a kiss, dabbing on her face like a dragonfly, it was cool, it's really, Chang Xiao knew that his chance had come, and with a backhanded snap, he directly pressed Song Mianian onto the sofa, face to face, Song Mianian inside, damn it, caught in a trap, Fooled by this guy, she knew he must have impure thoughts. Sure enough, it was impure. Before she could react, a kiss fell. And then, you can imagine for yourselves. 
The night went by. Chang Xiao glanced at the woman in his arms and revealed a satisfied smile as he got up to cook. After breakfast, Song Mianian still ignored him, and has been reorganizing the child's clothes, organizing shoes, yardage that is called a neat, all kinds of nanny work, just ignore Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao tempted her, wife, come and sit down, I have something to say to you, ignore, only to make a killer, I'll give you a dramatization of the back. This only made Song Mianian's complexion fluctuate a little, but it still didn't allow her to forgive Chang Xiao. Humph, to do this again without her consent, unforgivable. All of her body was still sore and aching now, seemingly reminding her of the intense battle last night. This guy doesn't know the slightest thing about compassion. The little woman was slow to come over. Chang Xiao had to get up and take the initiative to walk towards her to do housework with her. Aunt Lin, who was looking at the side, was inexplicably flustered. What's going on? Still angry with me? Chang Xiao walked over and pinched her cheeks, ignoring him, still ignoring him. Cheng Xiao had to use his second killer tactic again, and directly prepared to pick up the person horizontally. As soon as he came over, Song Mianian was full of caution. What are you doing? Wife, if you don't forgive me, I'll carry you away right now in front of Aunt Lin. Cheng Xiao spoke lightly in her ear. Aunt Lin could be watching from the side. Song Mianyang's face instantly exploded red and glared at him. How dare you? You see if I dare. Cheng Xiao grinned. Song Mianian hesitated for a moment, but still put down the things in her hands. Chang Xiao said Dry is really capable of doing this. She had to head to the living room, accompanying the children. That's fine. On this side, the family is in harmony. On the other side, Suing is calculating how to find Chang Xiao's contact information. She had already asked around, but there was no news at all. Chang Xiao was like he didn't exist, and he didn't communicate with everyone. Sending an email to his mailbox also doesn't help. It's just like a stone sinking into the sea. There was really no way out. So she had to say to Xiao Yi, you, go contact that person for me and have him come over. Since moving the channels didn't work, then she could only start from there. She really couldn't figure out how an entertainer kept it so mysterious. Xiao Yi was scared to see her, and hearing her order, she ran and left. Half an hour later, a person came in at the door, dressed in black, came into the living room and sat directly on the sofa. Mysterious. Dangerous. Anyway, Suing looked like this. What did you call me over for? I'm busy. The man spared his words and was even a little impatient. If it wasn't because he owed her a favor for that matter and had to comply according to the law, he wouldn't have come. Suing spoke. I want you to help me check out a person. I want his contact information. Oh, what kind of person deserves you to use such a good offer for someone's contact information? The man in black raised a rare eyebrow. Suing gritted her teeth. You don't have to care. Just do it. Chang Xiao. She was determined to get it. No matter what, she would not give up easily. Okay. I'll give you the check. This is your first and last chance. If this is used up, don't come back to me in the future. I no longer owe you. Suing gritted her teeth and agreed. Good. As long as you can have Chang Zhao's contact information, it's worth it. After telling him Chang Zhao's name and Weibo number, the man in black got up and left. Suing was still under some pressure to face him. And once the man left, she breathed a sigh of relief. This person had saved his life before, so he owed her a favor. Today the favor was returned. It was said that the person she saved was a hacker, or that kind of particularly powerful hacker. Checking Chang Zhao's contact information was a matter of lifting a finger. After waiting at home for almost an hour, the results came. I really found Chang Zhao's contact information, the micro signal and cell phone number. What do you mean by despicable? This is full of excitement added Chang Zhao's micro signal. However, that end has not been passed, can only wait a little longer. Ding dong. Chang Zhao fed his wife another apple, a bite apiece. The phone suddenly came to the sound. Looked at it. Is someone to add him? A look at the avatar. A little familiar. Clicked. Directly rejected. In addition to his wife, and classmates and friends, the other ones are not added. This side rejected. Suing received. Face immediately black. Refuse? Chang Xiao actually refused to add her friend. This. She spent so much effort and wasted a so good opportunity. Chang Xiao is not bringing any face at all ah. If he doesn't agree, she can't do anything about it. While she was depressed, Chang Xiao finished feeding his wife an apple and pondered in his heart. How did that Suing know his contact information? Did Director Lin tell her? No. With the character of Director Lin, it is absolutely impossible for him to be bought by Suing, a small supporting actor, and it is even more unlikely that it is Li Jin. As he was thinking, a text message came in. If he didn't understand what was going on again he could basically stop mixing in the entertainment industry. He secretly sneered. The investigations were all coming to his head. No one would be stupid enough to expose his personal information. 
It must have been obtained by some unseemly means. Chapter 320 Maybe this is a superstar. Weibo had gotten high. Since last night's premiere of Shadow Hunt, it had attracted another large number of fans. Shang Xiao had gained another 10 million fans overnight. You can see the terrifying traffic, the terrifying popularity. The microblogging server has been paralyzed several times, and it's so stuck that you can't even get in. Song Mianian tried to enter several times, but was automatically bounced out. The staff behind the microblogging and the technicians are all in a hurry to repair the server. For fear of a direct crash, Shang Xiao is either on the hotspot himself or in a TV series, or the artist who offended him and was scolded by his fans is on the hotspot. In short, every hot search these days was about him. So far, Shadowhunter's airplay had surpassed several billion. Many people were holding several cell phones and swiping, breaking several billion overnight. There hadn't been this record in the history of TV dramas. It was broken again by Chang Xiao. Now his career is booming. He's been receiving a lot of movies and endorsements. Only, the person in question is not interested in these. Every day Ethan is helping him cope with these. The computer is going to be bombarded by this group of people. Mail after mail. Sure enough, it wasn't good for people to be too hot. He had been an agent before. And the artist he brought with him was also quite popular. But compared to Chung Xiao, it was like a heaven and a earth. There's no comparison. He swears he's never seen so many emails. It was basically one for a few minutes. He didn't even bother to read them. Anyway, that boss of his wouldn't agree. His hobbies are not here. He just spends time with his wife and kids. His heart is not in that circle. Maybe that's what a mega brother is all about. Doesn't care about that. But the more he doesn't care, the hotter he gets. Those who care more are cooler. Song Mianian found that not only Mr. Wang and the others, Mon Li, Song Nana, Wang Jing and the others, even her mother is catching up with the drama, watching it with great pleasure. At this moment, Song Qin's residence, a few old babies sitting on the sofa to catch up on the drama. The TV is playing Chang Zhao's Hunting Shadows. One of them, a woman in a red dress, said, Celery, why does this protagonist look so familiar to me? It's like I've seen it somewhere before. Song Qin smiled and handed over a plate of fruits. There was even a conversation. Yeah, I also feel familiar. When you guys say it like this, it's more than familiar. I feel like I must have seen him before. And even talked with him. Me too. Song Qin was not surprised by his words at this time. And smiled. It's my son-in-law. What? A few old babies were shocked. Son-in-law? Celery said that this man is her son-in-law? Gosh. They seem to know something extraordinary. I heard that this is a big star. You can eat nonsense, but you can't talk nonsense. If someone with a heart of gold hears about it and sues you for libel then it's not worth it. They subconsciously don't believe it. How is it possible? Soon, it was only in hindsight that they reacted. Last time I saw a Chin son-in-law. It does resemble this person on TV, but I didn't look too closely and I'm not sure. Song Chin directly showed them the photo. The family portrait. This is my daughter. My son-in-law. Take a look. The old babies came over to take a look and then looked at the one on the TV. Wow, mama, it really is, exactly the same. Two of them didn't come over last time, so they didn't see Chang Xiao. This would be shocking. Oh my god, your son-in-law is really him. This is a superstar. My granddaughter, she loves it. Yes, my daughter loves him too. Your son-in-law is really good looking. If he wasn't married, I don't know how many suitors he would have. Seeing her son-in-law being praised so much, Song Qin was quite happy in her heart. Anyone who hears their son-in-law being praised will be in a happy mood. On the photo, your daughter-in-law is also looking pretty. Groom and daughter. Yes, yes, a pair of golden children. These dolls are also good ah, a good-looking yearbook doll-like. I like it. I blame my son for not being good enough to marry a daughter-in-law and give birth to a son and a daughter. And I don't have any grandchildren to bring. Here we go again. Song Qin smiled helplessly. There really isn't much of a girl to introduce. Or else she could introduce one. All right. All right, watch TV. Don't mention this. It's disturbing. One of the old babies said. Yeah, yeah, watch TV. Two episodes later. Why does this woman look so annoying? Just by looking at her face. She's not a good thing. Suing appeared on camera again and was already on the verge of being scolded to death by these old babs. Villains, aren't they often scolded by the old people's group? That's it. That's it. Too bad. Coming out to harm people again. The scolding was as fierce as it could be. Suing was on the hot search again because she played the villainous too much. The curses were all over the place. Words like heart meter, white lotus, colorful, etc. came in waves. In short, it's as bad as it gets. As long as there is someone to help her speak, it is a ground washing dog. Water army, received money, 
Some passers-by don't know why suing why so many people chasing after scolding. On the hot search scolding. Inexplicable. Isn't it just a drama villain? Is this to be taken seriously? It's too childish, isn't it? After understanding, I realized that this woman really should be scolded. No injustice. In fact, the root cause is not because her character is scolded, but this woman is really scheming. Deliberately occupy people Chang Zhao's see seats scratching their heads to get attention. It is said that in private, people are particularly otherwise get along. When the backstage directly to their own small assistant non-playing that is scolded. In short, it is not a good person. Many people are clamoring for her to get out of the entertainment industry. Looking at herself on the hot search again, covered in abuse, suing almost died on the spot. Who the hell had she invited and pissed off? Why did one and all treat her like this? Nightfall. Chang Xiao was just about to go make dinner when he suddenly received an email notification. It's about the Nebula Cup piano competition. There's a list of winners on it. There were three winners in total. He was the winner. And that little kid came in second. The other one is from somewhere else and was third. Go to the site tomorrow morning to collect the trophy. Closing his cell phone, Chang Xiao continues to cook. After dinner, take a shower and go to bed. The next morning, Chang Xiao said hello to Song Mianyang and set off. The ones who came to see the competition earlier got the news. Chang Xiao was now justly popular and some of his fans would inquire about his schedule. So, just as he arrived at that backstage, the whole venue to receive the award was just like a concert. Surrounded by a large number of fans who were still on their way. The security guards had a headache. The backstage staff had an even bigger headache. What a situation this is. Is this the influence of an artist? It's horrible. They also knew the champion Chang Xiao had been on fire for the past two days. And for a while they didn't know what to say. Chapter 321 Brother Xia, I'll always be your fanboy. Backstage. In addition to Chang Xiao and the other two receiving awards, there were also some of the previous contestants. Girls, basically Chang Xiao's fanboys, being able to be so close and face to face with their idols. It didn't feel too good. Those fans were still squeezing around outside. How honored they were. What virtue they had to be able to sit in the same space as their idol. He really is so handsome and handsome. Even more handsome than in the drama. So much better looking. They were also watching the TV series and were completely mesmerized by Chang Xiao in it. That 18 year old brat. Looking at the list of winners. His fists clenched up tightly and his knuckles turned white with it. He lost. He actually lost. He lost to this Chang Xiao and only took second place. Obviously. He had worked so hard. Thinking that the championship was a sure thing. But he still lost. Cheng Zhao's strength was verified on the spot at the time. And he knew it. But he was still unwilling. Not willing to lose to Chang Xiao. The truth is in front of us. What can be done? He was annoyed to death here. And the girls beside him were making a lot of noise. He's really handsome. I want to go get a contact from him. A girl said. The girl next to her laughed at her. You won't be able to get it. He already has a wife. So what if he has a wife? It's just adding a friend. Can't we be friends? The girl grunted. People this is a big star ah. Uh, is not going to be friends with us commoners. You just die this heart. Just look at it. Look. He's right there. Looking like this. Don't go up to ask for a contact. All sorry for myself. If you want to get it. You can also go to Cheng Zhao's super talk to show off. Thinking about it is beautiful. The girl beside her can't do anything about it. And is too lazy to say it again. This girl has always been stubborn. Once decided things. Nine oxen cannot pull back. This rashly go to ask for WeChat. It is estimated that it will touch a nose of dust. Being rejected by others will tell. The little brat had already endured it. Isn't it just an opera singer? What's the need for this? The voice was quite loud. Seemingly on purpose for Chang Sha to hear. What opera singer? What do you know? The girls were not happy. What the hell? We are chasing stars. None of your business. That's right. That's much more impressive than you. Aren't you a loser? You still didn't win the championship. That's just stepping on the kid's toes. Not winning the title already made him feel bad. And this group of people were still exposing his scars. MMP. He was about to get angry when he saw the staff coming this way. It was time to receive the award. The three people got up and headed to the stage under the envious gazes of the bystanders. The happiest person among them was the one who won the third place. A girl. She didn't care who was the first runner-up. But she was very happy to be the third runner-up. She knew how much she weighed. How could she compare to these two big shots? The third runner-up is already lucky. Today, on the weekend, Mr. Joe brought Mr. Wang and the others and sat in the audience. And Mr. Xiang also brought Huang Tiani over to watch the fun. Because there were so many teachers there. Gu Xiubin was so Alexandrian that he didn't come over and silently supported Senior Chang Xiao in front of the TV. Acting as a cheerleader. Teacher Zhou. I'm so excited. Chang Xiao won the championship. Teacher Wang was as excited as a child. 
Teacher Zhou couldn't do anything about her and Hund, high and cold model. Teacher Li, Teacher Meng Yan all followed. Today's the day Chang Xiao receives his award. Can he not follow? Just in time to see this big star. Xiang Shu sure didn't let me down. Teacher Zhou won over Xiang Shu, and his mood instead flattened out. Actually, this kind of competition didn't mean much. However, it was worth it to see Cheng Zhao's such superior zither skills. The three of them, Cheng Xiao, came out under the leadership of the staff. The surroundings were filled with fervent fans. Deafening applause came from Chang Xiao almost as soon as he appeared on stage. There were also screams from the girls. Such an awarding scene was unprecedented. Most people had never imagined that an award ceremony was just an award ceremony, made to look like a concert. People were wrapped in three layers and more and more. A sea of people. Fans from the neighborhood came over, and those from the surrounding area came by car. Seeing so many people coming, the other two award recipients were dumbfounded, stunned by the scene in front of them. Why were there so many people? Could it be that they all came because of Chun Xiao? 80%. He's been on fire lately. The little kid snorted lightly. A bunch of brainwashed fans. However, no one paid any attention to him. The host had never seen this kind of scene before and cleared his throat as he held the microphone and said, Everyone, please be quiet. With the host's voice, the scene really quieted down. Chang Zhao's fans were of quality. One by one, they were quiet and did not speak. Staring at the stage, everyone was excited. Their Xiao Xiaozi was going to win the championship. That's great. The host said a bunch of useless rhetoric and soon began to announce the winner. First, he announced the third place winner. And the second place winner. The last finale was the winner of the championship. Finally, I'd like to announce our overall champion today, Chang Xiao. As soon as the words fell, thunderous applause instantly rang out across the room. One sound higher than the other. I'm crying TT Xiao Xiao Z deserves to be my Xiao Xiao Z. It's too powerful. This historic moment hurriedly recorded with a cell phone, so that everyone will remember the excellent Chun Xiao. As a man, I admire him, is really capable. He's the best. He's the best. It's so touching. Almost none of the fans cared if he was married or not. It was enough that he was Chang Xiao anyway. After receiving the award, Chang Xiao took the host's microphone and the champion gave his speech. After saying that, he told the fans to be careful when they left. The fans below all felt that their idol was really warm. The idol was caring about them. After Chang Xiao finished speaking, he took the trophy and went backstage, leaving through a special channel. There were no words left behind. He just sent a message to Mr. Wang and the others. After all, with so many fans, it would be easy to cause chaos if he showed up to meet with them, and this was for the sake of the fans' safety. It wouldn't be good if there were any accidents. Chang Xiao drove away from the scene in a hurry, and sent a microblog when he returned home, letting the fans who were just present at the scene arrive home to leave a message at the bottom of his microblog that they had arrived home safely. Idol really warm-hearted, fans directly excited to explode. So Chang Xiao posted. There was also the scene of taking the championship trophy, all on the hot search. It was followed by a fiery red boiling character. My goodness, Xiao Xiaozi actually took the initiative to care about us. No regrets in this life. Brother Xiao, I'll always be your fanboy. Chang Xiao looked at these and shook his head helplessly. At this moment, the big trophy that everyone was envious of was being played with by four treasures in his hands, wrestling it around, not bringing any fear that it would be bumped and broken. Chapter 322 Terrifying as Hell Chang Xiao sat on the sofa, looking at the child while looking at the phone, pressed the trophy. Anyway, it is not important. Broken. Broken. Daughter happy is good. Look at the fans on the microblog message has arrived home safely. The corners of the lips rose. A breath of replies to hundreds of articles. A moment of more than a hundred thousand comments. Followed by picking a few comments. Randomly back. The lucky fans that were replied to were filled with excitement and hurriedly sent super words to show off. This was their Xiao Xiao son's reply. Then it wasn't just a matter of fooling around a bit. Now, Chang Zhao's followers have already exceeded tens of millions and are still growing. He had become a new round of Prince of Hot Searches. Almost one hot search a day, one after another, sometimes several searches a day, and they were all super hot searches. The fire is so hot. Those big names in the entertainment industry can only stare and watch. They can't do anything. No one dares to go up to rub the heat, and even more so no one dares to advertise Shadowhunter. Really, the flow of people's big brother is there, and you don't need to go and fight. Instead, you'll be accused of rubbing it in, and they don't want to carry that reputation. Chang Zhao's fans were also too scary. Some of them cursed without using dirty words. It was called a vicious. The most horrible thing is that some irrational fans will chase you to your home and throw rotten vegetable leaves and eggs at your door. Although most of the celebrities will not go to rub heat at this time but does not include some very thick-skinned people. Go to rub heat at this time. Some people think, 
black red is also red, as long as the red that will have flow, and then spend money on public relations whitewash on the line, how big a thing, Chang Zhao's fans are often underestimated, at 10 o'clock in the evening, a hot post appeared out of nowhere, probably Chang Xiao today in the backstage of the piano receiving the award site to play with the cell phone waiting for the photo, this is obviously secretly photographed, I have to say that Chang Zhao's face value is really durable, this is the original camera ah, uh, our raw pictures, just so exposed, are more handsome than on the TV some, hiss, this face value, horrible as hell, this guy also matched the text, blessing the Shadow Hunter TV series to be a big hit, and said that he was helping Chang Xiao with advertisements and whatnot, what a big face, now that it's exploding all over the internet, what are you, if you want to advertise, you're clearly here to rub off on them, a group of fans can't stand it and dislike that microblogging comment, now anyone would dare to rub heat under my Xiao Xiao Z, that's it, Xiao Xiao Z's drama needs to be advertised by an unknown villain like her, oh, I'm really impressed, who is this woman, she's just trying to rub it in, it's so obvious, ha, huh? it's disgusting, so, thousands of comments were scolding the owner of the post, at this time, on the other side of the phone, a woman was happy to death, for her, someone cursing, someone commenting, paying attention, that means popularity, she wants this effect, soon, Chang Zhao's fans told her why the flowers were so red, she still underestimated this term's netizens too much, there were even hackers amongst the fans, instantly picking out her ID, her address, although they didn't directly expose it, they still brought quite a few people over to look for trouble, moreover, that account of hers was quickly hacked and subsequently logged off, bamboo basket is empty, how could the woman be willing to do that, ready to die and recreate the account again, suddenly, the door was knocked, banging and banging, as if to break the door, her heart jumped at the sound of it, on the other hand, the person in question, Chang Xiao, was not concerned about this matter at all, and was honestly chasing the drama at home with his wife, and even Aunt Lin didn't go to bed at night, so she chased the drama, the two women are still discussing the plot, when the family was watching the tension, Cheng Zhao's cell phone came with a message, at a glance, it was actually from director Zhang, he had a new movie on hand and asked if he was interested, the script was sent directly to him as a document, Cheng Xiao did not look, he is not interested in filming now, on this TV series shadow hunting shot for so long, his wife at home to take care of a few children, people are thin, so, it politely refused to Zhang director, hey, it's a shame, this role is really too suitable for Chang Xiao, simply tailored for him, Chang Xiao thought about it and recommended someone, Li Jin, he's not a bad actor, he's just missing a chance to make it big, he's the one, not to mention, Mr. Zheng is really ready to use Li Jin, Chang Xiao highly recommended, should not be bad, then some vase, boasts of strength is too strong, Li Jin was flattered when he received the news, he didn't think that such a big movie would fall on him, didn't director Zhang go to Chang Xiao, why did he turn his head to him, this is a big production, he thought, whose turn it is, but not his, so many excellent actors and actresses, movie stars, could it be because of Chang Xiao, so, in the middle of the night, he called Chang Xiao in tears, moved to tears, he felt that if not for Chang Xiao, he could not get this play, Zhang director first time to choose not him, that proves that there is no chance, turned the corner back to choose him, must have something to do with Chang Xiao, oh, oh, too touching, Chang Xiao is speechless, okay, can you be a little bit of interest ah, a play is just a play, you want to like, I'll invest in another one for you, crap, invest in another one, a big brother is a big brother, speaking in such a domineering manner, no need for now, I'll read the script director Zhang gave me and study it, Li Jin had a serious face, this time, must put out a quality movie properly, can't afford to muddle through anymore, this was a once in a lifetime opportunity that had to be seized, besides, this brother of his was so righteous, he would definitely repay him in the future, it was all Chang Zhao's fault that he was able to enter director Zhang's company, get to know so many seniors, and have a movie to shoot, Chang Xiao, can you be a little outstanding, the phone hangs up, Chang Xiao is already thinking about what to start the company up, after thinking about it, he sent a message to Ethan, telling him to go and do it, starting capital, directly gave him 10 million dollars, took Ethan by surprise, in his life, he has never seen so much money in the account, some heartbeat, the boss is so trusting him, he is not afraid that he will transfer the money away, not to mention, Chang Xiao is really not afraid, 10 million dollars was a huge amount of money for him before, but now it's nothing, for Chang Xiao's trust, Ethan was touched, on another day, he went to handle the company's registration process, efficiency is fast, it was soon registered, now is the operation up, said the company, 
At present Chang Zhao's goal is to get a studio, then to open the company. Ethan, $10 million of startup capital to open a studio? Boss, you really hit people. People than people. Really angry ah. Chapter 323, Another Hooked Face. A few days later, Chang Zhao's hotness is still high. Recently the fire is a mess. But isn't it a mess? Being missed by multiple people. Some bigwigs secretly miss Cheng Xiao. That is, investing in rich women. Looking at Cheng Zhao's skin. Because his appearance is really too outstanding. It was hard not to be stared at. At this moment, Cheng Xiao was washing the dishes for the children. Having just had lunch. Ding. Congratulations to the host for accompanying the children for a full year. Reward, top hacking skills. Concurring with this beat that came unexpectedly, Cheng Xiao raised an eyebrow. Top hacking skills? At this time, he felt like there was something extra in his brain, and the feeling was subtle. Hubby, have you finished washing? At this time, Song Mian Mian walked in. She had a dinner date with Manli later, and was now dressing up. Okay, okay, help me with this zipper. It's too hard to pull. I can't pull it myself. Song Mian Yang said. Good. Chang Xiao helped her pull it upwards. It was a bit tight. It used to be loose. And once she pulled it, it went up. Wife, you've gained a bit of weight recently. Song Mianian's face immediately turned red, which is not true. You're the one who's gotten fat. A woman's biggest pet peeve is when people say they're fat, especially their own husbands. Chang Xiao, after reacting, he hurriedly laughed with him. No fat, no fat. My wife is the thinnest and best looking. It's okay to be fat. It's more of a slightly chubby femininity. Humph, Song Mianian hummed from her nose and went out. She was even more gorgeous with her makeup. This face value. It was really something. If it wasn't for that niece Manli who had to go out with her to meet her friends who came back from abroad to work and get to know them, she wouldn't go out. In order not to give her husband shame, had to dress up a little. Looked at the full body mirror. Well, can. Satchel a husband to buy her Hermes. She wanted to be low key, but the cheapest is this Hermes. Took this. Today she wore a pair of low heel shoes. Did not dare to high heel. That would be too flashy. Unbeknownst to her. This appearance has been very flamboyant. On the way to the car. Manli also called over, honey, where are you? Song Mianian, on the road. Good. You hurry up. My sisters are all here. Got it. Don't rush me. Okay. Okay. Don't rush me. Be safe on the road. The agreed location is in the Qingzhou Central Mall. Manli set the restaurant location there. Just waiting for her. After eating the meal also have to go shopping together. The Central Mall is a distance away from her side. To get there is estimated to take half an hour of time. At this moment, in the Central Mall, on a certain restaurant seat, there were five or six people sitting around. One of them said, I'll tell you, my sis is pretty. You'll definitely be amazed when she comes. Che, how pretty. In a foreign country, what kind of beautiful women haven't we seen before? One of the blue-skirted beauties said, That's right, how good looking can it be? We've seen even better looking ones. A few people didn't care. They felt that she just loved to brag. That's right, this group was Manli and the others. She didn't tell them Song Nianli's identity for fear of causing any unnecessary trouble. After all, her husband, Chang Xiao, that's a big star. He's been on fire lately, so there are still some things to be cautious about. Anyway, Nian Nian rarely showed her face in front of the audience, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Not long after, Song Mianian arrived at the central mall, parked the car in the parking space, and walked towards the mall, looking for that restaurant for half a day. Her feet hurt from wandering around, sending a message. Shelling Manny, where are you guys? I've been looking for half a day and I can't find it. If I don't find it again, I'm going home. Manly replies with fire. Third floor, I'll wait for you at the elevator. Song Mianian turned off her phone and headed to the third floor. The elevator entrance finally saw Manly that ninny. A big bear hug greeted her. Honey, I miss you to death. These days you don't know to contact me. How long has it been since I've seen you? Manly complained about all kinds of things as soon as they met. Let's go. Let's eat. Don't talk about these things. Song Nianli gave her a blank look. Those five people inside were still waiting for the beauty they were for, carefully discussing it. Is it really that good looking? I don't know. Just take a look and we'll see. What Manli said shouldn't be false. Che, she just exaggerates. Coming, coming. Manli walked over first, followed by Song Mianian who had deliberately dressed up a little. Several people saw her and froze in place at once. Gosh, this person was so beautiful. This posture, this body, this skin. It's like a fairy that has fallen to earth. Beautiful. I don't blame them for exaggerating. It's really pretty. Hello, Song Mianian greeted them. There were four who nodded with her, saying the same saying hello and introducing themselves to each other. There was one more, 
who didn't say anything and had a condescending look. Song Mianian didn't bother with her. Monli said to those few, let me say it, my sisters are pretty, aren't they? Yes, beautiful indeed. I don't think any of them should be ugly in their veiled faces. Her lipstick color looks good. I don't know what color she bought. Her bag is the latest Hermes. I can't even buy it. Girls like to talk about cosmetics, bags and shoes. They also like the pretty ones and will discuss them. If it's plastic surgery, they will discuss where they got it done. And if it's purely natural like Song Myanian, they will discuss why other people's parents just gave birth to her to look so good. Girls were the most gossipy creatures. Humph. Who knows if it's a fake to fool people. At this time, the not-so-good-looking woman spoke out with a disdainful face. She felt that she had seen too many people like Song Myanian. Pretty? Must have gone somewhere for plastic surgery. Glancing lightly at Song Myanian's face, a hint of jealousy clearly flashed in her eyes. Ha! Another seductive face. Vixen. Monli got upset and slammed her hand on the table. M.O. Yananan. How are you talking? I purposely invited you over to have dinner with me. And this is your attitude? Looking down on who? Is there something wrong with what I said? M.O. Yananan didn't feel what she said was wrong. She was originally a seductive vixen. Monli was about to laugh. Her family Mian Mian had plastic surgery? Fake Hermes on her back? She has never heard such a funny joke. Her husband is a big star. Chang Xiao. He's a big star. Chang Xiao. If he's making a fortune, he's still missing a few tens of thousands of dollars in Hermes bags. She is also direct enough to start disliking her husband. She won't allow anyone to bully her family Nian Nian. The colleagues she used to work with were not allowed to do so either. She really regretted shouting this M.O. Yen Nan over with her. Such a person has his nose up to the sky and looks down on anyone. No wonder your man divorced you. So jealous. So aggressive when he sees a good looking one. You deserve to be dumped. This is a harsh thing to say. M.O. Yen Nan hates it when people mention this. As if being poked to the sore spot. You. Chapter 324 Online Confrontation A few other people thought that they couldn't just sit around and wait any longer. Or else they could really fight in this restaurant. How ugly it would be for outsiders to see the joke when they beat up their own people. All of you. Cut it out. What's there to fight about? Today is the first day back home. It's not easy to get a date to eat together. That's right. Don't argue. Manly is going to be furious. This woman. Simply sick. Somehow targeting people. Just looking at others beautiful. Bullying them. Jealous. That. Mian Mian. She's just that temper. Don't get on her bad side. She's just like that. One of them advised Song Myanian. Song Mian Mian didn't even think about it. She just drank her orange juice as if she wasn't the one who was talking about her. M.O. Yen Nan stood up at this time and directly walked away. Yenan, don't go. One of them shouted at M.O. Yen Nan. The other three didn't care. Honestly they didn't like M.O. Yen Nan either. Too arrogant. No one in sight. Obviously she is not very capable. But still look down on others. Forget it. Just leave. It's best not to come and go in the future. They don't like her anyway. They have long had a problem with her. After the people left. Monli felt more comfortable. Sisters, I apologize for what just happened. I didn't know M.O. Yenan would go crazy here. This woman simply had a problem. It's not like Mian Mian had offended her. Waiter, serve the food. Monli waved at the waiter. Okay. During the meal, a few people chatted about everything, from cosmetics and bags, to shoes and clothes, and then to work and whether they were married or not. Among the few people, there were two married people. One asked, Mian Mian, are you married? Seeing that you are quite young and have such a good figure, you are still single, right? I think I'm single, and I'm sure I've got suitors lined up all the way to France. What kind of job do you have? Monli dejected very much. That's not true. Her family Nian Mian but the most outstanding, highly educated, a veritable schoolteacher's daughter. She also has an excellent husband and a cute baby. She has a good husband and a cute baby. She went to the peak of her life in her twenties. Song Myanian smiled faintly. I'm already married. Wow. So early. I wonder which man is so lucky. Several people were very curious. What kind of man would be worthy of her? Before Song Mian Yang could say anything, Monli started a flurry of introductions. Other than not saying anything about Chang Xiao, she said everything that needed to be said. Gosh, you're a college teacher? Several girls were a bit surprised. This is young. Only about 25, right? And he's a university teacher? Or a master's degree? Too awesome. Song Mian Yang nodded awkwardly and glared at Monli. Should you be so fast with your mouth? Manly touched her nose and let out a heave. She was just too excited. After lunch, a few people were a bit propped up and after resting for a while they planned to go shopping together. On this side, Chang Xiao was at home with the baby, and as an afterthought, he remembered that his wife hadn't brought any money to go. There is no money how to go shopping. So, 
he directly transferred a few million to Song Mianian's card. Song Mianian heard a ding-dong sound and thought it was someone sending a message. And once she saw the seven-digit transfer message, her hands shook in fear. No need to guess who it was. What is this guy doing? That's a few million ah. Didn't she say she still has money? Is it necessary to transfer so much for a shopping trip? In the back, Chang Xiao sent another message. Shop well. On this side, Chang Xiao put the children to bed. Remembering the other day's events, he indifferently opened his computer and tapped his fingers for a while. With this hacking skill rewarded by the system, he always felt a strong sense of familiarity when he touched the computer. It was as if he was born for computers. After knocking for a while, it soon appeared on a black screen with green fonts bouncing on it non-stop. He was checking, who had leaked his information to suing that day. A few minutes later, an ID was pulled out by him. It confronted him directly online. The person on the opposite side of the line had a look of shock on his face. He was the one who had helped suing out before. He didn't expect to be pulled out. And the one who pulled him out was the owner of the micro signal that suing wanted. Gosh, he is so strong. On that day, he obviously erased all traces. But he didn't expect that he could actually be pulled out a few days later. Miscalculation. Cheng Xiao looked at the person and asked bluntly. My contact information. Did you leak it out? The person was stunned, but did not deny it. Yes. What, did she give you a lot of benefits? No, I owe her a favor. And now the favor has been returned. That person said. Cheng Xiao was not interested in their so-called owed favor. This Su Ying, the implication was obvious ah. The hacker was just a gunman. It was probably useless even if he hacked his computer. He doesn't do these useless things. Cheng Xiao wondered. What was the point of this woman going through all the trouble of asking for his contact information? Thinking about that day, his eyes grew cold. On Weibo. Suing is still in a state of being scolded, and his fans have dropped quite a bit instead of rising. As soon as a clip of him was put on the TV show, the pop-ups were like trying to eat people, coming from all over the place, overwhelming people, basically cursing. If a water army came over to wash the ground and praise Suing, they would instantly be drowned in saliva. Not only Chang Zhao's fans scolded Suing for being shameless, many passers-by followed along. Suing was dying of anger. What had she done wrong? Why did this group of people keep chasing after her? Wasn't it just standing on Chang Zhao's sea seat? Was that necessary? Thus, her little assistant, Xiao Yi, suffered. She received several kicks from Su Ying, who was also strong. Xiao Ye's entire body was almost kicked out. The pain made her draw a breath of cool air. She kind of, couldn't stand it anymore. Have you kicked enough? Xiao Yi stood up with a cold face. If it wasn't for my brother, do you think I would grovel here at your place and let you beat and scold me at will? She also had dignity. Now she decided that she would rather work a few jobs than come and suffer this. What would her brother do if she was beaten to death? Against you. Suing didn't expect the always weak little assistant to suddenly change like a person and actually dare to refute her. Another kick came over. Xiaoyi would not stand still for her to kick this time. Frowned and hid to the side. She had all of Su Ying's crimes in her cell phone. She must expose such a bad artist. Let her never have a chance to mix in the entertainment industry for the rest of her life. Xiaoyi directly ran out the door. What's the point of staying here now that she's flipped out anyway? You stop right there. Suing shouted in anger from behind. This was followed by a flurry of smashing things. After calming down and thinking about it, she couldn't let this bitch go so easily. Xiao Yi knew quite a lot of things here with her. In case she said something. Not daring to think. She hurriedly took out her cell phone and made a call. Chapter 325, Robbing While the Fire is Burning. The other side of the phone quickly picked up. It was a man. His voice was hoarse. And the moment he heard it, he was a ruthless man who was not afraid of the sky and the earth. Who? It's me. Su Ying. Su Ying said. What are you looking for me for? The man stubbed out his cigarette and asked with a frown. Somewhat impatient. I want you guys to help me solve someone. It's best to get them dead. I'll send you the pictures later. Su Ying sneered. Remember to make it clean. Since she knew so much, don't blame her for being ruthless. What about the payment? The first thing the men thought of was this. Without a high honorarium. Would they be stupid enough to carry a human life? Out of their minds? What if the gutter turned? Can I still shortchange you guys in terms of remuneration? Suing was not pleased. The man's voice became even huskier and his tone intensified. Without payment you still want to make my brothers. Do you think we would be stupid enough to do that? Not seeing a penny. What the hell? Suing gritted her teeth. What a bunch of insatiable guys. Every day they just knew money money money. Where did she get that much money? It's all because of that shadow hunting that she made some money. Those previous dramas didn't bring her any revenue at all. And recently, because of the public outcry, she couldn't get any endorsements at all. She fire, also was scolded fire. It's not honorable at all. She didn't even dare to go to Weibo to explain. 
For fear of being scolded even worse, she didn't even dare to send a tweet, only dared to watch silently. Money, I'll head $100,000 to your account later. Suing was a little impatient. It was annoying. 100,000 won't be enough this time. The man paused and said, What? Su Ying's eyes widened. How insatiable was this guy? Now 100,000 wasn't enough. Was he trying to ask her for more? Where did she get that much money? Then how much do you want? Su Ying gritted her teeth. The man really opened his mouth wide. $500,000. What? $500,000. Why don't you guys go rob? This is too dark. Robbing while the fire is on. Half a million dollars. Only more and not less. Otherwise, you're on your own. The man snorted coldly. Humph. He felt that this woman just had money and deliberately didn't take it out. Don't take it out right. I have to make you take it out. After this village, there won't be the store. Think about it yourself. The man hung up the phone. Suing fiercely clenched her fists and cursed all 18 generations of their ancestors. The kind of scolding that was particularly vicious. This guy was a deliberate bully. Asking for a lion's share. Half a million dollars in one breath? Who can afford it? Even if she could. She wouldn't want to spend it on dealing with that bitch Xiaoye. After much consideration, in order to prevent a long night's sleep, she finally dialed that phone number. Song Myanian was still shopping and buying with everyone. What with cosmetics, bags and shoes of all sorts. This time, with this sister encouraging her, Song Myanian was too embarrassed to refuse, and bought a lot for herself. This can let Monli breathe a sigh of relief. Every time this woman out of the stingy to death, on their own are stingy, not to mention on her, that how, do not buy 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 or woman? Luckily, there are a few of them today. Song Myanian no matter how is also unable to resist. We all do not buy. You do not buy embarrassed not? So, an hour shopping down. Everyone is big bag. In the mall became a beautiful scenery line. So pretty ah this beauty. A boy on the side of the road saw Song Myanian so good looking and wanted to come over to ask for WeChat. Several came over to ask for it immediately afterward. Our Mian Mian is too popular. Isn't she? The girl behind Song Myanian laughed and said. Monli laughed. That's not true. Our Mian Mian's face value that's not covered. And her temperament is so outstanding. People probably think she's still single. Where she looks like she's married and has a doll. That's right. The handsome man had already come over and greeted Song Mian Mian. Beauty. Sorry for the intrusion. Can I get to know you? Let's leave a WeChat. Song Myanian, who's with you? On the surface, that. Sorry, I already have a family. This family voice was not too loud and not too small, but it happened to be heard by the boys walking by. Thus, everyone stopped their steps at once and stopped moving forward, all with a look of pity. Such a beautiful beauty. Actually married. Really don't know who her husband is. So lucky. Sorry for being abrupt. The man had an apologetic face. It's really a pity that such a beautiful goddess got married. She was really so beautiful. The kind of beauty that is breathtaking. Who the hell is his husband? Really too lucky. Alas. He sighed and left the place. After getting married your charm is still so great. Envy. I've boiled into a yellow face. Your skin is still like a little girl. A brown haired woman next to Monli laughed and said. She was Monli's colleague abroad. Named Jenny. There was a son and a daughter at home. Both of which were brought up by her mother-in-law. And the relationship with her husband was quite good. A woman who lived a relatively happy life. The yellow faced woman's sayings are also flirtatious. Self-hacking. A few people arrived at a cosmetic store and first ran to the lipsticks, trying out the color numbers. Mian Lee. This color suits you. Monli was holding a small gold bar of Saint Laurent. The red color was the kind of red of the palace. Painted with a kind of junior hurry up and get out of the way. Monli tried the color herself and it was not bad. And let Song Mian Lee tried. Just painted. The waiter came over. Saw this scene. Was instantly stunned. This lady. Is also too beautiful. Right? This lipstick color really suits her. It sets off her skin tone even more fair. Jenny was dumbfounded. Manly took a bunch more. What with the radish ding? TF, Dior, etc. A bunch of big names. Bought some more skincare products at the counter. I'll take this one. Song Myanian looked at the Saint Laurent lipstick in her hand. The others she didn't want. It's fine. Just leave these at home. Song Myanian's words were also striking a blow. My husband bought me too many of these. I can't use them. Anyway. If you bought them, you'll just put them there to eat dust. Started to show her husband. Envious, your husband still knows to take the initiative to buy you skincare products? My man is a dead straight man. No emotional intelligence at all. Pissed me off. That's right. Not to mention cosmetics. On New Year's holidays, even a piece of clothing do not know to buy me. The two married women were exasperated when they talked about it. A few thousand words weren't enough to spit on their men. Hmph. Song Mianyan's husband was so plastered. They were envious and jealous. 
People are more pissed off than men. Comparing husbands, it's even more exasperating. After shopping for an afternoon, Sam Mayanian feels that her feet are not her own, and is glad that she didn't come in high heels. Shopping with women is really terrible. A pair of legs can walk straight to scrap. Finally going home, she hurriedly said goodbye to them and went to the car to rest for a while, too tired. When she went back, she spoke to Chung Xiao. Half an hour later, arriving home, Song Mianian's neck hurt from exhaustion, carrying a bunch of things in her hands. Opening the door, Cheng Xiao hurriedly took the things in her hands, put them aside, and then took her up to the sofa. Chapter 326 The studio is officially established. Carefully massaging and rubbing her legs, Song Mianian leaned back, which made her feel a little more comfortable. Cheng Xiao's technique was very standard, and also accurately pressed to the right position, especially comfortable. Watching her exhale a breath, Cheng Xiao smiled. Look at you this tired not light, actually by so many things. Wife, you got the hang of it? He couldn't wait for his wife to hurry up and buy more. Money, isn't that what you earn for your wife and children? Otherwise what's the point of him earning so much money? Enlightened you my ass. Song Mian Yang glared over. If it wasn't for that niece Manli, she wouldn't have to carry so many things back. The main person was there. So if she didn't buy it, wouldn't she be spoiling their fun and losing her husband's face? This is something she will not do. I also bought. Today he also by the way to Chung Xiao and the children to buy some things. It's just some clothes. Song Mianian, on the other hand, bought Chung Xiao a suit, shirt, tie and whatnot. The last thing was a pair of shiny black leather shoes. She hadn't seen Chung Xiao in a suit until now. It should look good, right? The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth rose. This little woman, buying things can still think of him. Good. There is progress. He basically never wore a suit. Just before he studied to apply for a job. Only then would he wear a suit, or rent it from outside, because he didn't have to go and spend extra money to buy a set of clothes that he never wore. He was poor at that time. Do you, do you like it? Song Mianyang asked softly, just afraid that he wouldn't like it if he bought it. Cheng Xiao smiled and touched her head. I like it, as long as it's bought by my wife. I like it. Song Mianyang, oomph, just will mouth poor. You go to try to go. I see fit not fit, not fit returned. Good. Cheng Xiao went to the bedroom to try. A few minutes has not come out. Song Mianian thought what is wrong. Uneasy to ask, husband, what's wrong, doesn't fit? No response. She was a little anxious. Raised her steps toward the bedroom. Was about to open the door. The door was suddenly opened from the inside. A tall figure appeared in front of her. It was the same handsome face that was so handsome that people and gods couldn't understand it. Needing those eyes. For a while, she shyly turned her face away. Guilty. Wife. What's wrong with you? Doesn't it look good? Chang Xiao grinned, knowing that this little woman was shy again. After slowing down, she dared to look back. The seller said, This suit is handmade, made especially exquisite. A set of tens of thousands of it. Although the meat paint it, but wherein the husband looks good. It is worth it. It is not just tens of thousands of dollars. Not only is the suit, suit pants, shirt, shoes are basically handmade. The price is very expensive. She could afford to spend money on Chang Xiao but not herself. Originally she had a lot of clothes. There was no need to buy more. Quite good looking. Chang Xiao is 185. This suit is like it was tailor-made for him. It fits well, with a hint of maturity. Unlike before, when he wore a more student-like look, outsiders couldn't tell that he was a child's father at first glance. This face, if those girls outside were to see it, they would have to go crazy. Even if they didn't have the title of entertainer, they would still go crazy for it. Demon ah, with just a glance. Song Mian Mian froze, and when she came back to her senses, Cheng Zhao's handsome face had already come over and was face to face with her. Frightened, she stared wide-eyed, took a step back, stopped looking, and hurriedly headed for the sofa, lest she be flirted with by this guy again. Seeing the little woman running away with a red face, Cheng Xiao helplessly smiled, changed out of the suit. Well, this suit is not bad, after all, it is bought by his own wife. In the future there is nothing to go out to wear. Chang Xiao and Su Ying's hotness lasted for so many days. It went down, and there are new hot searches on top. Behind the scenes is also someone deliberately pressure. Chang Xiao is okay. Su Ying is definitely someone who intentionally pressed. On this day, Chang Xiao found Ethan and discussed the matter of recruiting artists. Chang Xiao's studio is also officially registered and certified. Chang Xiao also specially advertised his own studio. Currently he is the only signed artist. He hoped to recruit some outstanding artists, whether they are from the academy or not. As long as they have the talent and ideas in this area, they can all come over as trainees. Of course, the studio is still quite strict about selecting people. Not just anyone can be stuffed in. 
They must go through layers and layers of checks and balances. This was something Chang Xiao very much agreed with. Ethan understood his thoughts very well. Chang Xiao this advertisement. Microblogging once again boiled. Who let Chang Xiao fire? The idol actually set up his own studio, and those who had dreams of being an actor had already begun to move. Soon it was on the hot search again. Don't say why Chang Xiao is on the hot search. Now his every word and action is hot. None of the netizens have found his home address. They only know that he is from Qingzhou. They only know that he is from Qingzhou. They don't know anything else. And they don't even know which region he is in. Chang Xiao set up the studio office in the city center. Ethan did a proper job. Whether it was looking at the venue, decorating, everything didn't need him to worry about. The only thing left to do was to recruit artists. This kind of thing requires Chang Xiao himself to go over there in order to have the appeal. On the same day, Chang Xiao went over. He brought a mask and a pair of sunglasses, not wrapped tightly so exaggerated, very natural traveling. This way instead, he was not easily recognized. However, he underestimated the current fans too much. If you like someone, you will recognize them even if they turn into ashes. As soon as the studio opened, there were many people leaving messages on their official email. Ethan read them one by one, chose some that felt more reliable, and then one by one returned a private message to them, letting them come over to apply for the job. These people received the notice, but they were not ambiguous, and soon killed over. Chang Xiao drove to the studio location. He thought, now the studio opened. Have to recruit some people, Ethan a person is probably too busy. He had to bring up the baby, even less time. Boss, what do you think of this place? The office chairs and stuff, as well as the practicing room or whatsoever, are all arranged in a clear manner. Chang Xiao nodded, well, it's fine. After looking around, it's okay. The decoration and everything is quite good, very much in line with his style. Boss, this is your office. Ethan pointed to one of the doors. He went up and opened it. The office was monotonous pale gray walls. The desk was a good sandalwood table, and there was a sofa set next to it. Not bad. This office Ethan but deliberately arranged some it. Spent a little effort. He knew the boss like this style. Office space is quite large. There are also cubicles. Used to rest. It is not bad. Chang Xiao was satisfied. Trouble you. Ethan was somewhat flattered. No trouble. This is the boss. He gets paid. This is what he should do. Chang Xiao intends to rest in the office for a while. His head hurts a bit. Ethan had the good sense to close the door and go out. Now that there was no one in the company he could only act as personnel for now. It's too difficult. He's just a simple broker. Now he not only has to be the personnel, but also has to do the financial work. It's not like he's going to be able to recruit staff that quickly. Chapter 327 The Problem of Children Going to Kindergarten After thinking about it, he took the name of the company, registered his information, and recruited a few people on Wuba Tong Chang and also boss direct hire, less to go to the trouble of the boss his old man. Soon, he replied to the email to apply for the artist received the address are over. Come or some close or neighboring cities. Ethan had to ask questions one by one stiffly. Most were from art schools. More than 20 people ended up only 8 or 9 looked okay. When they were done, they told a few of them to wait for the notification to go. China. Somewhere in a forest villa. The atmosphere inside the villa was solemn and depressing. Master. We're pretty sure. This is indeed him. On the sofa, there was an old man in a tang suit. Probably around 50 years old. His pale wrinkled face had no expression. And a hint of suffocating solemnity floated in the air. The underlings were reporting something to him. He listened. Nodding his head from time to time. Master. Should we send someone to deal with him? The old master waved his hand. That's too abrupt. Let's wait and see what happens first. When the time is right, I'll go in person. Yes. Suing looked at the news from the person on the other end of the cell phone. At the moment, no Xiaoyi Shi person has been found. It's as if she has evaporated. No matter how to find it, it was not expected. Suing is going to be angry. Also panicked. Just afraid of what uncontrollable scene. This group of waste of rice bucket. Received the money not to do a good job. Let her to run away. She doesn't believe. That woman can still hide. I don't care. You guys took my money and still want to do nothing. Impossible. She was unforgiving. The person on the other end of the phone said, People don't know where to go. How do you let us get? If you have the ability to get her out, we'll get her killed. These words blocked Su Ying's face. How could she be blamed for this? How did she know where the person ran off to? At that time, when the person ran away, she immediately called and contacted them. This group of people specialized in this line of work and they couldn't even find anyone. What is it if it's not a rice bucket? Useless. Really angry with her. The whole 500,000 ah. For the sake of the future, she is not less than a point to give. The result told her that the man ran away. 
disappeared. Where else could such a big living person go? Can he just disappear out of thin air? Too fucking weird. You guys still have the nerve to say. I haven't even looked for you to settle the score after taking my money. You can't even find a person. What do the people under your hands do? Suing was also bad tempered. The person over there was also annoyed. All right. Are you this woman annoyed? Since you have received money, we will definitely help you find the person. This line has the rules of this line. Will not take the money and not do anything. If you want to continue in this business, you have to abide by the rules. Suing now felt annoyed when she saw anyone and coldly said, three days, if you haven't found it yet, hurry up and return the money to me. Refund? The man on the other end of the phone grimaced, let him get his hands on the money back? There was no such thing under the sky. People they will definitely continue to look for. The phone hung up. Suing has dropped everything she can at home, and with half a million dollars out of the way, she doesn't have much money left. Recently, she couldn't get a single advertisement for a drama. It really hurts her head. That dead fat man also refused to help himself. Recently public opinion is too big. And to Chang Xiao relations, we must know. Chang Xiao behind the back of the Zhang director support. There may also be other mysterious forces. It is not easy to move. Thinking about Chang Xiao and the forces behind him, think about it. She still has to climb on this man to do, even if it is to be a lover. She is willing, whether he has a wife or not. Not important. She so many gold masters, which does not have a wife which is not often out to cheat. It's not strange. Men who didn't cheat weren't like men anymore. Blame this group of damn brainwashed fans. Piss me off. Ah, suing was like mad all day. Seaside Villa. The weather is gradually getting cooler. Facing the sea is cold and whooshing. Going out without wrapping a jacket feels cold and shivering. There is heating in the house. And it's okay for the kids to run around the living room naked. Here to isolate the fishy smell of the sea. Or the wind blew. Not a mouth of salt. The location was chosen quite well. Song Myanian is weaving scarves for the four babies. Since nothing to weave a few after the skill. Often watching some tutorials on the internet. Some of the more difficult she will try. Weaving with style. Is now in the second baby to weave. Pink tender. Cute. She also specially bought some small rabbit. Small squirrel decorations. And so on after the completion of the paste on. How cute ah. Herbal loves these pink things. On the contrary. Fourth treasure hates it. She likes to be the same as her brother. Song Myanian had no choice but to knit the same as her brother. Blue scarf. Dark blue. Bought several kinds of what superfly ah. Woof woof team little character scarf decoration. When the time to get up. Cute. 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 These are the ones that baby boys like better. A couple of the kids are almost a year and a half old and will be ready for preschool in about six months. The issue of preschools they had discussed before. Chang Xiao does not want to send the children to preschool so early. Rather than letting the preschool kindergarten teacher to bring, it is better to let them bring their own. My wife is a proper school teacher, and she is also a university teacher. Is it not easy to teach a child? As it turns out, it's really not easy. A responsible teacher who can teach college students may not be able to teach the kids, especially DeBeo, who is still so small. How can I teach them? Unimaginable. Impossible to get started. Hubby, I think we still need to send them to preschool early. Song Myanian stopped her hand movements and said seriously. Oh, why? He remembered that his wife was previously very supportive of keeping the baby until he was around four years old before going to a kindergarten class. Why did she change her mind again? Sending him there at the age of two is too young. It wouldn't work. Look, if we send them there early, we may still be able to let the children learn something. And it's just as well to exercise four treasures, not to be too dependent on us. How can they be independent in society when they grow up later? Song Mianyang analyzed the situation. Chang Xiao actually felt that there were so many points of truth. However, he still couldn't bear it. Who could bear to send their own child over there and not feel comfortable not being around? It's good to keep the cute baby around for another two years. Going around the age of three was actually fine. Two years old. Really small. Hey, let's discuss it when the time comes. The children still didn't know what was happening. Much less that they would have to go to kindergarten in the future. The couple felt that the other three were okay, but Four Treasures was definitely not happy. When this little girl cries, what's going to happen? It's a worrying situation. The Four Treasures do not know mom and dad's worry. Take their favorite superfly toy to find dad. Chapter 328, Knowing a Little Skinny. Looking at his daughter's lovely appearance, Chang Xiao really can't bear to send her to kindergarten so soon. It's too cruel for such a small child. To say that Song Myanian is definitely also intolerant. When the time comes to talk about it, the children are still small now is true. The main thing is that I'm still uneasy about four treasures. This child does not want anyone. Other people simply cannot subdue her. Temper. And love to cry. 
can be difficult to manage, I don't know if she will rebel in the future. The couple is most worried about this little daughter. Wife, your scarf is not bad. Knit me one too. Chang Xiao smiled. Chang Xiao smiled. Song Mianian threw him a blank stare. Do it yourself. Your skills are better than mine. If you knit it yourself, it won't have the same flavor. Wife, you should knit it. Unable to withstand Cheng Zhao's softening, Song Mianian still decided to help him weave one, so as not to pester her. However, let's finish knitting the one on her hand first. Mistress, your hands are so skillful. Aunt Lin on the side smiled gently. Song Mianian smiled. Where? It's also been a long time since I learned. Aunt Lin, you should know it too. The older one should all know these. Aunt Lin laughed. I only know a little bit of skin. What the old man said about knowing a little bit of fur. That's more than just knowing a little bit of fur. Surely the hands are very clever. Weaving is particularly good. Song Mianian thought, there's nothing to do right now. Aunt Lin, would you like to knit? It just so happens that I have to go to the restroom. Aya, I don't need to. I'm old and my eyes are blurry. So it's not good if I knit wrong. Aunt Lin waved her hand. Song Mianian laughed. It's okay. If you knit it wrong, it's a big deal to start over. You try. Then, okay. Aunt Lin took Song Mianian's hand, looked at the stitches a little, and started on it. Song Mianian knew that this must be an old hand. At a glance, the technique was pure. She was stupid. There was such an awesome knitting expert at home, and she was still stupidly following the video to learn. I wonder if Aunt Lin felt especially stupid when she saw that learning look of hers. Well, it should be. Learning how to knit this and that, she fumed with herself several times. How could she be so stupid and unable to learn? It's too hard. Now that she was watching Auntie Lin knit, it was like it was so easy. There was no sense of difficulty at all. Unbelievable sight looked at Cheng Xiao. Cheng Xiao smiled. Wife, don't you have to go to the restroom? Oh, almost forgot. Song Mianian went towards the restroom. Where did she want to go on ah? It was just a random excuse. It seemed like she would have to ask Aunt Lin for advice in the future. Here was a ready-made teacher. She didn't even think about it. She didn't even realize it until she asked about it. When she learned to knit scarves, she would have to learn to knit shoes, sweaters, hats, etc. So she won't have to buy anything else. The main thing is to knit it yourself, so the children can wear it without worrying. A few minutes later, Aunt Lin was still knitting, and the speed was especially fast. The technique was much more professional than her, and also more professional than her husband at that time. Hubby, I feel like Aunt Lin is so powerful. Song Mianmian beeped in a small voice. Cheng Xiao rubbed her head and smiled. People probably used to rely on this job to support their family. Normal. What's wrong? You want to learn this from Aunt Lin? Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianian has completely fallen in love with knitting. In the future, maybe even rely on this to sell money. Anyway, a handmade hobby. Nothing to knit. Cheng Xiao lost his smile. His wife is at least a master's degree graduate. Highly educated intellectuals. How do you like these small handmade? He thought that if he had time, he would let his wife study for a doctorate and improve herself. He remembered Song Mianian mentioned that if she hadn't given birth to a child, she would have been ready to study for a doctorate if she hadn't been working to earn some money. And this could be a lump in her heart. It was probably a lump in her heart, a very big lump. She must still be thinking about it. But she just felt that she had to bring up the baby and didn't have the time. He's going to have to make time for grad school, too, and can't just sit at home all the time and do nothing. All of this would probably have to wait until the baby was older. Wife, do you want to continue studying? Shang Xiao asked. This sudden question caught Song Mianian off guard, why do you ask? She thought about it, but she didn't have the time. She still had to study for her doctorate and all that. How could she have time to accompany her children? In fact, for her, a master's degree was enough, not necessarily a doctorate. What's the point of getting a doctorate? What's the point of getting a doctorate? It's not like she needs to go out and do a good job. If she resumed work, she would just be teaching. It doesn't matter if she continues to upgrade her education or not. Let nature take its course. Chang Xiao could see that she still wanted to continue to study. But the children, upgrading your education and learning more knowledge, that's also a kind of upgrade for yourself. Chang Xiao smiled faintly, child you don't have to be too considerate. There's me, it's fine, but you but you don't even have time to go to graduate school. How can I be so bent on going to read a blog? No, studying for a doctorate is not mandatory to live in school. You can come back at any time. Chang Xiao said, Hey, what about you? Song Mianian didn't agree or refuse. I ah, uh, at home with the child. Graduate school when the child is older have time to go is not too late. Wife, you do not forget. I am three years younger than you. It is still not too late. The moment these words came out, Song Mianian felt like she had been hit in the knee with a sword. 
It was too solid. Even though a woman is three years older and holds a golden brick, she still felt embarrassed that she was younger than the boys. Oomph, Song Mianyang snorted coldly. Are you thinking I'm old? No, my wife is young and pretty and has a good figure. Where is she old? Cheng Xiao hemmed and hawed. Count on you to be sensible. Returning to the main topic, Cheng Xiao continued to ask, Wife, then you think about it? Things like taking the doctor's exam are still very important. They have to be discussed and decided before going. Song Mianyang rubbed her forehead. I'll think about it. As soon as the words fell, Aunt Lin on the side stopped moving and looked over. Ma'am, if you have that condition, I suggest it's better to go and upgrade your education. Aunt Lin was a person from the past. Of course she knew the benefits of having an education. All those who couldn't afford to study in her era couldn't find any good jobs in the back. They could only do hard labor, handwork and the like, to nannies, where there was a chance to sit in an office. Choosing not to study will be regretted when they grow up. Cannot afford to study that is also no way. Have this condition still do not read. That can be said to be capricious. Song Minyang nodded. Well, I'll think about it. Saying that, she looked towards the scarf that Aunt Lin had knitted. The one she wove and the one Aunt Lin wove out were one heaven and one earth. With a demarcation line, the two sides forming a sharp contrast, the good and the bad at a glance. Song Mian Mian, why is her knitting so trashy? What about knitting a scarf? This is all about patience. And details. Aunt Lin was explaining step by step. Song Mianian listened attentively. However, what was said was all on paper. Practice was the truth. Chapter 329, Eji Eats Hot Tofu. So, Song Mianian tried again. Ha da, or so, after all, she is too stupid. Cannot learn the essence. Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianian nodded. Aunt Lin had already gone to clean up. Song Mianian now has a great interest in knitting. Lazy to take care of this guy. I uh, will not ask Aunt Lin. A few days down also learned a seven or eight. Scarf a lot of knitting will be. Now is the sweater shoes or something is not quite good. These can only be learned again. So, she again pestered Aunt Lin to teach her how to knit sweaters and shoes. This was too enthusiastic. Knitting during the day. And then tinkering at night. The two of them don't have any private space anymore. He wants to. And she doesn't want to. Chang Zhao Studio has already recruited a lot of trainees. And there are even artists who have no choice but to terminate their contracts. The artists can be repackaged to debut in place. As for those trainees to see what happens, there are almost 20 to 30 people in total. All of them have been screened and everyone is willing to come. Especially when they know that Chung Xiao is the boss. They are willing to come. They may be able to learn something from their idol. Such as acting. Chang Xiao has already reached the level of a movie star. And is at the point of pure perfection. If you go to his studio, it will definitely help. If they could get his guidance, they would definitely be able to realize their dreams and make it big, and be able to let more people see their interpretations. Chang Zhao's calling power was awesome. Ethan had already recruited several staff members to come in, and the studio would definitely have to be like a normal entertainment company, opening many departments and finding more employees. Chang Xiao didn't care much about the studio. It was Ethan who was taking care of them, and he was the shareholder who was a shirker. Ethan clearly knows that this man is to bring children. He doesn't have time to come to the company often. The trainees were all eagerly waiting to see their boss, to discuss acting issues with him, or to sign an autograph and take a picture. Unfortunately, they didn't see anyone for a few days. On this day, Chang Xiao came to the company. The receptionist thought she was blinking. I'm going, the boss is here. She was hired here for many days. The whole time did not see the boss a glance. Today is the first time. The real person is really much more handsome than on TV. They are right. Chang Xiao now who does not recognize Ah, to stand there, can be recognized. Looking at the boss walking straight toward the front desk, without any expression on his handsome face, she couldn't help her heart beating faster. So handsome, too handsome, even forgot what he should say. Really this face, too attractive, cannot help but want to see Ah. Chang Xiao asked where Ethan was, the receptionist didn't expect Chang Xiao to take the initiative to ask questions with herself, and felt like her heart was going to stop. She forgot to breathe. The boss asked her, this this this, mechanically pointing upstairs, that, brother E is in the office, okay, thanks. After Chang Xiao finished speaking, he put on his sunglasses again and headed upstairs. Only then did the receptionist lady breathe a sigh of relief. Just now was so nervous, her heart was about to jump out. However, it is really handsome. Chang Xiao went upstairs to look for Ethan, who was still busy with his work, when suddenly the knock sounded. At a glance it was Chang Xiao coming. He hurriedly got up to greet him. Boss, why didn't you say anything when you came over? Chang Xiao raises his eyebrows. Is there a difference between saying and not saying? It's still coming anyway. For the next half an hour, 
Ethan spoke specifically about the company, he didn't even think that he as a senior broker would one day come to run the company. However, seeing that the boss had increased his salary with him, he had to do it even if he was boiling to death. It had to be done. Well, it's fine for you to take charge of these, there's really no need to ask me. There's also the matter of scripts and advertisements. You can properly pick up some suitable ones for the company's artists, or he'll invest in it and invest in his own artists to film it. In the early stages, he could even make a cameo in it to increase his popularity. Because of Cheng Zhao's name, there were still a lot of people willing to work with his studio now. All sorts of investors and producers came to them. Ethan felt that at this level, the studio's future was definitely good, and it could definitely grow into a large company in the future. Earning more petty cash money, thinking about it was exciting, and the work was full of motivation. All right, I'll take care of all these. Aha. Uh -huh. Chang Xiao nodded and instructed some other things. After that, he didn't linger much and left the studio. The Bowen Mall was also here, so it was just the right time to go to the store and take a look. It had been more than a month since he came over to take a look, and he didn't know how it was. Wang Jing that bastard said that everything was fine, and they didn't need to worry about anything. All kinds of accounts and so on have the store manager in, but not afraid of how it is. Chang Zhao's sudden arrival, killed Wang Jing a surprise, startled for a moment, almost thought he recognized the wrong person, and then looked carefully, is not his brother well, good guy, it's true, he hadn't seen him for a month or two, and since Cheng Xiao had said he was traveling, he hadn't come here until now, he thought it might take a long time, after all, Chang Xiao has always been a hands-off state, gosh, what kind of wind was blowing today that brought this big brother here, he wondered if he was dreaming, he felt that Chang Zhao's entire person had changed a lot, so much so that he almost didn't recognize him. Chang Xiao had already removed his sunglasses. Because of his high popularity, they all knew that this was his store. And at the moment, the crowd was so small and too crowded that everyone didn't recognize him for a while. Brother, why are you free to come over today? Wang Jing smiled. These days, Wang Jing's entire person had also changed, becoming a lot more mature. Ever since Chang Zhao's store opened, he hadn't been touching the game once. To him, Making money was most important. Nothing is more important than making money. A few days ago, he just paid the down payment. Now during the repayment of the mortgage, but must not work hard. Otherwise what to make a girlfriend? What to pay back the loan? Chang Xiao is the benefactor in his life. If it were not for him, Wang Jing feels that he graduated just like that. Maybe the early part of the day, but also rely on his parents to be able to eat. The old man is old. It was hard to give birth to him as a son, and now they are old. Where can they do anything? Thinking about how he played games every day before. What an asshole. Chang Xiao glanced at it. Casual. I opened a studio over there. You can go over and take a look when you have time. Wang Jing was dumbfounded. What studio? No need to think. It must be a lucrative business again. Studio? That's not a company. Brother actually opened a company. Oh my god. It's my personal studio. In the entertainment industry. Crap. Chapter 330 A Happy Family opening a studio so soon, oh no, it's a company, it's too awesome, then can I sign, Wang Jing flirted, unexpectedly, Chang Xiao said, if you want to, you can also, it just so happens that there is a shortage of people, crap, it's really possible, I'm just kidding, I'm not from a science class, I don't know how to sing and dance, not to mention acting, you let me go that's just a disgrace to go, Wang Jing snapped, but it is a disgrace to go, he does not know anything, nothing, Many artists in the entertainment industry are non-professional. Chang Xiao faintly said, The big deal is to be a trainee for a period of time. Then forget it. I'm not suitable. I might as well stay here and help out. The words just fell. And at this time, I don't know who in the crowd screamed. Ah, Chang Xiao. Is that Chang Xiao? Crap. It seems like hey. Ah 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 ah. I just came over to join in the fun today. I didn't think I could run into it. This is my luck. Ah ah ah. Still not sure if it is. In case I recognize the wrong person is not embarrassed to death. That's true. Let's take a look first. But, to be able to talk to the store manager for such a long time, it's hard for me to believe that he's not Chang Xiao. Ah. Did you guys see that? That height matches ah. A few people only saw the back, not the face. So they didn't dare to conclude. Also afraid of recognizing the wrong person. That person. Even if it is not Chang Xiao, it is still a handsome man. They decided. Even if it is not Chang Xiao, they have to go and ask for a WeChat to go. As soon as someone screamed, the store full of customers instantly boiled over. Chang Xiao put his mask on. But how could it be hard for these rabid fans? Brother, why don't you hurry up and leave? Otherwise these fans will definitely block you to death. The people who came here every day were all rushing towards Chang Xiao. 
bringing this mall's business up another level. There were quite a few more people coming every day than before, and there was an endless stream of people. One could imagine the terrifying flow of popularity. Once he came, these fans would probably have to go crazy. Cheng Xiao shook his head. No need. As soon as he turned around, even with a mask on, he was instantly recognized. This forehead, these eyes, but isn't it exclusive to their Xiao Xiaozi? The fans went crazy, but they were quite sensible, not desperately squeezing Chang Xiao, and even made a little space. How could they squeeze the idol? Xiao Xiaozi, I want an autograph. Me too. Me too. Everyone took out their books and handed them over. Chang Xiao smiled gently. One by one. Don't crowd. His fans were quite obedient, and told not to squeeze. Cheng Xiao signed one by one. When he finished signing, it was already an hour later. Wang Jing saw that there were still people handing it out and hurriedly came out and said, Your idol is also tired today, signing for you for an hour. Can you sympathize? When the fans thought about it, yes, they couldn't let their idol be so tired. So, they all took a step back and made way for their idol. Cheng Xiao was also really tired and his hands were sore. This generation of fans is really scary. When he came out of the mall, he was chased by a bunch of reporters and drove away from the place before they could catch up. Seaside Villa. As soon as Chang Xiao entered the living room, Song Nian Yang didn't know what she was pounding on, and he didn't even know when he entered. When he got closer, he realized that this little woman seemed to be hooking shoes for the baby. It is also almost the same as knitting. Chang Xiao. This is also too enthusiastic. It has been several days. Next to her, Aunt Lin is also helpless. Sir, it'll be fine when the wife's interest passes in a few days. Chang Xiao looked at the pile of wool and cried and laughed, nodded his head. Dad, I want that one. At some point, four treasures walked up to his feet, tugged on Chang Xiao's pants, and tilted his head to look at him. When the little guy smiled, he revealed a mouthful of little baby teeth, cute and adorable. Chang Xiao's heart melted, picked her up and pinched her nose, four treasures, what do you want? Brothers bumpy man, four treasures struggled to say oh tao man in a raw accent. Only the pronunciation wasn't very skillful yet. Oh, you want this ah. This kid, he actually knew how to say Ultraman. For Treasures nodded, his little expression adorable. Up close, For Treasures eyelashes were very long, as if they were butterfly wings, nice to look at. The eyes were big again, look especially spiritual. Chang Xiao was thinking, hey, how can his daughter be so good looking? How many people will miss her in the future? He has to protect her well. Such a good looking daughter. How can you let her suffer a little injury? Chang Xiao took down the Ultraman she wanted. It was a red Deja. So his daughter also believe in Light Ah? It's a Deja handpiece. It's quite exquisite. And I don't know who gave it to me. In fact, most of the toys at home are gifts from friends. Manny and Li Jean gave us a bunch of toys. They bought all the toys for kids who were one or two years old at that time. Once Aunt Lin cleaned up, it was all several boxes of toys. And there were two boxes all piled up in the basement storage to eat dust. Getting the Altman toys, the four treasures are particularly happy. Cheeky and went to find older siblings. The second baby has no interest in these. Older more like Barbie dolls that kind of pink things. Can be interesting. There are also teddy bears and so on. In short, small cars and Ultraman or something is definitely not her hobby. Give her do not want, prefer not toys. For treasures also didn't know why she liked boyish type of things. At this time, Song Myanian had already hooked a pair of shoes. Because small children's feet are small. Shoes are easy to get, and in a short while, she finished a pair. Dabeos, Dabeo, come to mommy. Song Mian Yang beckoned, Dabeo ran over in a frenzy, took him in her arms and started trying on the shoes. The shoes were solid blue, very monotonous, and gently slipped Dabeo's little feet into them. It fits just right. Dabeo also seemed to know that his mom was trying on new shoes for him, and didn't move a muscle, obedient as could be. A few others took one look at this and tottered it over. The meaning is self-evident. We want to try the shoes too. So I tried them on my second and third babies. They were a little big for the second baby. And the baby girl's feet were meant to be a little smaller. The fourth baby was even bigger. The third baby fit perfectly. Looking at the happy family, listening to the children's laughter. Aunt Lin was envious. If she had so many grandchildren, the heavens would have opened their eyes and she would have died of joy. Alas, who let her have such an undeserving son? He works all day long. As if getting married has nothing to do with him. There are no other hobbies in his head except making money. She doesn't ask for the girl's cell phone. She's 30 years old. She's really worried about her. She also knows that this cannot be rushed, but she is anxious. Afraid of the future more than 30. More no one wants. The older a man gets, the more difficult it is for him to get a wife. Girls are much easier to marry, no matter how old they are. I'm really worried. 
Chapter 331, Will the Boss Lady Mind? Seemingly seeing that Aunt Lin was in a bad mood, Song Mian asked, Aunt Lin, what's wrong? Aunt Lin smiled, nothing, ma'am, is she worried about your son's marriage again? Previously heard Aunt Lin said, is empty house car deposit? Just do not see a daughter-in-law, the old man this age, cannot worry about it? All worried to death, alas, he does not have this aspect of the idea I also cannot help, just to see when he got the hang of it. Aunt Lin sighed, without continuing this topic, Cheng Zhao's cell phone rang at this time, answer it, it was Ethan calling, his tone was a bit urgent, as if there was an emergency, boss, something's wrong, Cheng Xiao put the child on the carpet and asked, what is it, it's not a big deal, it's just that there's a girl here, saying she's looking for you, as if there's something particularly urgent, Ethan finished under his breath, here's her picture, saying that, he slapped the photo over, Cheng Xiao frowned when he saw this person, isn't this the little assistant of Su Ying? the female second in Shadow Hunt? Last time, he was scolded for accidentally stepping on Su Ying's shoes. She came here to look for him. What's the situation? Ask her why she's looking for me. Chang Xiao said. Ethan asked the question directly over there. Chang Xiao heard it clearly. Su Ying arranged for someone to hunt me down. I hid at my friend's house. They checked my address everywhere and found my friend's house. I had no choice but to escape again in the night and hid in a rotten building before they didn't find me. I have evidence in my hand of any bad things Su Ying has done. In fact, Chang Xiao wasn't interested in the so-called evidence of anything. However, the fact that this girl was made to suffer so badly was enough to prove that this Su Ying had an evil heart. Ethan was also wary. Who knows if this person is that what Su Ying intentionally sent to mess things up. The studio just opened. Anything can't be taken lightly. However, look at this girl's so woeful appearance. And feel not like a fake. People look thin. Dark circles. I seem to be concave a circle like. The whole person is shivering. Also does not look like pretending. He suspected that Chang Xiao was the same. How could a person who came from an unknown source not be suspicious? Ethan said, don't be afraid when you're here. Like this, it's getting late. I'll open a room for you. You rest for a night first. How about it? Ethan didn't know what to do. So he had to say that. Xiao Ya really want to be scared to death. Every day in the nightmare wake up. She wants to go to the police. But do not dare. Afraid of the police uncle's slow. Their own life is not guaranteed. So she thought to come to Chang Xiao for help. Chang Xiao can definitely help her. She knows a lot of that woman's secrets and evidence of her crimes. Enough to put her in jail. She saw on the internet that Chang Xiao's studio was open. And through channels she found the address and came over. Right now only this big star can help her. Although she knew that he probably wouldn't help herself for no reason. She just wanted to go out on a limb and put up a fight. What if Chang Xiao agreed? Right now she couldn't care less. When she heard Ethan say that he was going to help her get a room to rest, her head shook like a rattle drum and she refused 10,000 times. I don't want it. They will find me and kill me. Ethan clearly saw the fear in her eyes. It seems that what she said should not be false. Chang Xiao listened to the conversation between the two clearly on the other end. After pondering for a while, he spoke. Send her to me. Ha, huh? Ethan didn't react. The boss said. Send her to his place? Would the boss's wife mind? After all, she was a woman. Send her to me here. Chang Xiao repeated. Ethan awkwardly said. That, will the boss's wife mind? It won't. I've already greeted her. Chang Xiao said. That's good. Saying and doing. Ethan drove the car to carry Xiao Ye directly to Chang Zhao's seaside villa. For some reason, coming here gave Xiao Ye an inexplicable sense of security. Su Ying's people shouldn't be able to chase them here. Right? Song Mian Yang sat in the living room and frowned. Hubby, you really want to let that woman come over? In case, she wasn't afraid. She was just worried about the children. In case that woman had bad intentions, or had some kind of conspiracy, she would put the children in danger. It's fine. I'm here. The two of them were always with the children. Even when they were sleeping, they were all in the same room. And the children would be alerted in time if there was any danger to the system. He was prepared for these plans. Not long after, the people outside arrived. And Ethan brought Sayaka into the villa. Xiao Yi looked at this environment. If before, would definitely sigh. Big stars are different. Live in such a good house. Now only want to save their lives not to be taken by suing. Fear, fear, filled her brain and nerves. In the past few days, her nerves had been tense. Just afraid that those people would find her. Ethan brought the people and whispered in Chang Zhao's ear. Boss, no matter what, you should pay attention. Chang Xiao gave a hum. Looking towards Xiao Yi. You were Su Ying's assistant before, right? Did she really send people after you? Chang Xiao asked carelessly. Xiao Yi timidly nodded. Chang Xiao said to Aunt Lin. Aunt Lin, arrange a guest room out. Yes sir. Soon, the room was arranged. 
Ethan said a few more words to Cheng Xiao, then excused himself and left. Song Nianyang went to pour a cup of water and handed it to Xiao Yi. Have some to warm up your body. Xiao Ye froze for a moment when she heard such a nice voice, before she raised her head and a stunningly beautiful face appeared in her eyes. The first reaction was, so beautiful, so immortal. Is this a fairy? Thank you. Xiao Ye nodded and hurriedly drank water. Running away for the night had already made her mouth dry and cracked. Looking wretched, she desperately needed to drink water now. Drink slowly. Song Mianian's voice was very gentle. Very nice to hear. Just listening to it would make the heart unconsciously quiet down. Saying that, Song Mianian went to the house and took a set of clothes out. I haven't worn this dress yet since I bought it. You'll wear this after you take a bath later. Xiao Yi was flattered. This girl, she was too good, right? No one has ever been this nice to her. Thanks. Feeling her eyes getting a little moist. After Xiao Yi finished drinking the water, she took the clothes and went to take a shower. Half an hour later it was over. Only then Song Mianyang and Shang Xiao saw what she was supposed to look like. She was too messy just now. This was much better after a shower. The girl was quite clean looking. She didn't look like a bad person. Looked at Cheng Xiao, and then looked at the beautiful woman beside him. This, could this be his wife? Really, really pretty. How can Su Ying compare with her? One heaven and one earth. One fairy descends to earth. One vulgar powder. That's why she still thinks she can get Cheng Xiao. If he has such a beautiful wife at home, would he look at a woman like that? Chapter 332, How Uncourteous. She finally knew why Cheng Xiao would reject all the women outside. Not only because his wife was beautiful, but also because she was very gentle and soft-spoken. Like this. She, a woman, loved it. Not to mention men. Gives people a very comfortable feeling. The children a nap until now. The sky is already dark. See the family came to a stranger. The children are a little timid to hide behind mom and dad. Poking out a small head out to aim. Xiao Yi surprised. These are, Chang Zhao's children? Just the quadruplets that appeared on the online news. Only did not show their faces. Chang Xiao protects them especially well. Many media have photographed, just not the front face, even if there is also with a hat and mask, protection is especially tight. She finally knew the reason why the children did not show their faces, because these children are really too beautiful, not allowed to appear in front of the public, but also to protect the children, right, being so beautiful, they could easily be targeted by unscrupulous people. There are some rich and wealthy people, they like those beautiful looking female children, will buy in the hands of traffickers, no matter how old the child is. They can do that kind of beastly things. Now this look. These kids are really good looking. Especially one of the especially good looking little girl child. Delicate as a porcelain doll. Blinking a pair of big eyes. Hiding behind her mom and staring at her. Really too cute. That cute little face. With a bit of flesh. White skin. Delicate features. If it grows up how stunning it must be. As expected. Children born from good looking people are all so good looking. Xiao Yi looked at this moment and forgot to be afraid. It's because this child is too cute. Just as she was staring at the child unknowingly revealing her aunt's smile, Chang Xiao spoke out. Excuse me, what's your name? Ah, I, my name is Xiao Yi. Xiao Yi was a bit unresponsive. Her brain was a bit confused. How did you offend Su Ying? Cheng Xiao continued to ask. Xiao Yi truthfully said. I followed her for more than a year. During this year, she either beat or scolded me. A few days ago, I couldn't stand it anymore. So I came out of her apartment and she sent people after me, and then there was her going over to the studio for help, the reason she hunted me down was probably because I was holding her secret, criminal evidence in my hands, which I've organized on this flash drive, she handed the USB flash drive to Chung Xiao, and continued, I've been following her because she pays a high salary, and I have a brother who is bedridden, I have to make money to treat him, as she spoke, Xiao Ye was shivering, her eyes were slightly red, she was very afraid that she would be approached, and was also worried if there was anything wrong with her settled brother. Chang Xiao was in no hurry to see and nodded. Stay for a few days, and move out when things are over. Okay. Xiao Yi knew that it was already Chang Zhao's and their greatest tolerance. After all, she was just a stranger. It was good enough to let her stay for a few days. The two days went by without incident. Xiao Yi helped Song Mianian look after the babies for the past two days, grabbing whatever she could with Aunt Lin. She was very diligent, afraid of being kicked out. Song Mianian sighed, husband, what should we do now? This Xiao Yi, looked quite pitiful, it's too bitter. Chang Xiao said, I looked at the evidence she gave me, and there's no other way but to hand it over to the police. Earlier he looked at the things in that flash drive, this suing actually carried a human life on her body, and there are others, one by one, so many of them are recordings, there are also photos and videos and whatnot, the others can be exploded on the internet, but when a human life occurs, 
then it can only be handed over to the police to deal with. He was just going to wait and see what happened now. Maybe those people had already found out his address and would come over at night to look for him? Well, he was really right. The night was dark and windy. A good time to do bad things. Cheng Xiao is putting the baby to sleep. The little one sleeps too much during the day. This night, do not sleep. Cheeky run all over the place. Tube cannot control. You give her to hold the bed to lie down. Their own down again. The couple was helpless. No matter how serious the two of them. Scare. The children do not eat this set. Playing that called a happy. Suddenly a shout. The couple stood up in shock. A face full of question marks. What is the situation? This voice is not Xiao Ye's, right? As if thinking of something, Shang Xiao opened the door and went in the direction of the guest room. That side also happened to open the door. Xiao Ye's face was pale as she pointed out the window. Brother Xiao, there's, there's someone. Chang Xiao frowned, without the slightest stop. Wearing his pajamas, he opened the door and went out. Outside the darkness cannot see the fingers. Chang Xiao has a perspective function. After turning on, see the night as if it is daytime. He looked around. Soon, several men in black clothes came this way. One by one, they were holding knives in their hands. Obviously, outlaws. This kind of ones are just getting paid to do things. And it's hard for the police to catch them anyway. Brat, I advise you to mind your own business. The black clothed man in the lead said. Chang Xiao smiled. Oh, what if I have to mind my own business? We are just getting paid to do our job. We don't want to hurt the innocent. Hurry up and hand over the person and spare your life. Don't blame us for being nosy. How? I'm not handing over the person today. Such an outlaw must have a lot of lives on his hands. How could such a person let him go like this? Seek death. The leader of the group lightly snorted and snapped his fingers at the people behind him. Settle it. The people in the house. Leave no one behind. This group of people. They were also down on children. Chang Zhao's eyes went cold. Looking at the thug who rushed up with a knife. He stepped back and kicked the other person's chest. Only to hear a click. It seemed that the sternum was broken by the kick. The man immediately spat out a mouthful of blood. He fell to the ground and didn't move. They lost one person in this one round. And the leader's eyes widened. I didn't expect this brat to be quite a fucking fighter. Looking over and watching. For some reason. He felt that this brat in front of him looked so familiar. Quickly. It came to mind. Isn't this the star that's been so hot lately? It's actually him. Damn. Still quite capable of fighting. Brothers go. Take him down. Today. No matter what. We have to catch the person Su Wing was talking about. That woman has been hiked to death. Chang Xiao thought that having this divine fighting skill rewarded by the system was quite good. It felt as if there was an inexhaustible amount of power in his body. Plus the two times he washed his muscles and marrow. Except for martial arts scenes. I haven't fought anyone like this. Still one against six. It feels okay. Four or five brothers fell in a row. The leader finally panicked. So what the hell is a demon? So able to fight. Look at if not windy. Strong enough to break people's bones. Chapter 333, half a million dollars back to you. Could it be that today is going to be a ditch? After so many years, they haven't had anyone they couldn't solve. This is going to be a hard case. They had kicked against a steel plate that was not normally hard. As the last of his brothers fell, his heart instantly went cold. Looking at Chang Xiao walking towards him step by step, he instinctively backed away. You, don't come over. He didn't expect that this star was simply more ruthless than these outlaws of theirs too ruthless. Moreover, the strength was particularly strong. A slapdown could knock out a person's teeth. Ruthless. Don't come over. Chang Xiao was impatient. Too lazy to bullshit with him about anything, directly punching him in the face. The man instantly rolled his white eyes and fainted. Looking at the people on this floor, Chang Xiao took out the silver needle he had with him and stuck it somewhere on them. Then just left the person at the door and went inside. If this needle was not pulled out, they would not be able to wake up. And even if they did, they would not be able to move, much less speak, back inside the house, his demeanor instantly returned to its usual mildness, the children were still awake, playing in the house, Song Mianian really couldn't do anything with them, she knew that Chang Xiao had gone out to deal with something, and was so worried that the person never came back, she almost rushed right out, it's solved, you can sleep in peace, Chang Xiao said to Xiaoyi over there, Xiaoyi's face was still pale, nodded and went back to her room, this night, she didn't sleep, Thinking about the scene of being hunted down, the moment she closed her eyes were all sorts of frightening images. It almost suffocated her. As soon as she fell asleep, it was endless nightmares. The next day, Chang Xiao got up early to see those people. One was looking at him with their eyes open, but they couldn't get up or speak. Their eyes were filled with fear. Chang Xiao had become a veritable demon in their eyes. The feeling of not being able to move like this made their hearts fearful and terrified, and their souls were trembling. 
they swore that if they could, they would never mess with this person. They would rather return the money to Su Ying and not take this job. I've already called the police. You guys just wait here. Chang Shao looked at them condescendingly. In order not to scare his wife and child, he didn't let Song Nian Nian come out. Instead, he shouted Xiao Yi out. As soon as Xiao Yi saw the person on the ground, he was shivering like a mouse seeing a cat. His face was instantly pale, and his cold sweat was pouring down. This was fear from deep within. The people you said are after you. Are they them? Xiao Ye's person shivered. It's them, the people sent by Su Ying. The one in charge looked. So this bitch is really here. I should have known that I would have directly broken the window at night, or else I would have killed her by now, and the mission would have been accomplished, and half a million dollars would be theirs. Blame this playwright. Spoiled the good thing. Now become a fish on the chopping board of others. At the mercy of others. It's really in the gutter. The police soon came. Chang Xiao removed the silver needles from their bodies as fast as possible, and a few people, before they could slow down, were directly pressed to the ground by the police who came, handcuffed together. Trouble you two to come with us and make a statement. Thank you. The police looked at Xiao Yi and Chang Xiao. Okay. Chang Xiao said hello to Song Mian Yang and got into the police car. In the police station, he directly gave the USB drive to the police. They had their own decision. In the interrogation room, those outlaws were being questioned, and in a short while, they told the whole story. It was Su Ying who paid them to go after Xiao Yi. The police had been calming the frightened Xiao Yi to say how this Su Ying was burdened with human life. At that time, the company she signed with had an actress who came in at the same time as her, and because of her good looks and good acting skills, she became hotter than her and the company was willing to support her, thus harboring a grudge. She thought she wasn't bad either, so why should she give all the resources to that woman? It's not fair. Introduced to this group of outlaws, dragged the actress to the woods and raped and killed her, and then also threw her off the cliff, destroying her body. The police searched for half a month before they found the incomplete body, which was gnawed and rotted by wild beasts, only the bones were left, and after comparing, it was the actress, outlaws kill and run away, the police cannot find any clues, suing has already constituted the crime of intentional homicide, although he did not do it himself, but he cannot avoid decades of prison, the police have quietly arranged for someone to go to Su Ying's house, what is Su Ying doing here, lying on the sofa with a mask, she took out her cell phone and dialed the phone to the head of the outlaws, black 3, Hei San's cell phone was placed at the interrogation table, and the interrogating police officer frowned at the fact that it was that suspect Su Ying who was calling, you should know how to say it, right, the policeman glanced at Hei San, no no, now he only wished for jail time, not the death penalty, he really didn't want to die. Jail in jail can still get a reduced sentence if he reforms well in jail. Later come out or a man. Suing put on a mask and said, Did you find her people? Not yet. Hey San said in his usual tone, You bunch of losers. You can't even find someone. What are you doing for food? I gave you half a million dollars. And how many days have passed? She had to check the internet every day to see if there was any negative news about herself. It was only when she saw none that she would breathe a sigh of relief. It seems that bitch doesn't dare to act rashly. Black 3 said, Do you really think people are that easy to find? Who knows where the dead girl has fled to? Forget it, half a million dollars refunded to you. Speaking of refunding money, Suing actually panicked a bit. Wouldn't that let that Xiaoyi get away with it? She can't find someone like Black Mountain for a while now. Looking for an assassin. She couldn't afford a seven-figure honorarium. What can she do? Forget it, you can hurry up and find her for me. Suing frowned. She had just hung up the phone and before she could catch her breath, a knock sounded outside. She had ordered takeout earlier and thought it had come. As soon as she opened the door, she only saw several men with guns standing at the door, pointing their guns at her, hands up. Suing was confused. What the hell? Soon, she was pressed against the wall. Her hand was immediately clasped by the other's hand, and a pair of cold handcuffs were brought up. We are police officers. We found out that you have a great relationship with a murder case. Please come with us. The plainclothes police officer in the lead took out his police officer's license and said with an expressionless face. Su Ying was dumbfounded. Mr. Police? What are you talking about? Is there some kind of misunderstanding? Let's talk about it when we get to the police station. Thus, she was escorted to the police car in full view of everyone. In the interrogation room, the police officers threw her a bunch of photos. This person, do you recognize him? Su Ying glanced at it, and a hint of fear clearly flashed in her eyes, hurrying to shake her head. No, I don't recognize her. Really don't know? Suing, I really don't know. Mr. Policeman, I've always been a good citizen. I've never done anything bad. I. Chapter 334, Debeo Sunbao's Height. The policeman slapped his hand on the table. It's come to this. 
and you're still dead set against admitting it? Why are you so vicious? This is a star from the same company as you. You don't recognize her? The police then provided a video and recordings. These recordings were basically secretly recorded by Xiaoye when she was with her because she really couldn't stand to see suing grassing on people like this. The police did not expect that the murder case that they had not solved for a year would be solved just like that. And they really had to thank that young man for not only catching Hei San and the others, but also catching the person who started it. With all the evidence in front of her, Suing was still struggling for her life. Mr. Police? Someone must have framed me. I really didn't kill him. I don't know anything. You didn't kill? Indeed. You didn't kill. But you hired someone else to rape and kill her. This not only constitutes the crime of murder. There is also the crime of rape. It is necessary to go to jail. There are also all these. All the things that you went to harm people. One by one. One by one. You still don't admit it? The police were furious and slapped the table. This woman is really lawless. A society with the rule of law. Completely disregarding human life. Suing was speechless. And in her heart, she already hated that bitch Xiao Yi and regretted it. She didn't expect Xiao Ye's counterkilling to be so ruthless. Su Ying's photo of her being escorted to the police car was taken and sent to Weibo. And almost instantly it was on the hot search. With the word boiling added after the hot search. She already had a bad reputation recently. This time, more netizens scolded. This woman just deserves it. Die early. That's right. I've long been tired of seeing her. Before I thought she was just obnoxious. I didn't expect that. But she actually committed a crime. Because the photo has been handcuffed. It must have committed some major crime. Only then would she be caught. Definitely. Maybe it was tied to human life. The netizens were all guessing one by one whether suing. This woman. Had taken a human life on her back. Was caught by the police. Or had committed some other unforgivable great crime. Otherwise how could it be possible to get to the point of imprisonment? Because once this handcuffs were put on. The god of heaven couldn't save her. Serves him right. The internet was still full of curses. In the interrogation room. Suing cried with pearly blossoms, Officer, those are all things that someone forced me to do, it has nothing to do with me, I was also cheated ah, oh oh oh, the interrogation police cannot eat her this set, you die duck hard mouth is ultimately no match for the evidence, to admit mistakes, this is the basic reason, when you read your teacher did not teach you, his voice was so loud that everyone outside heard him, the police guarding the door shook their heads helplessly, all at this time, still not admit it, stubborn, this will definitely be sentenced to a few more years in court. Murder is a fact. This kind of human and God's indignation. With the defense attorney present, there was probably no way to get her sentence reduced. Rape and murder is a big crime. Black 3 will be sentenced for all of these. The one who committed the rape and murder will get the death penalty. Chang Xiao and Xiao Yi were ready to go back. Out of the door of the police station. Chang Xiao said, There's nothing more to do now. You can go back to your own home and see your brother. Xiao Yi turned her head and took a step back towards Cheng Xiao. She bowed 90 degrees. Thank you, Mr. Cheng Xiao. Thank you. Cheng Xiao didn't say anything. This time it did help her out. Let me send you back. The car drove to a slum. Cheng Xiao followed Xiao Yi to a very shabby house. This kind of house was similar to some old houses in the countryside. Is this where they live? My brother was hidden in the cellar by me. I don't know how he is after so many days have passed. Xiao Yi was filled with guilt. From the very beginning, she shouldn't, shouldn't have been that woman Su Ying's assistant. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been this whole bunch of things. Not only did she get herself involved, but she also almost got her own brother involved. After all of this, she would never be a celebrity's assistant again. It is too dangerous. Chang Xiao knew that it would be inconvenient for him to go back in and said, I'll go back first, you take good care of your brother. After saying that, he drove away. Seaside Villa. Song Mianian asked, Hubby, how's it going? I just saw Weibo. That suing was on the hot search because she was arrested. Plus those movements last night and the things on Xiaoye. It's been taken care of. And those people who were after her are already at the police station. That's good. Then Xiaoye shouldn't be in trouble anymore. Right? That girl gave her a pretty good impression. Quite good. Just a bit quiet. People are very hardworking. Willing to do anything. And help her coax the baby. Cheng Xiao sighed and said. I won't care about these things in the future. In fact. If you don't enter the entertainment industry. There won't be so many things. Doing business every day and keeping the baby company was also good. The babies had gone from crawling at the very beginning to running on the ground quite fast now. However, it's inevitable that a child of this age will have bumps and bruises. A bruise here. A purple patch there. It's all very normal. For example, San Bao, before running and running, fell to the small knee. Another day on the purple. The child's skin is white and tender. And it looks scary. 
When Song Myanian saw it, she didn't let him run, but she couldn't control it. The kid doesn't listen to you. He still runs. He can't control it. Cheng Xia picked up San Bao and smiled slightly. Wife, San Bao has weighed a lot lately, a little heavier than Debeo. Recently, San Bao's food intake has increased, and he has gained some weight. The little guy's two sides of his little face were red and moist, and he was having fun. Moreover, Cheng Xiao also discovered that the two boys, Debeo and San Bao, are not short. Both are almost one meter. To know, this is only one year old. In the future, when they grow up, they will definitely not be short. This will be able to please the little girl. However, Debeo they are not worried. Just this brat stares at other people's beautiful women every day. Still worried that he cannot find a daughter-in-law? As long as he doesn't become a scum, the rest is whatever he wants. Wife, why don't we send the two of them to kindergarten first in another year? Chang Xiao smiled. Sons are definitely more sensible than girls. Two treasure four treasure he can't send away so early. After all, is still small, and is a girl child. How can he give up? Sure to wait for some of the grown up. Song Nian Yan sweated. Are you emphasizing girls over boys? Seeing that his wife's expression is not very happy. Chang Xiao hemmed and hawed. No ah, uh, wife. I'm just kidding. Humph. No. If you want to send them together, how can you send Debeo and the others ahead of time? If you dare to send them, I'm not done with you. Song Myanian snorted coldly. Really any joke. Son, isn't a son the same as a daughter? She couldn't even spare them. Wife. Think about it. Boys. They definitely need to go out early to exercise and get in touch with other kids, so that they can take care of their younger sister when she goes to primary school. Chapter 335 Song Myanian's Exam. Chang Xiao said it all, making Song Nian Nian not even know what to say. What he said actually makes a little bit of sense. Early to go, the younger sister will be able to take care of her when she goes. Indeed, there is such a reason. But why does she always feel that something is not right? For a moment in time, her brain is not very good. She couldn't turn the corner. What's wrong with her? Since the birth of the child, always feel that everything in the brain is slowly changing as if, always feel that the memory is not as good as before. In the past, when reading, as long as a little bit of learning will be, now a lot of things need to learn for a long time will be. I don't know what's going on. I cannot think of it simply do not want to. Thinking about Chang Xiao said this, it makes sense. If you send them there early, let them get used to kindergarten one day in advance. And in the future, it will be better for the two girls to go to the kindergarten, so that they will have a brother to take care of them. Because of this matter, she was torn for a night. She couldn't bear to send them early. But if she didn't go, she would cry her eyes out if she sent her four children there in the future. If the two older brothers get used to it, they can still take four treasures with them, so she shouldn't cry too much. After getting used to it, it will be fine. After thinking it through, she said, Hubby, I've decided. Next year, I'll send the eldest three babies to kindergarten first. Decided? Decided. Cheng Xiao smiles helplessly. This matter can even entangle a little woman for a night. It's adorable. Debeo, we'll send you to school next year oh. Chang Xiao touched Debeo's little head. Debeo seemed to understand and showed a smile towards Chang Xiao. Daddy. This sound of daddy called. Let Chang Xiao cannot send him to kindergarten. There's nothing he can do about it. He has to go to kindergarten in the morning and at night. Both husband and wife can't let go. This matter is still next year. There is no hurry now. Chang Xiao waved his hand and smiled helplessly. Song Mianyang nodded inside. After all, she still had to go to school. Wife. I think our children's grades will definitely be good in the future. Why? Song Myanian asked suspiciously. Where did this man get his confidence? My wife that's a master's degree graduate. Isn't she the best home teacher? Chang Xiao smiled. You cut it out. Oh right. Wife. When are you going to go for your doctorate? Have you thought about it yet? Chang Xiao just remembered. Exam? I haven't thought about it yet. Song Mianyang shook her head. How could she think about it so quickly? She wanted to go but didn't want to go. The reason she didn't want to go was because she couldn't let go of her babies. By the time she got to the doctor's program, she would have to go to school every day and have classes, so she wouldn't have time to spend with her kids. Wife, it's okay, everything has me, you don't have to worry about the kids, there's Auntie Lin, if not, let's bring mom over to bring them along. Chang Xiao couldn't do anything about her. That, that's fine, but I haven't read the information yet. Everything is ready before she can go for the exam. She's afraid that she'll forget a lot of things. After all, it's been a year or two since she's learned anything. I believe you can. Chang Xiao pinched her face. Song Myanian took down his salty pig hand. I've told you not to pinch my face. It's all pinched and ugly. My wife is so beautiful. How can I say ugly? You just know how to be poor. Song Myanian went over with a pink fist and hammered on his chest. 
Chang Xiao had a plan. Ah, it hurts. Song Mianian was startled. What the hell? She just lightly hammered. And this hurts? Hubby, are you okay? Did I hurt you? She hurriedly peeled his hand away and rubbed it. Is it okay? Chang Xiao nodded. It just hurt a little for a moment. It's fine now. Song Mianyang frowned, seemed to react to something, and punched over again. You you, you're pretending. This man, too much, actually pretending to be in pain to scare her. Really annoying. Cheng Xiao was really hammered in pain this time. He didn't dare to shout out for fear of ushering in another punch from his wife. Humph. Song Mianian ignored him and went to sit aside to play with the kids. This man is always like this. Forget it. Ignore him. Time passed. A few months passed. Song Mianian has already studied almost. Already ready to take the exam. This day was the day of her exam. Chang Xiao early in the morning to send her to the examination room. The children at home did not bring out. There is Aunt Lin to watch them rest assured. The children brought over instead of inconvenient. Before entering the examination room, Chang Xiao touched her head. Wife, do your best to play just fine. Did not get the test is also okay. Do not have psychological pressure. Got it. I'll go then. There are still quite a few candidates passing by on this side. Seeing this pair, they can't help but look over with a face of envy. The boy is so tall. Looking at the side is a handsome man. The girl is also beautiful. To come to the examination, it means that he is already a master's degree graduate and wants to continue to improve. A proper school bully ah, even if he is a bully, he is also so beautiful. Hey, can't compare, can't compare, really can't compare. The key is that she has such a handsome and considerate boyfriend. You can't compare people. People can't compare with others. There are Cheng Zhao's fans here. And there are also those who are not. Looking at this back, how do I look familiar? Crap, why does this boy look so familiar? What's wrong? The girl next to her asked. No, it's just that I think he looks so familiar. Yes, 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 like my Xiao Xiao Z. The back, and the height, too similar. When you say it like that, it's really ha. Huh? Why don't we go take a look? It's not necessary. In case we recognize the wrong one. How embarrassing. That's true. Even if it's not Cheng Xiao, he's still handsome. If it's him, that girl should be his date. Right? I love this touching head. Okay, the exam is about to start. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. Everyone entered the exam room one after another. Cheng Xiao hugged Song Mianian a bit to give her a little encouragement. Wife, I'll be here on time to pick you up. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I'll go then. Go. Chang Xiao turned around and walked towards the car. This turn around was really recognized by the fans. I Lua Go. It's really Xiao Xiaozi. My mom. We didn't recognize the wrong ah. Tian La Lu. Signatures. No chance. It's time for our exam. Ah. It's a pity. Chang Xiao had already gotten into the car. Keeping track of the time and coming to pick up his wife when it was time. Until Chang Xiao left. They all felt pity that they didn't even recognize him just now. It's really a shame. They couldn't even recognize their idol. They should have rushed up to ask for autographs at the first opportunity. However, thinking that his object was also here, it was as if he was one step closer to his idol. His wife is so beautiful. It was really enviable to see a talented man and a beautiful woman. Song Mianian was sitting in her seat, wearing a mask, and always felt that the people around her were looking at her with some strange eyes, and even some envy. It made her uncomfortable. Chapter 336 Female Scholar She's really pretty, so envious. Yes, yes, if it's just pretty I'm still a bit unconvinced. After all, it's just a vase. But, she's pretty and talented. No wonder the idol would like her. That's right, if it were me, I would also like it. Some people liked it, and some people were upset. Che, what's wrong with that? There are a bunch of good-looking and talented people. She's just lucky. As soon as those words of hers fell, those fans of Chang Zhao's immediately got upset. To scold Xiao Xiaozi's wife, that was also scolding them. And so, Aya, uh, some people that, they don't look good. People with beautiful parents say that people are lucky. I've seen sour. I've never seen such sour. That's right. Look at the bearish look, and have the face to diss our sister-in-law, as far away as possible. The fans are very defensive of Chang Xiao, loving the house. Surely they even brought his wife with them. No one was allowed to bully her. The woman blared and didn't dare to speak anymore. She was also afraid and wimped out. Afraid that these people are serious. When the time comes to film it, cyber violence she will be finished. Soon, the invigilator came in holding the test papers. One by one, they were sent down. The moment she saw the questions, it seemed like everything was within her expectations. Doing down one question after another, she actually didn't find it that difficult. Occasionally there will be a few difficult questions. 
I do not know if I did not do it wrong. This time the test will not be able to pass. Everything will be as it is. If you can't pass the test, there's nothing you can do but go home and take care of your kids. It's good to have the kids around. By the time she finished writing, several people had already handed in their papers. After finishing the last question, she hurriedly handed in her paper. Going home, she had a feeling she couldn't stay here much longer. When she ran to the door, Chang Xiao was already waiting there. It wasn't until she got into the car that she felt much safer. Ah, missed the chance to get an autograph from the idol again. Pity pity pity. It's okay, there will definitely be another chance to meet the idol. Sisters, don't be discouraged. On the road. Honey, how was the exam? Were the questions difficult? Chang Xiao asked while driving. Song Mian Yang shook her head. It was okay. That's good. What if I didn't pass? Song Mianian asked. Chang Xiao didn't care and smiled. It's okay if you didn't pass. Just try your best. The result doesn't matter. It's the process that counts. And if you work hard, you won't have any regrets. Husband. Song Mianian was about to be moved to tears. Well, as long as we're happy and joyful, what do we care about the rest? Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianian nodded. She had a lot on her mind and was torn. If she passed, she would definitely have to go to school and study. So she wouldn't have much time to spend with her children and husband. If she didn't pass, she also felt a little hard in her heart. Examination and master's examination are all the way through. If so hang on the examination. She wondered if she really gave birth to a child born stupid. Born with a lowered IQ. What a headache. After arriving home, seeing her in a sullen mood, Chang Xiao knew that it was time for him to start comforting again. Wife, you ah, uh, still have to look away a little bit. Hang up just hang up. Husband support you. Besides, my wife is already great. Master's degree is already a very high degree. Chang Xiao pinched her face. He was a bit helpless. This little woman is just too sentimental. It is easy to overrule herself. Chang Xiao persuaded her for a while before Song Mianian's mood slowed down. No matter what, she at least has such a good husband, right? That was enough. I know. Over or under let it be. Well, that's right. In the evening, the two of them took the kids for a walk and blew in the wind as usual. The sea breeze blew over. Fishy and salty. Chang Xiao thought about it and laughed. Wife, why don't we go over to mom's side and show the kids the square dance? It's been a long time since I've taken the babies to a crowded place. Song Mian Yang didn't refuse and nodded. That's fine. It wasn't very far away anyway. Saying they were leaving, the two quickly drove out. The babies were especially excited to know that they were going to go out to play, and were babbling and singing there. Although they didn't know what they were singing, they were almost a year and a half old, and had no problem with basic speech. Chang Xiao usually taught them. Mommy, where are we going? Erbao asked with a soft voice. Song Mian Yang smiled back and said, Let's go to grandma's house. Okay? Good hey good hey. Erbao was very happy. The only one, fourth treasure, was high and cold, and didn't say anything. Her little face was facing out the window, and she even grunted. Song Mianian pinched her little face. Four treasures, what are you thinking about? Why mom went to grandma's house again? Don't you want to go? We haven't gone to see grandma in months. Song Mian Yang said, for treasures didn't say anything. It was quite cold. Chang Xiao couldn't help but laugh. This character of four treasures, I don't know who he inherited it from. The more he grows up, the colder he gets. The second treasure is like a little girl, but the fourth treasure is like a tomboy. AI. Soon, we arrived at the old neighborhood. Coincidentally, I ran into Li Yingchun at the entrance. It's been a long time since we've been in contact. Li Yingchun grunted. You haven't contacted me in the past few months. I've been busy with exams this recent period. Sorry about that. Song Mian Yang smiled in embarrassment. Exams? Aha. Uh -huh. Recently took the blog exam. Li Yingchun people stupid. Exam? I Lu ago. She didn't hear wrong, right? Her classmates have already reached the level of the doctorate? Too bullish. Wow. You are awesome. Li Yingchun's mouth opened into an O word. It's still unknown if you'll pass the exam. Song Mian Yang sighed. It's okay, no matter if you get in or not, you can't be discouraged ah, even if you don't get in, it's okay ah, you're already high enough with this education, it's unattainable for us classmates, Li Yingchun said, the former classmates actually out of a doctorate, too awesome, I think the former teacher of their class teacher Meng should be very proud of it, right, it's a pity that the old man went early, she must make sure to talk about this matter in the group, so that certain people would not be shady day in and day out. After Song Mian Mian and the others separated, she went home and told the group about Song Mian Mian's doctoral exam. It was the end of the day. Everyone was on the subway or on the bus. And when they saw this news, they all exploded. Oh my god, exam? Well, I can't hope for that. 
worthy of being a female goddess of learning. It's so awesome. If you get into the exam that's a doctorate. There's actually a doctorate in our batch. Bull. Looking at the stream of comments, Gu Chunhua coldly hummed. Coldly, she said, isn't the result still pending? What's there to be happy about? Li Yingchen loves to dislike this jealous woman, even if you didn't pass the exam. You're still a serious master's degree holder. Much better than you. Gu Chunhua, you. At this time, I don't know who in the group. Suddenly sends a sentence of lying down. Chapter 337 Identity Revealed. When this crouch came out, it subdued several people. What's going on? What happened? What's the situation with this crouching sentence? At this time, the person who had sent the sleeper sentence sent another picture. For a while, the group was silent. That picture, a screenshot from Weibo, showed Song Mian Yang going to the exam site and embracing a person. That person's body type should be her husband Yi Fei. However, the person who posted the picture said that the man was Chang Xiao, a big star. Chang Xiao, what the hell is this? Isn't Chang Xiao the star of the show? They were chasing the drama a while ago. Turns around and the goddess is hooking up with him? Doesn't she already have a husband? It's even been blown out and seems to have gotten the netizen's blessing. What's going on here? Why did it feel a bit off? Gu Chunhua didn't understand the situation. As long as there was an opportunity, she would take advantage of it. Only to see her coldly snort, yo yo yo, is this flattering a big star? It's true. You can really do whatever you want with your posture. Now I'm wondering if her degree was bought by sucking up to a big shot. Li Ying Chun, why don't you say anything? Are you weak-minded? Li Ying Chun was laughing, not being vain. This time, let's see how she would hit this woman's face. Gu Chunhua now only thought about how to make Song Mianian and Li Ying Chun make a fool of themselves. Let you guys keep fooling around. Now that the scandal with the star broke out, if that star knew Song Mianian was a watery woman like that, she definitely wouldn't let her off the hook. If that star knew Song Mianian was such a flirtatious woman, he would never let her go. The more she thought about it, the more excited she felt. Highly educated? Pretty? In the end, she was nothing but a vase. In the end, it will be discarded. Pretty can be made up. Education can be faked. Let's see how she can still claim to be a pretty girl in the future. But it is just an empty vase. Nothing. What she hated the most was this kind of person who sympathized every day. She was now sitting around waiting for things to blow up. That star loathed Song Mian Yang. He shouldn't have been kept in the dark. By now, she was afraid that she had already seen that Weibo post. Li Yingchun had been waiting for a punch in the face and had pressed on. She had asked Song Mianian if her husband's identity could be revealed. After waiting for a while, Song Mianian wrote back, Yes, mainly Song Mianian is also afraid of making more trouble. Forget it, it's better to tell everyone, lest there be any misunderstanding. Li Yingchun as if she got got the holy decree, quickly went to the group and said, Certain people further wild speculation beware of old lady I tear your mouth. Mian Mian last time just because she was afraid of exposing her husband's identity only chose to hide it. Gave a name called Yi Fei. Face is also just put on imitation makeup only. He is Chung Xiao. Li Yingchuan's remark caused the entire group to fall silent. Not a single person spoke. Everyone was as quiet as a chicken. It took a while before someone came out to speak. Really? The goddess's husband is big star Chung Xiao? I can't believe it. Li Yingchun continued to narrate. She was enjoying this feeling of punching Gu Chunhua in the face. She zoomed in and sent out her back. Finding some details, she said, Don't you guys realize that this back and this height matches Yi Fei's? Everyone was still a bit skeptical. Can you draw imitation makeup to transform your face into another person? That's a bit too much. It's simply impossible. Okay? Gu Chunhua was still bringing up the tempo in the group. Without evidence you say her husband is the big star Chang Xiao. Why should we believe you ah? You just a mouth will say. Swish. She directly sent Cheng Xiao and Song Mian Mian's sister's marriage license. On some places must be coated outside, looking particularly clear. It looked like it had just been taken. The crowd was dumbfounded. It was hard to believe that it was really her husband? This, this world is also too damn fantastic right? Cheng Xiao, could it really be her husband? This this this. To say that the most disbelieving face most ugly belongs to Gu Chunhua. How is it possible? How can this be possible? That marriage license must be a P picture. It must be. Anyway, she didn't believe that she was really married. It must be a fool's errand. Li Yingchun, why don't some people come out to speak? Just bring the rhythm is not still jumping quite happy. Come out ah. This marriage certificate cannot be faked. The Civil Affairs Bureau seal is still there. After everyone had seen it, she hurriedly withdrew it. I'm afraid of people who have the heart to save it to use it illegally and indiscriminately. Nowadays, there are all kinds of people. Maybe there are some in this group. One can't be too careful. Who knows if this Gu Chunhua will hide any bad intentions. This woman has a belly full of bad water. 
and she definitely often wreaks havoc on people behind their backs, she definitely can't let her have her way. With the marriage certificate, everyone is completely convinced that Chang Xiao is Song Mian Mian's husband, so that day was a makeup imitation ah, this imitation makeup is too damn like it, it's like a different person, but this height, body type, but cannot deceive people. Seeing that everyone believed, Gu Chunhua gritted her teeth. Li Ying Chun, are you so upset with me? Am I the one who has trouble with you? It's you who can't live with yourself. Li Ying Chun laughed coldly. This woman still has the nerve to hit back. How did she have the nerve to say it? Really shameless. While the two were fighting, the group had exploded and boiled over. Chang Xiao is now a popular star. Suddenly learned that their classmate's husband is Chang Xiao. This, this feeling, feels so magical ah, even a little unbelievable because this is really too unreal. After all, Chang Xiao was a movie star. Unattainable. It turned out that the person they saw last time was Chang Xiao. It was too exciting. They didn't even recognize him. There were many of these female students who were Chang Xiao's fans, and at this moment, they were doing nothing but screaming or screaming. Oh my god, we actually didn't recognize the idol last time Lu. What a sin. Alas, missed an opportunity to sign a photo. Could have gone to Weibo to brag about it. Those people will definitely envy us. Yeah, yeah, hey, it's a shame, didn't recognize it, boing boing, why am I not fiery eyed, each and every one in the group regretted it, Song Nian Yang looked at these classmates, several of them added her, and it made her scalp numb, she didn't know whether to agree or not, Li Ying Chun had become her agent, and she had to ask Li Ying Chun what to do, in the aspect of dealing with people, she was not good at it, you guys just don't add me on Mian's micro signal, it will cause trouble for people, Li Ying Chun said, then hurriedly had Song Mian Mian set up to refuse to add friends in any way. Only then did it clear up a bit. Those women in the group also understand this. To also did not say anything. The big deal group chat chant. And will not lose a piece of meat. Gu Chunhua looked at the humming. What pose ah? Li Ying Chun see her want to scratch her to death. This woman is cheap. Do not see the coffin not tears of the kind of people. Chapter 338. Jumping into a mud pit. People even if they put on airs also have that capital to put on airs. Unlike some people. Village woman 1. Don't know what is rampant. Other people's children can go to noble academy. Your families can? Li Ying Chun angry too. Really not she despised the rural. Because she herself. Really this woman is too uneducated. Simply sick. So. The two of them argued again in the group over the topic of rural people. Gu Chunhua balked at Gu Chunhua despising rural people. Despising rural people. It was another scolding battle. When Song Mianian saw this. She only felt a headache. She thought. Just don't take care of it. A person can't jump up and down. It's really two wrongdoers. Forget it. Turn off the cell phone. The couple took the baby and headed to the unit building where Song Qin lived. When they arrived, they knocked on the door. The door was open from the inside. Song Qin saw that it was her daughter-in-law and son-in-law and immediately smiled. Come in quickly. The children had grown up a lot. And after not seeing them for a long time, the way they looked at Song Qin was already a little rusty. Especially four treasures. Hiding behind her mom not even daring to poke her head out. Wimpy, like when he was a child. He was afraid of grandma hugging him. Song Mianian smiled bitterly. This child, for treasures, this is grandma. Do you still remember? Song Mianian squatted down, reminded her, and pinched the little face. For treasures remained the same. Just don't. Grinding and grumbling, she finally went into the living room. Song Qin rushed to get the toys. Children's hobbies really do change with age, and this time they don't like toys anymore. They like to watch TV. As soon as you see a cartoon playing on the TV, you will honestly sit on the sofa, blinking your eyes and watch. Mom, Piggy Peachy. I said that Peachy is one of the favorite cartoons of several children. If it is not controlled by Song Myanian, it is estimated that they have to sit in front of the TV all day. Children are still young. Often watching TV is not good for eye development. It is easy to cause myopia in children. These must be taken seriously. Yo, these little ones still know how to watch TV. Song Qin smiled. The little ones were a little too cute. It was getting better and better looking. Especially Four Treasures. But Four Treasures doesn't kiss her. Hey, how nice it would be if he kissed her. He's got a big temper. The babies were watching Piggy Peach seriously. At this time, Sanbao suddenly spoke out and came over to tug on Song Mianian's sleeve. Song Mianian squatted down. What's wrong Sambo? Jumping in the mud pit. Song Mianian. This child. When did he learn these three words? And knows how to jump in a mud pit. A classic clip of Piggy Peach. Chang Xiao resists the urge to laugh out loud and picks up San Bao, holding him as he jumps and jumps. Sambo couldn't jump. He had to use his father's hand, jumping that called a happy. Finally, Chang Xiao got tired. 
Can we jump again tomorrow? Dad is tired. No matter how good you are, you can't keep going up and down all the time. Sanbao's weight has also increased. Boys are heavier than girls. Fourth treasure and second treasure were both light. Sanbao gave a hum and went to sit on the sofa next to him. Continue watching TV. Songqin sat on the other sofa and complained to Song Myanian that after so long, she didn't know to come to see her as a mom, and then came to ask how they were doing and how they were doing lately. Song Myanian was also embarrassed. It was really because she was too busy during this period of time studying for the doctoral exams, all kinds of reviewing and whatnot. Mom, recently I'm taking the doctoral exam, had to be honest. Song Qin black question mark face. After a while before saying, exam, are you planning to go to school again? That kid, Song Myanian said with a red face. Chang Xiao said he's coming. It's Chung alone again. Ah, hey, you, forget it. Upgrading your education is also a good thing. Song Qin smiled helplessly. If she passed the exam, she would be able to say that she had a daughter with a doctorate degree. It would be a good thing to say. This was a very meaningful thing. It was also contributing to her country. Then Xiao Chang. Song Qin felt that this was not fair to Cheng Xiao either. In case the kid had to go to graduate school or something, there was no one to take care of the kid. She could help bring them up. But the problem was that these kids would have to accept her. Accepting her and letting her bring them for as long as she wants is not a big problem. Song Myanian smiled bitterly. It's not certain if I can get into the exam now. Why can't I pass the exam? How smart is my daughter? If she can't get into the previous master's degree how did she get in? Song Qin was still particularly confident in her daughter. Song Myanian, mom. Okay, okay, don't think about this. Haven't eaten dinner yet? Mom go make it. Song Qin got up. She was just about to head to the kitchen. When the senior citizen phone she carried with her suddenly rang, she had to go to the balcony to answer the phone. It was an unfamiliar number. She didn't recognize it, but it was still connected. Hello, is this MS? Song Qin? A female voice came through. Song Qin frowned. It's me. We're from the Qingzhou Police Department. There's a result for the missing case you reported 24 years ago. Two question marks surfaced in Song Qin's mind. This news shook her to the point where she still hadn't regained her senses. Her hands instinctively began to tremble already. The heart was beating violently. You, what did you say? There are results? Yes. In the living room, the two of them were still watching cartoons with the baby. And it's been 10 minutes since mom answered the phone. And she's still not back. What's the situation? Song Mian Yang said. I'll go take a look. As soon as she came to the balcony, she felt that the atmosphere was not quite right. Mom was standing there, looking at the distant sky. Nor did she speak. She didn't even feel it when she came over. Mom, what's wrong with you? No response. Mom, Song Mianian continuously shouted several times. Still no response. She got scared and shouted. Mom, what's wrong with you? It startled Chang Xiao in the living room. Only then did Song Qin have some reaction, trembling as she turned around, then grabbed Song Mian Mian's arm tightly with her hand. Mian Mian, there's news, finally news after all these years. Song Mian Mian was dumbfounded, not understanding what her mom was saying. What news? Mom, what are you talking about? I'm saying, there's news about your father. Song Mianian froze. Dad? Dad has news? Mom? Really? Don't think it's a scam. Song Myanian didn't believe it. It's been more than 20 years. If dad had found him, he would have found him long ago. How could it be that it's only now? This, she highly suspected it was a fake. That scammer was also too hateful. It's not a scam. It's the police station. Let's go over tomorrow morning. Song Myanian was not happy in the slightest. Not to mention whether it was fake or not. Even if it was real, she couldn't be happy. That man who abandoned her and her mom for more than 20 years was definitely not a good person. Anyway, she didn't have the slightest affection for that person. It was just a blood relationship. No matter what, let's go early tomorrow. Whether it's your dad or not, I'm going to take a look. Song Qin firmly said. She had been looking for that person for too long. Chapter 339, Can I meet him? Now that she knew he was already going to show up, she only felt mixed emotions. She had to ask him why he left without saying goodbye back then, and was gone for more than 20 years. The conversation between mother and daughter happened to be heard by Chang Xiao who stopped at the house. He did not come over. At this moment is the mother and daughter need quiet time. He rashly go forward is not good. He waited for what seemed like a century. The two people on the balcony finally moved. Mian Mian, let's go over and ask first thing in the morning when the police station goes to work. Song Qin said, whether it was a prank or not, it was always good to go and take a look. The man in his memory seemed to come back to his mind. The long back, the rigid facial contour lines. Yes. Her memories of him were still stuck in her youth. She remembered that the night he left without saying goodbye, 
everything was normal. However, another morning she woke up and he was no longer by her side. She thought at first that he had gone out for something, but this time he went away and never came back. There was no word from him, as if he had evaporated. She took only two-year-old daughter. Has been looking for, looking for people. All kinds of ways have been tried. People just disappeared. Later, she simply gave up. Cannot be found on cannot be found it. And then look for people also tired heart also tired. Might as well live like this, as people have died. But I didn't expect to hear such a news today. The shock in her heart can be imagined. She can't wait to go to the police station to take a look. Her hands were trembling with excitement. Song Mianian supported her from the side and went to the living room. Chang Xiao was very sensible and went to cook. It was impossible to let his mother-in-law do it tonight. Tomorrow, let's hope for a good outcome. Song Qin didn't even eat dinner, and after coaxing the child for a while, she went to wash up and go to bed. Chang Xiao and Song Mianian looked at each other, both somewhat helpless. Song Mianian did not have any feelings for the memory of the father, or so as just a stranger with blood relations. If it was really him, mom might be able to forgive him, but she wouldn't. After giving the kids a bath, the couple washed up and went to bed. Wife, what's on your mind? Moping. Chang Xiao turned his head and asked. Song Mianian sighed and said, Hubby, do you think I should forgive him? He, naturally, was referring to that man. Chang Xiao said, Maybe there was a hidden agenda back then? No matter what, leaving without saying goodbye is just wrong. It's called irresponsibility. But in the end, it's still someone who is related to you by blood. He was wondering about the identity of his old man. Wasn't some secret agent, military man, or mysterious extended family with unspeakable reasons. After all, if you were in love with you one second, how could a person leave without saying goodbye the next? It wasn't scientific. He felt that what he thought should hold true. Song Nianyang knew that what he said also made sense. But, abandoning his wife and child was true. It was annoying to think about it. There were no words all night. It was hard to get to the morning. Get up. Song Mianian found that the old mom should have not slept all night. The whole person is a little haggard. Heavy dark circles under the eyes. She walked over and asked. Mom, did you not sleep all night? Song Qin nodded and said with a sigh. Ugh, can't sleep. After breakfast, they packed up and prepared to leave. Song Qin also purposely brought along a picture of the man to identify. At this moment, her mood is undoubtedly excited, but also a little complicated, and afraid, afraid of falling short once again. In the past two years, there were quite a few people who came to recognize, but none of them were the person in her memory. Along the way, her entire body was trembling. Mom, don't be nervous. Song Mianian comforted. She hoped that it wasn't that person, and that he would be better off never coming back and disturbing their peaceful life. What kind of good person is one who abandons his wife and daughter? The car traveled all the way to the police station. The family got out of the car and walked inside. Song Qin ran to the front desk of the police lady directly asked, Hello, I am the phone yesterday. That person really have news? The police lady then remembered. Oh, I was the one who made that call yesterday. There is indeed news. Let me show you the photo. We took it for him specially. Only to see the police young lady take out a brand new photo from the drawer. Song Qin took it over. The person on the photo already had gray hair on both sides, and his face had developed a lot of wrinkles. Looking at his age he was probably around 50 years old, although he was already old and looked different. Song Qin still recognized him as the person in her memory. Tears instantly blurred her vision. They snapped and fell on the photo. Song Mianian on the side of the heart thumped. Looking at this reaction of the mother, 80% is her father who has been missing for more than 20 years. Why would that person come back? Why destroy the peaceful family now? Why why why? She had never seen her mom so sad. Never. Auntie, is this the one you're looking for? The police lady asked carefully. However, looking at the way Auntie was crying so sadly, it seemed like it should be. Alas, what a sin. She had read the data. This aunt should have been looking for the person in this photo for more than 20 years. It's also a person with a miserable life now. Nah. Song Qin shed tears with red eyes. It's him. I'm pretty sure it's him. Where is he now? Can I meet him? Song Qin's tone was tinged with supplication. Yes, supplication. She just wanted to see that person again, even if it was just a glance from afar. It was also satisfied. The police young lady smiled gently. Auntie, wait for me for a while, I'll make a call to him. The young lady's words made it clear that it was the man himself who took the initiative to come over. I'm afraid that he also wanted to find his wife and son. Song Qin's tears couldn't stop flowing anymore. Song Mian Mian kept comforting from the side. Mom. The police lady took one look at the situation and hurriedly picked up the phone and dialed a number. What a bitter person. As soon as the phone dialed, the other side quickly got through. A very vicissitude voice came. 
Song Qin's entire body shook. The voice was baptized by time, but she still heard it at once. It was him. It really was him. Sir, the lady looking for you is now at our police station. Is it convenient for you to come over sometime? The police lady asked. Convenient. I'll be right over. Soon. The phone hung up. The police young lady comforted. Auntie, that uncle will come over soon. Don't be anxious. Well, thank you officer. You're welcome. This is what we should do. Song Myanian helped Song Qin to sit down on a chair aside, smoothing out her air. When mom is anxious, high blood pressure is easy to come up. She can't let her emotions fluctuate too much. It's easy to get into trouble. She didn't want to go through that last time again. Too scary. After waiting for almost half an hour, there was movement outside the police station. Chapter 340, The Grand Finale, End of Full Text. The police were the first to walk in, followed by a middle-aged man dressed in black stepping in quickly. His footsteps were a bit hurried, as if he was in a hurry to see someone. The moment she looked up, Song Qin froze, and then the tears could no longer be controlled and surged out. It was that person, the familiar one from memory. That face, although it already had traces of age, how could she not forget it, deeply imprinted in her mind. For a moment, she felt like her legs were filled with lead, unable to move. Boom! She felt as if the blood was rushing to her head all of a sudden, and her whole body fell into darkness in no time. Mom, mom, what's wrong with you? Seeing the collapsed Song Qin, Song Myanian instantly panicked and helped her up. Song Qin's entire body had fainted to death. The police lady was also startled and hurriedly dialed 120 ambulance. The man saw the situation, also hurriedly ran over to help Song Qin. Was Song Myanian pushed away? Tears could not stop. You go away. All because of you. My mom is like this. You go away. She was really disgusted with this father. Why did she leave them without saying goodbye in the first place? Why? Now after more than 20 years, their life was finally at peace. Why did they have to barge in? She would never forgive this man, and was now nothing more than a stranger with a relationship to her. Who was he to care about mother and daughter? How ridiculous. The man had a sad face. Mian Mian, can you listen to daddy explain to you? He knew it might end up like this, but he would try his best to make up for what he owed to their mother and daughter. Explanation? How can you explain? Song Myanian sneered. Shang Sha was not in a good position to persuade at this time. After all, it was a matter between the three of them as a family. He could only encourage Song Myanian behind her back as much as possible. Soon, the ambulance came. The paramedics carried Song Qin into the ambulance. Song Myanian and Shang Xiao sat in with the babies, and the men followed. On the way, Song Myanian didn't give a good face. When they arrived at the hospital, Song Qin was directly pushed into the operating room. Song Myanian was in a hurry outside. Wife, don't be anxious. Mom is just too anxious high blood pressure committed, Shang Xiao said, with the system's rewards, this situation would be fine as long as the blood pressure was brought down, mom was in this situation because she saw the person she wanted to see the most and was momentarily agitated, the last time the system rewarded a few pills, he had forgotten about them, when mom got better let her take one, an hour passed and the lights in the operating room dimmed, the door opened, Song Myanian had a jolt and rushed towards the doctor's side, the man followed, doctor, how is my mom doing? Song Myanian was about to cry. Her eyes were red and swollen. If something happened to mom, what would she do? Cheng Xiao held her hand tightly and soothed. Don't worry. Mom is fine. The doctor took off his mask and said, the patient was sent in time and is out of danger. Once they heard the doctor say that, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Mom, mom. Seemingly knowing that grandma was sick, the several babies didn't dare to make noise, calling out in very low voices. It was as if they were afraid of disturbing grandma. The man then noticed the several children. His eyes widened. What was the situation? But he didn't dare to ask. This time was also not the right time to ask. Soon, Song Qin was pushed into the ward. Cheng Xiao specially opened a VIP room. By the evening, Song Qin only woke up, looking around in a daze, thinking, everything should be a dream, right? Mom, you're awake. Song Myanian said with tears in her eyes. Mian Mian, I seem to have seen your father. Am I hallucinating? Song Myanian didn't expect her mom's first sentence to still be this person. Explaining the heart. Oi. A Chin? A familiar voice rang in Song Chin's ears. She shuddered and slowly turned her head. She wasn't dreaming. This wasn't a dream. You get out. My mom has managed to wake up. Do you still want to irritate her? Song Myanian's emotions had never been as out of control for a moment as they were now. Mian Mian. I have something to say to him. You go out first. But mom. Go out. Song Myanian and her husband and wife went out with the child, in the hospital room. Where have you been all these years? Song Qin was the first to speak, her voice weak. The man hesitated for a moment. 
then spoke in detail about what had happened over the years. He was also 10,000 times less than happy to leave in the first place, but there was no way around it. He was in that position and had to follow the orders of his superiors. No matter how much he loved this woman, no matter how much he couldn't let go, he had to leave without hesitation. Many things could not be told to her yet. Everything was filled with helplessness. When he learned that more than 20 years had passed and Song Qin was still looking for him, the touch in his heart at that moment could be imagined. He had thought that she had already married again, but he hadn't realized that she hadn't, but had guarded him for the rest of his life. Now that he was retired, he would never leave their mother and daughter again. Listening to these reasons, after a few days, Song Nianyang gradually stopped blaming him. Maybe it really was that he couldn't help it, right? It just wasn't able to completely accept him yet. But there was progress. The feeling of suddenly having a father was amazing. Her friends knew about it and advised her to look away. From not accepting it at first, to acquiescing to this man's existence. This day, Mian Mian, it's hard to bring up the kids. You two go out and play. I'll help you with the kids. Moen smiled. A face of kindness. Finally, Chang Xiao and his wife were given a lot of free time. Days passed day by day. And in the blink of an eye, two years passed. The children had all started kindergarten. Life is getting back on track step by step. Because Song Mianian is still studying for her doctorate. Chang Xiao is in graduate school. The task of picking up and dropping off the children fell on Song Qin and his wife. Life is slowly getting better. Subsequent episodes. Regarding Chang Xiao's identity. He is the young master of a large family who was accidentally lost and searched for many years. And after finding him, he only refrained from recognizing him in order not to disturb his peaceful life. This family in Moen is one of several big families side by side. The location is in Kyoto. The full text is finished.